I'm not reconciled. I'm not reconciled. If I can do it again. If I can do it again. The line of sight began to blur, and the world plunged into darkness. One year? Two years? I don't know how many years, or even a moment, the feeling of being alive suddenly returned. Hey, hey. Ye Chen breathed greedily and greedily. Suddenly, Ye Chen was taken aback, opened his eyes abruptly, and then sat up. But Ye Chen, who was sitting up, still felt dizzy in his brain. Here is. White walls, roofs with wallpaper, old wooden beds, broken ceiling fans, carved glass mirrors, broken tables bitten by mice. The strange and somewhat familiar feeling suddenly appeared in my mind. This is the house I rented for three years. And many more. After a short silence, Ye Chen stood on the ground Teng, hurriedly walked to the table, and looked at the dilapidated alarm clock on the table. March 5, 2036, 1800 hours. Ye Chen stared at the alarm clock closely. Gradually, his body began to tremble and tremble, becoming more and more severe. Pangu. Prehistoric. Yes, that is today, at twenty o'clock in the evening, a meteor from the sky rushed into the earth. It is today that the earth has suddenly grown a few hundred times bigger. Today, the rules of heaven and earth have changed, and mankind has returned to the era of cold weapons. Today, the brain named Pangu appeared, the world was taken over by Pangu, and the so-called coins became credit points. It is today that the game that all creatures can enter has officially opened. At the beginning of the game, the Oriental Novice Zone was based on the Three Kingdoms. As long as you get the key things in the Novice Zone, after you leave the Novice Zone and formally enter the prehistoric area, you will definitely be in the water. Thinking of this, Ye Chen clenched his fists involuntarily. Before his rebirth, Ye Chen was unknown and lived at the lowest level. Even when he entered the game, he was very miserable. Because Ye Chen is an orphan. Rootless duckweed, how could it be so simple, just mixed with wind and water? In the game, Ye Chen is fighting alone again, how can he compare with those forces? At that time, Ye Chen didn't know what the game of Hong Huang meant. By the time Ye Chen discovered all the secrets, it was too late. At that time, the major forces were unbreakable, whether it was financial or strength, it was not comparable to Ye Chen's grassroots. Until one day, the real Ye Chen was buried in the mouth of the wolf demon, and then reborn. Dilapidated Rental House Ye Chen was silent for a long time, until the phone rang, which awakened Ye Chen, who was lost in thought. Taking out the antique-like mobile phone from his pants pocket, Ye Chen glanced at it and pushed it off. The call was made by the bar foreman. If Ye Chen answered the call, he would be scolded, and then rushed to work. This is the sorrow of the little man, to live, to be precise, to live. Don't steal, don't grab, rely on your own hands, and live hard. But now, Ye Chen will naturally not answer, and soon the world will usher in tremendous changes. Although rich people still have money, at that time, what people value more is strength. Yes, strength. Soon, this world will become the strongest. The law of the jungle, where the weak eat the strong, is naked and naked in the world. Whether it is the human race, the upcoming monster race, or the witch race, without exception, it is the law of the jungle. Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, then put on his shoes, thought for a moment, and then went out. After getting on line 10, Ye Chen stood in the corner of the carriage. Like many people, standing quietly, like a stranger who hasn't integrated into this bustling city, and like a tired traveler. It's just that those eyes became brighter and brighter as the subway passed by from stop to stop. On the subway, men and women were discussing. The topics were many and complicated. After wave after wave, Ye Chen was unwilling to pay attention. Ye Chen was going to the urban forest park, where there were things that Ye Chen must get. It could be something that shortened Ye Chen's struggle. The city is full of feasting and bustling. On the road, 
the traffic jams as always, and the long car lights, like giant snakes, are endless. The whistle of the car is always in the ears. 99% of the pedestrians who come and go on the street are out of towners who are busy for their lives. The locals have a house and a car, do not have to go to work at all, they can meet their daily needs, and they have surplus. Of course, this is only a part of the locals, and there are still many locals who still have to work hard, to live and to live. After getting off the subway, Ye Chen, like many passers-by, walked across the overpass and headed for their destinations. Before long, Ye Chen came outside the forest park. Looking at the closed forest park, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, then walked to a corner with no people, over the wall and entered the forest park. The time has come to 1930. At this point in time, the forest park has long been quiet. Ye Chen avoided several waves of security, and then went to an artificial lake and sat on a bench, watching the rippling blue water in front of him, waiting quietly. When the clock points to 20 o'clock, the dark sky is instantly torn. Numerous huge meteors shining in the sky. Ye Chen looked up at the sky, and stood up suddenly. Coming. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Dense meteors, with long tails, rush to the earth one by one. Crack. On the highway, driving cars, one after another emergency brakes. Boom, boom, boom. The brakes were slow, and they hit the car in front, and the rear end cars, one after another, lined up. Pedestrians stopped at the same time, staring at the beautiful shooting stars like fireworks. After a short silence, there were countless screams. What? Fuck, the end of the world is here. I'm paralyzed, I'm still a virgin. There are too many meteors. If they hit the ground, the power is not known as how many nuclear bombs. No matter how many, even if there is only one. The people here don't want to live. Inside the forest park. Ye Chen was not afraid at all, not only was he not afraid, but also very excited. Because Ye Chen knew the secret of meteor. These meteors are all energy crystals, energy crystals controlled by Pangu. It will not destroy the earth at all, nor will it kill anyone. They will quickly disintegrate, turn into energy, and transform the earth. Even if it hits a person or hits the ground, there will be no impact. Very strange, but all of this is the result of Pangu's control. Pangu came along with the meteor. Its arrival, like Pangu in myths and legends, opened up the world and changed the world. At this moment, a falling meteor rushed towards the man-made lake in the forest park. Its speed is very fast. It was originally half a football field, but as it landed, it kept shrinking. Ye Chen's eyes shrank sharply before rushing towards the artificial lake. Meteors are energy crystals, but there are also some other things wrapped in energy crystals. It's like impurities, everywhere. In this meteor that landed on the artificial lake, there was a bead. Zingchen Zhu is its name. It is powerful enough to make all creatures jealous. After entering the game, it can automatically help the host absorb free energy from the outside world, and achieve 100% synchronization between the game and reality. To put it simply, the reality is as strong as the game is. Other players, whether they are humans, monsters, or witches, even with the best talents, their actual strength is only one half of the game's strength. There are not many things with this ability, and each of them can cause competition. And the best of these things is this star bead, the game reality is 100% synchronized. If you get the star orb, even if you are as stupid as a pig, you can dominate the world. Of course, the premise is that if he can rise, but can't get up, then it's useless. However, this does not hinder the strength of the star orb. The person who got the star orb in the previous life was a member of the Yao clan, a black fish deliberately dropped into an artificial lake. It is powerful and suffocating, and its strength is desperate. But now, everything has just begun, 
Ye Chen will naturally not miss the star orb. Boom! The meteor fell on the lake, causing a layer of ripples on the lake. At this moment, Ye Chen grabbed an apple-sized energy crystal. But with two breaths, the energy crystal becomes energy, disappearing without a trace, leaving only a simple bead. Star beads. Ye Chen tried his best to calm down, then bit his index finger and dripped blood onto the star bead. This is the preliminary acknowledgement. Otherwise, Ye Chen couldn't use it at all. The blood dripping on the star orb was instantly absorbed by the star orb. Ye Chen's thoughts moved, and the star pearl flew towards Ye Chen's forehead. As soon as he touched it, it disappeared. This is Ye Chen's collection of the star orb in the sea of consciousness. Finally got it. Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and then the corners of his mouth rose involuntarily. The star orb is the key. Without the star orb, Ye Chen's road would be difficult to walk. At this moment, Ye Chen was taken aback suddenly, but he felt something hit in his calf. Looking down, it was a black fish the size of a baby's arm. Swallowing Demon King? Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, then bent down sharply, and grabbed this one. Five years later, he would become the black fish of the sky swallowing Demon King. Wow, wow! Because of the struggling of the black fish, the lake continued to splash around. Ye Chen caught the snakehead fiercely. In the previous life, Ye Chen missed a lot of good things because of it, and because of it, the opportunity for Ye Chen to rise disappeared time and time again. Because it is the strongest sky-swallowing demon king in this city. Powerful, no one can rival. And now, it was just a black fish, a black fish that Ye Chen could kill easily. Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, clutching the black fish tightly with his right hand, and walked towards the shore. After going ashore, Ye Chen slammed the black fish to the ground, and then kicked it down. Boom! I told you to grab something from Lao Tzu. Boom! I asked you to take advantage of Lao Tzu. Boom! I want you to have another. Ye Chen kicked it down one foot after another, and quickly stepped on this future sky-swallowing demon king. At this moment, an inexplicable fluctuation appeared out of thin air. Fluctuations like the beating of the heart, appearing one after another. Coming. The earth is going to get bigger, the flowers and trees will start to grow wildly. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Boom boom. Ye Chen stood motionless, quietly waiting for the earth to change. Boom boom. Inexplicable fluctuations continue. At Ye Chen's feet, the black fish minced meat that could have become the sky-swallowing demon king was ten meters away in the blink of an eye. Ye Chen didn't move, and the smashed black fish that was trampled on was even less likely to move. It is the earth that moves, and the earth changes again, and the earth becomes bigger again. Boom boom! Everything around Ye Chen kept getting farther and farther away. Ten meters. 20 meters, 30 meters, 50 meters, 100 meters. Originally such a huge change should cause a strong earthquake and then destroy everything. However, the disaster did not come, and the high-rise buildings are as good as ever. Only the place outside the house changed and the road was destroyed, revealing section after section of dirt road. Boom boom. Changes continue, but the momentum is beginning to slow down. O.M. The deep voice of the ancient bullhorn suddenly resounded between heaven and earth. At this moment, the flowers, plants, and trees in the forest park can be seen to grow up, grow up, and grow up again. 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, 100 meters, 200 meters. Plants are like chicken blood, growing wildly, completely contrary to common sense. However, all of this, at the moment when Sineo Pangu arrived, there was no common sense. Ye Chen looked at the ever-changing forest park, looked at the asphalt road that was constantly being pierced by the grass and then decomposed, and he exhaled a long breath. The rules of the world have also changed. 
At this time, guns have lost their function, nuclear bombs have also failed, and the world has returned to the era of cold weapons. After speaking to himself, Ye Chen took a step and left the forest park. On the street, there were shocked and inexplicable people everywhere, screaming, shouting, everywhere. The atmosphere of panic, shock and fear was extremely strong. The unknown is the most terrifying, and no one knows why there is such a change. Contrary to common sense and cannot be explained. Ye Chen didn't pay attention and didn't stay, and went directly to a big hotel far away from the zoo. The electricity has been destroyed, but soon it will be restored. The power is supplied by Pangu, while the power generation is a small thing far beyond the Earth's technology. A big pump can meet the electricity demand of a city with a population of tens of millions. It's just that, three days later, today's cities, whether they are bungalows or high-rise buildings, will turn into dust. And Zhineo Pangu will build one city after another, very fast, so fast that you can't imagine it. If you want to live in the city, you can, spend money to buy a house, the price is not high, you can basically buy it. It doesn't matter if you can't afford it, you can rent it, if you can't even rent it, you can only wait to die. Xi Nao Pangu would not pity such a person at all. Since the beginning of the land, there are opportunities everywhere, that is, just choosing a deputy job, collecting medicine, mining and other promising careers, you can also earn the cost of renting a house. Of course, the house is not big, like a capsule room. Nevertheless, there is also a place where people flock. Because there is a safe zone. Despite the safe time, only a poor three months. However, if you do not live in a safe zone, it will be very dangerous to be outside. To put it simply, Yeazu is a cannibal, and likes to eat very much. In the eyes of the Yeazu, human beings are super tonics that move one by one. Pangu descends, the great wilderness opens, and the huge energy of heaven and earth will unlock most of the intelligence of birds and beasts. With that kind of existence, even the docile rabbits have become extremely ferocious by nature. In previous lives, there were some people who were bitten to pieces by fierce rabbits and then eaten. Because those people want to catch rabbits and eat some game. It's a pity that they caught a rabbit that had opened up. Compared with humans, birds and beasts, and even insects, are all naturally gifted, and even sleepy, they become stronger and stronger than humans. Any existence that has opened up can absorb the energy between heaven and earth even without practicing the exercises. Humans can't do it at all. In the end, those who wanted to eat game were unlucky and paid the price of their lives. The house that Ye Chen rented was in the suburbs, and this was the fundamental reason why Ye Chen didn't choose to go back. Along the way, when Ye Chen came to a row of bicycles sprayed with yellow paint, he stopped. A few minutes later, the neon lights in the city lit up at the same time, as if nothing had happened. Ye Chen took out his mobile phone to scan the code, deposit 300 credits, and one credit per hour usage fee. The weird reminder would definitely be stunned by someone else, but Ye Chen was not surprised at all. At this moment, Zhineo Pangu has taken over the world, and the money that people have has become a point of credit. When people use bank cards, mobile internet banking and other payments, it will become like this. This is only now, in one or two hours, everyone will get a watch. The watch comes from Pangu. It has powerful functions and represents identity. It can also be used as a bank card. It can also be used as a phone and video chat. Of course, the most critical part of the most watch is to log in the prehistoric. When he arrived at the five-star hotel, Ye Chen walked directly into the elevator, went up to the eleventh floor, and then went outside the door of room 1101. The door of the Ding room opens automatically. Ye Chen didn't have a room card, but at this moment, the whole world was taken over by Pangu, and he didn't need a room card at all. Ye Chen walked in without hesitation, then closed the door, glanced at the furnishings in the room, and the corner of his mouth curled up. It's here. The diamond game warehouse belongs to me. 
Watches can log into games, but there are other things in the world that can log into the wild. For humans, it is a game warehouse. The five levels of black iron, bronze, silver, gold, and diamonds are the level of the game warehouse. People who log into the game using the game storehouse can not only get a 5 to 15% bonus to the game's reality ability, but also have a vital role. Enter the game early. Watch Pangu Kaishan, and obtain different exercises according to their own comprehension. When the clock was pointing to 22 o'clock, a light ball the size of a water tank suddenly appeared at 1101. Ye Chen, who had been waiting quietly, opened his eyes suddenly. Diamond Game Warehouse The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The light group dispersed, and a game warehouse gleaming with diamond light appeared in front of Ye Chen's eyes. The diamond level game warehouse is really a diamond level. Even if he knew that a diamond level game warehouse would appear here, Ye Chen could hardly suppress the excitement at the moment. No one knows better than Ye Chen, what it means to enter the game in advance and watch Pangu Kaishan. Especially the use of the diamond level game warehouse, the first batch of creatures to watch Pangu Kaishan. Ye Chen looked at the diamond level game warehouse, took a deep breath, and after a long spit out, he calmed down his mood, and then walked to the game warehouse. Opening the lid, Ye Chen lay flat in. When Ye Chen lay down, the lid of the game compartment was automatically closed. Ye Chen's consciousness instantly appeared in a chaotic space. It's pitch black, no time, no space, no sky, no land, no smell, no sound, nothing, nothing but endless chaos. Here is the chaos, the chaos that gave birth to Pangu. At this moment, there was a clicking sound from a distance. It's like cracking an egg shell. After a brief silence, a giant stood up, his breath was wild and wild. Overbearing. This is Pangu. It's him. It must be him. Ye Chen is far away from Pangu, and he can't see Pangu's face at all, but Ye Chen knows that the giant in the distance, the giant who stands in the chaos and releases his own breath wantonly, is Pangu. Pangu suddenly felt that chaos was very depressed, and suddenly let out a roar. Roar. Boom kaka. Countless red thunders flashed in the chaos, as if to break through this depressing world. There was nothing in the original chaos, but suddenly, smoke and dust billowed, causing waves of air one after another. This is Pangu's roar. Suddenly, Pangu raised his right hand, and a pitch black axe flew in an instant. Chaos Treasure, Pangu Axe Pangu, holding the Pangu Axe, raised the Pangu Axe high. One minute, two minutes, three minutes later. Drink. After a loud shout, Pangu slashed into the chaos fiercely. Rumble. The sound of thunder resounding through the chaos, rolling in, the shaking Ye Chen almost disappeared. At this moment, a light group and another light group appeared in the chaos. This is because someone used the game warehouse or other equipment and entered the predicament ahead of time. Ye Chen didn't even look at it, staring at Pangu with his eyes tightly, not willing to miss a single bit. At this time, a light appeared from the chaos, and the chaos seemed to be divided into two. However, soon, the crack with the light suddenly began to converge. Humph. Pangu snorted coldly, waved the Pangu axe again, and slashed it fiercely. It was the same position as before, without the slightest deviation. Boom kaka! Countless dense and thick red lightning danced wildly. Chaos was once again split apart. Pangu frowned at this time, and once again made an axe. Tidakaka! Chaos was split apart. At this time, Countless light groups appeared here. But Ye Chen was drowsy at this moment. Cannot sleep. Never sleep. Must read it. Ye Chen was like a madman, forcing himself to be unable to sleep, pinching his thigh and leg with his right hand. The severe pain from the soul awakened Ye Chen from his sleep time and time again. 
Pangu looked at the split chaos and couldn't help but smile. However, the chaos that had just separated began to converge again. Pangu was furious and was silent for a moment. Pangu stepped out and stood in the middle of two chaos. The sky is above the head, and the feet are on the ground. Pangu's body, also at this moment, is constantly getting bigger and bigger. Chaos was separated by Pangu's body abruptly. A little bit of time passed, 1,000 years, 10,000 years, 100,000 years. Pangu's body no longer grows up all the time. The world finally stabilized, and Pangu glanced at the desolate world, then raised his head to look at the sky, smiled coldly, and fell down immediately. Pangu died, but his body turned into everything. This is Pangu Kaishan. Persistently seeing the last Ye Chen, fell into a deep sleep after thinking about it. At the same time, all the creatures in the world who possessed wisdom heard a word. The Great Wilderness is officially opened, and all creatures who have obtained the login device can enter. The primordial land was opened, and it was not people who entered the first time, but those birds and beasts. Because people are a complicated existence. The world has changed drastically, and suddenly there are some wild games, and what kind of login device can be used to log in directly. The impact of all this is too great, so big that almost everyone, the first time, not the first time to enter the game, but to discuss these changes, and what the prehistoric is. Why, this is a meteor again, the place is getting bigger, and the flowers and trees are growing wildly. Now there is another prehistoric game. What's wrong with this? My day is coming, I'm hitting 110, but I can't get out. The phone is out of signal. Is this the rhythm of the end of the world? But what about zombies? What about monsters? Why is there nothing? There are a lot of people talking about it, beyond imagination. But soon, some people tried to enter the prehistoric game. Before long, these people who entered the prehistoric game quit one by one, and then logged in again with a look of disbelief. After trying again, they finally found that this prehistoric game was so realistic, it was a 100% simulation. Then, more and more people went home or went to the hotel, and then hurriedly entered the game. The legendary consciousness actually appeared in the game. Whether it was actively discovered or passively heard, basically, more than 70% of the people rushed into the prehistoric in the first place. Five Star Hotel Ye Chen was really asleep, but Ye Chen entered the game directly at the moment when Primal Land was officially opened. When others log into the game, they just create an account and then choose their place of birth. The location is also the area of human activities. But Ye Chen is different. Ye Chen in the game is also sleeping at the moment, but the position is on the top of the mountain. The top of a mountain of 10,000 meters high. Roar. Expensive. A roar resounding through the mountains suddenly came. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. A giant tiger with a length of 100 meters and black and white stripes all over, suddenly appeared on the west side of the top of the mountain. Its two eyes as big as a water tank stared fiercely at the east, the tiger's mouth opened slightly, and it roared in a low voice. In the next second, a giant snake with a length of 200 meters, covered with black scales and a sarcoma on its head, appeared on the east side of the top of the mountain. The huge and forked snake letter, swallowing and vomiting, two cold snake eyes, staring at the giant tiger without showing any weakness. This big mountain is extremely steep, it can be said to be straight up and down, except for the birds, there is basically no possibility of going up. However, at this moment, a giant tiger and a huge black snake came up. When the black snake came up, it could be explained by the snake's good climbing ability, but this giant tiger could also come up, which was a bit surprising. But in fact, that's it. A tiger and a snake, no one moved, staring at each other closely. If you look closely, it is not difficult to find that they are not only staring at each other, 
but also Ye Chen sleeping in the middle of the mountain, and the red fruit hanging on the strange little tree beside Ye Chen. As time passed a little bit, a strange fragrance wafted from the top of the mountain. The appearance of Yuxiang made the giant tiger black snake restless. The already tense atmosphere instantly became more tense. The confrontation will end at any time. When the stronger scent drifted into the air, the giant tiger and the black snake issued a roar that shook the sky at the same time, and then rushed towards each other. As for Ye Chen lying on the ground, he was ignored by a tiger and a snake. Because Ye Chen is too weak. Whether it is a giant tiger or a black snake, Ye Chen can be killed with one blow. The giant tiger, the black snake, began to fight fiercely, with rubble rolling and roaring again and again. Roar. Expensive. The two of them fought fiercely, but they left the center of the mountain by coincidence, fearing that the red fruit would be destroyed. Blood quickly appeared on the black snake's body, the giant tiger's claws were extremely sharp, and the tiger's teeth were even more fierce. Although the black snake was in a weak position, the giant tiger didn't dare to get close at all, because it knew the result of being entangled by the black snake. At this moment, a stronger fragrance came. The giant tiger, the black snake, without exception, became anxious. Because the fruit is about to mature. Roar. Expensive. After two loud roars, the battle between the giant tiger and the black snake began to escalate. Tiger hair and snake scales keep flying out. At this moment, Ye Chen opened his eyes. Ding! The player Ye Chen watched Pangu Kaishan and comprehended the Nine Ranks profound art. Ding! The player Ye Chen watched Pangu Kaishan and comprehended God Xiaoyu Leiju. Ding! Congratulations to player Ye Chen, watching Pangu Kaishan, Fui Yuan plus 100. After a brief daze, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened. Ha ha ha! Crazy laughter suddenly sounded. All the hardships are willing to come get what you want. Nine turn profound arts can be used to prove the Dao with strength. Shen Xiao Yulei is determined to achieve great success, and can control the punishment of heaven. No matter which one appears, there will be a storm, let alone two appearing at the same time. Of course, the two cultivation methods now have masters, and they belong to Ye Chen. Ye Chen's laughter stopped abruptly at this moment, because Ye Chen saw a huge tiger and a huge black snake. They stopped fighting, two pairs of eyes as big as a water tank, without exception, stared at Ye Chen. The ice tiger, the predecessor of the black Jiao. Ye Chen instantly recognized the origin of these two huge beasts. These are all 100 level wilderness bosses, which can keep up with the existence of famous generals in history. But Ye Chen is only one level at the moment, a newcomer who can't be more tender. At this moment, an incredibly strong fragrance came. The tiger snake was immediately irritated and eager to rush. Ye Chen thought of something in an instant, and with a violent swipe of his right hand, he grabbed a red fruit. Xiang fruit, a yellow level elixir, which must be taken within a quarter of an hour after being removed, otherwise it will turn to ashes, increasing the chance of advancement by 30%. The tiger snake stared at this, the purpose is to swallow it, and then advanced. Ye Chen was also jealous. After all, this was a great level elixir. As long as it was preserved with a special technique, when the strength reached a certain level, after eating it, it was possible to advance to the innate. Unfortunately, Ye Chen could only use this as bait and throw it out. This loss doesn't matter, the giant tiger black snake who was going to go crazy, rushed towards the opponent instantly. Relentless bites, cold strangulation. The giant tiger bit the black snake's seven inches, and the tiger claw swung frantically. The black snake bit the giant tiger's neck, his body entangled the giant tiger tightly at the same time, and then tightened fiercely. The black snake is very venomous, and the giant tiger did not avoid the black snake's bite and then there was a crazier look in his eyes. A burst of white light flashed, and a creak came. The giant tiger abruptly bit down the seven inches of the black snake, and then bit at the snake's head. 
The black snake was also mad at this time, because of the pain and the threat of death. The black snake bit the fangs of the giant tiger's neck, desperately, injecting the poisonous madness into the giant tiger's body, and then frantically strangling the black tiger. The voice of Quack, Quack came out immediately. This is the sound of broken bones. The giant tiger's bones were broken by the black snake, and the number of fractures continued to increase. There was a click. The giant tiger bit off the black snake's head with one mouth, and bit a bit abruptly. Vitality, and then quickly leave the giant tiger black snake. Ye Chen on one side saw this, his eyebrows raised suddenly, and after waiting for a while, he picked up two stones and smashed them towards the giant tiger and the black snake. The giant tigers and black snakes are not dead, but now they have no power at all. After confirming that the giant tiger and black snakes had been hit by stones, Ye Chen was relieved immediately, and then began the great cause of picking and throwing stones. A little bit of time passed, an hour later. The giant tiger black snake almost lost its breath of life at the same time. At this moment, a system announcement sounded in the minds of all creatures instantly. Ding, player Ye Chen kills the 100 level wilderness boss Sapphire Tiger King for the first time, rewards 100,000 gold coins, 100,000 meritorious services, and 100,000 prestige. Ding, the player Ye Chen killed the 100 level wilderness boss Blackwater Mysterious Snake, rewarded 50,000 gold coins. 50,000 meritorious services, and 50,000 prestige. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Fuck. Level 100? Did you make a mistake? I still kill rabbits and chickens. So why did Ye Chen kill the level 100 boss? Cheating. Cheating. Damn, idol, how many levels does this have? This game is also a hammer, Nima, there are cheating people who come up, it's unreasonable. That is, I strongly protest, the game must be fair. Just. Take back all the things that Ye Chen got. Otherwise, I won't play. What's the matter, what kind of game is this? Is there any truth emperor? Let me explain it roughly. Fuck. It's all rich people, you chat and post to the world, the special one is 100 yuan, no, it is 100 credits. Ha ha ha, what I have is money. The world club is now recruiting members, who can fight and rush, are not afraid of death, are willing to contribute, and receive a good salary. On the world channel, there are people who say everything, some who say no to play, some who advertise some who envy, and some who abuse them. Ye Chen glanced at it and stopped paying attention, no matter what he said was useless. Even if these people don't play, Pangu doesn't care. They regret it, not Pangu. At the same time, the golden light on Ye Chen's body finally stopped. This is the light of upgrading. Ye Chen, 3rd Baron. Level, Level 50. Prestige. 150,000. Meritorious Merit, 150,000. Force, 80. Root Bone, 80. Spirit, 100. Fu Yuan, Hidden. Techniques, 9 Turn Profound Art, Shen Xiao Yu Lei Ju. Equipment, None. Money, 150,000 Gold. When others cut chickens and killed dogs and tried to rush to level 5, Ye Chen had already reached level 50. When others were still worried about the equipment and the gameplay, Ye Chen had already come to the front of the two wild bosses. Looking at the two huge corpses in front of him, Ye Chen's mouth curled up, and then he patted the corpse of Black Water Black Snake. In the next second, the body of the Black Water Black Snake disappeared, revealing a gleaming object. The moment Ye Chen saw the item, his eyes shrank sharply. Build a village. At least a diamond level village building order. Otherwise, it won't flicker. Ye Chen couldn't wait to pick up the quaint brand on the ground. Ding, 
congratulations to player Ye Chen for getting the village building order. God level village building order. Damn it. It's really a god level village building order. The order to build a village is an indispensable item to become a lord. Starting from black iron, they are, black iron, bronze, silver, gold, diamond, and level. The diamond level village building order can be directly used in reality, and the god level is of course no problem. As for other grades, special identification is required. Village building order. At first, no one understood the meaning of a true word. It was not until three months later that someone discovered the secret. It was an existence that could be directly used in the real world. Although the cost of upgrading the village level is extremely high, many forces are still willing to invest all of it. Because after three months, the so-called safe zone will no longer have safe attributes. It is useless to build bases or cities with the materials of the earth, even 10 meters thick steel or even alloy walls. Only when the village building order is used, the villages built will have strong defense capabilities. Unexpectedly, he received a god-level village building order. It seems that the challenge of leapfrogging is indeed rewarding. However, if I were not the first to watch Pangu Kaishan, and persisted to the end, I would not get the blessing plus 100. Without the blessing, I would probably not meet the blue-eyed tiger king and the black water black snake. Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and patted the blue-eyed tiger king again with his right hand. The tiger king disappeared, revealing a simple and dark big gun. Ye Chen picked it up casually, and his arm sank instantly. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, for obtaining the innate treasure killing spear. What? After hearing the system prompt, Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, and hurriedly looked at the big gun in his hand. Killing spear, innate treasure, damaged due to the opening of the sky by Pangu, falling into the world, and repairing conditions are unknown. Features, 1. Broken. After use, the soul is bound, cannot be traded, cannot be dropped, and cannot be stolen. Damn it. Ye Chen's eyes widened suddenly. The killing spear is the innate treasure, not a Chinese cabbage. Although it is in a damaged state, it has no one billion in power, but it is not comparable to silver, gold and diamond equipment. Ye Chen didn't even think about it, so he chose to use it directly. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. OM. There was a trembling sound from the sharp gun, and then disappeared. At this moment, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, and the dark and thick, domineering sharp gun appeared in Ye Chen's hand instantly. And the weight turned out to be very handy. The innate treasure is the innate treasure, although it is incomplete. Ye Chen thought about it in a good mood, and when his mind moved, the gunslinger disappeared instantly. Next, it's time to find a place to build a village. Ye Chen looked around, frowning involuntarily. The establishment of a village is a prerequisite for becoming a lord. As a lord, you can participate in various large-scale missions, occupy secret realms, grab resources, obtain massive amounts of money and goods, and obtain various rich rewards, and there are many benefits. Ye Chen, who has memories of past lives, will naturally never miss the profession of lord. Ye Chen in the previous life was a lone ranger, and he didn't even have the qualifications to be cannon fodder. But this is not important. What's important is that Ye Chen clearly knows that all powerful existences are all lords without exception. Even the monsters and the witches are no exception. If you want to live and live freely, whether it is reality or a game, you need strength, powerful strength. The strength to crush everything. Therefore, Ye Chen must use the village building order, whether it is a game or reality, to build his own territory. But at this moment, in the prehistoric game, where Ye Chen was, it was completely unsuitable to use the village building order. Here is the top of the mountain, the top of the 10,000 meter high mountain, even the villagers can't get it, how can you upgrade the village? 
not to mention the massive resources needed to build the village, here, too, there are none. Can you only commit suicide? Ye Chen walked around the edge of the mountain, then frowned. There was no way for Ye Chen to go straight up and down here. No. I have reached level 50 now. Death drop is not terrible. What's terrible is that items will drop. God level village building orders must not be dropped. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's mood suddenly became uncomfortable. However, the unhappiness ended before it lasted for three seconds. Ye Chen suddenly beckoned, and the gunslinger appeared instantly, and Ye Chen immediately stabbed at the rock fiercely. Puff came. The gunslinger plunged into the rock with ease. Really? Ye Chen twitched the corner of his mouth involuntarily, and then went to the edge of the mountain. Glancing at the sky with layers of white clouds, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, then jumped and jumped into the clouds in an instant. After a breath, the gunkiller was called out by Ye Chen and pierced into the rock wall with one shot. The body that was falling rapidly stopped instantly. After a pause, the gunslinger disappeared instantly, and Ye Chen's body fell rapidly again. Time and time again, the gunslinger continued to pierce the rock wall. When Ye Chen came to the bottom of the mountain, he was immediately relieved. There is no need to commit suicide, the god-level village building order will be saved. As for other dangers, Ye Chen didn't think it would still exist. Now that the 100-level Azurite Tiger King appeared here, and the 100-level Blackwater Mysterious Snake appeared here, there could be no beasts nearby. As for robbers and bandits, they are even more unlikely to appear. When Ye Chen turned around and looked at the surrounding environment, looking for a way out of here, he was immediately taken aback. Only then did Ye Chen realize that this place turned out to be a valley. Just before coming down, because of the shelter of the white clouds, it was impossible to see the scenery under the white clouds. When I came down, I didn't even watch it because I had to be tight at all times so as not to lose my hand and hang up. But at this moment, Ye Chen finally saw clearly that this place turned out to be a valley, a huge valley. There are trees in the distance, towering ancient trees hundreds of meters away. Nearly, there are flowers and plants everywhere, and butterflies and bees dance lightly. The valley is not closed. There is a vertical canyon about a kilometer wide in the west, which can leave the valley. Here. No one seems to have found out in the previous life. Ye Chen was silent for a moment, then shook his head, no longer thinking about these issues. However, Ye Chen's plan to leave was temporarily abandoned by Ye Chen. Ye Chen looked around in the valley, and it didn't take long before he saw more than a dozen springs. Five places are in the north, forming a huge lake, and five fountains jump out of the water. Three places are on the rock wall to the south, forming a creek. A small stream is also formed on the hibernating rock wall everywhere. There is a small river at the entrance and exit of the valley. The water comes from the lakes and creeks in the valley. It flows directly out of the valley and merges into a big river outside the valley with endless waves and splashes. Outside the valley, the trees are towering and endless. This is a forest. I don't know how big the forest is. Ye Chen picked up the tallest tree nearby, climbed up, and looked into the distance. Not long after, Ye Chen laughed and laughed very freely. Because the big river flows into the sea, Ye Chen saw the sea, the endless sea. The sea is rich in resources, and the land in the valley is extremely fertile, with spring water, wood, and stone. Outside the valley is an endless forest. The resources needed to build a village can be found here. Moreover, the valley is too big to say, it will not affect the future upgrade of the village, even if it is eventually upgraded to the capital city. The canyon was sealed with a city wall. When the time comes, whether it is a human or a demon, even if it is a witch, don't even want to attack easily. Ye Chen had seen too many fights and too many attacks in his previous life. The three clans of the Lich were fighting against each other and attacking each other for many years and never stopped. Therefore, Ye Chen prefers to make his base camp unbreakable. The valley found at this moment was simply tailor-made for Ye Chen. 
Ye Chen returned to the valley without hesitation. After choosing a place, he took out the village building order. Use. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for establishing a village. Please name the village. Ye Chen was silent for a moment, and then uttered two words. Reincarnation. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for establishing a reincarnation village. In the next second, three thatched houses appeared where Ye Chen was standing, one large and two small. At this moment, the system announcement sounded in the minds of all creatures. Ding, the player Ye Chen is the first to build a village, and the village of Samsara is specially rewarded as the first village in the wilderness. Ding, the player Ye Chen is the first to build a village, and the village of Samsara is specially rewarded as the first village in the wilderness. Ding, the player Ye Chen is the first to build a village, and the village of Samsara is specially rewarded as the first village in the wilderness. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. It was the system announcement again, and the system announcement that sounded three times in a row, the entire predicament was boiling instantly. Fuck, who can tell me, is this Ye Chen's real name? Who knows if it's the real name, but this guy is awesome enough, how long is this? The system announcements are all because of him. Brother Ye Chen, please bring me. The Lung family will warm the bed. Ye Chen, privately message me, what is a village building order, how can I get a village building order, thank you very much. Fuck. Boss Ye Chen, don't be so selfish. Just say it on the world channel. Just 100 credits. After you say it, we will each give you 100 credits. How about 100, at least 10,000, Ye Chen, tell me quickly, as long as you say, I will transfer you 10,000 credits right away. Ye Chen naturally saw the content on the world channel. One by one say 100 credits, 1,000 credits, or even 10,000 or 100,000 credits. This kind of content has begun to swipe the screen. People all want to know the news about the village building order. After all, the real world has changed dramatically, and the prehistoric games are so different. Everyone wants to know the news, whether it's about prehistoric games or the real world. Being able to be announced time and time again by the system, everyone understands a little bit. Ye Chen had information they didn't know and they all wanted to know the content of this information. This also includes those who get the game warehouse, enter the game in advance, can watch Pangu Kaishan, and get complacent practice. Unfortunately, Ye Chen chose to ignore it. Ye Chen is not the savior of the world, let alone a bad guy. How could he tell others what the village building order was for, or how to get the village building order? Not to mention, 9 out of 10 people here are really liars, and they are all people wearing white wolves with empty gloves. Ye Chen couldn't even say it. The world channel was messing around, and Ye Chen turned off the friend function at will, and didn't plan to add any friends. At this moment, three lights and shadows appeared beside Ye Chen. The light dissipated, and two men and a woman appeared immediately. A grey-haired old man, a middle-aged man, and a young girl. After the three appeared, they were at a loss for a moment, and then they saw Ye Chen, and bowed and bowed and said, Farewell to the Lord. The predecessor is that the game is good, and the degree of realism is 100%. However, if you really regard this as a game, you will suffer a lot. At least for now, except for some dead houses, only Ye Chen will take these so-called NPCs in the primordial world seriously. Because Ye Chen knew that the NPCs in Honghuang were all real people, not virtualized by the system. You are here. Ye Chen glanced at the three of them and said gently. Yes, Lord. The three responded in unison. The three of them were the initial characters presented by the system after the village was established to assist Ye Chen in building the territory. No matter who it is, as long as the village is established, three people will be given away by the system. It's just that the village building order has a grade. The higher the grade, 
the higher the grade of the three people gifted by the system. For subordinates, players can easily view the information of subordinates. In an instant, the information of the three of them appeared in Ye Chen's sight. Zhao Hung, SSS level. Loyalty, 90. Politics, 92. Force, 52. Root, 68. Spirit, 82. Zhao Ming. Occupation, General. Loyalty, 90. Force, 93. Politics, 20. Roots, 82. Spirit, 81. Zhao Yu. Occupation, Senior Physician. Loyalty, 90. Force, 40. Politics, 50. Root Bone, 90. Spirit, 91. Seeing this, Ye Chen's eyes shrank sharply. Because of the ranks of the three of them, because of the attributes of the three of them, and even more because of the god-level village building orders. The attributes of the three of them are not inferior to those of some historical figures, especially Zhao Meng, whose force value has reached 93 points. You must know that only historical players will have more than 90 attribute points. And Zhao Meng unexpectedly reached 93 points. Of course, I'm only talking about attributes here. Compared with famous generals in history, Zhao Meng's difference is not only attribute points, but also skills, art of war, etc., various factors. And Zhao Yu is not bad. He is still a senior physician even if his two attributes reach 90. Ye Chen looked at the attributes of the three of them, and looked at them again, and he was very happy. Of course, what Ye Chen is more enjoyable is that the god-level village building order is against the sky. It can actually improve the qualifications of the residents of the territory, and it is two-tier. What this means, at this moment, apart from the system, I am afraid that only Ye Chen himself knows. In each territory, the refugees are refreshed every day, and they are the foundation of the territory. Farming, logging, mining, fish farming, shipbuilding, breeding, animal training, etc., are all inseparable from the refugees. More importantly, soldiers in the army must also be selected from among them. The newly refreshed refugees generally have D-level qualifications, and most of them are F-levels, or even worse. This also determines the initial capability of the soldier, which is very weak. And Ye Chen's territory used the God-level village building order, no matter what level of refugees, they can be promoted to two levels when they come in. This is the advantage, and it is a great advantage. Whether it is construction or the army, the key factor is still people. Everyone else is grade F or grade D. When Ye Chen is here, grade C is the worst, even grade B will appear. Others sent 10 pawns, and Ye Chen only needed one to sweep others' pawns. Thinking of this, Ye Chen felt even better. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Welcome three people to join Reincarnation Village, Zhao Hung. From today, you will be the deputy village chief of Reincarnation Village. Ye Chen looked at the old man and said without hesitation. Zhao Hung couldn't help but stunned. He never thought that Ye Chen would accept him as the deputy village chief of Reincarnation Village. He felt the details of Samsara Village as soon as he arrived. The God Level Village Building Order is not a decoration. Let's not talk about other functions, just to mention the attributes that enhance the qualifications of two levels, it is enough to make Zhao Hung stay in the Samsara village desperately. Because even the imperial city can only raise the residents by one level. Zhao Hung pays homage to the lord. Zhao Hung bowed in excitement. Ding, Zhao Hung is touched, his loyalty is plus 10. Ding, Zhao Heng's loyalty reached 100 he advanced to die loyal, and he never betrayed. Zhao Hung became the deputy village head of Reincarnation Village, and he might become the deputy mayor in the future, and it is not impossible even for the deputy city owner. Moreover, this is not an ordinary village. 
It is a reincarnation village. It is a reincarnation village built with a god level village building order. It is no wonder that Zhao Hung is so excited. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then looked at Zhao Meng and said. From now on, you will command the soldiers in Samsara village. In Samsara village, you are not afraid of your strong ability, but you are afraid of your inability. The stronger the ability, the heavier the burden. But the premise is to be loyal. No matter what you did before. Remember, you will be a member of Samsara village in the future, life is a person of Samsara village, and death is the soul of Samsara village. When Zhao Meng heard this, a glint flashed in his eyes, then knelt on one knee and shouted loudly, Zhao Meng, see the Lord. Ding, Zhao Meng removes all worries, and his loyalty is plus ten. Ding, Zhao Meng's loyalty reached one hundred, he advanced to die loyal, and never betrayed. Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction. Zhao Meng's force value is as high as ninety-three points, and he will become a refugee. If it is someone else, he may not think about the reasons for this. But Ye Chen is different. Ye Chen has memories of previous lives. People like Zhao Meng, no matter where they are, will be used by others, no matter how bad they are, they will be corporal, centurion and the like, and they will even be appointed as generals to command the army. But now, he is a refugee. Ye Chen didn't know the specific reason but he couldn't escape being squeezed out, offending the powerful and the like. Therefore, Ye Chen chose to say that, and made it clear, otherwise, Zhao Meng would not necessarily become a diehard loyal. Ye Chen looked at Zhao Yu at this moment. What a pretty girl! Ye Chen hadn't watched it carefully before, but now after watching it carefully, he was taken aback for a moment, then opened his mouth and said. Halfway through the conversation, Ye Chen hurriedly shut up. In ancient times, saying this to a woman was frivolous and could even be called molesting, even if it was really beautiful, it couldn't be said like that. Ding, Zhao Yu has a loyalty of dash 10. Ding, Zhao Yu has a loyalty of dash 10. Ding, Zhao Yu has a loyalty of dash 10. Damn it! Ye Chen's face became stiff, and the corners of his mouth twitched involuntarily. Nima, my mouth is so cheap. Fortunately. Fortunately, it didn't fall anymore, and then fell again. The senior doctor just ran away. You er, don't be rude. Zhao Hung found Zhao Yu at this moment, and he showed disgust at Ye Chen and hurriedly shouted. Cough cough, cough cough, it's okay, it's me Meng Lang. Ye Chen smiled a few times and waved his hand to indicate that it was okay. As soon as Ye Chen finished speaking, he suddenly remembered something. The three subordinates in front of him were all named Zhao, and they seemed to know each other. Zhao Hang's ability to observe words and colors is very strong. After discovering Ye Chen's doubts, he immediately opened his mouth and said. Master, Zhao Meng is a dog, Yu Er is a child of my elder brother's family, and she also has an older brother but she went to the mountain with her master to study art a while ago. When Zhao Hung said this, he paused for a moment, and then continued, A while ago, the dog killed Chong Shan Zhen Ding. The grandson of the county magistrate, the old man took the dog and you are away from home. After Zhao Hung finished speaking, he stopped speaking, and waited for Ye Chen to fall silently. Kill the son of the county magistrate. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, but he didn't expect that Zhao Meng's family would become refugees because of this. Ding, Zhao Yu's favorability degree is minus 10. Ding, Zhao Yu's favorability score is minus 10, and the relationship becomes disgusting. Nima. Ye Chen hurriedly looked at Zhao Hung and said in a deep voice, I have said before that life is a person in reincarnation village, and death is the soul of reincarnation village. Not to mention that Zhao Meng killed the son of the county magistrate, but killed the emperor. Son, that's also from reincarnation village. Master. Zhao Hung burst into tears for an instant, and Zhao Meng clenched his fists, extremely excited. Zhao Meng swears to follow the Lord. 
Zhao Meng knelt on one knee and shouted loudly with a bang. Ding, Zhao Yu's loyalty is plus ten. Ding, Zhao Yu's loyalty is plus ten. Ding, Zhao Yu's loyalty is plus ten. Ding, Zhao Yu's favorability degree is plus ten, and the relationship is changed to normal. Ding, Zhao Yu's favorability degree is plus ten, and the relationship has changed to friendly. Ding, Zhao Yu's favorability degree is plus ten. Nima, I finally recovered. I rely on, I'm easy, don't I just froze for a while, this little Nizai. Ye Chen secretly breathed a sigh of relief, then looked at Zhao Yu and said, you will be in charge of the medical clinic in Samsara village from now on. Yes, Lord. Zhao Yu nodded and responded. Ye Chen nodded, but he didn't dare to continue talking to this little Nizai. This is a little wild cat, and it will blow up at every turn. Hey and many more. I seem to have overlooked something. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, and then he thought about it. After a few breaths, Ye Chen looked at Zhao Hung fiercely. Master! Zhao Hung was taken aback, and cried out suspiciously. Are you from Changshan Zhending? Ye Chen asked hurriedly. Yes, Lord, the old man comes from Changshan Zhending Zhejia Zhuang. Zhao Hung nodded in response, but the expression on his face was even more confused. Do you know Zhao Yun and Zhao Zilong? Ye Chen asked with bright eyes. He is your brother, old nephew, lord, I don't know. Zhao Hung asked with a puzzled expression. Damn it! When Ye Chen heard this, he became very excited, and when he looked at Zhao Hung, Zhao Meng, and Zhao Yu, Zhao Yu also became cordial. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Zhao Yun is a super class historical player. If he can get Zhao Yun, it will naturally be even more powerful for Ye Chen. Now that Zhao Yun's family has become a villager in reincarnation village, Ye Chen's chance of gaining Zhao Yun's allegiance has naturally greatly increased. Ye Chen was naturally happy. After all, there are historical figures who are loyal, and there are no historical figures. Those are two concepts. With famous historical generals, it will be a lot easier whether to send troops to fight or use troops to plunder. After all, Ye Chen's goal is to grab all resources. In the initial stage of the prehistoric game, each country was set with a different game background by Jinao Pangu. Take Dongfang as an example, the game progress here is three kingdoms. This is a trial and a protection in disguise. It can be said that the place where all creatures stay at this moment is the novice zone. Because the real prehistoric world must reach the transcendence realm before you can enter. And once you enter, there are only ten lives. After ten times, it will be completely dead, whether it is a game or reality. Unless the strength continues to increase, so as to increase the upper limit of the number of deaths. The real prehistoric world is very dangerous, and powerful existences abound. Although the game world at this moment is a novice zone, it is also a place to lay the foundation. The stronger the foundation, the faster it will rise when entering the prehistoric world. Although it is a novice area, there are also many good things here such as Ye Chen got the innate treasure killing spear before. There are still many elixir here. But the elixir is not so easy to obtain, each of them is guarded by various brutal guardian beasts, and it is easy to be targeted by various forces. For example, the red fruit on the top of the mountain where Ye Chen killed the blue-eyed tiger king and the black water black snake. That is the elixir. The blue-eyed tiger king and the black water black snake stared at this, the purpose is to swallow it, and then advance. Unfortunately, the conditions at that time did not allow Ye Chen to take the Xiang fruit as his own, so he could only use it as a bait and throw it out. If Ye Chen fights alone, in the novice zone, no matter how strong he is, it is impossible to surpass the transcendence realm. Can kill a hundred people, kill a thousand people, kill ten thousand people, but how about a hundred thousand, a million? This is only human beings, 
Don't forget, there are also two families of Lich, they are also very attached to Elixir. Therefore, not only did Ye Chen want to become stronger, he must also have his own power, enough to crush all powers. Only in this way can Ye Chen get enough benefits, whether it is the novice zone or the real prehistoric world. Therefore, Ye Chen was so excited after learning that Zhao Yu was Zhao Yun's biological sister. That's a super-class historical star, who can't run in the innate realm. The Lord knows my brother. Zhao Yu couldn't help but froze when he saw Ye Chen's excitement, and then asked. Of course I don't know him, but I've heard from others, your brother Zhao Yun, that's an amazing person. Ye Chen returned to his senses, smirked a few times, and said seriously. Ding, Zhao Yu's favorability degree is plus ten. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, then smiled, looked at Zhao Meng, and said, Menzi, give you a task. But according to the Lord's order, the subordinates will finish it. Zhao Meng stood up all of a sudden and shouted loudly. Okay. Ye Chen laughed, and then continued, Is it possible to build two huts in one hour? Hey. Zhao Meng stayed, but he did not expect that the task given to him by Ye Chen was not to kill the beasts near the Samsara village and clean up possible robbers and bandits. Puff Zhao Yu laughed involuntarily, but soon covered his mouth, pretending that nothing happened just now. Ah what, calm, there will be no beasts here in a short time, and there will be no bandits. Ye Chen glared at Zhao Meng, and then said. Yes, Lord. Zhao Meng was taken aback again when he heard this, and then responded in a depressed mood. Seeing Zhao Meng's appearance, Ye Chen shook his head helplessly and waved his right hand. The mountain-like corpse of the blue-eyed tiger king appeared in the open space nearby. This, this is. Zhao Hung involuntarily stepped back several steps at the moment when the king Azurite appeared, but he was frightened. Zhao Meng stood in front of Ye Chen in an instant, but the next second, Zhao Meng's face became stiff. Shame, this tiger is dead. If I'm not mistaken, this is the blue-eyed tiger king. Zhao Yu glanced at Ye Chen in surprise, and then asked. Yes, it is indeed the blue-eyed tiger king. Ye Chen nodded and smiled. Can you give me the tiger bone? Lord. Zhao Yu asked with bright eyes after getting a definite answer. No problem, I will give you what you need as long as I have it. Ye Chen said without hesitation. Thank you Lord, so I have almost advanced master. Zhao Yu said excitedly. Ding, Zhao Yu's favorability degree is plus ten. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Hey? Ye Chen didn't expect this to increase his favorability. The attribute of favorability, only women can exist. If Zhao Yu's favorability for Ye Chen reaches 100, Zhao Yu will not refuse anything Ye Chen does to Zhao Yu, and he will still feel very sweet. It's a bit exaggerated, but that's the truth. If it really reaches 100, even if Ye Chen said to Zhao Yu, accompany me to sleep, but I will not marry you, Zhao Yu will not refuse 100%. Of course Ye Chen wouldn't be so frustrated. He didn't want others after sleeping. However, the degree of goodwill must be improved, after all, Zhao Yu has an older brother named Zhao Yun. Of course, Zhao Yu himself is also very beautiful, otherwise Ye Chen wouldn't make this idea either. With a wave of Ye Chen's right hand, the larger body of the black water black snake appeared on the side. See if it's useful, then use it. Ye Chen said very coolly. Useful, useful. Zhao Yu was a daze, then nodded in ecstasy. Ding, Zhao Yu's favorability degree is plus ten. With the sound of Gudong, Zhao Hung swallowed heavily, then bowed in excitement and said. Congratulations to the Lord, congratulations to the Lord, since there are the blue-eyed tiger king and the black water black snake here, all of them have been hunted by the Lord the village of reincarnation can be stable for at least one week. Don't worry about the ravages of wild beasts, let alone the robbers and bandits. 
Ye Chen smiled slightly, then nodded. Zhao Hung said that it was stable for a week, and Ye Chen naturally knew it. In the previous life, after human beings established villages, without exception, they all encountered the attacks of wild beasts, the looting of bandits and robbers, and the people who destroyed the village directly. In a place like this with a big wild boss, these two situations will not appear in a short time. Only when the breath of the blue-eyed tiger king and the black water mysterious snake completely disappears, the beast will appear, and the bandit robber will appear. But even if it appears now, Ye Chen is not worried, because there is a Zhao Meng with a force of 93 points in Samsara village. All bandits and robbers are clouds. You are still stupefied to do something and do not go to build a house. You think the Lord really told you to build a house in the future, that is to recruit the refugees as soon as possible. Zhao Hung kicked Zhao Meng when he was looking for him, and yelled. Ah! I'm going now, here's going. Zhao Meng was taken aback, and then he was overjoyed, and hurried to work after he finished speaking. Zhao Meng's strength is indeed not built, and the speed of building the hut is extremely fast. Although Zhao Hung is not young, he is also full of enthusiasm. Soon, two huts capable of housing ten people were built. As for Ye Chen, he went straight to the biggest house. This is a hut with two bedrooms and one living room, exclusively for Ye Chen. In the living room, a golden stone steel was erected there, shining golden light. This is the core of the Samsara village. If it is crushed, the Samsara village will be annihilated. When he came to the steel, the attributes of Reincarnation Village appeared in front of Ye Chen's eyes instantly. Reincarnation Village, a first-level village. Basic Attributes, Territory Stability plus 60, Territory Residence Satisfaction plus 60, Territory Resources plus 500%, Territory Agricultural Output plus 500%, Territory Fishery Output plus 500%, Territory Attractiveness to Refugees plus 300%, Territory Residence Qualification plus 2. Feature 1, Holy Land. Feature 2, Fortune Land. Feature 3, Chi Luck. Feature 4, Soaring. Territory Resources. Stone Material, 100. Wood, 100. Iron, 0. Food, 100. Money, zero. Hiss. Ye Chen gasped coldly. Ye Chen knew about the god-level village building order, knew it was powerful, and knew it was against the sky. But Ye Chen never thought that the god-level village building order would be so powerful that it would go against the sky. The stability of the territory and the satisfaction of the residents have restricted many people's towns from upgrading to cities. Because you want to upgrade from a town to a city, both attributes must reach 60. For Reincarnation Village, this is not a restriction at all, that is, no matter how bad Ye Chen's management is, his stability and satisfaction will never be lower than 60. The attributes behind the Samsara Village are stronger than one. Territory needs resources and population to develop. Someone used gold to build a village in the previous life, but the maximum increase was only 50%. Arriving here in Reincarnation Village, the resources are five times as high as the sky, and the attractiveness of refugees has reached three times. Adding up the two is not as simple as one plus one. At this moment, Zhineo Pangu hasn't exchanged points for communication with game currency yet. In reality, no matter how rich it is, it's useless, because you can't buy anything. This also restricts the development of everyone. And here in Reincarnation Village, although it is also a restriction, don't forget that it has a foundation that makes people jealous. And Ye Chen himself carried 150,000 gold. And the characteristic of Reincarnation Village is the degree of the robber's metamorphosis. It is destined that everyone in the Reincarnation Village will be easier to advance than other villages to improve their understanding, and there is a terrible hidden attribute which will greatly increase the attractiveness of talents, even military commanders and ministers are no exception. Let alone Feudy, although there is only one elixir per month, it is an elixir, 
not a Chinese cabbage. It is an existence that can help advanced innate. For Ye Chen, the more the elixir, the better. As for Qi Luck, it doesn't seem to be very good, but once Ye Chen starts to fight for world dominance, the more territory he lays down, the more heaven and earth Qi Luck will gather in the Samsara village, which can increase everyone's cultivation speed, and their comprehension will follow. Promote. The essence of this game is to become stronger. Therefore, the characteristic of Qi Luck, which seems not very good, is actually against the sky, and it is against the sky to an outrageous degree. The last feature is simply a supplement to the third. Originally, Ye Chen planned to train only a group of subordinates and bring them into the real prehistoric world. After all, it was too dangerous there. If you die ten times, you will die completely. The appearance of this fourth characteristic gave Ye Chen a possibility. You can take all your subordinates into the wild world. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Call. Ye Chen looked at the golden stone steel of the town and village, and exhaled for a long time. Unexpectedly, the god level village building order is so against the sky. After a moment of silence, Ye Chen moved towards the steel. The huge golden stone steel slowly sank into the ground, and then disappeared. Master, overjoyed, Overjoyed. Zhao Heng's ecstatic voice suddenly came from outside. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, then turned to look at Zhao Hung who came to the door. Lord. Sixty new villagers have been added to Samsara village. Zhao Hung bowed and said with excitement. Sixty. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, and then smiled. The attribute of reincarnation village is to triple the attractiveness of refugees. Each village attracts different numbers of refugees, with the least three people and the highest twenty people. For reincarnation village, it was the twenty with the largest number, and then it tripled to sixty. Territory construction does not need resources, but population. The larger the population, the faster you can do anything. Is there anyone with a skill in it? Ye Chen glanced at the distance. The refugees who looked at the Black Crystal Tiger King and the Black Water Profound Snake inexplicably shocked, then looked at Zhao Hung and asked. Yes, the Lord, there is a senior winemaker, and a senior blacksmith, an intermediate shipbuilder, and an intermediate animal trainer. Zhao Hung said with a look of excitement. In order to develop a territory, in addition to population, it also needs a variety of people with skills. Take the blacksmith. For example, without a blacksmith, there is no way to produce weapons or make armor. If you want to get this, you can only buy it. In peacetime, you may still be able to buy it, but you can never buy advanced weapons and armors. In wartime, let alone even think about it, you can't buy it, even the most rubbish. In short, a worker must first sharpen his tools if he wants to do his job well. If the foundation is not well laid, Everyone is restricted by others, Ye Chen didn't want this. Go, go, and see them. Ye Chen heard this, his eyes lit up, and then he walked towards the refugees. The refugees were wearing clothes with dozens of patches, and some of them were even unclothed. There were only two people in decent clothes, one and a half old milfs, and a middle-aged man with a dark complexion and bulging muscles. This is the head of our samsara village and your lord. Zhao Hung hurriedly shouted at the refugees when Ye Chen stopped. See you Lord Lord. When the refugees heard this, their original doubts about who Ye Chen was, disappeared instantly, and they hurriedly bowed to the salute. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then said, Don't be so restrained, I am not a cannibal tiger. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the refugees suddenly felt a lot easier. Originally they were still worried worried that Ye Chen would drive them away if he didn't see them. But now, it seems that the young lord in front of him is not that difficult to talk, and it is estimated that he will not drive them away, otherwise he will not talk to them happily. Looking at the refugee whose face was beginning to show excitement, Ye Chen smiled slightly, 
and then said. From today, you will officially become a member of Reincarnation Village. No matter what you did before, you are a member of Reincarnation Village when you come here. Here, you will start a new life. And it will get better and better. Thank you Lord Lord. The refugees were relieved when they heard this, and then shouted excitedly one by one. Ye Chen nodded, then looked at Zhao Hung. Upon seeing this, Zhao Hung hurried forward and called the senior winemaker, senior blacksmith, intermediate shipbuilder, and intermediate animal trainer. Ye Chen said a few words one by one, calling what the four people said agitated. Because Ye Chen is the lord and they are villagers, Ye Chen spoke to them alone, showing that they valued them, how could they not be excited? Scholars, farmers, commerce, and industry are ranked third in the ranks of workers. They are all workers in this class, so their status can be as high as that. Of course, Ye Chen valued technicians, and others would pay attention to it. It's just that this degree of importance is high or low, and there are not many people who value it most. Old Zhao, go and assign a task. Those who should be felled should be felling, and those who should be farmed should be farmed. By the way, first build the market, I'm useful and then build a medical hall and a blacksmith shop. Ye Chen looked at Zhao Hung at this time. He opened his mouth and ordered. In the third level villages, there were three buildings that didn't need drawings. Ye Chen didn't hesitate to choose the market, as well as the medical hall and the blacksmith shop. The market is a place for trading. Of course, unlike the real ancient times, the market here is a bit super tech. If you buy it, you can get it right away, but it's just a moment of effort. Yes, Lord. Zhao Hung bowed, then took the refugees to the side and began to assign tasks. The Lord, the Blue-Eyed Tiger King and the Black Water Black Snake are too difficult to dissect. Zhao Meng came to Ye Chen's side with a tangled expression at this time, and said. But after Zhao Meng finished building two huts, he ran to pick up the corpses of two huge beasts. As a result, his ghost knife turned out to be ineffective, and it couldn't even break the skin. When Ye Chen heard this, he couldn't help but smiled, and turned his head, and happened to see Zhao Yu next to the two oversized beast corpses. Seeing Zhao Yu's expectant gaze, Ye Chen said without hesitation, Go. After speaking, he went straight to Zhao Yu's side. Wait in a hurry. Ye Chen asked with a smile. Yet. Yeah, Zhao Yu's face blushed for no reason, and then whispered. Look at me. Ye Chen finished speaking domineeringly, and with a move with his right hand, the killing spear appeared instantly. Stabbed the Azurite Tiger King with one shot. Bang Law came. The killing spear pierced the blue-eyed Tiger King's stomach effortlessly. Hey! A voice of suspicion came, and Zhao Meng instantly came to the belly of the blue-eyed Tiger King with his right ear close to the Tiger King's belly. Menzi. Ye Chen asked with some confusion. Congratulations to the Lord, if the humble job is correct, there should be a tiger in the belly of the blue-eyed Tiger King. Zhao Meng looked at Ye Chen in surprise at this time, and said with a bow. What? Ye Chen was dumbfounded when he heard this. In the next second, there was a stiff face on his face. Nima the tiger cub of the blue-eyed tiger king, it. Don't stabbing to death. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The blue-eyed tiger king is a wild boss, level 100, and a spirit beast. Its descendants are definitely spirit beasts, and their qualifications will not be bad. Although spirit beasts are also a member of the monster clan, they are special existences. Able to be domesticated by humans, and after acknowledging the Lord, he will never betray him in his life. The monster clan is different, it is basically impossible to subdue the monster clan, whether it is an adult or a newly born monster clan. Adult spirit beasts can't recognize the Lord, but just born can. This is also the fundamental reason why Ye Chen worried about stabbing the little tiger with a single shot. Not many people have obtained spirit beasts in previous lives, 
because the probability is too small and the success is too low. However, some people still got the spirit beast. Those who have spirit beasts, without exception, can summon spirit beasts in the real world. Moreover, the strength of the summoned spirit beast did not diminish in the slightest. With spirit beasts in the real world, personal safety will be greatly improved. Therefore, the price of spirit beasts has been noisy to the sky. The most trash spirit beast can also sell for a sky-high price of 1 billion credit points. Now that there was a spirit beast in front of Ye Chen, and it was the spirit beast of the blue-eyed tiger king, how could Ye Chen not be moved? Ye Chen hurriedly broke open the blue-eyed tiger king's belly, carefully pulled the tiger skin apart, and then touched the tiger king's belly. Not long after, a little ugly tiger was carried out by Ye Chen. Ah ha ha! The moment the little tiger came out, he began to cry non-stop. Ye Chen checked quickly, and after a while, he breathed a sigh of relief. The killing spear didn't stab the little tiger. It should be hungry. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked at Zhao Meng and hurriedly ordered, Menzi, go grab some female goat and come back and feed this little guy. Before Ye Chen finished speaking, he stopped abruptly. It was not that someone interrupted, but Ye Chen remembered something. The village of Samsara is a hundred miles away, and even a mouse is impossible to appear. This state will continue until the breath of the blue-eyed tiger king and the black water black snake disappears. Lord, the spirit beast is not that difficult to raise. Although it is just born, it can still eat meat. Zhao Yu said at this time. Can you eat meat? Ye Chen was taken aback and was overjoyed, then bit his index finger and dripped blood into the little tiger's mouth. Of course, this was not Ye Chen feeding the little tiger with his own blood, but asking him to recognize the lord. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for obtaining an S-rank spirit beast, Yan Hu. Yan Hu, S-level spirit beast. When Ye Chen saw this, his eyes suddenly lit up, not because of the S-level, but because of the three words behind, it can grow. This is a very special attribute, which represents infinite possibilities, even if it is a beast, it is not impossible. Yan Hu, S-level spirit beast. Skills, 1. Fireball 2. Blazing Fire 3. Tiger Roaring the World 4-5. Owner, Ye Chen. This skill. Who is this little guy's father? Is it a white tiger? How could it be better than its mother, the blue crystal white tiger? After reading all of Yan Hu's attributes, Ye Chen couldn't help but look at Yan Hu in an unbelievable way. At this time, Yan Hu had opened two cute tiger eyes, and then affectionately rubbed Ye Chen's arm with his small head. At this moment, Ye Chen was touched. After a moment of silence, Ye Chen looked at Zhao Yu and said apologetically, I will prepare the body of the blue-eyed tiger king and find a place to bury it. Lord, you are a good person. Zhao Yu didn't tell Ye Chen to continue, smiled sweetly, and then spoke. After speaking, he came to Ye Chen's side and reported Yan Hu over. Ding, Zhao Yu's favorability degree is plus ten. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, then nodded and came to the side of the blue-eyed tiger king. With a slap with his right hand, Ye Chen's huge corpse was instantly received by Ye Chen in the space package that every player would get. Lord, let me dig a hole. Zhao Hung said at this moment. Ye Chen didn't say anything, and walked straight away. Woo 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 woo. The little tiger suddenly choked up and seemed to have found something. Zhao Yu gently touched the little tiger's head. The little tiger was quieter now, but his eyes kept watching Ye Chen's departure direction. The blue-eyed tiger king is a treasure, not only can improve his strength, but also produce a variety of top quality drugs. But Ye Chen chose to give up. Some things can be done, some cannot. Ye Chen has his own bottom line. Since Yan Hu has become his own spirit beast, Ye Chen can no longer do things like peeling the skin and the bones to eat meat. The blue-eyed tiger king was buried in the valley, a beautiful place. When Ye Chen entered the village of reincarnation, the system announcement sound suddenly sounded. 
Ding, congratulations to player Wang Sanshao for establishing a second village, and we specially reward Shengtang Village as the second village in the wilderness. Ding, congratulations to the player Yetame for establishing the third village, and we specially reward Myron Village as the third village in the wilderness. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The announcement was made over and over again, but Ye Chen frowned. In the previous life, the village appeared on the third day of the game, but in this life, it appeared on the first day. In the previous life, the second person to establish the village was a native of M, and the third was a native of R. And now, the second and the third have become country ZS. Ye Chen didn't care about this, what Ye Chen cared about is that at the beginning of this life, the history that should have appeared in this life has been deviated. Butterfly Effect Ye Chen was silent for a moment, and then let out a long breath. History had already deviated from the original track when Ye Chen was reborn, and there was nothing worth thinking about. But Ye Chen still has experience that others don't know. Even if history shifts, it won't have any impact on Ye Chen. Master, the market is ready. Zhao Hung came to Ye Chen at this time and said with a bow. Ye Chen nodded and went straight to the market. It is said that it is a market, but it is actually an open space enclosed by a wooden fence, with a hut in the center. Ye Chen came directly to the hut and looked at the big screen hung on the wall. This is for your trading. The higher the market level, the better things you can buy. At this moment, the goods on the market are all sold by the natives in the game, and the prices are quite high. Ye Chen swiped the big screen with his hand. The above commodities appeared one after another. For 10,000 food, 1,000 gold is spent. 100,000 stones cost 5,000 gold. For 100,000 lumber, 10,000 gold was spent. The iron ore is 10,000, and it costs 2,000 gold. Architectural drawings, taverns, tailor shops, animal pens, private schools, grocery shops, spend 1,000 gold. Just as Ye Chen was about to end this purchase, who thought that a product suddenly appeared in Ye Chen's sight? City wall, architectural drawing, consumes resources X100, and generates a city wall after use. The city wall changes size according to demand and corresponding resources need to be provided. After the city wall is completed, it is 5 meters wide and 20 meters high. The degree of defense is B-level. There are 10 automatic arrow towers on each of the four walls, the attack power is B-level, and the price is 100,000 gold. After seeing this architectural drawing, Ye Chen's eyes shrank sharply. If someone else sees this drawing, they will definitely scold his mother. This is just a drawing of a city wall, and it costs 100,000 gold, which is absolutely crazy for money. Moreover, what the is X100 consuming resources. But it was Ye Chen who saw this thing, the reborn Ye Chen. Without hesitation, Ye Chen directly chose to buy. The architectural drawings of the city wall, which was originally worth 10,000 gold, were bought by Ye Chen for 100,000 gold. Looking at the city wall in the package, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and the corners of his mouth immediately curled up. He was so refreshing in his heart. At this moment, no one knows better than Ye Chen how valuable the architectural drawings with the word true are. This kind of drawing can be encountered once a month in the market, it may be a city wall, or it may be a blacksmith shop. No matter which one the price is ten times more expensive than the original drawing price. More importantly, once you buy it, the price will increase tenfold if it appears next time. In other words, next time the wall appears, its price will be one million gold. By analogy, and then come out, it is ten million gold. In the previous life, the most valuable is the drawing of the city wall. Every time it appears, it will surely arouse countless people's jealousy. When its price is the highest, it reaches 1 billion gold. Then there is the wall that was punched out. But even for the walls obtained by killing monsters or attacking occupied territories, 
none of them cost less than 800 million gold. After Hineo Pangu is open for exchange, one gold coin is one credit. One can imagine how terrible the cost of buying a city wall in the back. Only a small group of people have such financial resources. If you don't have the financial resources, if you want to survive safely in the real world, you must rely on those who own the city. To be precise, it is the people in the game who own and use the wall. After all, in the real world, there are magical beasts everywhere, but they like to eat people, and they like it very much. In the real world, if a village building order is used, ten times the original resources will be automatically deducted. For example, you have a village building order and want to use the village building order in the real world. The resources originally consumed in the game are 100 stones and 100 wood. In reality, 1000 stones and 1000 wood are needed. At that time, you don't need to worry about it in reality, you just need to develop the territory in the game. What is left is to prepare enough resources so that while the territory in the game can be improved, the territory in the real world will also be improved. Very convenient and fast. However, such a territory has an unavoidable shortcoming. That is, it does not have various functions. To be precise, there is no intelligent attack, intelligent defense or intelligent production function. In other words, only use the village building order, do not use the territory of the city wall, and do not have the ability to automatically attack monsters close to the territory. If you want to have the ability to attack, you can only rely on manpower. And the territory that uses the city wall is completely intelligent. All creatures close to the territory attack, without exception. Unless, the lord who owns the wall adds those who do not attack to the white list. Otherwise, whoever approaches will be attacked. It may be injured, disabled, or serious, but it is a direct explanation. If you want to have various smart functions, you can only use various architectural drawings with characters in the game. And this was the fundamental reason why Ye Chen didn't hesitate to buy it after seeing the city wall. I bought it now for only 100,000 gold, and in the back, it was at least 800 million in existence. As for in reality, what kind of reinforced concrete is used to build the city wall, that is just a joke. Three days later, the buildings all over the world were grayed out. Not to mention that no cement was found. Even if they were found, they were still built. The defensive power is just a joke. Such a city wall can't even hold the mouse's teeth, and it will gnaw a big hole in two mouths, which is of no use at all. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen had never thought that the city wall would come across now. In the previous life, the first person to buy this architectural drawing was a second hand. He would spend money if he didn't agree with him, and he would fight if he didn't say anything. And it was bought when Hineo Pangu opened the exchange business a week after the game started. At that time, the man seemed to be trying to show off his power in front of a beautiful woman, and immediately spent 100,000 gold to buy this drawing. Ye Chen didn't know the specific situation, he just heard it mentioned. And most of the people who knew the news gritted their teeth, envy, and hate. After all, 100,000 gold coins can buy something that can sell for at least 800 million gold coins. How can you not be envious or jealous? At least most people do. It's just that in this life, the first person to eat crabs was replaced by Ye Chen. Ye Chen didn't have much money in reality, but in the entire prehistoric game, the richest person was Ye Chen, who bought it for 150,000 gold. Even if it costs 119,000 gold, there is still 31,000 gold. But in the hands of others, it was only a few silvers, which was just a few golds. How could it be compared with Ye Chen? Ye Chen, 3rd Baron. Level, Level 50. Prestige, 150,000. Meritorious Merit, 150,000. Force, 80. Root Bone, 80. Spirit, 100. Fuyuan, 
hidden skills nine ranks profound art shen xiao yu lei ju equipment none money 31000 gold because of the discovery of the city wall ye chen went through the market specially unfortunately there is nothing good and ye chen simply left the market as for the restrictions on the use of city walls in the game say it is big or not say it is not small reincarnation village is currently unavailable at least it can only be used when reincarnation village is upgraded to reincarnation city ye chen bought so many materials at once the purpose is to quickly upgrade the level of samsara village this happened to kill two birds with one stone ye chen went outside found zhao hung gave zhao hung the drawing and gave zhao hung the resources together and he would assign manpower to build various buildings zhao hung is indeed very sophisticated not only did he fulfill ye chen's instructions he also sent people to explore the resources around him my lord there are five mines that have been proven today among them the highest the highest daily output can reach 100000 and the lowest is 50000 as for wood and stone there are abundant reserves here and you can take local materials in the highest daily output it can reach 100000 but there is not enough manpower Zhao Hung found Ye Chen after allocating the manpower, and said with a bow. Yes, I will leave it to you in Reincarnation Village. I don't worry. You will need more effort in the future. Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction after hearing this amount. The reserves are really rich. You know, other people's territories, not to mention whether there is iron ore, that is, there is iron ore, then the output is the highest, that is, 10,000 to 20,000 per day. Although all kinds of resources can be purchased, but sometimes, you can't buy them, especially iron ore. Therefore, no one can disagree with the output of resources in one's own territory. Humble job, I wish the Lord's heart and soul. Zhao Hung bowed in response with excitement. By the way, how are the qualifications of the refugees this time? Ye Chen nodded with a smile and then asked. Lord, those refugees have average qualifications, basically F level, but because of the reincarnation village, they have reached C level. No matter what they do, they can basically learn it, and if they are transferred to soldiers, they will definitely be better than others. The village must be strong. Zhao Hung said excitedly at this time. This excitement is inevitable because Zhao Hung is also a person with vested interests. The attributes of Reincarnation Village are so extraordinary. Joining Reincarnation Village will directly upgrade their qualifications by two levels. In Zhao Hang's view, this is simply a miracle. Ye Chen knew this naturally and was very happy in his heart, but it was also a time of excitement. After thinking for a moment, Ye Chen said, Tell Zhao Meng that he will select villagers and transfer soldiers, but there is a prerequisite, that is, they must reach A in rank. Ye Chen's meaning is simple and rude. That is, the soldiers in Samsara village must be A, grade, and the lowest must be A in grade. To put it simply, the new refugees, before joining the Samsara village, must be at least C level, so that they can be selected and become soldiers. If Ye Chen's decision were known, it would have shocked many people. At this moment, not many villages have been built. Of course, more will be built soon. After all, the village building order is no longer a secret. However, there is one point that no one can change. That is the qualifications of the refugees refreshed in the territory. Basically all RF, C level rarely occurs, and B level occasionally occurs. In other words, if an army is formed in someone else's territory, the rank of the soldiers is basically F rank, even if someone is ruthless and learns from Ye Chen, the highest rank is only C rank. Arriving here in Reincarnation Village, because of the territorial attributes, the soldiers in the army are all A in grade. This is a soldier who has crossed two ranks. Whoever is strong and who is weak can be seen at a glance. Yes. Lord. Zhao Hung was taken aback for a moment, 
then his eyes lit up, and he bowed in response, but he thought of something and hurriedly said, Master, this barracks drawing. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Don't worry about this. It hasn't been released in the market. When it is released, you can just buy it directly. Ye Chen said here and waved his hand, and a gold coin appeared on the ground in an instant. Zhao Hung stayed, but he didn't expect Ye Chen to take out so many gold coins at once. This is 20,000 gold. Look at what buildings are missing, and they come out of the market. Buy them directly. If there are architectural drawings with the word true or other things, buy them all. If the money is not enough, notify me in time. Ye Chen pointed to the gold coins on the ground and ordered. Yes, Lord. Zhao Hung hurriedly bowed when he heard this. Well, the construction of reincarnation village is left to you, I want to leave. Ye Chen nodded and said. Send the Lord respectfully. Zhao Hung bowed in prayer. Ye Chen gave a hum, and then went outside the village of reincarnation, and dissected the black water mysterious snake, and Yan Hu handed it to Zhao Yu to take care of it. Originally, it was impossible for Yan Hu to get close to people other than Ye Chen, but Zhao Yu seemed to be born with a special charm. Yan Hu didn't even resist Zhao Yu. This also saved Ye Chen a lot of trouble. After explaining the matter, Ye Chen returned to the village chief's mansion, then closed the door, and left the game with a thought. In the game world, three days equals one day in the real world. Ye Chen has been in the game for a day, and eight hours have passed in the real world. If he doesn't go offline, he will solve his physical needs, and his body will have problems. A burst of dizziness came, and Ye Chen in the Diamond Game Warehouse opened his eyes. The feeling that seemed to have passed away in a flash, this was the inevitable reaction to leaving the game. The door of the Ding Diamond Game Cabin opened as Ye Chen got up. After Ye Chen left the game cabin, he twisted his waist and shook his neck. Kwa Bang, Kwa Bang came several times. A refreshing feeling came in an instant. Clenching his fist, feeling the surge of power in his body, Ye Chen's eyes flashed with a gleam. For ordinary people, the initial force is 10, a very few people can reach about 20, and Ye Chen's force reaches 80. The function of the star beat is to synchronize 100% of the game reality. At this moment, Ye Chen can declare without hesitation that Lao Tzu is the man standing at the top of the world. Of course, Ye Chen would not do this, and it was only for a while. If you want to stay on top all the time, you can only keep getting stronger, and then stronger, so strong that all creatures tremble. At that time, Ye Chen was really tyrannical. The curtains were opened, and the sunlight from outside shot into the room. Looking around, towering giant trees abound. On the ground, a tall weed covered all the ground outside the asphalt road. Outside the tall buildings in the distance, there were creepers with thick arms. The air between heaven and earth is fresh and uncomfortable. This is the change brought about by the falling meteor. And this change continues until the ground is covered with plants. On the street, there are already many people watching around, curiously touching and touching this, touching and touching. Others have a look of fear. The world has changed so much that their fragile nerves cannot bear it. There are even some people, carrying kitchen knives, clubs, and other things carefully to investigate. Unknown represents mystery and danger. Looking at everything outside the window, Ye Chen didn't show the slightest expression, only those eyes, with a deep gleam, seemed to see everything through. It won't take long for the short piece in front of us to be broken, from the ineffectiveness of gunpowder, from the madness caused by the unknown, and from the fear of death. Because the monster race is about to rise, but also because of human reasons. Ye Chen never thought he was a good person. Even if Ye Chen has the god level order to build a village, and the territory has the attribute of Kyun, the larger the territory, the more the world is gathered, the faster the cultivation speed, 
and Ye Chen therefore changed his original intention and determined to become the emperor and sweep the world. The whole country soars into the wild. Even so, Ye Chen had no plans to save anyone. Because Ye Chen knew it was unnecessary. There are too many intrigues, too many intrigues and too many betrayals in the real world. Sometimes, Ye Chen prefers those NPCs in the game, at least, they won't be too dirty or dirty. It's time to eat something, and reserve enough food as soon as possible. This is the first day. Lizzie now Pangu started to provide daily necessities. There are still three months and two days to buy with credits. It is estimated that in a few hours, people will start to go crazy, because of the food, because of the devil in their hearts. Thinking of this, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and then went to the diamond game warehouse and pressed his right hand. After the stars shone, the diamond game warehouse disappeared instantly, and Ye Chen's finger had a ring full of diamonds. This is a function of the game warehouse, which can be turned into a ring and taken away anytime, anywhere. However, there is a downside to this game warehouse. No matter who gets it, it can be used. In previous lives, because of the game warehouse, there have been endless battles. The blood stains the rivers, and the bones spread all over the wilderness. And the reason is that no matter what level of game warehouse, it can better enhance the strength. The greed and greed in people's hearts, the desires and hopes deep in people's hearts, have been thoroughly drawn out. Ye Chen took a deep breath and spit out a long time before leaving the house. As soon as the door was opened, a scream was heard. Go away, or I will call the police. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, but this voice felt a bit familiar. Walking out of the door, the back of a woman wearing a white dress was instantly reflected in Ye Chen's eyes. Her body was trembling and shaking violently, backing step by step. She was hesitating, helpless, scared, nervous. Not far away, two young men in black suits and sunglasses approached the woman step by step. From their clothing, it is not difficult to see that these two people should be bodyguards and the like. Report to the police? You are here to report, see if it's useful, ha ha ha. One person laughed wildly. At this time, the other person frowned because he saw Ye Chen who had suddenly left the house. The footsteps of the two men stopped in an instant, and the corridor became quiet for an instant. At the moment when the woman saw that the two men were not leaving, she was just relieved, one of the two opposite people said coldly, Get out, otherwise, kill you. Ah! The woman was startled. Although she didn't understand, she nodded and responded quickly, I'm leaving now, now I'm leaving. I didn't say you. One person shouted angrily. A familiar voice came again. Although Ye Chen didn't see the woman's face, he also confirmed the identity of the woman in front of him. XX Academy ranked second among the top ten flowers. The female students of the same level, the same major, and the same class from Ye Chen are prettier than those female stars, and Hu Ziaoyu has temperament. Why is she here? Is it opening a house? Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help frowning. In Ye Chen's memory, Hu Ziaoyu was a lady of everybody, a scholarly family, but it doesn't seem to be the case now. Dirty hidden under the beautiful skin. If it was still a past life, Ye Chen, who hadn't experienced the Great Famine, would definitely have a bit of taste in his heart. After all, this is a schoolgirl, and even ran out to open a room. However, Ye Chen's rebirth naturally won't cause any disturbances. He just feels that a beautiful thing has been polluted, which is a pity. Hu Ziaoyu also noticed the anomaly at this time, turned around to take a look, and then he was taken aback. Ye Chen! Hu Ziaoyu exclaimed in surprise. She naturally knows Ye Chen. Although Ye Chen often goes to sleep in class and wears whitewashed stalls, she still knows Ye Chen. Because she is the monitor. That's right, this knows this girl. 
An angry curse came, followed by a loud shout. Stop him! Two young men rushed towards Ye Chen Chi Chi, one of them also took out a dagger. Ye Chen, run! Hu Ziaoyu screamed in fright. While screaming, she ran towards Ye Chen. When she reached Ye Chen's side, she was ready to run with the scared silly Ye Chen. Ye Chen glanced at Hu Ziaoyu somewhat unexpectedly, but he didn't expect that Hu Ziaoyu would not leave him, and even took him to escape. Hu Ziaoyu suddenly stopped because she didn't even pull Ye Chen. Run! They will kill us! Hu Ziaoyu screamed and continued to pull Ye Chen while shouting. However, Ye Chen pulled out the hand held by Hu Ziaoyu at this time, glanced at Hu Ziaoyu, and stared blankly at the two young men who were approaching immediately. Did you die for Lao Tzu? A loud shout came, and the fastest man was stimulated by Ye Chen's contemptuous eyes, and the dagger pierced Ye Chen's heart without hesitation. No. Hu Ziaoyu's scream came again. Ye Chen frowned, and then grabbed the man's hand holding the dagger. Let go. The man was taken aback for a moment, and then shouted angrily. Ye Chen looked at the man in front of him with the look of a stupid stupid, as well as the man who froze and stopped. That man had never expected that such a quick stab would be caught by Ye Chen so lightly. You know, they are all bodyguards, bodyguards who have been brutally trained. You or him? The man snapped, but he was stunned, Ye Chen's hands were like iron hoops, motionless. At this moment, the man's face flushed suddenly. What? A scream sounded instantly. It was not Ye Chen or Hu Ziaoyu who screamed, but the man whose right hand was grabbed by Ye Chen. Kwa bang, quack bang came several times. Ye Chen released his right hand. I saw that the man's originally good hands were squeezed together abruptly, and the five fingers were twisted like twists. Oh! A miserable howl came from his mouth, it was called a misery. Ye Chen suddenly moved, the abdomen of the man who was howling in a punch. There was a loud bang. The howling man seemed to hit a fast-moving car, and then flew back. He flew a full seven or eight meters, then fell heavily to the ground, and then there was no sound. Gudong came. The man who was still standing swallowed heavily. Big, big brother, we were wrong, we were wrong, forgive us. He knelt on the ground without hesitation, kowtow begging for mercy. Not begging for mercy, he could easily kill seven or eight people himself, and the one who was knocked down by Ye Chen's punch was even more fierce. Normally twenty or thirty people couldn't get close at all. But that person was in Ye Chen's hands, just like Ti Ma's little chicken boy, and he was useless with one punch. Such a person, how can he have the courage to face? Ye Chen walked in front of the man a few steps, and without expression behind him, kicked. There was a bang. The man kneeling on the ground was kicked and flew back, and then landed heavily without a sound. Taking a look at Hu Ziaoyu, Ye Chen shook his head regretfully, then walked into the elevator and left the hotel. Hu Ziaoyu didn't come back to her senses until Ye Chen left, and then remembered something, her little face was suddenly red with anger and she screamed. Ye Chen! You bastard! I'm not that kind of person. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen had already reached the first floor at this time, so naturally he couldn't hear what Hu Ziaoyu said. The front desk of the hotel is empty at the moment. The whole world is just like dreaming, and it turns upside down in one night. It would be strangest if they still fulfilled the duties of the front desk. At the gate of the five-star hotel, a tall weed appeared directly in front of Ye Chen's eyes. Ye Chen didn't feel the slightest weird about this change, nor was he careful to watch out for anything. At this moment, those beasts, insects, birds and the like are not so powerful yet. Although they are constantly getting stronger, and faster than human beings. But Ye Chen is not worried, because Ye Chen is stronger. Walking straight out of the gate, Ye Chen found the bicycle according to his memory last night, scanned the code, 
unlocked, and pushed the bicycle onto the road. In the whole city, there are no weeds on the roads, so it is still possible to ride a bike at this moment. However, in more than two days, this highway will be broken by weeds, and then disappear without a trace. There are squat cars everywhere on the road. These cars have been abandoned, and they are blocking the road. But for Ye Chen, it was not an obstacle. The whole city, outside all the buildings, is covered with creepers with thick arms. Even street lights, billboards and electrical wires are all covered by vines. Dilapidated, desolate and full of vitality contradictions, from time to time surfaced in everyone's hearts. Of course, it is more of panic. Because no one knows why this happened. The world has changed, too much. The road signs disappeared, and the roads are lined with tall weeds. If you are not familiar with this city, you may not find your destination at all. But this is not difficult for Ye Chen. Before long, Ye Chen rode to the door of a large supermarket. At the moment the supermarket has not been looted. Because of the tremendous changes in the world, everything is so strange that no one dares to take risks with their lives. Can only stay at home, waiting in fear. Waiting for the rescue that might come, waiting for the explanation that might come, waiting for their unpredictable guesses. This is the case in the previous life, and there is no deviation in this life. Looking at the supermarket in front of him, Ye Chen didn't feel anything. If you change to someone else, you will definitely take it crazy, grab it crazy. But Ye Chen wouldn't. Ye Chen didn't intend to steal anything, nor did he intend to steal anything. Because Ye Chen knew that at this moment, the whole world was taken over by Ji Nao Pan Gu. No matter how much you take or grab, the corresponding credits will be deducted from your name and then paid to the owner of the supermarket. If the credit is not enough, you can also take it. But in the game, the gold coins you get will be automatically deducted until all the debts are paid off. In previous lives, many people were hoarding food frantically because they didn't know this. If you have enough money, forget it. If you don't have enough money, in the game, it's a miserable one. What's more serious is that you may have taken a lot of food but become someone else's wedding dress. Such things often happen, and Pangu doesn't care about this. To put it simply, at the moment the meteor fell, the human law lost its deterrent effect. Also at that moment, the world restored the ancient law, the law of the jungle. The gate of the supermarket is closed and locked. Naturally, Ye Chen wouldn't wait for any supermarket staff to open the door. With a move with his right hand, a dark and thick, violent gunshot appeared instantly. Wu. Ye Chen stabs the lock on the supermarket door. In an instant, the lock on the supermarket's door was pierced by the killer spear, and then turned into pieces. Withdrawing the killing spear, Ye Chen pushed the door and walked in. Although Ye Chen was not afraid that others would see him holding a sharp gun, he also knew that less is worse than more. Walking into the supermarket, Ye Chen went straight to the food area. 99 bags of rice, 99 buckets of bottled water, and 99 bags of salt, these things disappeared out of thin air with a pat on Ye Chen's right hand. This is a kind of ability that everyone will have, storage. Like the game, there are 10 packages in reality, and each package can only contain one item, and the maximum number is 99. Someone will discover this soon, and Ye Chen has been born again, and he has known this secret that is not a secret for a long time. Unlike the game, in the game, the contents of the package may be randomly exploded, but the reality is directly exploded. It is for this reason that soon after, a group of people who specialize in exploding people's packages were born in reality. No matter what age, there will always be such a group of people who want to get something for nothing. Ye Chen took some condiments, some vegetables and eggs, and then left the supermarket. Of course, the cost of these items was automatically deducted from Ye Chen's account when Ye Chen received the package. As for the meat, Ye Chen didn't plan to take it. He wanted to eat meat, so he just went out to hunt some game. That is more nutritious than the meat in the supermarket now. 
When Ye Chen came outside the supermarket, the city that was still quiet began to become noisy. There are always courageous people. When wave after wave of people found out that there was no danger in the grass, they started calling friends. Seeing the waves of people on the street, Ye Chen sighed. The violence is about to begin. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Riding a bicycle, Ye Chen headed towards the five-star hotel. On the road, you will see groups of pedestrians from time to time. They basically hold some weapons in their hands, such as kitchen knives and baseball bats. Occasionally, there will be a group of people with mountain knives and machetes, these people are basically gangsters. Cars can't be driven, roads are blocked, even if they are unblocked, cars can't be used, and the rules of the world have changed. Ye Chen rode his bicycle all the way, and gradually, more people began to see. Their purpose is actually food. People take food as their heaven, no matter what age, this is the case. No matter how developed and advanced the society is, food will always be a necessity for people. The world has changed dramatically, people are panicked and afraid, but even so, they can't resist the threat of hunger. In this era, especially in cities, the habit of storing food has long since disappeared. People buy it and eat it now, and store food for two or three days at most. Of course, those who cook by themselves will store some foods with a long shelf life at home, such as rice and flour. Vegetables will not be stored. In cities, there are actually many people who do not cook by themselves. The result of this is that they have to go to the streets to get food. Even if the outside is full of unknowns, even if there may be danger outside. What the is going on in this world? Who knows it so badly? This weed grew one person tall on a so-so night, look at the trees, if this is normal, it won't necessarily grow so big in a few hundred years. You said, does this situation have anything to do with that game? Meteor, mutation, game, special, maybe there is a connection. If there is a connection, we can't do anything, it hurts, let alone, the game is really good, high tech, by the way. Have you checked the bank on your mobile phone? You talk about credit points. I saw a group of people say what credit points were in the game before. I checked it out and all my money became credit points. Is the earth kidnapped? Who knows this, but this credit point should be usable. Only God knows what is going on. The voice of the discussion gradually became smaller, and Ye Chen, who was riding a bicycle, gradually moved away from the group of people just now. At this moment, it seems to be harmonious, but it will not take long before this peace will be broken. Until people confirm that the firearms have failed, the chaos will erupt completely, and it will continue. Even if Pangu's Hineo started to provide living supplies, it didn't work. At that time, when people understand the world and the prehistoric games, new desires and hopes will appear and become stronger. Fighting, fighting and chaos will become almost eternal themes. Because of human beings, but also because of the two groups of Lich. When Ye Chen rode his bicycle to the entrance of the five-star hotel, a staggering figure ran out of the hotel. Hu Xiao Yu? Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, and then frowned. Hu Xiaoyu's white dress was stained with blood, her hair was scattered, and her face was full of panic. It was obviously something she was extremely afraid of. Just when Ye Chen thought that Hu Xiaoyu had encountered a violent gang, several squeaking voices came over. Hearing this sound, Ye Chen's face suddenly changed, his figure moved, and he came behind Hu Xiaoyu while breathing, and with a move with his right hand, the sharp spear appeared instantly. Hu Xiaoyu naturally saw Ye Chen too, but Ye Chen's speed was too fast. Before she could speak, Ye Chen had already arrived behind her. Hu Xiaoyu was taken aback for a moment, then started to panic again, and then screamed, Ye Chen! Run! There is! Hu Xiaoyu's words stopped abruptly as soon as they were halfway through. Because she saw the sharpshooter in Ye Chen's hand. 
It wasn't that she knew the gunslinger, but she was very sure that Ye Chen had just empty-handed and had nothing. Although she is now very embarrassed, very scared, very terrified, but she is very sure that she is not looking at the dizziness. Ye Chen ignored Hu Xiaoyu and stared at the hotel lobby tightly. At this moment, a giant mouse the size of an adult golden retriever appeared on the stairs of the hotel lobby. A beast-level mouse. How can it be? Ye Chen instantly confirmed the strength of this giant rat, beast level. Enlightenment, beasts, spirits, monsters, and fairies are the strength divisions of the monster's miscellaneous soldiers. A fairy is a true member of the monster clan, who can change into adults one by one. Of course, they are human beings and beast heads. Their bodies more or less retain some of the characteristics of their bodies. Such as animal heads, such as tails, such as claws, and so on. Ye Chen. Run. Hu Xiaoyu screamed again when he saw the big mouse coming downstairs. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen frowned, but he didn't expect Hu Xiaoyu to leave. But at this time, Hu Xiaoyu was no longer a concern. Ye Chen lifted the sharp gun with one hand, and slammed his right foot on the ground, and his whole body instantly bounced towards the big mice at the top of the stairs. Squeak, squeak. Furious, a sharp cry came out instantly. Ye Chen's movements stimulated the big mice. The three big mice jumped up fiercely and rushed towards Ye Chen fiercely. Rats are timid, but they have opened their mouths and become beasts. This is an exception. In fact, any bird or beast will become extremely cruel after being resuscitated. What's more, at this moment, the number of big mice is not one. Ye Chen's eyes narrowed, and the sharp slaughter spear that was lifted diagonally with his right hand struck in an instant. A black light flashed across. Puff, puff two sounds came out instantly. The three big mice that pounced on Ye Chen, the two at the top, were instantly cut off by the killing spear and they couldn't die again. At this moment, Ye Chen fiercely kicked out with his right foot. With a sound of bang, the third big mouse was kicked flying by Ye Chen. And Ye Chen also rushed forward at this moment, and shot out the gun slinger. Puff came, and the gunshot pierced the third big mouse. Ye Chen slammed his right hand, and the big mouse's body was instantly thrown aside, and then he continued to rush forward. Ye Chen, who had memories of his previous life, naturally knew that he couldn't fight the mice in an open place. At least, before there is not enough strength. At this moment, the more suitable place is the stairs. A beast-level mouse, a size comparable to an adult golden retriever. On the stairs, it is impossible for N rats to attack together at the same time. This is why Ye Chen rushed to the stairs. When Ye Chen came to the stairway, he stopped. At this moment, another big mouse rushed down. Ye Chen stabbed in the past without hesitation, and the big mouse died instantly, and then was thrown aside by Ye Chen. It was another outcropping, and the sharp spear stabbed and flicked again, and another beast-level mouse died. One after another appeared, Ye Chen held the sharp spear and stabbed it out again and again, ending the lives of the big beast-level rats one after another. One or two, when the mice's corpses piled up like a mountain, no mice came out. Being open does not mean being smart, plus this group of rats has advanced into beasts, devouring a lot of people, and each one is full of confidence. And this is one of the reasons why Ye Chen could easily kill this group of beast-class mice. Outside the hotel door, Hu Xiaoyu looked at Ye Chen who was killing all quarters with a dull expression, his expression was incredible. It's not that no one has ever fought with these super rats before, and some even used fire axes as weapons. But it was useless, it was difficult to strike these big mice, even if they were cut, they didn't kill them directly, instead they provoked even more brutal revenge. But now, Ye Chen lightly killed one after another, it was as simple as eating and drinking. Looking at the piles of corpses of big mice, Hu Xiaoyu swallowed with a gudong sound. Not gluttonous, but shocked, 
shocked because of Ye Chen's strength. In Hu Xiaoyu's eyes, Ye Chen was just an ordinary person. But it was such an ordinary person who did what others couldn't do and killed so many big rats like monsters. Ye Chen frowned at this moment, because Ye Chen didn't see the Rat King. Rat King, unlike ordinary rats, it has a unique logo. There will be a pinch of white hair, golden hair, or red hair on its head. What color is not fixed? Get out of here quickly. Ye Chen looked back at Hu Xiaoyu, and then said in a deep voice. After speaking, Ye Chen took the sharpshooter and went up the stairs. I. Ye Chen left as soon as Hu Xiaoyu opened her mouth, and then stopped again. After hesitating for a moment, Hu Xiaoyu still didn't move. She didn't dare to leave. There was a big mouse here who knew what would appear outside. But she didn't dare to follow Ye Chen upstairs. Because Ye Chen's meaning is obvious, there is still danger here. Ye Chen naturally wouldn't worry about what Hu Xiaoyu thought. At this moment, Ye Chen had only one thought, to find the Rat King as soon as possible, and then kill it. As for the treasures that may exist, they cannot be in the nest of this group of mice. If they were there, this group of mice would not come out. When the rat group is dispatched, the rat king will not stay in the nest, it is not safe. Therefore, there is only one result. If there is a treasure, it can only be on the rat king. Because of the game, humans all have packages, as do the demons and witches. So Ye Chen wanted to find the rat king, kill it, and then know if there is any treasure. Tread. Ye Chen went upstairs step by step, the killing spear was in an attacking state at all times. Gradually, a stinky smell floated over. Ye Chen opened his eyes sharply. The Rat King is nearby. The smelly smell is unique to Rat King. It's strange, but the fact is. This is from the memory of Ye Chen's previous life, and because of the memory of his previous life, Ye Chen chose to go directly upstairs to find the Rat King. Otherwise, the hotel is so big and there are two stairs. Ye Chen alone would not be so easy to find the Rat King. The front door of the hotel. Hu Xiaoyu watched around nervously. She was afraid that another big mouse would come out all of a sudden. At this moment, a noisy voice came over. It is the voice of people, the voice of many people frantically discussing. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, Please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. I like the world now, right? Those security guns are useless, ha ha ha. Hey, Brother Black, no one dares to care about what we do in the future. That's it, he's, who dares to refuse, the white knife goes in and the red knife goes out, and he won't be able to kill him. Go, we will take this hotel today and this hotel will be our base camp in the future. A group of people walked out of the grass at the entrance of the hotel, all carrying knives in their hands, some with bright red blood. Obviously, they just killed someone. Hey, brother hey, there's a girl here. The person who explored the path in front said ecstatically at this time. Hu Xiaoyu originally turned her back to these people, and when she heard the sound, she turned and looked over. Fuck. So beautiful. One person exclaimed. Ha ha ha, I'm blessed, come on, catch this chick, you will be your sister-in-law in the future. The man called the black brother waved his hand and shouted wildly. Hu Xiaoyu's expression suddenly changed when she heard this, she turned around and ran towards the hotel without hesitation. It's him, dare to run, chase me. Black brother spit out viciously and then shouted. A group of gangsters chased into the hotel, and then gasped one by one. Fuck. This, is this a mouse? How can it be, how can a mouse be so big? Does he not mean that animals are not allowed to become refined after the founding of the People's Republic of China? What happened to these big mice? Gudong, Gudong came several times, and the hotel lobby instantly became quiet. Why? who is so awesome, killed so many big mice. One person said in shock. 
A rat is a rat, and no matter how big it is, it is also a rat. Therefore, it is so strange that they are killed. When they are finished, they will cheer up and catch the chick for Lao Tzu. The black brother snorted, and then shouted. Yes, big brother. A group of hundreds of younger brothers shouted in unison. Room 202 on the second floor of the hotel. Crunch, crunch. Shenren's chewing sound came out of room 202 one after another. As soon as Ye Chen went up to the second floor, he rushed to line 202 with the sound of chewing. This kind of sound was often heard by Ye Chen in his previous life. It was the sound of wild beasts gnawing. When he arrived at door 202, Ye Chen squinted his eyes while watching the sticky blood continuously flowing out of the ground, smelling the mixed smell of blood and smell in the air. Right here. Ye Chen carried the sharp gun and walked directly into room 202. Where he entered, a giant rat, twice the size of an adult golden retriever, was eating a human corpse. In the room, there are more than 20 corpses, corpses killed alive. This is to prepare to advance into a monster. No wonder, the Rat King did not participate in the offensive, did not direct his men to fight. At this moment, the Rat King with a pinch of red hair on his head stopped chewing and looked at Ye Chen. There was an unhappy look in its eyes, and then it let out a sharp roar. Squeak! Humanity, the existence that was once called fear, is now only worthy of his food, yes, it is food. At this moment, the human in front of it not only was not afraid of him, but also showed a strong murderous aura. It felt murderous, so it was angry. It wants to show the food in front of him a little bit of color, so that he knows what a big rat standing on the top of the world is. Then it stood up and looked at Ye Chen fiercely. Ye Chen moved at this time and walked towards the Rat King step by step. Calm, calm, indifferent, and cold killing intent. Squeak! The Rat King's eyes were instantly scarred by Ye Chen's irritation, and then he jumped and rushed towards Ye Chen. Dead! The gunkiller in Ye Chen's hand pierced out instantly. Puff came. The gunkiller pierced the Rat King's head effortlessly, and pierced out of the Rat King's fat. The Mouse King's eyes were surprised, puzzled, and desperate for an instant, and then he lost his breath. The sound of Dang suddenly came, and saw a piece the size of a grinding disc, which fell off the Rat King in an instant. Ye Chen opened his eyes sharply. Spirit Gathering Array the big grinding disc that the Rat King dropped was precisely the Spirit Gathering Array disc, which was able to gather the energy of the heavens and the earth on its own. Such existence is not only of great benefit to the territory, but also of great help to actual cultivation. It's no wonder that this group of mice can advance to beasts in eight hours. I don't know what level the Spirit Gathering Array is. After Ye Chen thought about it, he flicked it and the Rat King's corpse was thrown aside, then he leaned over and picked up the Spirit Gathering Array. Ye Chen couldn't help but smile when he saw the carved on the disc of Gathering Spirits. I thought it was black iron, bronze, or something, it was gold or diamond, but I didn't expect it to be a prefecture level. Black iron, bronze, silver, gold, diamond, yellow level, mysterious level, earth level, and sky level are the grades of some equipment. On top of that are Ling Bao and his ilk, which ordinary people can't get, and most of them are in the prehistoric world. Spirit Gathering Array, self-gathering energy from heaven and earth to generate spirit stones. The gathering range is a hundred li, and one hundred spirit stones can be generated every day. Ling Shi is a kind of energy crystal, which can be used for cultivation, and can also be used for production in the territory to support the operation of the attack and defense system. Naturally, it is not used at this moment, nor can it be used, otherwise it will attract the attention of all living beings. This is also no way. The spirit gathering range is a hundred li, and it is impossible not to attract attention. To use it, it is also necessary to build a territory in reality, and it must be done after having a city wall. At that time, Ye Chen didn't worry about the demon clan coming to make ideas, and even hoped that the demon clan would come. In reality, 
demons can eat people, and humans can eat demons, and the benefits are not small. But most of the time, the monster clan is stronger, so the people who are eaten are basically human. Ye Chen put away the spirit gathering array, and then walked out of 202. At this moment, a scream came. Ye Chen, there are, hooligans. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen frowned when he saw Hu Ziaoyu who was panicking, and the gangsters who had just caught up to the second floor. There are a lot of people here, and they are still running to the second floor. Of course, no matter how much, Ye Chen is not afraid. Ye Chen frowned, not because of the large number of gangsters, but because of some uncomfortable feelings in his heart. If this is replaced by ordinary people, facing so many gangsters, in all likelihood, he will be maimed or even lost his life. What's more, Ye Chen has nothing to do with Hu Ziaoyu. The only relationship is the classmates, the kind that I didn't say a word in school. But Hu Ziaoyu just came to Ye Chen for help. Ye Chen hadn't spoken yet, and the gangsters who had just experienced the hack and slash had blown up for the first time. I'm paralyzed, I got a big gun from where, and quickly send it to Lao Tzu. Fuck, come here, give grandpa the gun, and kowtow. Coing your head is not cheap, this kid, first blow to Lao Tzu. Before this person's words were finished, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened, and there was a chill. At this moment, Ye Chen stomped on his right foot, and then rushed towards the gangsters. Malgobi, dare to. A just said this, the dark, thick and domineering sharp gun shot into the bastard's mouth. Ye Chen's right hand shook. There was a bang. The head of the pierced burst open instantly. Red, white, sprayed everywhere. Shake is an attack technique that Ye Chen got accidentally in his previous life. It was also by this technique that he could live in that cruel world for five years. But now, Zhen was used by Ye Chen again. After smashing the bullshit's head with a shot, Ye Chen turned into a tiger and rushed into the flock. The spear was full of wind. The head burst with one shot. Picked out with a shot, pierced intestines. With one shot, all five internal organs are fierce. One by one, Ye Chen smashed to death, stabbed to death, and flew away. The corpse instantly spread all over the floor. The gangsters behind were the bosses staring at each other, and their bodies began to tremble involuntarily. When have they seen such a fierce person? No. In their opinion, they were ruthless and fierce enough to dare to kill. But what about the lord in front of you? More ruthless than them, even more fierce, one shot at a time, it was either a headshot, a hole, or it was picked up. Even if it was picked up, its stomach was cut off. Within a few breaths, more than twenty people fell to the ground and died terribly. No wonder these gangsters were frightened. They were frightened, but Ye Chen didn't stop. If it is someone else, you might not dare to do so at this time. After all, the world change has just begun, and the notion of murder and crime still exists in everyone's mind. But Ye Chen knew that it wouldn't be long before fighting would become the theme of this world. Man and man, man and monster, witch and monster, witch and man. Fighting, bleeding and corpses are the subject of the future. Ye Chen was born again and didn't care about this at all. Ye Chen is not a good person, let alone a kind person. In the previous life, Ye Chen saw too many deaths, and saw too much dirty. Gradually, Ye Chen learned how to solve the problem. Without it, just kill. Hostile, kill. Export abuse, kill. Design framed, kill. This is the law of survival that Ye Chen learned in his previous life, the more violent law of the jungle. It's not unreasonable that people are good at being deceived, and horses are being ridden by others. After the great changes in the world, if you still live with the previous morality, then the result will be a corpse. Therefore, Ye Chen at this moment is simple, straightforward, and violent. 
the gangsters began to tremble, then frightened, and then, there was boundless fear left. They looked at Ye Chen's eyes, filled with deep fear, deep fear. They saw death and their future. A mutilated corpse lying on the ground. No one cares, no one looks at it, just such a lonely corpse lying on the ground. I, I don't want to die. A scream came from a bastard's mouth, and then he saw the running away frantically. One person ran, two people ran, followed by a group of people. The thugs were deeply shocked by Ye Chen's ruthlessness and Ye Chen's ferocity. The scene of one person after another being simply and rudely killed was deeply pierced into their souls. Their souls tremble again. Brother Black, who was still in the lobby of the hotel, saw a group of younger brothers, who went downstairs in a panic and ran out, suddenly furious, and then shouted. He's paralyzed, what are you doing here? What about the little girl? However, no one answered him. Those who saw Ye Chen's ferocious side and were still alive had only one thought in their hearts at this moment. Go to his eldest brother, go to him in the future, there are girls and girls, I want to live, as long as I live, I will never engage in the underworld again. Brother Hei looked at the little brothers, rushing toward the outside of the hotel one by one, his face suddenly black. The little brothers were not obedient. If he had been scolding before, he would even punish the little ones. But now, there are hundreds of disobedient little brothers, how can this be punished? It would be nice to have a pistol, but the pistol is simply a waste product. What the is going on? Brother Hay shouted with an iron face. Brother Hay, no. It's not good. A voice came with a deep panic. I saw a pale man running over staggeringly. What's the matter? Hei Ge asked in a deep voice. Yes, there is a fierce man who killed, killed more than two hundred of our brothers. What? Black Brother was startled when he heard this, and then shouted in surprise. At this moment, a dark gun tip emerged from the stairs. The tip of the gun was dripping with blood. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Brother Hay was shocked at first, then he didn't believe it. How could it be possible for someone, and one person, to kill more than 200 people? In Hay Ge's view, this is simply impossible. At this moment, Ye Chen walked out of the stairs blankly. I. I don't want to die. Brother Hay, take care. Hey brother's little brother stammered and ran away. He who didn't believe it, swallowed with a good ong. Murderous, strong murderous, strongly stimulates black brother's nerves. He has killed people, carried murder cases on his back, and has seen many desperados, and he is very sensitive and sensitive to murderous intent. The murderous aura that Ye Chen carried on his body was extremely strong, so strong that brother black actually felt suffocated. Peng, friend, maybe, maybe we have some misunderstanding. Hei tried his best to calm down, but no matter how hard he tried, he didn't help, but he still spoke. Are you their boss? Ye Chen asked. Yes, yes. Brother, there must be a misunderstanding. Hei nodded stiff neck and said. Nima, this murderous aura, how many talents will have to kill? Brother Hei had only one thought at the moment. Nima, what are you doing here? Ye Chen walked towards Brother Hei, and Brother Hei started to sway. He was scared, afraid that Ye Chen would kill him. Ye Chen, who came in front of Brother Hei, took a look at Brother Hei, and then said, Call your little brother back, go and do something for me, if it is done, you can live, if you can't do it, die. There was a puff. Brother Hei fart and sat on the ground, but he was frightened. It was also because he heard that he didn't need to die, and then relaxed, his legs could not support his body. Ye Chen frowned at this moment. Big brother. I'll call them right away. Seeing Ye Chen frowned, black brother hurriedly stood up and said loudly. After speaking, he hurriedly left the hotel. Ye Chen didn't even look at brother black 
so he walked directly to the sofa in the hotel lobby and sat down. Ye Chen didn't kill the Black Brothers, because Ye Chen wanted to ask them to do something, and then formally establish the Samsara village. Ye Chen originally planned to wait three months before using the village building order in reality. Because three months is the safe time set by Zhineo Pangu. Ye Chen can spend these three months to raise resources, and then in the real world, directly create the city of reincarnation. Because of previous lives, many people were occupied by others in the real world. Ye Chen didn't want this situation to happen in his own territory, so he planned to directly create the city of reincarnation and use the city wall. That way, Ye Chen wouldn't be afraid of others' idea of reincarnation city. After the city wall is used, it has an arrow tower that automatically attacks, and that power is not something that humans or monsters can resist. But Ye Chen didn't want to wait anymore. Ye Chen wanted to establish a reincarnation village in the real world now. As for the reason, it was the spirit gathering array just obtained. This thing, the sooner you use it, the better. Spirit stones can be automatically generated every day. Lingxi is a necessity in the future, important for people, and equally important for territorial offensive and defensive production. As for building a territory now, it will be peeped by others, Ye Chen is not worried, as long as Ye Chen has enough strength, any snooping is useless. Ye Chen has this confidence and confidence. Because the star beads are 100% synchronized, and also because of the spirit beast Yanhu in the prehistoric world. Both are indispensable. The star orb can guarantee that Ye Chen's strength will increase rapidly, and the spirit beast Yanhu can summon the real world to protect Ye Chen while he is playing. As for soon, there will be more and more beasts and even monsters in the world. Ye Chen was also not worried. As long as a territory is established in the real world, just like the three-month safety zone created by Zhineo Pangu, there will also be three months of safety time. Ye Chen didn't care if the group of Black Brothers would come back. If you don't come back, Samsara Village can be established, but Ye Chen needs to work a little bit. Today, The sound of walking in high heels came over. It was Hu Ziaoyu, she went downstairs. Ye Chen didn't go to see Hu Ziaoyu, but just sat on the sofa, closed his eyes and rested. In the lobby of the hotel, beast class rats are everywhere, and blood is constantly flowing towards the lobby at the top of the stairs. The breath is extremely strong. Yet. Ye Chen. Hu Ziaoyu looked at Ye Chen with a complex expression, hesitated for a while, and then shouted. Where you want to go, go where you don't need to ask me. Ye Chen said without looking back. For Hu Ziaoyu, Ye Chen didn't have any special feelings. Beautiful is beautiful, but she is not Ye Chen's woman. The two are classmates, but they haven't said a word before. Counting this time, Ye Chen rescued her three times, but Ye Chen didn't feel anything. It's not that Ye Chen is cold, but that Ye Chen has no such thoughts at the moment. The world has changed dramatically, the lich rises, and human beings are in civil war, conspiracy, betrayal, fighting, and cruel. This is the memory of Ye Chen's previous life. Therefore, Ye Chen is wary of anyone and will not trust anyone easily. Even if it was Mei and Yan Wushuan, Ye Chen wouldn't believe it easily, let alone please do everything because of this. At this moment, Ye Chen frowned suddenly. Is the place Ziaoyu said on the phone, isn't it here? An anxious and violent roar came over at this moment. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Satsuki? Are you here to find her? After a moment of stunned Ye Chen, he continued to close his eyes and rest his mind. It doesn't matter whether he came to see Hu Ziaoyu. Ye Chen didn't plan to get to know nor did he plan to get close to it. Even though there are a lot of people here, they are obviously very powerful. At this moment, Ye Chen just wanted to take a break and restore his body to its strongest state. If the group of Black Brothers came back, Ye Chen would tell them to do something. 
If they didn't come back, Ye Chen would go by himself. In Reincarnation Village, Ye Chen didn't plan to wait any more. The sooner it was established, the more spiritual stones could be accumulated. This is a strategic material, the more the better. Hu Xiaoyu naturally heard the voice coming from the grass outside the hotel, and her face was suddenly happy, and she shouted without hesitation. Big brother! I am here! It's Xiaoyu! Quick! Quick! A roar of surprise came, followed by a series of running sounds. Hey! Ye Chen couldn't help being surprised when he heard the neat footsteps. Running can run at such a neat pace, basically only soldiers can do it when they are alive. However, there are a lot of people coming, and there will not be so many public security bureaus. At this moment, no public security bureau can do it, and dispatch so many public security at the same time. This woman has a lot of background. Just after Ye Chen thought about it, a group of soldiers rushed in, each carrying a bayonet-mounted rifle. Obviously, they already knew that firearms were useless and could only be equipped with bayonets and used as weapons. Xiaoyu The moment a burly man saw Hu Xiaoyu, he was overjoyed. Head An exclamation came. All the soldiers raised their rifles and looked around vigilantly. Because the corpses of big mice piled up like hills in the hotel lobby are too eye-catching. It's okay, stay alert. The burly man turned his head and glanced, then said. As soon as his words fell, the soldiers immediately realized that if something happened, Hu Xiaoyu would never be standing here. Each smirked a few times, and then became vigilant. Soon, Ye Chen, who was sitting on the sofa with his eyes closed and rested, was noticed by all the soldiers. However, no one cares about Ye Chen, performing their own tasks one by one, on alert. Xiaoyu, how come you have blood on your body? The burly man found the blood stains on Hu Xiaoyu's body. As soon as he spoke, his nose suddenly moved, and his face changed suddenly, and he shouted in a deep voice. Wrong. He smelled a strong smell of blood which could not be emitted by a person's blood. There were a lot of people, even if he had seen blood, he couldn't help but frown. Big brother! Hu Xiaoyu yelled, and then looked at Ye Chen. After a moment of silence, she quietly told the burly man what happened. The burly man's face suddenly changed when he heard that the beast-class rat was eating people madly. When he heard that in order to save Hu Xiaoyu, Ye Chen not only killed the big mouse, but also killed more than 200 people, he was surprised at first, and then his brows were twisted into a rope. Ye Chen rescued Hu Xiaoyu, he was very grateful, but Ye Chen killed more than one, more than 200 people. He could not imagine what it was like at that time. But soon, he began to struggle. A fierce man who can easily kill more than 200 people, even his head, has never seen him. But now, the firearms failed, and to catch Ye Chen, he could only use force. But when he thought of what Hu Xiaoyu said, he had no bottom. But he was a soldier, a soldier who defended his family and the country. There was a murderer in front of him, and he was a murderer who mercilessly killed more than 200 people. Grasping is a duty, but it is dangerous. Not catching is grateful, but it is dereliction of duty. Hey. Ye Chen, who closed his eyes in meditation, opened his eyes and exhaled for a long time. Ye Chen, who had a strength of 80, had a very strong body, and it didn't take a long time for him to rest. Ye Chen got up, did not even look at Hu Xiaoyu's brother and sister, and walked straight towards the hotel entrance. Hu Xiaoyu's elder brother gritted his teeth at this time and said, Stop. He chose his duty and chose to catch Ye Chen although he knew that this choice might bring terrible results to his soldiers. He still made a choice. As soon as his words fell, the soldiers in the lobby hotel pointed their bayonets at Ye Chen. Ye Chen didn't look back, nor did he call out the gunslinger, just stopped. After a moment of silence, Ye Chen said, Head Hu, sometimes your decision will cause irreversible consequences, 
are you sure you want to do this? Hearing this, Head Hu couldn't help but burst into his heart. Yes, what Ye Chen said was exactly what he was worried about. In this abnormal world, guns have become waste products, and there is no deterrent force. If you want to catch people, you can only rely on cold weapons and fist work. But Ye Chen could easily kill more than 200 people. Such a person's skill was absolutely extraordinary. Ye Chen felt Captain Hu's hesitation, sighed, and then continued. In the future world, the weak will eat the strong. The old laws are useless. More and more people will ignore the laws. All they rely on are their fists. And this time will be very fast. Finally, I would like to remind you, don't be a good person. After Ye Chen finished speaking, he continued to walk towards the entrance of the hotel. At this time, the soldiers stood in a row, blocking the entrance of the hotel, their bayonets were aimed at Ye Chen. Head Hu was thinking about Ye Chen's words, and at this moment, he was taken aback, because he felt a strong murderous intent. Ye Chen not far away, at this moment, seemed to have become a of death in the sea of corpses. The cold, ruthless, unabashed murderous aura broke out in an instant. Get out! Quick! Get out! Head Hu said without hesitation. Having seen the life and death of Head Hu, I never thought that someone would be so terrible. Head Hu had never encountered that terrifying murderous intent. It wasn't the murderous aura gathered by killing one or a hundred people, it was the murderous aura gathered by killing countless talents. Domineering and ruthless, it causes blood to coagulate and causes cardiac arrest. From the soldiers who blocked Ye Chen's body began to tremble and tremble, you could see how terrifying Ye Chen's murderous aura was. Head Hu is very sure that if he does not give orders and clear the way, then the result will be miserable, and they are the miserable party. At this moment, outside the hotel gate, the soldier who did not enter the hotel suddenly shouted. Stop! Who is it? The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen took Zhao Erhe and the others, and went straight to the place where he got the star orb. Here, towering giant trees are already overgrown, and the surrounding area is even more overgrown with weeds. Clean up all the trees and weeds here. Ye Chen pointed to the edge of the lake before speaking. When Zhao Erhe and the others heard this, they opened their mouths suddenly. Where Ye Chen was pointing, at the moment there were tall trees, overgrown weeds, and the entire virgin forest. How long did it take to get there? What's more, at this moment, those logging tools can't be used anymore, relying solely on manpower, they shouldn't be exhausted. Just when the gangsters regretted coming over, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, and the killing spear appeared instantly. All of a sudden, Zhao Erhe and others were frightened. Just when they thought that Ye Chen was going to kill a few people and teach them a lesson, Ye Chen went to the forest. Gunk Iller shot across the ground shot after shot. A big tree fell to the ground instantly. Within a few seconds, it was another tree. Gudong, Gudong came a series of noises. The gangsters swallowed heavily one by one. Black, brother Black, yet, yeah, boss yet, yeah, too, too fierce. A bully stared at the big trees that fell on the ground with a dull expression, and stammered. Difficult. No wonder. Boss Yet is so powerful. A said with a lingering fear, thinking of the scene where Ye Chen cut them as vegetables. Boss Yet, how come you beckon? A said at this moment. Bang Zhao Erhe slapped the bastard's face fiercely, and then said fiercely. Malgobis, shut up. What can you say about boss yet? Ah. Uh, I. I was wrong. The who was drawn was taken aback for a moment, and then fell out of his mind, and sat on the ground with a puff. He was so scared because he told Ye Chen's secret. Speaking so bluntly, if Ye Chen thinks that he wants to spy on something, and then anger him, there will only be one fate for him, and that is death. As for the involvement of others, he does not care. But if he dies, 
it is not what he wants to see. Therefore, he was very scared, his teeth trembled in fear, and his whole body was trembling. You can do it too, if you have played a wild game before. Ye Chen's voice came over at this time. Zhao Erhe was taken aback first, and then he was ecstatic. The ecstasy was because he didn't have to worry about being implicated by that little brother, and even more because he knew a secret. Although this secret is not a big secret, Zhao Erhe felt that it was a signal. As long as he can follow Ye Chen, he must know more about the secrets of this world than others. Ye Chen is too tough and mysterious. This is how Zhao Erhe feels. Otherwise, Ye Chen would not call them to the forest park to clean up the trees and weeds. The gangsters heard this, some people were confused, some were clever, and the clever ones started to experiment directly, and then they yelled. Because it's amazing, because I never thought about it. Ye Chen didn't care about what these thugs thought, and didn't care what they thought. Originally, Ye Chen never thought about reusing these people. Of course, Ye Chen would use it for those who are desperate to be a little brother. But for these people, Ye Chen didn't think they had the determination to be his little brothers. Especially when they understand all the secrets of the game, it is even more impossible. Human desires and hopes are endless, regardless of class, knowledge, or money. Everyone has desires and hopes, everyone wants to be strong, everyone wants to have everything. However, most people have never thought about it. Sometimes, ideas are just ideas. Ye Chen asked these gangsters to do things because Ye Chen didn't want to be too troublesome. In reality, the ability to package can also be used, and each item can be stored up to 99. Trees are easy to collect, but weeds are not good. It's not that weeds can't be collected, but if you receive it in the package, you can only collect 99. It's better to just take it away, so more. And this is why Ye Chen asked them to do things. As for the possible leakage of secrets in Reincarnation Village, Ye Chen didn't worry at all. Because this is not a secret place, it will be discovered soon. Even more because no one could not be discovered by Yan Hu when he was close to the village of Samsara for a kilometer. A little bit of time passed, Ye Chen knocked down a large area of trees, until Ye Chen cleared a large enough place, Ye Chen stopped. The gangsters then began to clean up the trees and weeds in this area. Ye Chen sat on the bench by the lake, closing his eyes to rest. After the trees and weeds were cleaned up, half an hour had passed. Zhao Erhe brought the gangsters to the vicinity of Ye Chen, and shouted, Big brother, the work is finished. Ye Chen opened his eyes and glanced at Zhao Erhe, then got up and walked towards the cleared open space. Arriving in the open space, Ye Chen's thoughts moved, and a mechanical sound instantly sounded in Ye Chen's mind. Ding, a god-level village building order is detected, owner, Ye Chen, used in the game, village name, reincarnation, do you use the god-level village building order in reality? Use. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. A colorful ray of light instantly appeared from the god-level village building order, and then disappeared. At this moment, three huts, one large, two small, appeared beside Ye Chen out of thin air. When Zhao Erhe and others saw this, they rubbed their eyes involuntarily. They were convinced that just now, it was just a clearing, but now, Suddenly three huts, one large, two small, appeared. It is impossible to conjure, that requires props. This appears on the ground and cannot be done by tricks at all. Could it be that? Boss Ye put three huts in the parcel. Hey? Yes, it must be the case. The package can collect items. You see, there are only three huts. It must be easy to install. But. What did Mr. Ye do with three huts? Ye Chen heard the gangster's comments, but Ye Chen couldn't explain it, and there was no need for it. There are a lot of secrets in the game. If the package is not counted, this will be tested out soon, but Ye Chen will not say anything else. Whatever is selfless, 
what is for humanity, and then tells the secret, it is cheating. Ye Chen would not do this. The reason is simple. The reborn Ye Chen knows more about people's greed, greed, and endless desires and hopes than anyone else. The experience in the previous life made Ye Chen see too much ugly human nature. Ye Chen was pretty sure that as long as he told the secrets of the game, the first occupied territory was the village of Samsara. Ye Chen is strong right now, but not yet strong enough to ignore 10,000, 100,000. Even if there were a hundred people, if someone used a crossbow, Ye Chen might be killed. Although this chance is not great. Therefore, Ye Chen would not say. He glanced at his own Samsara village, to be precise, glanced at the three huts. Ye Chen turned and walked towards Zhao Erhe and others. Big brother. Zhao Erhe and others hurriedly shouted when Ye Chen came over. Ye Chen's fierceness, it hasn't been long since the gangsters are afraid, it is inevitable. You can leave now. As a reward for helping me, I will remind you to go to the new development zone in two days. Ye Chen said blankly as he looked at Zhao Erhe and the others. When Zhao Erhe and others heard this, they all stunned. This script is a bit wrong. In their minds, Ye Chen asked them to do something, and it should have planned to accept them as little brothers. But it turned out that it was not the case. Zhao Erhe looked at Ye Chen with some doubts. Just about to speak, he shuddered abruptly, and instantly suffocated his stomach when he wanted to say something. He saw a pair of emotionless eyes, which were full of indifference to life and accustomed to death. Zhao Erhe has a feeling that as long as he speaks, the next second is his death date. Yes, brother, let's go now. Zhao Erhe tried his best to stabilize the heart of the sudden riot, swallowed heavily, and then spoke. Ye Chen nodded, then turned and walked towards the hut. Zhao Erhe glanced at Ye Chen's back, his face uncertain. Originally, he made up his mind to follow Ye Chen, but now, Ye Chen won't accept them. This is something that Zhao Erhe is unacceptable. Anyhow, he was once the boss of the party. However, he dared not express his dissatisfaction, even a little voice. Because Ye Chen is a murderous god, who regards human life as a stubborn, cruel, and tyrannical. He didn't want to die, so he had to leave. In the end, Zhao Erhe left with the gangsters. After Ye Chen returned to the hut, his mind moved. A vortex of stars appeared out of thin air, and then a little tiger with fiery red hair came out of it. The moment it came out, it was taken aback, and then ran to the side of Ye Chen's trouser legs, and touched Ye Chen's trouser legs affectionately. Ye Chen's cold expression disappeared in an instant, he leaned over and touched Yan Hu's little head, and said. The safety is up to you. Don't run around, just do activities in Samsara village. Don't attack people at will. Someone comes. Tell me, if anyone dares to attack you, kill him. Wow. Yan Hu nodded his head and let out a still naive roar. Yan Hu is a spirit beast and the king of spirit beasts. He was born with skills and very high intelligence. Ye Chen naturally understood what Ye Chen said. Ye Chen smiled slightly, patted Yan Hu's head, and then pressed the diamond ring on his finger. The stars shone, the light dissipated, and the diamond level game warehouse appeared in the house. Ye Chen walked straight to the diamond level game cabin, opened the cabin door, and lay in. After the game compartment was closed, Ye Chen came to the game again. At this moment, Yan Hu trod to the side of the diamond level game chamber, curled up into a ball, and fell into a deep sleep like a kitten. However, judging from its constantly shaking ears, it is not really sleeping, but listening to the movement outside. Game World, Reincarnation Village, Village Chief's Mansion A beam of light suddenly appeared in the bedroom of the Village Chief's Mansion. The beam of light dissipated, and Ye Chen opened his eyes. Ding, congratulations to the player, God Dog Erha, the tenth place to establish a village, and the special reward of God Dog Village as the tenth village in the wild. Ye Chen, who heard this system announcement, was stunned. God Dog Too High? Damn it! 
how could this build a village so quickly? The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. To say that the past life impressed Ye Chen the most, besides those strong, there were two others. One is the second person among human beings, who buys and buys if they don't agree with each other, and does it if they don't say anything. Talking too, doing business too, but luck is so good. The second place is this dog. The dog Urha is not a human being, but a member of the monster race, which is different from most monster races. After it was resuscitated, it did not leave its owner, but regarded itself as its owner's husband. To put it simply, Urha, the dog, performed a cross-racial love with its owner, the content of which is beyond description. This is not the key, the key is, the dog Urha, what is special is a breed of dog. Regardless of whether it is a human or a monster race, anyone who is attracted by it will it over and do it, do it, and drive away the next day. Otherwise its owner, the young woman, would castrate him. Although Urha is very strong, he does spoil the young woman very much. These are still trivial things. The most shocking thing is that it hardened the demon king Kishan's daughter. Until Ye Chen's rebirth, the dog Urha was still chased and killed by countless monsters. Of course, this is not to say that the dog Urha is close to humans. He is not close to humans, except for his master, except for those beautiful women, others are either robbed by him or eaten by him. He also often sap, whether in the game or in reality, it is hard to defend against. And all this was told by the young woman owner of the dog Urha. In addition, the luck of the dog Urha was also so good that he quickly rose up, and he was powerful and a headache. I hate him, but I can't kill him. I want to design, but I fail many times. The World Channel, at this moment because of the announcement of this dog Urha, began to boil. Fuck, this guy is awesome, he actually got such a name. Nima, I'm so ridiculous, some people call this. Wang Guang Guang, Erha, be good, eat your back. Humph, stupid human beings, tremble, tremble, I am the great king Erha, a dog determined to stand on top of the world. Fuck, he said he was fat, Nima, this is so funny. Chow, it's really funny. It's unreasonable, such a funny comparison, it can be the tenth village to be built. Ye Chen took a look, and then he didn't pay attention, and the attention was useless. Monster races can also build villages, but unlike humans, their villages are all beasts. On the battlefield in the future, you will often see an army composed of tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of pure beasts, that is, the army led by the lords of the monster race. Right now Ye Chen had only one thing to do, to improve his strength as soon as possible. Because soon, the first historical plot will open. And the birds and beasts on earth, which are also players, will also start attacking all humans at that time. Both the players and the natives in the game are their targets. For them, human flesh and blood is the best trophy. The chaos in the game world will officially start at that moment. Ye Chen didn't care about the Yeazu, because in the entire game world, the Yeazu had always been the opposite of the human race, and there was very little bloodlessness in meeting. Therefore, it is useless to care, it is a long-term opponent. Ye Chen cares about the historical plot, the Yellow Turban Uprising. In the previous life, Ye Chen could only secretly kill some Yellow Turbans, earn points for meritorious service, and fish for some pitiful explosions. Then, there is no more. In this life, Ye Chen didn't want to miss it anymore. He Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and then left the village chief's mansion. When he came outside, Ye Chen couldn't help but stunned. Everywhere you enter, there are busy villagers from Samsara village. Those who carry timber, pull stones, transport iron ore, carry hose, and come and go are very lively. Obviously, the number of villagers in Reincarnation Village has increased again. In addition to busy villagers, there are many more buildings in Samsara Village. 
taverns, tailor shops, animal pens, private schools, grocery stores, blacksmith shops, and medical halls have all been built. There is a large barracks in the distance, and two energetic soldiers are standing guard at the door. Seeing the reincarnation village completely changed, Ye Chen was very satisfied. At this time, Ye Chen didn't think that others could develop faster than himself. After all, Pangu's Hineo has not yet opened a money exchange business. In the game, there is only one person among the richest players at this moment, and that is Ye Chen. Therefore, the rapid development of the Samsara village at this moment is inevitable, and no one can surpass it. Farewell to the Lord. Zhao Hung ran over at this moment and bowed to meet the courtesy. Ye Chen nodded, smiled, and asked, Where is Zhao Meng? Enlighten the Lord, In Yuzi is taking the newly elected soldiers to train in the barracks. Zhao Hung said hurriedly. Yes, training can't be relaxed. By the way, how many soldiers are there in Samsara village now? Ye Chen smiled slightly and said. Master Qi, so far, there have been twelve people. Zhao Hung bowed in response. Twelve people. Ye Chen sighed, and then continued, Twelve people are just twelve people. Soldiers are more expensive than elites, not more expensive. The Lord is farsighted, and Samsara village will be world famous. Zhao Hung said sincerely. How long did it take before the Samsara village was able to screen out twelve soldiers, all of whom were all C ranks? To be precise, after the bonus of Samsara village, all A, grade. If I change to another village, I'm afraid it is only F grade, and D grade is considered good. Those villages are nothing compared to Samsara village. When Ye Chen heard this, he couldn't help but smile, as he was about to ask about other things, an exclamation suddenly came. Ziyahu, where is Ziyahu? The voice came from the hospital, and it was Zhao Yu who spoke. Zhao Yu rushed out of the hospital, preparing to look for the spirit beast Yanhu, but he happened to see Ye Chen, and suddenly shouted anxiously. Master, Ziyahu is gone. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. While talking, Zhao Yu actually choked up. Looking at Zhao Yu's eyes with teardrops, Ye Chen hurriedly explained, Little Tiger has come to my world to protect me. Ye Chen is a player. For an existence like a player, the natives of this world automatically default to people like Ye Chen as the chosen of heaven. Zhao Yu was shocked when he heard this, and Zhao Hung on one side was also shocked. Master! Zhao Yu stopped crying, and hurried to Ye Chen's side, exclaiming in surprise. Ding! Zhao Yu's loyalty reaches 100, and he is a diehard loyal. The system prompt sounded, and Ye Chen couldn't help being taken aback. At this moment, Zhao Hung anxiously got angry and shouted at the barracks, Menzi! Get out! There was a loud bang. Zhao Meng, carrying the Gitu knife, jumped out of the barracks in an instant. When he landed, he slammed on the ground and rushed towards Zhao Hung. Old. Lord. Zhao Meng originally wanted to call Dad, but when he saw Ye Chen, he was taken aback. The Lord is in danger, hurry up, go to the Lord's world. Zhao Hung shouted anxiously. Okay. I'm here. Zhao Meng said this his face suddenly stiff. What are you doing in a daze? Zhao Hung just kicked in the past and kicked Zhao Meng's egg. Father, I, I don't know how to get there. Zhao Meng's face flushed, and finally came this sentence. When Zhao Hung heard this, his face suddenly stiffened. People in the game world know that the player is in another world, which is not surprising. It can also reason backwards whether the player can come to this world, can they also go to the player's world? Then, when the question was formally posed, the answer came out. They don't know how to get there. Of course, there are not many natives who have this idea, and only those with S-level qualifications or above will have such an idea. Looking at the three people with nervous expressions, Ye Chen couldn't help but warm up. 
This is the fundamental reason why Ye Chen prefers people in this world. Once he becomes a diehard, then there will be no betrayal. Unlike the real world, diehards will never show up. People always live around benefits. Perhaps, because of benefits, in the next second, former friends, brothers and even women will give you a knife behind their backs. Well, my world is just a bit dangerous, and it's not the time to survive. Even if it's time, I can't take you there now, because there is still a lack of key items. When I have the opportunity, I will take you there. Ye Chen retracted his thoughts and said with a smile. My lord, what else is missing, let me get the humble position. Even if I lose the life of the humble position, the humble position will not hesitate. Zhao Meng knelt on one knee and shouted in a deep voice without saying anything. That thing is not so easy to get. If you want to help me, you can train your troops hard and then conquer the quartet. Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, then patted Zhao Meng's shoulder heavily and said. Yes. Lord. Zhao Meng was silent for a moment, and then replied in a deep voice. Master, but... Zhao Hung said with a nervous expression, before he could finish his words, Ye Chen raised his hand to stop him. Developing Samsara village well, this is the greatest help to me. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then said. Yes. Lord. The old man is so crushed that he will not hesitate. Zhao Hung clasped his fists and bowed in response. Master, I, what can I do? Zhao Yu asked anxiously at this time. She also wanted to help Ye Chen, but she didn't know what she could do for Ye Chen. Study the medical skills well. From now on, the soldiers and the villagers in Samsara village will need you to treat them. Ye Chen looked at Zhao Yu and said gently. But, but. Zhao Yu was a little anxious. In her opinion, studying medical skills would not help Ye Chen at all. Because Ye Chen is dangerous in the real world, medical skills can't help at all. Well, don't think too much, medical skills are also very useful, and very useful, think about it, if Zhao Meng gets sick and there are enemies outside, then how can Zhao Meng lead the soldiers to fight? Ye Chen saw Zhao Yu was suspicious of horns, and hurriedly explained. Lord! A humble job can lead soldiers to fight even if you are sick. Zhao Meng let out a bang, and another one fell on one knee and shouted loudly. Nima! Ye Chen's face was stiff, and he gave Zhao Meng an angry look, but Zhao Hung directly kicked Zhao Meng's egg and pulled Zhao Meng away. Lord! As soon as Zhao Yu spoke, Ye Chen stopped Zhao Yu's words by raising his hand, and then said. I'll be called Big Brother from now on, the Lord shows too much life. When Zhao Yu heard this, he stayed for a while, and then his face turned red. At exactly this moment, Ye Chen showed aggressive eyes. Zhao Yu saw that her little face became even redder, turned around, and ran away with her face covered. Ding! Zhao Yu's favorability degree is plus 10. Ding, Zhao Yu's favorability degree is plus 10. Ding, Zhao Yu's favorability degree is plus 10. Ding, Zhao Yu's favorability reached 100, advanced to close and close. After hearing the system prompt, Ye Chen was taken aback. Originally, what Ye Chen thought was that with this method, Zhao Yu would not continue to struggle with the issue of helping Ye Chen but the result was beyond Ye Chen's expectations. This can be considered unintentional. It is about closeness and closeness. If Ye Chen took Zhao Yu to sleep now, Zhao Yu would not refuse, and would be 100% obedient. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile. It is cool to make a mistake. Originally, Ye Chen was still having a headache on how to increase his favorability and how to increase his loyalty. It's all right now, it's full at once. Ye Chen looked at Zhao Yu's back for a while, and then went straight to Zhao Heng's house. When Ye Chen arrived, Zhao Meng was being trained by Zhao Hung. There was no way, 
Zhao Meng was too insightful. He didn't even realize that Ye Chen wanted to calm Zhao Yu's heart, and he said so brazenly that he could lead soldiers in battle even if he was sick. Lord! Zhao Hung was stunned when he saw Ye Chen coming, and Zhao Heng Shun's broom was thrown aside by Zhao Meng. Zhao Meng stood on the side with a flushed face, bowed his head and said nothing. No way, it's weird that I'm such a big person, and I'm still stunned with a broomstick, and it's weird not to blush. Ye Chen smiled and nodded, then looked at Zhao Meng, and said, Zhao Meng, train soldiers as soon as possible. Five days later, he will go out and clean up the bandit camps and gangster camps that may appear around him. Clean it up. Because of the blue-eyed tiger king and the black water black snake, no beasts will appear around Samsara village. Even the bandits and bandits will not appear. But at this moment, they were all killed by Ye Chen, and they could only give Samsara village seven days of safety. Later, these things will still be refreshed. If it is not dealt with in time, it will be very threatening to the villagers who go out to work in Reincarnation Village. Zhao Meng was worried about not getting off the steps. Hearing this, he shouted loudly without hesitation, Yes! A humble duty to complete the task. After Zhao Meng finished speaking, he looked at Zhao Hung and shouted, Father, the Lord has a mission, I will return to the barracks first. After speaking, without giving Zhao Hung a chance to speak, Teng Teng ran away in big strides. Lord! Zhao Hung twitched the corner of his mouth, then looked at Ye Chen helplessly and called out. Ahem, Lao Zhao, the blacksmiths and winemakers of Reincarnation Village, do they have any special products? I mean, do they have any special crafts? Ye Chen coughed, not intending to continue on the question of Zhao Heng's godson. And then asked. Zhao Hung heard Ye Chen's question and hurriedly said, Master, the old man asked the two masters. The blacksmith used to be an apprentice in the imperial city, but he didn't have any unique skills, and the winemaker did not either. Ye Chen frowned involuntarily when he heard this. But this did not exceed Ye Chen's expectations. After all, the game will not directly give you a winemaker or blacksmith with special product skills. I can't rush this. No, I can only get it. With the territory of special products, it is the territory of Rijindijin. With money, more and more money, can we develop territory faster, whether it is games or reality? This is exactly why Ye Chen came to ask Zhao Hung. Okay, I see, the construction of Reincarnation Village should not stop. Also, always pay attention to the market. If you have any good things, just buy them directly, as long as they are helpful to Reincarnation Village. Ye Chen sighed. Then he spoke. Yes, Lord. Zhao Hung bowed in response. Ye Chen nodded, and then returned to the village chief's mansion. Ye Chen, 3rd Baron. Level, Level 50. Prestige, 150,000. Meritorious Merit, 150,000. Force, 80. Root Bone, 80. Spirit, 100. Fu Yuan, Hidden. Techniques, 9 Turn Profound Art, Shen Xiao Yu Lei Ju. Equipment, None. Money, 11,000 Gold. The game is not just a game, Ye Chen clearly understands that, therefore, the Kung Fu cannot be left behind. However, when Ye Chen started to practice, his face suddenly became dark. Shen Xiao Yulei was definitely not something Ye Chen could practice now. If you want to cultivate, you must at least enter the transcendence realm. But soon Ye Chen smiled triumphantly. Rank 9 profound art can be practiced now, and as long as there is enough elixir and sufficient spiritual energy, Ye Chen can completely attack the innate quickly, and then break through the transcendence realm and enter the prehistoric famine. To put it simply, the difficulties that exist in the innate and transcendence realm do not exist at all for Ye Chen, who is practicing the nine ranks profound art. The emergence of an advanced barrier, breaking it with force, this is the overbearing aspect of the nine ranks profound art. However, 
Ye Chen's face suddenly went black when he thought of the poor reserve of elixir in the novice area. Yes, go grab it if it's not enough. Thinking of this, Ye Chen began to practice nine ranks profound art. Time passed day by day. Ye Chen usually went to Zhao Yu when he finished his practice. At the beginning, he pulled his hand and talked about love. I kissed my little cheek at the back, and then I touched it up and down, just barely breaking through the last layer. Ye Chen lived a chic life, but others in the game were in dire straits and heat. Ding, Fenjiun village was captured by bandits, and Fenjiun village was removed from the wild world. Ding, Haiha village was captured by the bandits, and Haiha village was removed from the wild world. Such an announcement never stopped from the moment it started. No way, many people don't know how to develop their territory. Don't know, in the beginning, bandits and bandits will attack the village. If you carry it, you can continue to exist, but you can't carry it, you can only perish. Five days later, in the mysterious valley, Outside the Samsara village, a leaf flag was waving in the wind. On the white horse, Ye Chen, wearing Ming Guangkai, holding a sharp gun, quietly looked at the 42 straight soldiers in the reincarnation village standing in front. Each of them was armed with steel and guns, wearing fish scale armor and carrying horn bows on their backs. In front of the formation, stood a military commander wearing a tiger head and holding a ghost knife in his hand. From now on, smooth out all the forces around Samsara village, whether it's a beast or a robber or bandit, can you do it? Ye Chen suddenly shouted. Can. 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 The soldiers raised some steel and guns together and shouted loudly. There are not many people, but the momentum is extremely strong. An aura of solemnity was also exuded at this moment. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. At this moment, many villages are having a headache for the bandits and robbers around the territory. They paid a lot to resist the bandits and robbers, and the recruits did not keep one in ten. Some were even destroyed directly. Those with strong capital, used the credit points in reality to ask the players for help, and passed the difficult times easily, but they also paid a lot of casualties. In Samsara village, even the shadow of the bandit and robber has never appeared. The whole village has developed steadily to the present. At this moment, Samsara village began to take the initiative to send troops to eliminate bandits, robbers and beasts that had just spawned around Samsara village. All A and rank soldiers, all armor, all steel, guns, and horn bows. Although the number is not large, this configuration is enough to shock people's jaws. You know, the soldiers under the players of other lords are still using wooden guns, wooden bows, and some don't even have decent weapons. And the configuration of the Samsara village at this moment, even when compared with the regular army of the Han Empire, is not inferior. These were all equipment that Ye Chen paid for and spent 10,000 gold. If a worker wants to do his job well, he must first sharpen his weapons, send troops to fight, and be equipped with good armor and good weapons, naturally, he must be equipped with the best. At this point, Ye Chen was quite willing. And Ye Chen's move also aroused the gratitude of the soldiers of the Samsara village, whether it was loyalty or morale, slurs. Of course, None of these equipment were produced by Reincarnation Village itself, otherwise it would not have cost so much, but Ye Chen didn't feel distressed. Seeing the soldiers of the Reincarnation Village shouting loudly, Ye Chen violently raised the gunslinger with his right hand, and then shouted, Go! At this moment, the village of Reincarnation officially revealed its hideous fangs. Congratulations, Lord Lord, return in triumph! Congratulations, Lord Lord, return in triumph. The shouts came from the mouths of nearly 400 villagers. At this moment, none of the villagers in these reincarnation villages were not excited. This is the Lord of Samsara village, this is the soldier of Samsara village. Throughout the territory of the Great Khan Empire, no village has ever been able to possess such force. As the villagers of reincarnation village, 
they are proud of being a villager of Reincarnation Village. Around the village of Reincarnation, there have been many wild beasts. Although there were no beasts in seven days because of the Blue-Eyed Tiger King and the Black Water Mysterious Snake, this is a test that a village must go through. However, these numerous beasts were all beheaded and killed by the soldiers of Reincarnation Village. When the surrounding beasts have been cleaned up, the soldiers of Samsara Village point to the proven roving bandit camp. Reincarnation Village is located in a valley, with an endless forest outside, and such an environment has created an excellent venue for bandit camps and bandits and bandits. This is very different from the outside. There are only one to three rogue camps or cottages around the territory of the Lord Player outside. And there are too many Samsara Village here, and there are a total of 138 robber camps and cottages. For Ye Chen, the pressure is not small because these newly refurbished gangster camps and small and large cottages will attack Samsara village. Ye Chen didn't want to wait, so Ye Chen wanted to take the initiative. Otherwise, waiting for the robbers, bandits and robbers in the forest to be dispatched, then it will be a disaster for Samsara village. The forest outside Reincarnation village was named Reincarnation Forest by Ye Chen. Just north of the Samsara forest, there is a big mountain, 30 miles away from Samsara village. There is a medium-sized rogue camp here, with a total of 500 rogues. On this day, a group of heavily armed soldiers came to the foot of the mountain. Lord, do you send someone to lead the bandits down the mountain, and then break them all? Zhao Meng came to Ye Chen at this time and asked. It's too time-consuming, Samsara village can't afford to wait. Ye Chen said here, getting off the horse. Master. The final general is willing to take the lead. Zhao Meng suddenly discovered Ye Chen's intentions, without saying anything, knelt on one knee and shouted loudly. Your weapon is too bad, so let's go with me. Ye Chen glanced at Zhao Meng, and then said. Master. Never. Zhao Meng was shocked when he heard this. He guessed that Ye Chen was going to attack the rogue camp, but he didn't expect that Ye Chen would attack it himself, and he still took the lead. Lord! The soldiers in Samsara village heard this, all remembered, and they all knelt on one knee and shouted loudly. They also didn't want Ye Chen to take the risk. I am also a military commander. There is nothing wrong with it. What's more, you are all fighting for the Samsara village and fighting for me. How can I not participate in the war? That's it. I'll cheer up for a while and try not to get hurt. Ye Chen finished. With a move with his right hand, the killing spear appeared instantly. Lord! Zhao Meng wanted to persuade again. Shut up, go, and get rid of the secret whistle of the bandit camp, we touched it, and then directly attacked the base camp of the bandit camp. Ye Chen glared at Zhao Meng, and then said. Isn't the Lord attacking directly? Zhao Meng was dazed, and then asked. In the future, there will be military divisions in the village, so you have to learn more from them. Ye Chen angered Zhao Meng's eyes, and then said. Soldiers of Samsara village, look at me, I look at you, all of them are trying hard not to make themselves laugh. Zhao Meng made a big red face in an instant, and then he shouted, Zhao Wu, Wang Er. You two bastards, go, take out the secret whistle for Lao Tzu. Yes. General. Zhao Wu and Wang Erkai responded, and then went into the grass with their weapons. Not long after, Wang Er Zhao Wu came back with some blood. Upon seeing this, Ye Chen waved his sharp gun, and then shouted, Go up the mountain. Be careful, don't make any movement, don't attract the attention of the bandits. Yes, Lord. The soldiers responded in unison. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen, Zhao Meng and all the heavily armed soldiers in Reincarnation Village touched the rogue camp all the way. Unlike the cottage, where there are fences for defense, there are big tents. There were groups of people drinking and eating meat outside, 
without knowing that Ye Chen and others had already arrived here. After looking at the configuration of the Liao Kao camp, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, and then shouted in a deep voice, Kill! After Ye Chen finished speaking, he stood up abruptly, and rushed over with the gunshot. Kill the enemy with the Lord! Zhao Meng stunned, then shouted loudly. Zhao Meng thought that what Ye Chen said before was asking them to kill the enemy, but now it seems that it is not the case at all. Kill! 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 The soldiers in Samsara village were all red. Where did they think that the Lord Ye Chen they followed, actually took the lead and fought the most dangerous front row against him? In their eyes, the lords are aloof, willing to give them such a presence, a full meal is not bad, let alone take the lead. And Ye Chen not only fed them well, dressed them, and used them well, but also took the lead. How could they not be moved? Such lords, they are willing to follow, and are more willing to fight to death for such lords. Ye Chen didn't look back, but he clearly felt the belief that the soldiers of the Samsara village emerged from behind. After a slight daze, he burst out and shouted, Kill! 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 The soldiers of the Samsara village started to breathe fire in their eyes. They wanted to catch up with Ye Chen immediately, but they were not as fast as Ye Chen. At this moment, Zhao Meng suddenly jumped, jumped directly to Ye Chen's side, and then rushed towards the stunned gangsters. Enemy attack! Enemy attack! Screams came one after another, and the gangsters in the gangster camp were terrified one by one. When they saw the soldiers of the Samsara village rushing out from behind the stone with red light in their eyes, they were even more frightened. Dahan Regular Army! Dahan Regular Army! This call does not matter, the bandits who were yelled by the leader who wanted to pick up their weapons to resist, instantly exploded. Fleeing around one by one. Puff, puff. The gunslinger began to harvest the lives of the rogues. The invincible gunkiller, at this moment, showed its terrifying side. Rogues who don't wear armor can be pierced with one shot, and those who wear armor can also be pierced with one shot, effortlessly. The gangsters who met Ye Chen were out of luck. Wipe and die, touch and die. Soon, Ye Chen's Ming Guangkai was dyed red with blood. After each shot was shot, a piece of blood was bound to splash. Zhao Meng was originally guarding Ye Chen, but after watching for a while, he found that there was no stray bandit that could harm Ye Chen. Later, he also began to slaughter the rogues frantically. Ye Chen and Zhao Meng's violent murder quickly broke down the gangsters. At this time, the heavily armed soldiers in Reincarnation Village also opened their fangs. Rogues were killed one after another, crying, screaming, begging for mercy, one after another. However, in the time of the tea, the 500 bandit camp was unexpectedly brought to the ground by Ye Chen with dozens of people. The violent wind blew and the strong atmosphere was set off on the top of the mountain. Ye Chen looked at the knelt on the ground, and frowned involuntarily at the frightened bandits. Killing prisoners was undesirable in ancient times. After the war, there were few prisoners killed. Master! Zhao Meng was waiting for Ye Chen's decision. Zhao Meng didn't care whether to kill or not, as long as Ye Chen ordered, he would execute it without hesitation. Ye Chen pondered for a moment, then looked at the gangsters who had knelt on the ground, and shouted in a deep voice. You are sinners, now I give you the opportunity to wear your sins and make meritorious deeds and fight for my Samsara village. If you don't die, then you will become a member of Samsara village. If you dare to escape or even betray, then he will have only one fate dead. Yes, we are willing. Hearing this, one after another gangsters chose to belong to Ye Chen without hesitation. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for capturing the medium-sized robber camp and rewarding him for a thousand merits. Take your weapons, bring the useful ones, throw them away the useless ones, and set off. Ye Chen curled his lips, and then shouted. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the gangsters were all taken aback, and then all of them were ecstatic. Originally, 
they thought that Ye Chen would ask them to participate in the battle with bare hands, but now it seems that it is not the case. The loyalty of these surrendered rogues instantly rose. Because of goodwill, but also because of envy. The favor is because Ye Chen allowed them to have weapons, and he envied them because of the armored weapons of the soldiers in Samsara village. You can imagine how powerful the Samsara village with such soldiers is, and they are naturally willing to join such a village and live a good life. The gangsters carefully picked up weapons one by one, for fear of causing any misunderstanding, and then were killed. Ye Chen didn't take care of the surrendered bandits, and went straight to the leader of the bandit camp. As soon as he entered the big tent, Ye Chen saw three big boxes. Ye Chen went straight to the box, and then opened the box. After seeing the contents of the box, Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction. The three big boxes are all gold coins. After Ye Chen put everything away, the system's prompt sound followed. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for winning 78,921 gold. Conquering cities and plundering land will yield great gains. The more prosperous and powerful the place, the more gains. Attacking stray camps and attacking cottages also yielded a lot. It's just that, relatively speaking, the rogue camp has the least gains. And this rogue camp is a bit wealthy and outrageous. Ye Chen looked at the increased gold coins with some suspicion, and then he was taken aback. This harvest seems to be ten times higher than the normal harvest. Yes, this is compensation, because there are too many cottages and robber camps in Samsara village. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly lit up, and then walked out of the big tent, led his men down the mountain, and headed for a bandit camp ten miles away from the east. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The second robber camp is also a medium-sized camp, with a population of 120 people more than the previous one. Ye Chen brought soldiers from Samsara village and a group of surrendered bandits, and soon came to the vicinity of this medium-sized camp. This rogue camp did not choose places such as mountains or valleys to camp, but set up camps on the spot in the forest. Master, the terrain here is a bit open, although it is covered by trees, the previous strategy is difficult to work through. After Zhao Meng went to investigate, he hurriedly came to Ye Chen's side and said. It doesn't matter, isn't there the gangster who just surrendered here? What a simple thing. Ye Chen's mouth curled up, and then he said. Zhao Meng was stunned when he heard this, and then his eyes lit up, and he whispered, The Lord is clever. Ye Chen laughed, and then said. Stop flattering, go, choose twenty clever gangsters, and tell them not to expose their flaws. I guess their weapons will be dropped. Tell them not to resist, just do as required, and try to spread out the gangsters in the future, which will help us kill. By the way, tell those who surrendered, work hard, wait until the end of the task of suppressing the bandits, and reward them for their merits. The village of reincarnation has a lot of money, and as long as they perform meritorious service, the village of reincarnation will not erase any of their credit. Yes, Lord. Zhao Meng responded in a low voice, and then ran to convey Ye Chen's order. Before long, the bandits who surrendered to Samsara village burst into low voices. The reason is very simple. Ye Chen said that there is land and money, which stimulated them. Regardless of whether you are a soldier or a gangster, the basic purpose is the same, which is to live a good life. Land was the life and root of the people in ancient times. Ye Chen said that naturally he wanted to give them the land. This alone was enough to stimulate them, let alone have money. No one doesn't want to live a stable life. Now the opportunity is here. As long as you put it together and survive, you can live a happy little life after returning to the village of Samsara. Of course, there are some people who like Guangzhong Yeazu, but Ye Chen also said that he will reward them with merits and will not treat them badly. Therefore, after Zhao Meng said that there was no more time than a cup of tea, these surrendered gangsters took action one by one. Soon, 
the two surrendered rogues cowered and headed towards the rogue camp. Not long after, a team of forty robbers arrived. If the number of gangsters who pretended to surrender was thirty, then sixty people would have come. This is the law that a person who is idle and painful in his previous life touched. Ye Chen brought more than forty soldiers with him this time, so he chose twenty gangsters to surrender. The result was not beyond Ye Chen's expectation. The number of rogues who came was forty, and the weapons of the rogues who surrendered were all confiscated. Just when the surrendering bandits started to drop their weapons one by one, Ye Chen, who was hiding behind a big tree not far away, waved his right hand. Swish swish! Forty arrows flew out quickly, and then hit the rogues who watched vigilantly at the surrender. These rogues fell to the ground with arrows one by one, and soon died. Ye Chen looked at the bandits who had surrendered and said. Forty people come out, the strong and strong first, follow them with twenty to the rogue camp. Remember, bow your head and don't look around. When it comes to the rogue camp, it is best if you are not suspected. If you are suspected, you will shout loudly. The army of the big man came, flee, and then ran towards the rogue camp, did you hear clearly? Listen clearly, Lord Lord! The surrendered gangsters all responded. After the robbers finished speaking, sixty people stood up, far exceeding the forty people requested by Ye Chen. This is also because of the rewards Ye Chen said, otherwise these surrender gangsters would not be so proactive. In the end, Ye Chen selected forty people who were fairly strong, each with weapons and heads down, followed by twenty bandits who surrendered with bare hands toward the medium-sized bandit camp in front of them. And Ye Chen took Xiao Meng and soldiers from Reincarnation Village, bent over, followed them quietly, and touched the bandit camp. The vigilance of the bandits is high or low, and the bandit camp in front of them is obviously not very high. When the surrendered rogues arrived at the camp, they discovered that there was something wrong with the forty rogues. Raise your head, a rogue called out. At this moment, the surrendered gangsters showed terrified expressions one by one, and then shouted in unison, Run, the army of the big man is coming. Kill. Ye Chen stood up at this moment, shouted loudly, and rushed to the Liao Kao camp first. Kill. 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 The soldiers of Reincarnation Village shouted in unison, and then followed Ye Chen's footsteps and rushed towards the bandit camp. At this moment, it is actually very easy to stop Ye Chen and the others. However, the reason why the rogues are rogues is because they do not have strong military strength, and they are even more afraid of encountering the Han army. So when the rogues who surrendered to Samsara Village yelled one by one, they panicked, and at this moment, Ye Chen led his troops to appear suddenly, and the rogues were shocked. The terrain here is still open, but when they discovered that only a part of the people had come, Ye Chen's gunslinger began to harvest. And Zhao Meng immediately opened the massacre mode. Followed by the soldiers in Samsara village wearing armor and holding points, steel, and guns. The blood instantly dyed the rogue camp camp. At this moment, the surrendered rogues also raised their weapons and attacked the rogues here. Ye Chen turned into an arrow at the moment, and there were dead bodies everywhere he went. Immediately behind him was Zhao Meng, clearing Ye Chen away from the gangsters. Quick! Hurry up and surround them, they are few. The leader of the gangster camp shouted angrily at this time. However, it's useless. Ye Chen, Zhao Meng's existence is a sharp edge to break the last line of defense in the hearts of the rogues. During this period, a brave general can greatly affect the situation on the battlefield. Not to mention, it was not one but two generals who came. These rogues simply cannot fight against the enemy's generals. In front of Ye Chen, the gangsters here have no one-to-one -one enemy. A shot was fired, the stumps and arms flew around, and the heads rolled all over the floor from time to time. The blood stained Ye Chen's armor, the enemy's corpse, and the earth. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Run! That lunatic rushed over. 
don't get in my way. Get out. Spare. The gangsters were terrified of being killed, one by one screaming, crying, begging for mercy. Ye Chen is rushing wildly, wherever there are many people, Ye Chen will go wherever the slain gangsters are crying for father and mother. No one can stop the sharp spear. Block him. Block him. Who can block him? A reward of gold. A scream came, and it instantly caught Ye Chen's attention. After piercing the two escaped bandits with a single shot, Ye Chen turned directly to the left and rushed towards a group of obviously better dressed bandits. The one who screamed and asked people to stop Ye Chen was undoubtedly the leader of the bandit camp, and Ye Chen would naturally not let him go. The shout of the big boss immediately caused countless heavy breathing sounds. Money moved people's hearts, but at this moment, Ye Chen swept away with a single shot. She 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 she. Several gangsters stepped forward, their arms were broken, their stomachs were cut open, and their intestines flowed all over the floor. Ye Chen was also at this moment, rushing to the gangsters who had just been tempted, killing the guns, flying up and down, and dancing wildly left and right. The screams resounded again. No. I don't want to die. Forgive me. A gangster instantly extinguished his idea of getting 10,000 gold, and knelt on the ground with a thud. One kneeled to surrender, two kneeled to surrender, and more and more bandits surrendered to their knees. Ye Chen didn't stop him, and went straight to the leader of Liao Kaoying. No. Don't kill me. I surrender. The big boss shouted in horror. However, Ye Chen's killing spear pierced his mouth without hesitation, and then penetrated the head of the leader of the Liao Kaoying camp. Ye Chen wouldn't kill the prisoners randomly, but the big boss must die. Because he was hostile to Ye Chen. Fear is because he does not want to die. Once he has a chance, it is likely to bring disaster to Samsara village. Ye Chen will not let this unstable factor exist. The fight was over because of the death of the leader of the bandit camp. In a short time, more than 200 bandits died in the hands of Ye Chen. Zhao Meng also killed a lot, 180 people. It was not that Zhao Meng was weaker than Ye Chen at this moment, but that his weapons were not as strong as Ye Chen's. After all, he is a military commander with a force of over 90. It's a pity that he doesn't have a corresponding technique, otherwise, he will inevitably become a king-level general, and his ability will soar. Zhao Meng was the first general to follow Ye Chen. Although his qualifications were not excellent, he was loyal to Ye Chen. Naturally, Ye Chen would not let Zhao Meng ignore him. When there is a chance in the future, Ye Chen will not hesitate to portray Zhao Meng into the title of general, king, imperial, emperor, and holy. Looking at the dead corpses in the same place, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and then shouted, clean the battlefield, and bury the corpses on the spot. Yes. Lord Lord. The surrendered robbers shouted in excitement. None of them died, at most they were slightly injured. The reason is simple. Ye Chen is too cruel, and there is also a similarly cruel Zhao Meng. The two gangsters who killed them cried for their fathers and their mothers, so how could they have the mind to fight back? Ye Chen went straight to the camp of the leader of the Liao Kao camp, and saw the four boxes in the camp, Ye Chen was in a good mood. The crisis in Samsara village has increased tenfold, and the harvest after winning has also increased tenfold. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for capturing the medium-sized robber camp and rewarding him for a thousand merits. Hearing the system prompt, Ye Chen curled his lips, showing too little merit. Fortunately, at this moment, it is not so easy for others to gain merit. Ye Chen walked straight to the box and received the gold in the box into his parcel. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for winning 123,211 gold. Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction, and then walked out of the camp. At this moment, the system prompt sounded. Ding, Reincarnation Village has met the requirements for upgrading a second-level village, Zhao Hung, the deputy village head of Reincarnation Village, asks for instructions, 
do you want to upgrade? Hey? The buildings are all finished? When Ye Chen left Reincarnation Village and went out to suppress bandits, he told the deputy village chief Zhao Hung. After all the buildings are completed, the level of the village will be upgraded. Because this involves an extremely important secret. Territory upgrade, it seems that there is no special requirement, in fact it is not. As long as all the buildings in the territory are built, and then the lord of the territory is upgraded, each large span will get a special blueprint. Take the reincarnation village at this moment, that is, the village is upgraded to a town, and a special blueprint will be obtained if the upgrade is successful. The drawings are random, but without exception, they are very powerful, and some are even the only ones. Ye Chen was born again, so naturally he would not miss this. Upgrading the village is not so easy. At this moment, no one has raised the village to the second level, let alone the third and second level. Ye Chen had already purchased enough resources in the market before, so there is no shortage of resources in the construction of Reincarnation Village. The only restriction on the upgrading of the Reincarnation Village is the population. There is no restriction for the first level villages, the second level villages have a population of 500, and the third and second level villages have a population of 1000. Originally, the population of Reincarnation Village was not enough, but Ye Chen attacked the gangster camp and many gangsters surrendered and joined the Reincarnation Village. This immediately solved the population problem for the village. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then shouted, Upgrade! Ding, congratulations on the promotion of Reincarnation Village to a second level village. Ding, Reincarnation Village has met the requirements for upgrading third and third tier villages. Zhao Hung, the deputy head of Reincarnation Village, asks for instructions. Will it be upgraded? Upgrade. Ding, congratulations on the promotion of Samsara village to a third and second level village. With the sound of the system prompt, the Samsara village in the mysterious valley changed and changed. It occupies a larger area and the building becomes more refined. To completely change, at least you need to upgrade to a small town, and this moment is not far away. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. After listening to the system's prompt, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and then took the soldiers from Samsara village and the surrendered bandits to the next base. A little bit of time passed, and the rogue camps in the Samsara forest were breached one by one. Ye Chen's money and wealth increased rapidly and his merits also increased rapidly. There are more and more bandits who surrender and join the Samsara village. Three days later, Ye Chen's team had grown to 5,000 people. At this time, Ye Chen focused on the small and large cottages. Unlike the Laiho Kao camp, the cottage has fences, high walls, and even more fierce city walls. And this was the fundamental reason why Ye Chen didn't choose a copycat in the beginning. However, at this moment, Ye Chen began to attack the cottage. Qinglang Mountain, Qinglang Village, with a total of 11,321 people in the village, belongs to the giant cottage, and all of them are strong. At this moment, the robbers and thieves of Qinglang Village were eating meat and drinking alcohol one by one, so they were so happy. Because they robbed a caravan before a stick of incense, robbed countless gold and silver treasures, and 200 cars of fine wine. This is a big deal, and the owner of the Green Wolf Village has given his subordinates uncompromisingly, and the whole village enjoys the same happiness. The village master, do you leave some people to defend? Some of those who are garrisoned tightly at the gate of the village are missing. The military instructor of King Glangzai looked at the drinking little brothers, frowning involuntarily, and then looked towards the owner of the Green Wolf Village persuaded. What are you afraid of? If anyone can come from this place, the brothers will have to run a long way when going out and robbing the house. What's more, who is so daring to attack Kin Glangzai, don't worry, it's okay, come, military teacher, let's go one of them. The village owner of Qinglang village laughed, 
and then shouted with a toast. The military commander was taken aback for a moment, and then nodded in agreement, too, he was too careful. It is difficult for anyone to touch this place where there is no shop in front of the village and behind. At the foot of Qinglang Mountain. Menzi, is there enough medicine? Ye Chen asked without looking back at the high green wolf mountain. Don't worry, Lord, this medicine is enough for them to sleep for three days. Zhao Meng smiled at this moment, and then said. Very good. Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction. Qinglang village is the only giant cottage in the reincarnation forest, and it is also the strongest cottage. Ye Chen did not attack the small cottage, but instead attacked the giant cottage. He was not looking for abuse, but when he attacked a rogue camp not long ago, he seized a huge amount of Mongolian sweat medicine. With this, Ye Chen would naturally not miss it, and directly chose to attack Qinglang village. Because after four days, the bandits in the Samsara forest will attack Samsara village, and the leader must be Qin Glangzai. Therefore, Ye Chen decided to lay down Qin Glangzai directly. If Qinglang village is defeated, then the upcoming crisis in reincarnation village will be self-defeating. After a moment of sticking incense, Ye Chen raised his sharp spear and pointed at Qin Glangzai. Kill. 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 The soldiers of Reincarnation Village shouted in unison, and then followed Ye Chen towards Qinglang Village. Not long after, Ye Chen and his soldiers came under the 10-meter-high city wall of Qinglang Village. Enemy attack! Enemy attack! An angry roar came from the thief on the wall. Swish swish came several times. The ten or so guard bandits who were standing on the wall just now were all shot by bows and arrows without exception. Ye Chen glanced at the city wall, and then walked towards the still closed city gate. When he came to the city gate, Ye Chen raised the gunslinger in his right hand and swiped fiercely. Bang Law came. As if the rag was torn apart, the bolt with the thick wash basin on the city gate was cut open instantly. Ye Chen kicked out afterwards. There was a creak. The city gate was kicked open. Tie them all together, if there is resistance kill without mercy. Ye Chen suddenly smiled when he saw the bandit robber who had fallen to the ground, and then shouted. Yes. The soldiers of Samsara village responded excitedly one by one. It is cool to fight with such a lord. This is the idea of all soldiers in the Samsara village, whether it is the surrendered bandit or the soldiers of the original Samsara village. The soldiers began to work, tying up the bandits and robbers from Qinglang village. It is stronger than a wild boar tying, and even if they wake up, don't try to get rid of it. Ye Chen went straight to Qin Glangzai, the hall where the Juyi Hall was hung. Ye Chen was happy as soon as he entered the hall. The owner of Green Wolf Village showed a GEU paralysis, looking at Ye Chen with angrily eyes. The strength is good, but I don't like the look in your eyes. Ye Chen looked at the Green Wolf Village master and said lightly. You insidious and cunning scum, dare to fight me upright. The Green Wolf Village Master exhausted all his strength and shouted angrily. Since ancient times, you have been the winner and the loser. What's more, you are a bandit. Ye Chen said here, narrowing his eyes, and then said, Since you want to be fair, then I will give you a fair chance. Master. No. Zhao Meng, who had just entered the hall was shocked and hurriedly persuaded him. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen raised his hand to stop Zhao Meng from continuing to speak, and then said, give him the antidote. Zhao Meng hesitated for a while, and finally stepped forward to relieve the effect of Mongolian sweat medicine for the village owner of Qin Glangzai. Ye Chen didn't even look at the owner of Qin Glangzai, and walked straight out of the hall. Coming to the outside, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, and the gunslinger appeared instantly, and then quietly waited for the master of Qin Glangzai to come out. Not long after, the owner of Green Wolf Village, wearing a dark armor and carrying a big spear, walked out with a sullen expression. 
Lord of the Green Wolf Village, Wolf Green. Level, 93. Force, 91. Root Bone, 60. Spirit, 80. Fuyuan, Hidden. Techniques, Shaking Mountain Jew, Thundering Shot. Equipment, Black Cloud Armor, Thunder Spear. There is a barrier between Force 90 to 91, and if you cross it, you will advance to the innate. The master of the Green Wolf Village, Lang Ching, has a force of 91. There is no doubt that he is a military commander of the innate realm. Moreover, he also has the matching king level exercises, is a titled military commander, a king level military commander with eight classics. The power of a king level military commander is simply not comparable to that of ordinary military commanders. Even Zhao Meng, compared with the owner of the Green Wolf Village at the moment, can never win. The result of the two fights, it is very likely that Zhao Meng was beheaded by Wolf Qing on the spot. And Ye Chen's strength is lower than Zhao Meng's at this moment. Ye Chen, Second Baron. Level, Level 90. Prestige, 150,000. Merit, 220,000. Force, 90. Root Bone, 80. Spirit, 100. Fu Yuan, Hidden. Techniques, 9 Turns Xian Gong, Shen Xiao Yu Lei Ju. Equipment, Killing Spear, Ming Guang Kai. Money, 315,800 gold. I will kill you. I will definitely kill you. Wolf Qing, the master of the Green Wolf Village, looked at Ye Chen viciously, and gritted his teeth. He is the owner of the Green Wolf Village, with over 10,000 thieves and bandits, and his power is strong, but now, all the bandits and bandits are tied into Zongzi. He is just a polished commander at the moment. He hates it. He wants revenge. Even if there are 5,000 pairs of eyes staring at him closely, even if he wins, the end of the game is likely to be death. He still wants revenge. Stop talking nonsense. Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, and shot out the gunslinger without hesitation. Simple, rude and without any fancy, it stabs the wolf green swiftly. Good coming. Lang Qing roared with a grim face, and then he fired a shot. When? Ye Chen's shot at Lang Qing was quickly shot away. Suffer to death. A loud shout came from Lang Qing's mouth, and the thundering spear he was holding pierced Ye Chen's heart. Ye Chen's right hand was numb, and seeing the stabbing shot, his eyes instantly condensed, and his right foot jerked away. At the same time, his body tilted to the side, and he escaped from Wolf Qing's shot. At this moment, a successful smile appeared on Lang Qing's face. That smile is very hideous. Suffer to death. Lang Qing kept on offensive, and the thunder spear shot Ye Chen instantly. Master. Zhao Meng was suddenly shocked. But at this moment, a quick shot flashed past, and the tip of the gun pointed directly at Lang Qing's heart. Lang Qing, who had a grinning smile, his face suddenly changed. He didn't expect Ye Chen to react so quickly. He had to give up a shot at Ye Chen and jump back. Unexpectedly, at your young age, your experience is so rich. Lang Qing looked at Ye Chen with some solemnity, and said in a deep voice. There are so many things you didn't expect. Ye Chen said blankly. At this moment, Ye Chen began to concentrate on his energy, and began to brew the next attack. Joke. You didn't even come to the congenitals and you are so embarrassed. Today, I will tell you to see clearly that if you don't enter the congenitals, they are all ants. Lang Qing heard this and laughed up to the sky, and then shouted. In the next second, Lang Qing raised the thunder spear, a powerful force instantly condensed on him, and then pressed towards Ye Chen. Zhao Meng's face changed wildly when he saw this, but when he wanted to remind Ye Chen, he immediately closed his open mouth and closed it again. Because of Ye Chen's state at the moment, something was not quite right, it seemed that something was brewing. It can be seen from Ye Chen's eyes that there is a ruthless, icy cold light in it, 
and Ye Chen is staring ahead at the moment with full concentration. The innate coercion of Lang Qing came instantaneously, and Ye Chen's face changed and remained unchanged. When Lang Qing's thunder gun began to show a blue light, Ye Chen began to show a weak aura. As soon as this momentum appeared, it continued to grow stronger, and then became stronger and stronger. Damn it! Lang Qing's face changed drastically after feeling the momentum from Ye Chen's body. Zhao Meng was ecstatic. Suffer to death! Lang Qing didn't want to wait any longer, and stabbed Ye Chen with a shot. The squally wind blew up and thunder billowed. Kill! Ye Chen's aura was also at the culmination of this moment, his eyes opened fiercely, and a simple and unpretentious shot was shot out in an instant. At this moment, the tip of the spear of the gunshot suddenly appeared dark, as if it was about to swallow everything. Ding! The tips of the two big guns collided. Lang Qing froze for a moment, and at this moment, the thunder spear turned into dust and drifted away in the wind. At this moment, the killing spear continued to stab the wolf blue. The threat of death induced by Wolf Qing suddenly returned to his senses, and his face immediately changed. That's too late. Puff came. The killing spear instantly pierced the black cloud armor, and then pierced Wolf Qing's heart. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for comprehending basic spear skills. Ding. Congratulations to player Ye Chen for being the first to kill a king-level military commander. A lucky draw will be awarded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen's advanced innate, he detected the chaos technique 9 turn mystery, the chaos technique Shen Xiao Yulihu, the conditions are met, the player Ye Chen advanced to the king-level general. Finally succeeded. After Ye Chen heard a series of system prompts, his eyes suddenly flashed out. Ye Chen's previous strength was not as good as Zhao Meng's, but he insisted on fighting against the wolf young general. The purpose was actually very simple. Ye Chen didn't want to increase his strength slowly. Nine turn profound art is a barrier to the realm that can be ignored when the realm rises. However, it takes time, and Ye Chen didn't want to wait. In addition to breaking the barriers on their own, there is another way to break through in battle. And Lang Qing, without a doubt, was the stepping stone for Ye Chen's advancement. Win, advance innate, and lose, and the level drops by 10, lowering the position in the hearts of soldiers in the village of Samsara. However, Ye Chen won the bet, not only advanced innate, but also understood the spear technique by himself. Ye Chen has no shortage of cultivation techniques. Nine ranks profound art, Shen Xiao Yu Lei Ju whichever is put in the prehistoric world, is a well-known practice method, and it is also a top-level existence. Ye Chen doesn't know the skills. Even if the skills appeared on the market, Ye Chen didn't learn it. The purpose was for this moment. Comprehend by yourself. Now, if you get your wish, you will be a god. The levels of exercises, starting from the lower grade, are as follows. Low grade medium grade, high grade, exquisite grade, king grade, imperial grade, emperor grade, holy grade, grade. This is the mortal martial arts, there will be later, but that is only learned after going to the prehistoric world. God level is the ultimate in mortal martial arts. Legend has it that every god level exercise has a chance to advance to innate exercises. However, in Ye Chen's previous life, no one had ever obtained a god-level technique. But at this moment, Ye Chen got it. Ye Chen just breathed a sigh of relief, and a series of world announcements sounded instantly. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for being the first to comprehend god-level skills, and he will be awarded the title of Gun God. Dot. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, who is the first to comprehend the god-level technique and rewards innate attribute points plus 5. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, who is the first to comprehend the god level technique, and rewards innate attribute points plus 5. Ding, 
congratulations to the player Ye Chen for becoming the first general of the king rank, special bonus innate attributes plus three. The world channel was in an uproar. Fuck. Ye Chen boss 66666. Boss Ye Chen, don't accept the younger brother, Ye Liang Chen would like to be the younger brother of the boss. Boss Ye Chen, they can warm the bed and stack the quilt. Please bring it. The title of the gun is awesome, when will I get such a title? What's the use of innate attributes? Please explain. Brother Ye Chen, can you turn on the friend switch? There is an urgent matter to discuss. Ye Chen, come to my domination league, as long as you are willing to come, I will give you the deputy leader. Come to my Fiha village. I'll give you the deputy village chief. You can pull it down, it's the number one village in the primordial desolation, and I will serve you as the deputy village head? Have you been calcium deficient since childhood? Boss Ye Chen, come out and say something, where are you, my little brother, go find you. The world channel kept scrolling, and the unreal screen in front of Ye Chen kept scrolling. Ye Chen took a look and then turned off the world channel. Master Wan Sheng Wan Sheng. After a brief silence, a loud roar rang out from Qing Lang village. The soldiers in Reincarnation Village held up their weapons one by one, shouting loudly again and again. They were excited, they were shocked, and they felt immense glory. Because their lord, Ye Chen, from now on, the Heaven Realm killed the king level generals of the innate realm. Wan Sheng. Wan Sheng. The shouts were higher than the waves. The corner of Ye Chen's mouth curled up, and then he retracted the gunslinger. There was a puff sound, and Lang Qing's body fell to the ground. Several items appeared beside Wolf Qing's body. Ye Chen took a look, picked up a luminous ball of light, and threw it to Zhao Meng. Master! Zhao Meng trembled and trembled at the sight of the light group that Ye Chen had thrown over. Not afraid! Not angry, but excited. The soul of the general, after using it, you can receive what the former general has learned throughout his life. What Ye Chen gave to Zhao Meng was the spirit of the generals. After Zhao Meng used it, he would automatically receive all the abilities of Lang Qing, including the techniques of Lang Qing. To put it simply, once Zhao Meng uses the soul of a general, then Zhao Meng will directly advance to the king rank. No? Don't let me put it away. Ye Chen glared at Zhao Meng, and then said. Yes. Yes. Zhao Meng opened his mouth and swallowed without saying a word. In the next second, a group of light appeared on Zhao Meng. Ye Chen glanced at Zhao Meng who looked like a big light bulb, smiled slightly, and then picked up the remaining items on the ground. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Shaking Mountain Jew, Black Cloud Armor, Thundering Spear. After reading the three items, Ye Chen couldn't help but stunned. Before, Ye Chen directly pierced the thunder gun into powder, and the Black Cloud Armor also stabbed a hole with a single shot. It is possible for two pieces of equipment to burst, but they will be reduced by one level due to damage. By the way, for the first kill, the reward will increase by one level. Thinking of this, Ye Chen twitched at the corner of his mouth, but just now there was nothing he could do. The battle was focused on, and he couldn't take care of any equipment at all. The Shaking Mountain Art is a in front of rank 9 profound art. You can sell it, but you have to wait for people to discover the secret of the word true. The Thunder Spear is also a scum in front of the Killing Spear and it is also a product to be sold. The Black Cloud Armor, although the level is improvised, can be useless after entering the prehistoric, but it can be used in reality, and it can also be used temporarily. After Ye Chen said to himself, he directly chose to equip the Black Cloud Armor, while the Shaking Mountain Jew and Thunder Spear were put away by Ye Chen. Only then did Ye Chen look at his property panel. Ye Chen, Second Baron Title, Spear God, King Level General. Level, Level 91. 
Prestige, 150,000. Merit, 220,000. Force, 91. Root Bone, 80. Spirit, 100. Fu Yuan, Hidden. Techniques, 9 Turns Xian Gong, Shen Xiao Yu Lei Ju. Equipment, Killing Spear, Black Cloud Armor. Money, 315,800 gold. Innate Attribute Points, 8. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, then stared at an attribute in the attribute panel, muttering. No one has ever been rewarded with innate attributes in the previous life. When I heard the attribute points, I defaulted to the acquired attributes. I didn't expect, it was actually an innate attribute. The innate attribute is very special, it can continue to improve the attributes that cannot be improved. Such as the roots. The foundation determines a person's talents, the speed of cultivation, and the height that can be achieved. The root bone wants to improve, one is to use the heaven, the material, and the earth, and the other is the innate attribute point. Ye Chen's root bones are only 80, and in the primordial world, any one drawn out is all innate, even stronger. So after Ye Chen confirmed that it was a congenital attribute point, the whole person was refreshed from head to toe, which was called a comfort. Even though the elixir is everywhere, but there are not so many treasures of heaven and earth to enhance the foundation. Therefore, Ye Chen valued the innate attributes very much, and then did not hesitate to point the eight innate attributes to the roots. The root bone instantly changed from 80 to 88. An unspeakable sensation came from Ye Chen's body, and the sense of comfort was directly refreshed in the depths of his soul. Of course, the usefulness of the innate attribute points is not critical, it can also be used to break through barriers of realm. For example, innate barriers to the realm of extinction. At that time, the force value attribute point reached 100, and it could not be increased any more. However, as soon as the innate attribute point is added, it will directly break through, and then advance to the transcendence realm. As soon as you enter the world, you can directly ascend to the prehistoric. In the predicament, opportunities are everywhere, but there are also dangers. Ten times death will lead to complete death, whether it is a game or reality. Ye Chen is not afraid of the horror in the wilderness, even if he really enters the wilderness, he can mix it up. But Ye Chen didn't want to go, and didn't want to go now. The reason is not complicated. One is because of the God-level village building order. With the expansion of its territory, it can continuously gather air fortune, and it can achieve a nationwide ascent. Once Ye Chen successfully established his own empire and the whole country soared, then Ye Chen could play a big chess game. Grab the innate merit. Seize great luck. Another reason why Ye Chen didn't want to go to Hong Huang now was his innate attributes. There are many elixirs everywhere, and there are many people who can improve their cultivation, but there are not many treasures that can improve their roots. So Ye Chen didn't want to miss the opportunity to improve his roots. And this time the system rewards reminded Ye Chen. As the novice zone of the Three Kingdoms, there are also countless benefits, and many, many, innate attribute points are one of them. Ye Chen glanced at the root attributes again, the corner of his mouth curled, and then he looked at the big turntable that had been floating around him. This is a lottery rewarded by the system. There is only one chance. Whether it is good or bad depends on luck. Ye Chen glanced at the turntable, then raised his hand a little. The turntable began to spin, faster and faster. Stop. The big turntable then slowed down, and then slowed down again. When the big turntable stopped, an architectural drawing appeared in front of Ye Chen's eyes raised his hand and grabbed it, and then Ye Chen was stunned on the spot. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for obtaining the SSS level architectural drawings, Tongkei Terrace. Dong Jack Terrace, SSS level. Basic attributes, territory air luck is permanently increased by 10%. Territory fate plus 100, stability plus 10, prosperity plus 10. Special attributes. 1. 
singing and dancing. Significantly improve people's minds, greatly increase the speed of refugees refresh, use once a month, the time limit is three days. To stop GE. To quell the war, the duration is three days, any attack is invalid, and it is used once a month. Three war song. Significantly increase the strength of all soldiers in the territory, using it once a month. For resurrection. Defying the sky, resurrect the dead, and use it once a month. Construction requirements, Golden Phoebe X100,000, Huanghu Hollywood X100,000, Rosewood X100,000, Fine Gold X100,000, Fine Iron X100,000, Fine Copper X100,000, White Jade X100,000, Emerald X100,000, Pearl X100,000, Agate X100,000, Gemstone X100,000, Crystal X100,000. Remarks, it is invalid for ordinary women to stay. The more Meiji, the stronger the characteristics. After reading the introduction of Tong Kuitai, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly lit up. Several characteristics of Tongkei Terrace, no matter which one, were of great help to Reincarnation Village and Ye Chen. The seemingly useless Zhij also plays an extremely important role. If Ye Chen is not in Reincarnation Village, and Reincarnation Village is attacked, once the GE is stopped, three days of truce will be enough to make time for Ye Chen to return to Reincarnation Village. This is forcing me to collect all the beauties in the world, Diao Chan. Xiao Qiao, Cai Wenji, the beauties in those small worlds are all taken to Tongkwitai, how many will there be? Ye Chen muttered while looking at the Tongkwitai drawing. Said. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Roar. A roar suddenly came, and Ye Chen's thoughts were instantly interrupted. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, Samsara Village General Zhao Meng, advanced to the king level general. Ye Chen turned around to look, only to see Zhao Meng's momentum rose again and again. When Zhao Meng's momentum rose to the apex, his head was full of hair, and there was no wind. This process lasted for three minutes, and then Zhao Meng's aura slowly declined until it returned to normal. The final will thank the Lord for his gift and the final will swear again. As long as the Lord pointed out, it will be the end of the sword. Even if the sword is in the fiery sea, the final will also be willing to go alone. No regrets and no regrets. Zhao Meng opened his eyes, kneeling on one knee, shouted loudly. Carefully understand, and also, wake up these bandits and robbers. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then spoke. Yes. Lord. Zhao Meng replied heavily. At this moment, Zhao Meng is very excited, it is hard not to be excited. The king level generals, seemingly simple, can't be achieved without the king level exercises. Zhao Meng dreamed of becoming a king level military commander, but unfortunately, the practice has always been a secret that has never been passed down. If you want to be a king level general, you basically have a dream. But today, Ye Chen gave him a chance, how could he not be excited when he became a king-level military commander? Ye Chen nodded, and then went straight to the Juyi Hall of Qinglang village. After arriving in the lobby, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, and the gunslinger appeared instantly. Taking a look at the cornerstone of the cottage in the Juyi Hall, Ye Chen then stabbed it out. Puff! With a sound, the cornerstone of King Glang's ice cottage was like tofu, which was instantly pierced by the killing spear. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for the capture of King Glang's eye. Special rewards of 500,000 merits and 200,000 prestige. Ding, Qing Lang village is a giant cottage, please choose one. Occupy two. Destroy three. Loot. Plunder. Ye Chen chose the third option without hesitation. Occupation, in this reincarnation forest, 
is meaningless to Ye Chen. And destroy, Qing Lang village will disappear from then on. This is a good thing for Samsara village, but it is not a good thing in the long run. Without Qing Lang village, there would be no training point in Samsara village. At this moment, the yellow turban hadn't risen, and there were not many wars, so Ye Chen didn't want to miss such an excellent place for military training. After the plunder, the materials here will be looted invariably, and only the buildings will be left behind. After Ye Chen left, the bandits and bandits would still be refreshed here, and even the cottage owners would be refreshed every once in a while. Isn't that stupid if you don't train at such a good training site? Soldiers have high qualifications, but not high levels so they can stop cooking when encountering powerful troops. Therefore, it is necessary to train soldiers. Ding, the player Ye Chen chose to plunder Qing Lang village, and the material statistics are in progress. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, for getting 1 million food, 238-1281 tails of gold, x3102331 tails of silver, x of copper coins. 100 boxes of jewelry, cavalry camp X1, heavy cavalry camp X1, school field X1, Ming Guang armor X1, point steel, gun X1, horn bow X1, secret room X1, grain store X1. The system's prompt sound ended, and Ye Chen's eyes flashed sharply. This gain, it's big. A tenfold increase is really cool. And many more. Ye Chen suddenly thought of something, and then looked at the blueprints stacked together in the package. Before long, Ye Chen took out the secret room. When he saw the blueprint of the secret room, Ye Chen walked towards the front yard without hesitation. When he came to the front yard, Ye Chen looked at most of the prisoners who had awakened, and asked, who knows where the secret room of this cottage is? The bandits and robbers who have awakened, look at me and I look at you looking confused. No one knows. Ye Chen's face sank, and then he shouted. Little, the little guy knows. A weak voice came. He is a military commander from Qing Lang village, his whole person looks weak and unreliable, and he even has a bit of feminine taste. Lead the way. Ye Chen glanced at the Qing Lang's eye army master, and then said. Yes, yes. The military division of Qin Glangzai was very weak. He tried to get up several times, but failed. At this time, two soldiers from the Samsara village stepped forward, framed the military division, and then moved toward the position he said. Ye Chen followed behind. Not long after, Ye Chen came to the backyard of Qin Glangzai. There was a rockery and there was a giant wolf carved in stone beside the rockery. My lord, it's here. The claws of this stone wolf can be pressed down. Press down and the door of the secret room will open. The military commander of Qing Lang village didn't wait for Ye Chen to speak, and said hurriedly. When the two soldiers in Samsara village heard this, they were about to press the switch of the secret room. Ye Chen frowned, and then said, Hold on, tell this military division to press. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the two soldiers of Reincarnation Village suddenly stopped, but the military division of Qin Glangzai's expression changed wildly. What a guts! Ye Chen yelled, and without hesitation, he called out the gunslinger. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Go to death! Seeing this, the army master of Qin Glangzai suddenly showed a hideous expression on his face, screaming and roaring, and rushed towards the stone wolf statue frantically. Looking for death. Ye Chen's eyes condensed, and the gunkiller threw it out without hesitation. There was a puff puff, and the sharp spear pierced the back waist of the Qin Glangzai military division in an instant, and then stabbed to the ground abruptly. <laughs> The Green Wolf Village military master screamed frantically. Because of pain, because of madness. You are very heartfelt, it's a pity. Ye Chen said lightly while looking at the Green Wolf Village general who was like a lunatic. I hate it, why, why did you kill my lover, 
if you don't kill him, I will persuade him to surrender, it's you, it's all you, I want to kill you. Kill you. Ching Lang the army master stared at Ye Chen with crimson eyes, and shouted in a shrill voice. Your love. Ye Chen was taken aback for a while, then his face became stiff. Nima, I only killed that village owner in this Ching Lang village. What a it is. Let's talk, where is the secret room, I will let you be buried together, otherwise, you two will be chopped up, feed the dog. Ye Chen glanced at the Green Wolf village strategist with a gloomy look, and then shouted. You. The Green Wolf village army master still wanted to be strong, but soon, he fell silent. After a while, the Green Wolf village army master asked, You will really do what you promised? Say. Ye Chen frowned and shouted coldly. The Green Wolf village military commander gritted his teeth, then pointed to the rockery, and said, there is a stone wolf statue with a large palm. Pull it up and the door of the secret room will open. Hearing this, Ye Chen walked straight over, grabbed the handle of the gunk iller, and shocked, instantly smashing the internal organs of the Qin Glangzai army master. It doesn't matter whether it is true or false. If it is false, this military division will definitely not tell the truth. Then Ye Chen can only search Qing Lang village in a carpet-like manner. However, Ye Chen felt that what the military division of Qin Glangzai said was true. It is not difficult to see from his eyes that this person has true love for the dead village master. Withdrawing the killing spear, Ye Chen looked at the two lingering soldiers of the Samsara village and said, Be careful. Yes. Lord Lord. The two replied in unison, and then went to the rockery cautiously, and when they found the stone wolf with a big palm, they pulled hard. There was a crunch. A downward passage appeared in the open space in front of the rockery. Go, bury him and the owner of the Azure Wolf Village. Ye Chen was relieved when the passage appeared, and then he ordered. Yes. Lord Lord. The two soldiers from the Reincarnation Village bowed, and then left the place carrying the corpse of the Qin Glangzai military division. Ye Chen walked straight to the entrance of the secret room. The passage is not dim, because there are night pearls with the size of a baby's fist hanging on the wall. These yemings are all top grades, and any one of them can be sold at a sky-high price of 100,000 tails of gold. Along the way, Ye Chen counted, and there were as many as 36 yemings a year. When he came to the secret room, a yeming pearl the size of an adult man's fist suddenly appeared in Ye Chen's eyes. The moment Ye Chen saw this huge night pearl, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened, and then the corners of his mouth curled up. That thing, it's done. Ye Chen finished talking excitedly, and then looked at the items stored in the secret room. A drawing, a token, and a primitive pill bottle were all placed on the stone table in the secret room. Ye Chen picked up the three items, and after checking them one by one, he exhaled a long breath. Baywa Stuffed Recipe, the only Features, one of the ten most famous wines. Special Forces Transfer Order, only. Features, unlimited advancement. Limited number of people, 10,000. Huan Yang Dan, resurrect those who have died within three days. The value of any of the three items far exceeds the value of plundering Ching Lang village before. The Baywa Brewing Formula can become a specialty of Reincarnation Village and it is a top specialty. Even if it enters the prehistoric times, it is in short supply, and it can bring endless wealth to Ye Chen. The special army transfer token is equally powerful because it has unlimited advancement characteristics. In other words, Ye Chen can form a special army of 10,000 people, and the rank of the army can be continuously improved from F rank, even if it surpasses SSS rank, there is no problem. A legion with a rank is more than 30% stronger than an ordinary army. The higher the rank, the stronger the combat strength. The special army is even more powerful. For example, Bema Yakong recorded in history, first boarding camp, falling camp, and so on. These legions are special existences, unique and irreplaceable. 
And Ye Chen has now received a special army transfer order, that is to say, as long as Ye Chen gathers enough people, he can instantly obtain an F-class special army, and it is an army with infinite possibilities. As for Huan Yang Dan, the same goes against the sky. People cannot be resurrected from the dead, but Yang Pil can be brought back to life. Even if Ye Chen Zuo died, it didn't matter if he had the pill for repaying the sun, he could still be resurrected full of blood and blue without any loss. There is basically no secret room in the cottage, at most it is a warehouse. If there is no such secret room, I might have overlooked the existence of the secret room. Sure enough, the first kill plus the tenfold reward is different. Ye Chen finished talking to himself, then put away three items, and then left the secret room. When leaving the secret room, Ye Chen did not forget to buckle the Ye Mingzu on the wall one by one. Especially the Ye Mingzu with the big adult fist, Ye Chen wants to use it to do one thing, one thing that can make Ye Chen rise faster. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Reincarnation Forest, Ching Lang Village the bandits and bandits into rice dumplings all awakened. The bandits and robbers who woke up did not hesitate to surrender, without exception. Little people have the wisdom of little people. If you don't surrender, you will definitely die. No one wants to die. Ye Chen naturally wouldn't refuse the surrender of bandits and bandits, because whether bandit or bandit, the worst qualifications would reach D level. And their general qualifications are C level. There will be a part of the B grade, but very few. At least 70% of these tens of thousands of bandits and bandits can have C level qualifications, and these people can be directly transformed into soldiers in the Samsara village. If Ye Chen wants to rise quickly, naturally the more soldiers he has, the better. Master, is this to be used as a training spot for Samsara village? Zhao Meng came to Ye Chen at this time and asked. It's true. Ye Chen said with a smile and nodded. But the Lord, there are still many cottages in the Samsara forest that have not been captured. If this is the case, I am afraid that the Qing Lang village will become a great hidden danger and it will be detrimental to the Samsara village. Zhao Meng heard this and hurried to persuade. Do you still want to follow me to attack the cottage? Ye Chen laughed, and then asked. The Lord's meaning is, will be training here at the end. Zhao Meng was dumbfounded, and then asked in surprise. Of course. Ye Chen nodded and said. No. Lord, there is only one giant cottage in the reincarnation forest, Qing Lang village, but there are no fewer than five large cottages, and each large cottage has at least five thousand people. Zhao Meng just said this, and Ye Chen raised his hand to stop it. There is nothing shocking about 5,000 people. Don't forget, I'm a stranger. What's more, a large cottage with 5,000 people in Kukwu, do you think I will take your lord to heart? Ye Chen looked at Zhao Meng very much. Is asking seriously. Zhao Meng advised that he was naturally afraid that Ye Chen would be in danger, and Ye Chen naturally knew this. But Ye Chen didn't want to wait and Ye Chen didn't have any concerns about attacking large cottages. Now that there is a special army transfer order, it is of course necessary to use it immediately, and moreover, it has to be quickly upgraded to the rank of the army. In the period of the Three Kingdoms, big fists were the last word. Whether it is to profit from the historical plot or to ascend the whole country, Ye Chen must have a powerful force and a powerful force. To put it simply, the bigger the fist, the better, and the harder the better. Whoever refuses to accept and kill him will solve everything. Zhao Meng opened his mouth and wanted to persuade him again, but when the words came to his lips, he took it back. After struggling for a long time, Zhao Meng said, Please be more careful, the Lord, otherwise, even if you die in the end, you can't shirk the blame. When Ye Chen heard this, he couldn't help but smile patted Zhao Meng's shoulder heavily, and said. I want to take away 10,000 people, and I have brought you the rest. Train your troops well. This is a task entrusted to you. 
master. Only 1,000 people will be needed in the end, no, 100 people are enough. Zhao Meng said when he heard that Ye Chen only brought 10,000 people. Ye Chen glared at Zhao Meng, and then said, I said 10,000 people, naturally there are 10,000 people. Go, choose 10,000 people with C-level qualifications for me. After Ye Chen finished speaking, he took out the special army transfer order. At the moment when Zhao Meng saw the special army transfer order, he was stunned, and then shouted in ecstasy. Congratulations to the Lord! Congratulations to the Lord! With this, the Lord can surely sweep the world and dominate the world. Stop flattering, go and find everyone for me. Ye Chen shook his head helplessly, and then scolded. I will go to prepare for the Lord at once. Zhao Meng said happily, and ran out. Ye Chen shook his head helplessly, then walked to the campus of King Glangzai and waited quietly. Soon, 10,000 people gathered in the school field. Ye Chen stood on the high platform, looking at the dark crowd below, feeling a little refreshed in his heart. Because these were Ye Chen's soldiers, and they were originally C-level aptitude soldiers who were promoted to A-level by the attributes of Reincarnation Village. The 10,000 people in the audience knew what was coming, and none of these people was not excited. Originally, after their surrender was accepted by Ye Chen, they were thrilled because their aptitude had increased by two levels. And now, they have encountered a great opportunity again. Become a member of the Special Army. This is the supreme glory, no one is not excited, no one is not crazy. You are willing to fight for me. Ye Chen raised the Special Army Transfer Token and shouted. Willing. You are willing to fight for reincarnation. Ye Chen shouted again. Willing. You are willing to fight for the future. Ye Chen shouted loudly. Willing. We will follow the Lord to the death. Fight for the Lord. Fight for reincarnation. Fight for the future. With a loud shout, it sounded continuously, piercing the sky. Ye Chen raised his hand, and the voice stopped abruptly. Remember today's words, you fight for me, fight for reincarnation, blood can be done, but the will, never depressed. To be a reincarnation, die as a reincarnation soul. After Ye Chen finished speaking, he pinched the special army transfer order with his right hand. A colorful light appeared in an instant, and then enveloped all the soldiers in the school field. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for using the special army transfer order. Please name the army. Reincarnation. Ye Chen said without hesitation. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen for forming a special army, Reincarnation. As soon as the prompt of the system ended, the soldiers of the 10,000 Reincarnation Legion on the school field opened their eyes together. Hey! The uniform sound of kneeling on one knee sounded instantly. Meet the Lord! The soldiers of the Samsara Legion shouted in unison. The murderous, majestic and iron-blooded breath began to emerge, and then it became stronger and stronger. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ding, congratulations to the Samsara Legion for comprehending the skills of the Legion. Ding, congratulations to the Samsara Legion for comprehending the skills of the Legion. The aggression is like fire. Reincarnation Core, Special Core. Grade, F. Number of people, 10,000. Legion skills. Aggression is like fire, not moving like a mountain. Aggression is like fire, when attacking the enemy, like a prairie fire, unstoppable. Unmovable like a mountain, when the legion is stationed, it is like a mountain, unshakable. As soon as the system's prompt sound ended, Ye Chen was taken aback, and then the corner of his mouth curled up. Unexpectedly, the Samsara Legion was founded and I realized two legion skills when they came up, and they are top legion skills. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked at the reincarnation legion in the audience, full of expectation. At this moment, 
the system's world announcement sounded instantly. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for being the first to establish a special army, the Reincarnation Army, with a special reward of one million prestige. With the announcement of the system, the whole world channel became noisy again. Hold a big grass. Great God Ye Chen, you are so awesome, how long is this, it's a world announcement again. Brother Ye Chen, the Lun family wants to warm you up. Ye Chen, for the sake of mankind, tell the secrets you know. As soon as this message appeared, the world channel cleared its screen instantly, and after three seconds, countless messages appeared. Yeah, Ye Chen, tell everything you know. There are many ferocious beasts out there. They bite when they see people, and they don't wait to die before they bite them. Ye Chen, if you still have humanity, tell all the secrets you know. Ye Chen. You can't continue to be selfish, can you bear to watch countless people die tragically? Yes, those beasts are getting more and more ferocious, more and more powerful, and one by one is not as clever, let's tell the secret. Ye Chen, Fenjiun League solemnly invites you, as long as you are willing to come, the conditions are up to you, you want money and money and you want women to have women. Ye Chen, on behalf of Magic City, I give you the position of honorary mayor, and solemnly invite you to participate in a confidential meeting. I represent Beijing. The world channel is very chaotic. Many people use righteousness and even threats to tell Ye Chen to tell the secret of the game. Some even directly invited Ye Chen to join a certain force. However, no matter what they said, how to shout, how to threaten, to be moral, and to be ethical, Ye Chen didn't say a word. Because Ye Chen didn't even talk about the opening of the world channel, and even turned off the friend function. Yang. Ye Chen hasn't been added yet. This has turned off the friend function, how can I add it? Countless people have not given up trying to contact Ye Chen, but the result is that they are extremely depressed and even furious. Ye Chen closed the world channel for the sake of quietness, and he knew from the beginning that countless people would contact him. Ye Chen understands better than anyone else that no matter what excuses these people use, they are actually doing it for themselves. The world has changed dramatically, and people have discovered the secret that games can improve their strength. No matter which one, they are eager to know more. Some people even want to control Ye Chen in their hands whether it is a personal power or a large power. Their abacus is very loud, but it is a pity that Ye Chen has seen everything through long ago. Reincarnation Forest, Qing Lang Village When the momentum of the Samsara Legion reached its peak, Ye Chen waved his right hand and then shouted, Go! Suppress the bandits! Kill! 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 Thousands of people drank together and then followed Ye Chen Hao away from Qing Lang village. At this moment, the Samsara Legion officially stepped onto the world stage, and the hideous fangs began to appear in the world. After watching Ye Chen leave with the Samsara Legion, Zhao Meng sighed with a tangled expression. He wanted to follow, but unfortunately, he couldn't get there. General, shall we camp here, or? A commander who had just been promoted asked at this moment. A thousand people were stationed in each of the four directions in the southeast and northwest, and the rest was in the middle of the cottage. Bandits appeared and strangled them directly. Zhao Meng immediately regained consciousness when he heard the inquiry from his subordinates, and then shouted. Yes. General. The commander replied loudly. Zhao Meng nodded, suddenly remembering something, patted his forehead, and hurriedly ordered. By the way. Ask someone to transport those confiscated weapons back to Samsara village and put them on the market by the deputy village chief. The price is only one silver lower than others. Yes. General. The commander took the order, and then hurriedly ran to arrange manpower to transport the weapons harvested by the suppression of the bandits in the Samsara village to the Samsara village. The weapon level is not high, but for the player market at this moment, it just meets the needs of everyone. As long as these weapons are sold, Samsara Village will surely make a fortune again. 
Ye Chen is not here, if he is here, Zhao Meng will definitely be praised. Because Ye Chen thought about it, and forgot about selling garbage weapons. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. My lord is forgiving, my lord is forgiving. The masters of the three large cottages kowtowed their heads like garlic, shouting in horror. Shut up! Ye Chen frowned, then shouted in a deep voice. The three village masters shuddered abruptly, and then they all shut their mouths, looking at Ye Chen with a panic expression, and waited for what follows. Where is your cottage? Ye Chen glanced at the three of them and asked. When the three of them heard this, they were stunned, and then reacted. Ye Chen didn't want to kill them. Lord Lord, the younger one is willing to lead the way. A village lord hurriedly shouted. Lord Lord, the villain is also willing to lead the way. The other two shouted eagerly. Ye Chen nodded, then turned to look at the Samsara Legion behind him, and shouted. Six thousand people are separated, and two thousand people are stationed in each large cottage. Yes. Lord. The neat and uniform shouts came in an instant. In the next second, the Samsara Legion moved out of 6,000 people from left to right, and then quickly divided into three. During this period, no one was making noise, no one was vying for it, and it was uniform and methodical. This made the bandits and bandits who came to surrender felt more pressure. This is called strict discipline, and this is called the regular army. In fact, they didn't know that even the regular army would react so quickly, let alone walking, and the formation would not be chaotic. This is the characteristic that the special army has. The Reincarnation Legion is a special army, the only, irreplaceable, infinitely advanced special army. Ye Chen made such a decision, naturally, he wanted to leave those three large cottages. The purpose is very simple, training. Go. Ye Chen waved his right hand. The owners of the three large cottages hurriedly got up at this time, ran out, and led the way for the three teams of the Samsara Legion. Ye Chen looked at the remaining bandits and robbers at this time, and said, Your cottage does not need to exist. The villain is willing to lead the way, Lord Lord, here, here is the Black Dog Village. My Lord. Five miles west of this place is the Jackal Village. The bandits and bandits who surrendered, scrambling to express their stance, it was a buzz. Shut up! Ye Chen shouted angrily, and then continued, go to the nearest cottage first. Come out and lead the way. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the owner of a small cottage hurriedly stepped forward to show Ye Chen the way. What Ye Chen had to do was to destroy these cottages. There is no need to keep these cottages otherwise the smoky forest of Samsara will not be a good thing for Samsara village. The cottages were destroyed one by one, Ye Chen's harvest continued to increase, his money became more, his merits increased, and he also gained countless resources. It wasn't until the last cottage was destroyed that Ye Chen took people back to Samsara village. Welcome the Lord back to the village. As soon as Ye Chen entered the valley, a roar of excitement came instantly. Welcome the Lord back to the village. They all drank together, followed by sound. I saw Zhao Hung, Zhao Yu and a group of villagers from Reincarnation Village, looking at Ye Chen with excitement. They all carry farm tools in their hands. Seeing this, Ye Chen was stunned for a moment. The next second, a warmth flowed out of Ye Chen's heart. Whether it is Zhao Hung, Zhao Yu or the villagers of Reincarnation Village, they all know the upcoming crisis in Reincarnation Village. At this moment, the soldiers were out and there were no soldiers stationed in Samsara Village. They spontaneously picked up the farm tools in their hands and spontaneously came to the entrance of the valley. Their purpose is simple, to protect Samsara Village. Protect this land that gives them peace and happiness. It's even more to protect Ye Chen's foundation. Quiet, very quiet. The entire valley became extremely quiet at this moment, and people were watching Ye Chen. A wisp of breeze blew, 
blowing a strand of long hair on Ye Chen's forehead, until then did Ye Chen exhale a long breath. In the real world, too many intrigues, too many conspiracy betrayals. At this moment, in the village of reincarnation, in Ye Chen's territory, there is such a group of people who are 100% loyal to Ye Chen. Even willing to give their lives, just to keep Ye Chen's territory. Very simple and naive ideas, but they are the most precious. For Ye Chen, this was what Ye Chen wanted. Looking at the villagers of Reincarnation Village, Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then shouted. From now on, the land in the Samsara village will be privatized, and the tax will be changed from 40% to 10%. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, everyone was stunned, and then they shouted in excitement, Long live Lord Lord! Long live! Originally they were all refugees, and if they were full, they would be content. Reincarnation Village took them in, so they could live in peace of mind without starving them. And now, Ye Chen gave them land, and what's more important was that the tax that should have been 40% became 10%. How could the villagers not be excited, how could they not be excited? You know, people in this era are extremely obsessed with land. What excites is not only the original residents of Reincarnation Village, but also the bandits and bandits who surrendered. Ye Chen's promise also applies to them. Whether they are soldiers or farmers, they can live well in Samsara village without worrying about food or clothing. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, the stability of Samsara village is plus 20. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen ignored the system prompts and walked straight to Zhao Yu. Looking at Zhao Yu, who looked resolute and full of tender eyes, Ye Chen's heart was touched time and time again. Zhao Yu is a woman, not strong, but for Ye Chen, she is willing to come to the entrance of the valley to resist bandits and bandits who may come at any time. For Ye Chen, she chose to ignore her own life. Although it was because of her loyalty, the tenderness in her eyes couldn't deceive Ye Chen at all. Ye Chen tried her best to stabilize her mood, then gently embraced Zhao Yu in her arms, and whispered, I can meet you. It is the greatest luck of my life. When Zhao Yu heard this, his face was flushed. Although the relationship between her and Ye Chen is already known to the villagers of Reincarnation Village, many villagers here are watching. How could Zhao Yu not be shy? I'll go back to work. Zhao Hung saw this and hurriedly kicked one and the other. The villagers of Reincarnation Village naturally didn't dare to disturb Ye Chen, and hurriedly left one by one. The soldiers who returned with Ye Chen left in unison. Soon, Ye Chen and Zhao Yu were left at the entrance of the valley. Big brother, are you not hurt? Zhao Yu suddenly remembered something and hurriedly raised his head and asked. No. There are not many people in this world who can hurt me, and there will be fewer and fewer in the future. In the end, no one can hurt me. Ye Chen touched Zhao Yu's hair and said with a smile. It's okay if it doesn't, it's okay if it doesn't. Zhao Yu heard this, suddenly relieved, and then nestled in Ye Chen's arms again. Ye Chen hugged Zhao Yu, feeling full of emotions for a time. If it weren't for rebirth. Ye Chen might really treat Zhao Yu as a piece of data instead of being emotional. In fact, this world is not composed of data. It is a real world, a real world with flesh and blood and soul. Ye Chen's thoughts drifted farther and farther, and he involuntarily hugged Zhao Yu in his arms. After a while, Ye Chen gradually recovered, and then solemnly said. Don't be so stupid in the future. Even if the Samsara village can't be saved, you can't be okay. Remember my words, this is not a discussion, this is an order. When Zhao Yu heard Ye Chen's extremely harsh tone, he was taken aback for a moment, then his heart warmed, and he softly responded, Um. She naturally heard that Ye Chen cared for her and cared for her. A taste of happiness is constantly flowing in Zhao Yu's heart. When Ye Chen heard Zhao Yu's promise, he was relieved immediately and then he hugged Zhao Yu and sat down by the small river. At this moment, 
Ye Chen just wanted to hold Zhao Yu and stay quiet. Because of moving, but also because of this rare leisure. Looking at the slowly flowing river, bathing in the sunset, Ye Chen's heart was exceptionally quiet. A little bit of time passed, when the afterglow of the setting sun gradually disappeared, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and said softly, Let's go back. Hmm. Zhao Yu responded softly. Ye Chen smiled slightly, then got up and took Zhao Yu's hand towards Samsara village. Right now, Ye Chen will naturally not be complacent, let alone get over it. Moreover, immediately, Pangu's Hineo will open the game currency exchange business. At that time, the major forces will rise rapidly, and Ye Chen doesn't have so much time to waste. Ye Chen, 3rd Class Viscount Title, Spear God, King Level General Level, Level 95 Prestige, 1.35 million Meritorious Service, 890,000 Force, 92 Roots, 88 Spirit, 100 Fu Yuan, Hidden Techniques, 9 Turns Xian Gong, Shen Xiao Yu Lei Ju Skills, Basic Spear Technique Equipment, Killing Spear, Black Cloud Armor Money, 18.62 million gold Items, Shaking Mountain Art, Thunder Spear, Yeming Zhu X36, Yeming Zhu X1, Tongkei Table, Huan Yang Dan X1 Jewelry 100 Boxes, Cavalry Battalion X1, Heavy Cavalry Battalion X1, School Field X1, Ming Guang Armor X1, Point Steel, Gun X1, Horn Bow X1, Secret Room X1, Grain Depot X1, Beiwa Brewing X1. After returning to Reincarnation Village, Ye Chen directly called the Deputy Village Chief Zhao Hung, and gave Zhao Hung all the drawings obtained by the bandits except for the Tongkei Terrace. And the large amount of resources seized was also rushed to Zhao Hung, who would distribute these blueprints and formulas. Huge resources, numerous drawing formulas, and generous money have brought unlimited possibilities to Reincarnation Village. Others are still using wooden guns that are not even up to the level, and Samsara Village can already build silver level weapon armor on its own. Others don't know what the special product is, and the village of reincarnation has one of the top ten famous wines, Beiwan Yang. Ye Chen hasn't been offline for a long time. If he hadn't advanced to an innate military commander, and his demand for food would no longer be so strong, Ye Chen would have been offline long ago. After explaining the matter, Ye Chen returned to the village chief's mansion, and then chose to go offline. Who knows, as soon as I got off the line, I heard a quack quack sound. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. There was a creak sound, the diamond level game compartment opened automatically, and the creak sound disappeared instantly. Ye Chen got up from the diamond level game warehouse, and then stayed for a while. I saw a tiger with fiery red hair and a body of two meters long staring at Ye Chen with two big tiger eyes. This is... Yan Hu. Ye Chen quickly realized that the mighty red-haired tiger in front of him was his own spirit beast, Yan Hu. Why is it so big? As soon as Ye Chen's doubts appeared, he saw a small pile of shiny stones on the ground. That is the spirit stone, the spirit stone that gathers the spirit array automatically generated every day. And this is the root cause of Yan Hu's growth in just two days. Yan Hu stared at two big tiger eyes, watery, and he didn't know anything. If it wasn't for the tiny fragments of spirit stones on the ground, or for the number of spirit stones generated by the spirit gathering array every day, Ye Chen might have believed it. You little guy, you are too greedy. Ye Chen shook his head helplessly, and then left the diamond level game warehouse. At this moment, Yan Hu hurried to Ye Chen's legs and rubbed Ye Chen's trouser legs with his head, acting like a coquettish and cute face. Obviously, this guy was worried that Ye Chen blamed it. You are not allowed to eat so much in the future, do what you can, don't eat it, look at your stomach. 
Ye Chen glared at Yan Hu, and then said. Ye Chen naturally didn't care about such a little spirit stone, Yan Hu was Ye Chen's spirit beast, naturally the stronger the better. But the energy contained in this spirit stone is not small for a while, this Yan Hu eats too much, his stomach is enlarged, and it is supported by energy. If you are not careful, you may explode, and then it will be difficult to survive. Yan Hu looked down at his swollen belly and nodded vigorously. Ye Chen smiled slightly, touched Yan Hu's head, and then left the hut. The air outside is very fresh, completely different from the previous muddy air with various smells. This is brought about by the falling meteors, the world has changed, and people are caught off guard. At this moment, three days have passed since the meteor fell. Looking at the tall buildings in the distance, Ye Chen exhaled a long breath. It's about to start. The breeze blew, shook Ye Chen's forehead hair, and also shook distant buildings. Reinforced concrete buildings, at this moment, seem to have gone through hundreds of years in an instant, and then become decayed. Countless dust began to drift with the breeze. Layer by layer, the former buildings, no matter how tall or low, are constantly turning into dust, floating, and disappearing. At this moment, it is not just this city that is changing, but the whole world. Some are frightened, some are screaming, some are screaming. At this moment, people's hearts become more confused. The unknown is the most terrifying, because of the unknown, so fear, because of the unknown, so crazy. No matter how the world changes, there is a rule that always exists. The weak eat the strong. At this moment, powerful people have begun to gang up, and evil people have begun to release the demons deep in their hearts. The screams of women, the crying of children, the anger and madness of men were staged all over the world. As soon as the tea time passed, the former reinforced concrete buildings were no longer visible, and the roads on the ground turned into dirt roads. At first glance, there are towering trees and weeds on the ground. Desolate, primitive, yet full of vitality, this is the world at this moment. However, the smell of human panic in the air is getting stronger and stronger. Ye Chen was silent for a moment and looked at the new development zone in the southwest. There are buildings with sci-fi colors. That is the city built by Zhineo Pangu, and it is also a safe zone for mankind in the next three months. After that, if safety is not there, the fight will officially start at that moment. Monster race, human race, the mysterious witch race that appeared soon after. The smell of death will become stronger and stronger, and it will make people tremble and crazy. Hey! Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and then made it more convenient. He simply got something to eat. Without rest, he went straight back to the diamond level game warehouse. Here is the Samsara village, the Samsara village in reality, a Samsara village with only three thatched huts. But here, it also has the attributes of a safe zone. Therefore, Ye Chen was not worried about the beasts or beasts around him who wanted to fight the autumn wind. As for the threat from humans, Ye Chen was not even worried. Ye Chen didn't worry about how many people came to the innate realm, king level generals. Ye Chen had only one thought at the moment. Keep getting stronger. It's too strong to be feared. Too strong to despair. Game World, Reincarnation Village, Village Chief's Mansion. A beam of light suddenly appeared, the light dissipated, and Ye Chen appeared here. Looking at the spotless bedroom, Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then walked out. Unexpectedly, as soon as Ye Chen left the house, he saw Zhao Hung standing outside the door, walking around anxiously. What's the matter? Ye Chen frowned slightly before asking. My lord, the villagers who went out to explore the road saw Wuhuan cavalry in the forest. Zhao Hung saw Ye Chen coming out and said with a hurried bow. It's finally on the shelves. To be honest, I have no bottom in my heart. As an author, I write books naturally to make money and to support myself. This is not a market, this is the reality. Only when the grades of the book are good, the manuscript fee will be high, 
and only then will I be able to support myself. Of course, this is inseparable from the support of readers. Without your subscription, it can be said that I am nothing. As for what it means to be sympathetic or pitiful, I won't say anything about it. It's not necessary. A good book depends on the reader's approval. Only after the approval, will you subscribe. Only when more people subscribe, it means that this is a good book. I can't give you any promises, because the promises are a bit false. I just want to say, I will work harder, work harder, and try my best to write this book. And this is the only thing I can use to give back to all readers. Thanks to friends who have been rewarding, voting, and voting for flowers, thank you. Finally, it will be on the shelves at zero o'clock tonight, and beg for a wave of first appointments. Thank you. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Wuhuan Cavalry Ye Chen frowned again. The cavalry had no advantage in the forest, but the Wuhuan cavalry came to the Samsara forest, and Ye Chen naturally wondered. How many people are there? Where is the location? Ye Chen thought for a while, then looked at Zhao Hung and asked. Lord, there are at least 10,000 Wuhuan cavalrymen, and one person with two horses. The location is on the northern edge of the Samsara forest. Zhao Hung hurriedly bowed in response. Hearing this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly lit up. Here comes the war horse. Are they coming straight to the Valley of Reincarnation? Ye Chen suddenly remembered something and hurriedly asked. Yes, Lord, their direction is the Valley of Reincarnation. Zhao Hung nodded heavily in response. Go straight to Samsara Valley. Ye Chen frowned suddenly. At least 10,000 people came to the Samsara forest with two riders alone it is impossible to come for a vacation. They must be here for some purpose. There is nothing worthy of the Wuhuan cavalry in the cottage, plundering is their code of conduct. But the Samsara village has not been discovered yet, and the Wuhuan cavalry is even less likely to know. At this moment, Ye Chen suddenly remembered something, and then looked up. The 10,000-meter-high mountain towering into the clouds instantly caught Ye Chen's eyes. A few days ago, on the top of that high mountain, Ye Chen killed two wild bosses. Their target should be the blue-eyed tiger king or the black water mysterious snake. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's mouth curled up, then looked at Zhao Hung and asked. How long is it estimated that the Wuhuan cavalry will reach the Valley of Reincarnation? Lord, according to the introduction of the villagers in Pathfinder, the subordinates judged that the Wuhuan cavalry will arrive in the Valley of Reincarnation in half an hour at most. Zhao Hung hurriedly responded. Half an hour, enough. Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, and a cold light flashed away. Lord, do you send someone to the four cottages? Zhao Hung thought of something at this moment and hurriedly asked. The time is too late. There are four training spots, and the nearest one takes two hours. Ye Chen shook his head and said. Master! Damn you old man! If old man sends someone to the four troop training points in advance to deliver news, maybe, maybe. Zhao Hung knelt on the ground with a poof, crying in tears and blaming himself. It's okay, it doesn't matter to you, even if you send someone there, it's too late. Ye Chen hurriedly helped Zhao Hung up, and then continued. But Kukwu tens of thousands of Wuhuan cavalry came to the Samsara forest, and it was them who were looking for death on their own. Summoned soldiers to the school grounds to gather, in addition, all the villagers of Samsara village were recalled, and they were not allowed to go out until the Wuhuan cavalry was resolved. Yes. Lord. Zhao Hung wiped the tears from the corner of his eyes, and hurriedly bowed in response, and then hurriedly left here to convey Ye Chen's order. Wuhuan Cavalry. Ye Chen's eyes gleamed, and then he walked towards the schoolyard. When he arrived at the schoolyard, Ye Chen climbed onto the high platform, and a swish came immediately. See the Lord. Tens of thousands of soldiers knelt on one knee and shouted in unison. 
they are basically bandits and bandits who surrendered, even the predecessor of the Samsara Legion. However, these people not only have a complete change in their temperament and image, but they also have no discount in their loyalty. Looking at the tens of thousands of soldiers, Ye Chen looked serious and raised his right hand falsely. Hey! Tens of thousands of soldiers got up together. I said before that in terms of merit and reward, there is land and money in Samsara village. When Ye Chen said this, tens of thousands of soldiers were all bright. When countless soldiers were looking forward to it, Ye Chen spoke again. However, the villagers just detected a group of cavalry, and in half an hour, they will reach the valley of Samsara. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell to the ground, countless soldiers were taken aback for a moment, and then each and every one of them burst into anger. Not to Ye Chen, but to the cavalry in Ye Chen's mouth. Seeing that this is going to be beneficial, if the money can be distributed to the fields, the money is secondary, and the key is the fields. Ye Chen promised to privatize. With this, marry another wife, inherit the family, live and work in peace and contentment, how good this kind of life is. However, there are cavalry soldiers who are not open enough to come here. How can the soldiers not be angry if they want to disrupt their imagined life? Seeing that the tens of thousands of soldiers in the audience didn't mean to be afraid at all, Ye Chen had a deeper understanding of the god-level village building order against the sky. Territory stability is plus 60, and territorial residence satisfaction is plus 60. It seems useless, but it has an effect that cannot be ignored. But all the villagers of Reincarnation Village, even those who have just joined, will spontaneously regard Reincarnation Village as their home. Otherwise, the bandit and robber who had just surrendered will definitely turn back and even run away after hearing the cavalry coming. Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction, and then shouted. This place is the west of Yuzhu, Liaoning, with Wuhuan and Xianbei in the north, and the Xiongnu in the west. We are all Han people. However, foreign races in Fanbang often plunder the frontier fortresses and plunder the wealth of Han people, women. Speaking of this, Ye Chen paused for a moment, and the tens of thousands of soldiers in the audience began to breathe harder. What Ye Chen said was true, and they all knew about it. No one had thought about it before, because they were bandits and bandits. At this moment, they became a member of the reincarnation village and had to think about this issue. If the Fanbang alien race comes and snatches everything they will have, what will they do? The more I think about it, the more angry I get, and no one wants to be robbed of their things. Tell me. You are willing to go with me to kill the enemy. Ye Chen's eyes condensed, and he shouted. Wish. 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 Tens of thousands of soldiers shouted in unison. With a move from Ye Chen's right hand, the killing spear appeared instantly, and the black cloud armor immediately covered Ye Chen's body. Hey! Tens of thousands of soldiers clenched their weapons together. Killing, the ruthless aura began to emerge in an instant, and then continued to rise. When the momentum rose to the apex, Ye Chen waved his right hand, and then shouted, Those who violate my reincarnation, kill. 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 Tens of thousands of soldiers shouted in unison, and the murderous aura broke out instantly. Among them, the Yu Samsara Legion was the strongest. Go. After Ye Chen finished speaking, he went straight down the high platform, then rode on the horse that Zhao Hung had prepared, and headed towards the entrance of the Valley of Samsara. Tens of thousands of reincarnation soldiers with weapons in their hands followed closely behind him. The solemn, cold, indomitable momentum began to condense, and then it became stronger and stronger. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. When Ye Chen led the soldiers out of the schoolyard, the villagers of Reincarnation Village stood outside and waited. They all have hoes in their hands, axes for logging, and mine hoes for mining. They learned about the arrival of the Wuhuan cavalry, and even their lord Ye Chen, who had just returned, 
immediately led the troops out to defend against foreign enemies. Congratulations to the Lord Lord. Congratulations to the Lord Lord. Congratulations to the Lord Lord. After seeing Ye Chen, the villagers of Reincarnation Village bowed and shouted in unison. They are grateful to Ye Chen, and they are grateful to Ye Chen for giving them a stable life. But they are just farmers, and all they can do is to wait quietly in Samsara Village, waiting for Ye Chen to return triumphantly. If the Samsara Village is attacked by the enemy, then they will not hesitate to pick up the in their hands and give their last breath. They did this before, even though, such a thing did not happen. But it is undeniable that they have such determination. Ye Chen glanced at the pristine villagers, nodded, and then moved on. Tens of thousands of soldiers followed Ye Chen mightily and marched towards the entrance of the valley. When Ye Chen led his troops to leave the Valley of Reincarnation, a beautiful figure walked out from behind the tree. Far away looked at the leaving army, wiped the tears from the corner of his eyes, and whispered, Be careful! Outside the valley! Ye Chen rode on the horse, looked at the endless forest of reincarnation, was silent for a moment, then turned and shouted. The Samsara Legion stays on the spot, the rest are waiting and climb the tree. When the Wuhuan cavalry arrives as many as possible, they will attack again. Be careful, try to shoot the cavalry as much as possible without hurting the horse. Yes. Lord. Shouted together. Tens of thousands of reincarnation soldiers rushed towards the trees in front of them, and then climbed to the trees one by one, hiding themselves. Behind them, they all carry bows and arrows and quivers. The trees in the reincarnation forest are tall, sturdy, and luxuriant. There is no problem hiding three or five people. The weapons seized in the previous attack on the cottage were all lost to the market, and Ye Chen also obtained more than 200,000 taels of gold for this. However, even though Ye Chen needed money, he would not do anything to go fishing. In this era, there are soldiers in hand, but you still have to have weapons. Therefore, in addition to the wooden spear, every bandit who surrenders has a bow and arrow, a quiver, and enough arrows. Although these bows and arrows are not high-level weapons, they are enough to deal with Wuhuan cavalry. Wuhuan is a nomadic people, rich in war horses, but this is not important. The important thing is that they lack iron, do not have smelting skills, let alone such talents, and there will not be many cavalry in armor at all. As for the Samsara forest, there are towering trees everywhere, and the cavalry here cannot initiate a charge at all. Cavalry who cannot charge is just waste and unbearable. Therefore, Ye Chen didn't worry about Wuhuan cavalry at all. Moreover, Ye Chen was determined to eat this group of Wuhuan cavalry. Loot their war horses. The war horse was a strategic material during the Three Kingdoms period, and the lord with the cavalry was the powerful lord. Whether it is mobility or offensive ability, the cavalry is second to none. Of course, the cavalry is restricted by the terrain, and only open places can exert its power. However, whether Ye Chen is the northern expedition or participating in the upcoming historical plot, cavalry is a must. There are only cavalry battalion drawings and heavy cavalry drawings, and soldiers can only be converted to cavalry or heavy cavalry. Can a cavalry be a cavalry without a horse? Obviously not. Therefore, Ye Chen wants to take down the Wuhuan cavalry in the Samsara forest, to be precise, take down the horses in their hands. Ye Chen stood in front of the 4000 Reincarnation Legion, watching the front with a serious and cold expression. Behind him, the 4000 Reincarnation Legions, armed with long and spears, were motionless like a mountain. On the tree, soldiers from Samsara village, holding their bows and strung the strings, stood in battle. The strong wind blew, the leaves salsa rustled, other than that, no sound came out anymore. A little bit of time passed, and Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened when the war horse's nose sounded and the sound of people's discussion came. Coming! Ye Chen lifted his right hand and the tens of thousands of soldiers from Samsara village hidden in the tree pulled their bows together and aimed at the ground. Hey! 
the soldiers of the 4000 Reincarnation Legion all put their guns and guns diagonally. Soon, the discussion of Wuhan cavalry came. What the is this place, why are there so many trees? How do I know, but it must be extraordinary to come to a place where there is that big tiger. Leader Yudun has tried his best for Chu Li to be alone. Nonsense, the leader of Dae Dun is Chu Li Yu Kongzi. Naturally, he wants to please Chu Li Yu Kongzi. Hehe, he, if the leader can be a Dae then we will be happy. We want women and women, and cattle, and sheep and cattle and sheep. Ha ha ha, that is, the leader of Dae Dun is invincible in the world, and it is good to us. With him, we can naturally live a good life. When the tiger is killed, when we go back this time, we must ask the leader to take us to rob the Han people. That's a must, tisk tisk, think about those little Niang skins of the Han people, it's called a thin skin tender meat. Ye Chen narrowed his eyes when he heard this, and then a cold light flashed. At this moment, several Wuhuan cavalry appeared in Ye Chen's line of sight, leading their horses. Kill. Ye Chen waved his right hand before shouting in a loud voice. Swish swish. Countless arrows shot from the tree instantly, the Wuhuan cavalry with a bewildered look. They came here to kill the blue-eyed tiger king. This endless forest shouldn't have been people, and some were just bandits and robbers. They are not afraid of bandits and robbers, no bandit and robber dare to attack their ideas. They are Wuhuan people, a nation that grows on horseback, brave and fearless. All of them are soldiers, and everyone is good at war. The bandits and robbers come, and they can easily kill them. And now, four thousand powerful troops appeared in front of them, and there were countless arrows shooting at them from the trees. Puff puff. The sound of arrows entering the flesh one after another. Pieces of Wuhuan cavalry were shot by arrows, and flowers of blood floated on them. Enemy attack. Enemy attack. Countless exclamations came from the mouth of the Wuhuan cavalry. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The Wuhuan cavalry dodged in a panic, arrows shot down from the tree. However, more were shot directly by arrows. Those who were not shot to death were all lying on the ground, wailing and struggling miserably. They never thought that they would be ambushed here. Still so many people ambush. Stop. Stop. An exclamation came. But it was a general Wuhuan wearing a armor, shouting loudly while flapping the arrows that flew towards him. However, the arrow did not stop, still shooting from the tree. Who are you? We are Chula Hushanyu's subordinates. Not from Xianbei, nor from Huns. An anxious cry came from General Wuhuan's mouth again. Wuhuan was controlled by the Han Empire, but they often took part in plundering Han people. Ye Chen knew about this, but Ye Chen wasn't worried, let alone being soft-hearted because of this. Aren't you afraid that Chu Li will only report to His Majesty the Emperor of Han, and sue you to kill the people of the Han? General Wuhuan could not help but shouted angrily when he saw the attack still going on. Big guy? Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain. This is the last year of the Eastern Han Dynasty, where the Fanbang aliens often attacked and plundered the Han people. Ye Chen was very disdainful of the Fanbang alien race, who had never really returned. These words may be feasible to deceive the corrupt scholars of this period. But to Ye Chen, this was a joke. Those who are not my race must have different hearts. In this period, it was staged to the fullest. The Fanbang alien race has never stopped attacking the Han Empire. Even if he fails, he will surrender, then accumulate strength and fight back. It's useless to talk to such a person, but it's a fist, a weapon, and blood. They cried and cried for their mothers when they beat them, and when they killed them, let their blood stain the Red Prairie, they would be truly honest. General Wuhuan found that the attack hadn't stopped and he almost spewed out a mouthful of old blood. The Wuhuan cavalry he brought with him totaled 15,000 people, so many people, in such a short time, 
they were killed 7 or 88. I surrender. Surrender. A Wuhuang cavalry broke down, kneeling and crying. Swish swish. More than a dozen arrows shot at the Wuhuang cavalry. Surrender and kill, you still don't speak morality. A Wuhuang cavalry roared in grief and indignation at this time. Begging for mercy, stay alive, and then wait for the opportunity to come back to retaliate, this is the choice of the Fanbang alien race when it is weak. This method has always been unsatisfactory, but at this moment, they were horrified to find that that kind of routine was useless. The Wuhuang cavalry, who were planning to surrender, were really scared one by one. This is to kill their rhythm. Asshole. Do you dare to challenge me one on one? Despicable Han. A loud shout came in an instant. I saw General Wu looking towards Ye Chen with red eyes. When Ye Chen heard this, he narrowed his eyes, lifted his right hand, and the attack stopped. But there is a change, kill. A cold voice immediately came from Ye Chen's mouth. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the sound of pulling bowstrings suddenly sounded. Underground, the terrified Wuhuang cavalry who were killed, one by one did not dare to move. Originally, they still wanted to find a chance to escape and no matter how bad they were, they had to find a place to avoid attacks. But now, they dare not move, they dare not move at all. Their eyes all looked at General Wuhuan, with eyes full of expectation. They hoped that their general could defeat Ye Chen and capture Ye Chen, so that they could survive. Moreover, they believe that their general can do it. Because their general is Wuhuan warrior. Ye Chen obviously has the advantage, and he has to agree to a heads up. Is it really stupid? Not. During this period, fighting will be the mainstream, and the generals who dare not fight will surely lose their majesty in the hearts of the soldiers. Ye Chen is the lord, but Ye Chen is still a general, the general who leads the battle. More importantly, the rank 9 profound art does not allow Ye Chen to shrink back. The Nineth rank profound art of the chaos technique is originally a combat technique. If you are timid, even if you avoid fighting, it will seriously affect Ye Chen's mood. Ye Chen shouldn't allow the slightest flaw in his mood. Otherwise, Ye Chen will enter the wild in the future, and once his cultivation reaches a certain level, he will inevitably be unable to improve. This is something Ye Chen would never want to see. What's more, Ye Chen himself is a king-level military commander, in the innate realm, and Wuhuan general is the same. Ye Chen had no reason at all, and he couldn't help but go heads up. Who are you? Why are you attacking us? General Wuhuan shouted with an iron face while the attack stopped. Ye Chen glanced at General Wuhuan coldly, and flicked the sharp gun with his right hand, changing from an upright grip to a tilted one, and then he shouted. I am the Lord of Reincarnation Village, the third class Viscount of the Han Empire, Ye Chen. Lord of Samsara Village? Damn! Why are you attacking us? We didn't attack your village. After hearing Ye Chen's words, General Wuhuan was taken aback, and then roared angrily. At the same time, he involuntarily cocked in his heart. He knows whether the Han Empire is strong or not, but he knows one thing better. In the Han Empire, there is no village chief with such a powerful force. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. General Wuhuan was speculating wildly in his heart, he wanted to confirm Ye Chen's true identity. A general from Yu's Hu, or a general specially sent by the Han Empire. This is related to the future of the Wuhuan clan. After all, Ye Chen at the moment, no matter how he looked, he was going to destroy them. He wanted to pass the news back, tell his leader Ye Dun, and Wuhuan Shan Yu Chiu La Hu. Stop talking nonsense, come to fight. Ye Chen lifted the sharp gun with his right hand and pointed at General Wuhuan. I am General Wuhuan. General Wuhuan was provoked by Ye Chen and he was furious, and then he shouted. I'm not interested in remembering the name of the dead. 
Ye Chen sneered, and then shouted. General Wu Huang glanced at Ye Chen with a bluish expression. He also wanted to delay time and asked Ye Chen's true identity. However, when he saw Ye Chen's eyes full of contempt, he couldn't help his anger anymore. Ye Chen's gaze was simply looking at the ants. General Wu Huan was Wu Huan's king level military commander. He had never been so despised. Kill. General Wu Huan raised the mace in his hand and rushed towards Ye Chen madly. This is a forest of reincarnation, three or five steps is a tree, it is impossible to ride a horse. Therefore, he rushed towards Ye Chen on foot. He wanted to give Ye Chen a severe lesson, and then grab Ye Chen. As long as you catch Ye Chen, no matter whether it is Ye Chen's identity or the safety of him and his men, all problems will be solved. He is a Wuhuan warrior who has fought countless battles, and he thinks he is better than this breast-smelling warrior in front of him. Oh oh oh! The Wuhuan cavalryman, seeing General Wuhuan taking action, even forgot the threat of death, and shouted one by one. They are cheering, General Wuhuan is a warrior, a powerful and unmatched warrior, a hero who can take them to life. Success! Ye Chen's eyes condensed, and the murderous aura suddenly exploded, his right foot slammed toward the ground, and then rushed towards General Wu Huan. Kill! 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 The reincarnation legion shouted in unison, and bursts of killing air rose to the sky. After two breaths, Ye Chen and General Wu Huan rushed together. The moment he was about to make contact, the dark and thick gunkiller stabs at General Wu Huan swiftly and violently. Simple, crude, and not fancy. The emboldened General Wu Huan was suddenly shocked, and hurriedly gave up the idea of smashing Ye Chen with his mace, and then slammed his mace at the sharp spear. General Wu Huan felt that if he hadn't fought countless battles and reacted extremely quickly, at this moment, he would have become a corpse in an instant. He didn't even think that Ye Chen would be so domineering and his marksmanship was too rough. A loud bang of dang sounded instantly. With the sound of weapons colliding, the irritating General Wu Huan's face twitched. At this moment, a feeling of death fell instantly. General Wu Huan's eyes shrank sharply, and then shrank again. He saw the god-killing spear, the indomitable god-killing spear, and he was not smashed into the air at all, and he didn't even smash it. Puff came. The dark smasher shot through the heart of General Wu Huan, and the tip of the gun was exposed from his back. Wan Sheng! Wan Sheng! Wan Sheng! The sky shaking roar sounded from the mouths of the soldiers in Samsara village. The Wu Huan cavalry opened their mouths one by one, their faces full of unbelievable. Their generals unexpectedly met each other and died so cleanly and crisply. You, what, what marksmanship is this? General Wu Huan looked down at the sharp gun that pierced the heart, and asked unwillingly. Basic marksmanship. Ye Chen finished speaking faintly, with a sharp twitch of his right hand, and the sharp spear was retracted instantly. Ba ba. Blood spurted out frantically from General Wu Huan's heart in an instant. You. General Wu Huan glared at him, and then fell to the ground with a deep resentment. He even thought Ye Chen was humiliating him to death. But in fact, what Ye Chen used was really basic marksmanship, but a god-level basic marksmanship. If he still knew that Ye Chen was awarded the title of Gun God, he would better understand why reality is so cruel. Gun God, use gun weapons, attack power x2, accuracy x2, and savvy plus 100. Unfortunately, he has no chance. At this moment, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, for killing Wuhuan King level military commander Mu Duo and rewarding him with one million meritorious services. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, for killing the Wuhuan King level military commander Mu Duo and rewarding him with one million meritorious services. Three consecutive announcements detonated the world channel instantly. Fuck. Ye Chen. Ye Chen again, Nima, is he a relative of the system? My grass, I can't even beat the bandits now. Someone can kill the Wuhuan king level generals. 
My day, what level is that? You didn't find it. What a special thing, a Wuhan King level general, worth one million meritorious services. Cut, merit is a fart, can it be eaten? Fool, meritorious service is very important to lord type players, otherwise, if you don't have a title, you won't be able to upgrade your land at all. Acquired Ye Chen's territory coordinates at a high price. Those interested, please contact, Blood Rose. Acquisition of Ye Chen's territory coordinates at a high price. Those interested, please contact, Batch He Wushuan. Buy Ye Chen's territory coordinates at a high price. I know where Ye Chen is. Yuz Hu. It must be in Yuz Hu. Fool, it's possible to join the state. The world channel is very lively, but Ye Chen didn't pay attention, and even if he saw it, he would choose to ignore it. Because after the world announcement is sounded, the approximate location of Samsara village is destined to be guessed. However, it is difficult to be precise. With a sound of pop, three objects appeared next to General Wuhuan's body. A luminous sphere, a mace, a book. After Ye Chen put away the three items, he looked at the Wuhuan cavalry who was still remaining. Kill. The cold command sounded instantly. Swish swish. Countless arrows poured down instantly, shooting the surviving Wuhuan cavalry to death. Ye Chen was not prepared to accept the surrender of these Wuhuan cavalry, at least, until Samsara village had no tyrannical troops, he would not take them in. Because fusion is difficult, forcibly fusion will have great hidden dangers, and Ye Chen didn't want such a situation in his own territory. Moreover, these people cannot be called back alive. The reason is very simple. Ye Chen still wants another wave of Wuhuan cavalry. Loot their war horses. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. On the ground, the corpses of Wuhuan cavalry were lying horizontally, with several or even a dozen arrows stuck in their bodies. There was horror on their faces, with dazedness and despair. The blood stained the ground under his feet, and the breath began to drift in the reincarnation forest. The Wuhuan cavalry was completely wiped out, leaving behind a spot of horses snorting in place. This is a big victory, because Ye Chen occupies the time, place, and people. It's hard not to win. Seeing the dead corpses all over the place and countless war horses that kept wringing their noses, Ye Chen's mouth curled up, and then he shouted. Clean the battlefield, bury the corpse on the spot, war horses, heal the wounded, kill the crippled ones, and transport the rest back to the Samsara village. At Ye Chen's order, the soldiers of Reincarnation Village responded in unison, Yes. Lord. At this moment, the soldiers in Samsara village were so excited that they couldn't express their excitement. Because they fought a big victory under the leadership of Ye Chen, no one died, no one was injured, and 15,000 people were wiped out. Soldiers in Reincarnation Village, never thought that there would be an undead war. The gazes they looked at Ye Chen changed from their previous respect to fanatical worship. Stabbed a king-level general with a single shot and led them to victory over the Wuhuan cavalry. Following such a lord, they are proud and excited from the bottom of their hearts. The number of soldiers in Samsara village on the tree was counted down, and they executed Ye Chen's orders. Bury the corpse and gather the horses. Once the time for a stick of incense was over, the battlefield was cleaned up. At this time, a soldier came to Ye Chen, bowed and said, Master. We found an incomprehensible weapon. A weapon you can't understand. Ye Chen was taken aback. Yes, Lord. That thing is very weird, it's a bit big, the soldier hurriedly responded. Take me over. Ye Chen couldn't think of what the soldier said about the weapon. Yes. After the soldier said, he turned and walked away. Ye Chen followed with doubts. After walking for a long time, he saw a group of soldiers who were curiously looking at something weird. Master. When the soldiers saw Ye Chen coming over, they all shouted. 
Ye Chen nodded, and then looked at the dark thing that was called a weapon by the soldiers. This is... Bed crossbow. It turned out to be a bed crossbow. A powerful bed crossbow with a very long range. How could Wuhan have a crossbow? Ye Chen frowned slightly, but soon Ye Chen gave up thinking about this issue. How come it has nothing to do with Ye Chen, Ye Chen just wants to know how much the Wuhan cavalry brought with this crossbow. Because no matter how many bed crossbows they brought, at this moment, these bed crossbows are all named Ye. The bed crossbow is a controlled product, and it is not easily available, even in the regular army of the Han Empire, it is difficult to see. Ye Chen would naturally not give up these bed crossbows. Ye Chen would want as many as there were. The more crossbows, the more beneficial to the village of reincarnation. Soon after, the first historical plot of the Three Kingdoms, the Yellow Turban Rebellion, will begin. With countless crossbows in the village of reincarnation, it is simply a hedgehog with prickles, and no one can speak. As far as Ye Chen is concerned, he can leave reincarnation village with greater peace of mind and take advantage of the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Go! See if there is still this one on the back of the war. Ye Chen hurriedly looked at the soldiers around and said. Yes. Lord. The soldiers were taken aback, and then hurriedly bowed in response. They didn't expect Ye Chen to attach such importance to this thing. From Ye Chen's attitude, it can be seen that this thing is very precious. The soldiers had almost blindly worshipped Ye Chen, and naturally rushed to check them one by one. This was not because of an order, but a willingness to do something for Ye Chen from the heart. Soon, all the soldiers of the Samsara village followed to check the war horse. Before long, a soldier hurried to Ye Chen's side and said loudly, Master! Half of those war horses carry this weapon, and the other half carry very thick, very long arrows. Hearing this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly lit up. These Wuhuan cavalry are really good people, very good people. Ye Chen felt particularly happy when he thought that the Samsara village had 15,000 bed crossbows at this moment. Okay. Pass the order, take everything, and the war horse, to Samsara village. Ye Chen shouted loudly with bright eyes. Yes. Lord. The soldier took the order, and then hurriedly ran to deliver the order. Soon, the army began to move, bringing more than 20,000 war horses and a large number of trophies back to the village of Samsara. Reincarnation Valley, Entrance As soon as Ye Chen came in, he saw a beautiful figure. It was Zhao Yu. She was waiting for Ye Chen's return in Taniguchi. It is the most difficult to accept the grace of beauty. Although Zhao Yu has not done anything to be kind to Ye Chen, Ye Chen can clearly feel her love for Ye Chen. Ye Chen exhaled a long breath, and then ran wildly. Zhao Yu looked at Ye Chen who was running on horseback and couldn't help but smile. She was not at all afraid of the horse's gallop. When the war horse passed by Zhao Yu's side, Ye Chen leaned over, grabbed Zhao Yu with his right hand, and put it in front of him. Let's go back together. Okay. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Reincarnation Village When Ye Chen returned, the tight faces of the villagers of Reincarnation Village instantly burst into smiles. They were happy from the heart, happy for Ye Chen, and happy for Reincarnation Village. Congratulations on the triumphant return of the Lord. Congratulations on the triumphant return of the Lord. Congratulations on the triumphant return of the Lord. The villagers shouted loudly one after another, and excited expressions appeared on everyone's faces. Ye Chen smiled and waved his hand, which immediately drew even greater cheers. Wan Sheng. Wan Sheng. Ye Chen smiled slightly, then dismounted, leading the war horse towards the village chief's house. Zhao Hung who had been waiting for a long time, followed Ye Chen with a smile on his face. He knew that Ye Chen must have a lot to tell him to do. The villagers didn't bother Ye Chen. They knew that Ye Chen, as the Lord, 
had a lot to do. Ye Chen left the village entrance and returned to the village chief's mansion. At this moment, the villagers of Reincarnation Village exclaimed one by one. My God, that, is that, a war horse. Okay, a lot of war horses. This, this must have tens of thousands of horses, right? Hi, I know that Lord Lord is going to resist the Wuhuan cavalry for Samsara village, but I didn't expect that the Wuhuan cavalry, actually, there are so many. Don't look at who our Lord Lord is. Lord Lord is the strongest. Mom, Lord Lord is so powerful, when I grow up, I will also be a soldier, so I can grab a lot of horses for Lord Lord. The stone is the most obedient. Remember, without Lord Lord, our family would not live as we are now. It is Lord Lord who takes us in and our family can survive. Well. Stone remembered. Stone will definitely repay Lord Lord and will always follow Lord Lord. The villagers looked at the soldiers of Samsara village who had returned from victory in the distance, and looked at the hordes of war horses with more than 20,000 horses, and they couldn't help themselves with excitement. Samsara village is Yechen's territory. They are residents of Yechen's territory. The stronger Samsara village is, the brighter their future will be. At this moment, Yechen proved this with facts. How long did it take? Ye Chen not only won the battle, but also snatched back more than 20,000 horses. Only a strong and unmatched person can do this. But Ye Chen, their lord, did it. Reincarnation Village, the village chief's mansion. After returning here, Ye Chen took Zhao Yu from the war horse, and then took Zhao Yu and Zhao Hung into the living room. After Ye Chen sat on the chair, Zhao Yu went directly to the bedroom. Zhao Yu was a woman and couldn't interfere with political affairs. She knew that, so she didn't wait for Ye Chen to speak before making a choice. Ye Chen saw Zhao Yu go directly to the bedroom, he was taken aback for a moment, and then realized that Zhao Yu was avoiding something. Although Ye Chen didn't care, he still had to take into account the feelings of people in this world. It's nothing right now. When there are more subordinates in the future, this kind of thing is even more taboo. After all, this world is the real world, and everyone has everyone's thinking. Moreover, various concepts are even more deeply ingrained, not that they can be changed by changing them. At this moment, Zhao Hung bowed his face excitedly and said, Congratulations to the Lord, congratulations to the Lord. The Lord has seized more than 20,000 horses in this great victory, and the Samsara village will surely rise strongly and dominate Yu's Hu. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then asked, Is all the blueprints and formulas handed over to you divided? Master Kikai, they are all divided. The cavalry battalion and the heavy cavalry battalion have been built. Ming Guang armor, steel, guns, and horn bows have also been built. It is a hundred flowers brewing. It will take some time. Zhao Hung bowed. Replied. What's the problem? Ye Chen nodded, and then asked. Lord, the bowstrings needed by the oxhorn bow are not available in the village of reincarnation. They need to be purchased in the market. Bei Wanyang seems to be of a very high grade, unlike mortal wine. The female winemaker is still working it. Zhao Hung said. Explained. Bowstrings, buy in large quantities. Don't worry about the money being not enough. The role of archers on the battlefield can't be ignored. Moreover, you also need to use them for siege and defense, and you also need to store a lot of arrows. Ye Chen stopped for a moment when he said this, and then continued. Bei Wanyang is really not a mortal thing, and brewing is really difficult. So, tell the winemaker to reduce the ingredients as much as possible. Even after the reduction, the wine is more than a hundred times stronger than the mortal wine. When Zhao Hung heard this, he stayed for a while, and then bowed in ecstasy and said, Congratulations! Congratulations! The reincarnation village will have this god, and it will develop rapidly. The residents live and work in peace and contentment, and the army is invincible. Ye Chen laughed, and then asked, 
the buildings are all built? Are there any missing buildings? Enjoy the Lord, the buildings in Reincarnation Village are complete, and there are many more buildings that shouldn't appear in the village. Zhao Hung said with a smile on his face. The buildings in the village are the basic buildings, such as the cavalry battalion and the heavy cavalry battalion. Upon hearing this, Ye Chen nodded in satisfaction. Counting the time, Pangu's Hineo will open the exchange business today, and it's time to upgrade the territory. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. As soon as Ye Chen finished thinking about it, the world announcement sounded instantly. Ding, the world transformation is completed, the exchange business is officially opened, and the actual exchange ratio of the game is 1 colon 1. The world announcement sounded three times in a row, and the whole world exploded in an instant. Fuck. I finally know what is going on in the world transformation. The houses are turned grey, the roads are turned into dirt roads, and the whole virgin forest is covered with weeds. This is the transformation of the world? Nima is forced to return my house. Lao Tzu spent 10 million to buy a house. Your 10 million is considered a hairy. I bought 10 sets, each worth tens of millions. Nima, if it's all gone, pay for my house. Ha ha ha, idiot, how can you get the money to buy a house? It's not turned into grey, ha ha ha, I'm so laughing. Go to Nima, scumbag, rubbish. On the World Channel, buyers and those who can't afford to buy a house ridiculed each other. Some people even vented their dissatisfaction, madly insulting this world, game, unfair. At this time, a group of people moved quickly. Hurry. He's, exchange gold coins for Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu wants to exchange 10 million gold coins. Go. Buy me, buy everything. This time I will be the first to upgrade to town. Damn the village of reincarnation, this time I see how rampant you are. Lao Tzu is the first in the wild. That's right, with money, I want to buy, buy, buy. I want to be number one in the world. I will be the king of the world. Don't want the rich who were suppressed before. The money is here and it's useless. It's good now. They all went crazy as soon as the game exchange business was opened. It's no secret that the stronger the game, the stronger the reality. Therefore, everyone is willing to invest, crazy invest. Especially when the world is changing by surprise, everyone is eager to have a strong power. Reincarnation Village Ye Chen squinted his eyes, and immediately moved his figure. He left the village chief's mansion in an instant and then went to the market. Ye Chen, who came to the market, started buying and buying frantically without saying a word. Stone, iron ore, wood, food, crazy purchases. Reincarnation village needs resources, and the real reincarnation village needs more, because the real reincarnation village needs up to ten times the resources in the game. When Ye Chen ran out of resources in the market, he only spent eight million tails of gold. Looking at the empty market, Ye Chen's mouth curled up, and then returned to the village chief's mansion. Ye Chen left the market, and throughout the Han Empire, people who jumped and scolded their mothers appeared one after another. Fuck. What is this? Why is the hand so fast? Asshole, asshole. Don't let Lao Tzu know who started so quickly. Really, these are too fast, do they stay in the market all the time? There are indeed many people who have not died after the great changes in the world, and have survived until now and found the safe city built by Pangu's Hineo. There are also many rich people, rich people, local tyrants, and big local tyrants. They had a lot of wealth before the meteor fell, and now, their wealth has not been deprived and can still be used. These people enthusiastically want to rise, dominate the game, become stronger in reality, and some even want to become the king of the world. However, at this moment, a ruthless slap was thrown on the faces of these people. Very heavy. Very loud. Nima, 
the resources hanging on the market, including natives and players, were swept away, and there was no scum left. This is breaking their roots. Of course, this state can only last for a few days. But in the past few days, many ambitious people feel as uncomfortable as if swallowing disgusting flies, or the kind that has to be swallowed. Reincarnation Village, the village chief's mansion. Ye Chen returned to the living room with a thought. The cornerstone of Samsara Village, the fast golden stone steel slowly rose from the ground. Looking at the distinctive and unique golden stone tablet, Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then pressed his right hand on the golden stone tablet. As soon as the mind moved, the sound of the system sounded. Ding, the third and third level villages of Reincarnation Village, meet the basic conditions. Check the number of buildings, the number of buildings meets the standard. Testing the title. Ye Chen, the lord of Samsara Village, the first class viscount of the empire, the title is up to the standard. Ding, Samsara Village meets all the conditions, is it to upgrade Samsara Village? Upgrade. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the entire Samsara Village changed drastically. The thatched house has become a brick wood house, and the fence outside has become a brick wall. The house has become bigger and more beautiful. The street has also become wider at this moment, and the road has changed from a dirt road to a masonry road. More intuitively, the area of Samsara Village has expanded a hundredfold. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, Samsara Village has been upgraded to Samsara Town. Ding. Congratulations to the player Ye Chen, who met the special conditions and got the special architectural drawing, Recruitment Hall. Hearing this, Ye Chen opened his eyes sharply. Sure enough. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Reincarnation Village could have been upgraded to a town long ago and Ye Chen worked hard to keep pressing Reincarnation Village not to upgrade. The purpose was this special blueprint. Territory upgrades, there is a hidden setting. If you complete the construction of all the basic buildings in the territory, and then upgrade the territory, you will get special blueprints for each big upgrade. For example, if you upgrade the Samsara town in the Samsara village at this moment, you will get a special drawing, the recruitment hall. If Reincarnation Town is upgraded to Reincarnation City, you will still get special drawings. This kind of hidden setting with bug attributes, no one knows except Ye Chen at this moment. At the moment when Zhineo Pangu opened the exchange business, Ye Chen wiped out the resources on the market, with the goal of being the first to upgrade to the town. Because only the first lord to get the hidden reward can get the only attribute blueprint. The blueprints after that are somewhat special, but that kind of special blueprints can be bought with money, and can be obtained by siege. Therefore, that is not so unusual, and Ye Chen didn't like it either. Of course, this only applies to villages. When you reach the town, if you want to upgrade, even if it is from a small town to a middle town, you have to build all the buildings before you can continue to upgrade. At that time, I missed the hidden settings of the game and the rewards of special drawings. When Ye Chen picked up the drawing of the recruitment hall, the world announcement sounded suddenly. Ding, Reincarnation Village is the first to be upgraded to a town. It is specially rewarded that Reincarnation Town is the number one town in the world, and one million tails of gold are awarded. The population refresh rate of Reincarnation Town is increased tenfold for three days. Ding. Reincarnation Village is the first to be upgraded to a town. It is specially rewarded that Reincarnation Town is the number one town in the world, and one million tails of gold are awarded. The population refresh rate of Reincarnation Town is increased tenfold for three days. As soon as the world announcement came out, the World Channel, which had just been refreshing the screen, instantly calmed down. Three seconds later, the World Channel broke out in an instant. Fuck. 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 Ye Chen, you are my brother, can you tell me, is this your real name? Boss Ye Chen, the younger brother really wants to mix with you, 
except the younger brother. In this world, I only serve Ye Chen's boss, Nima, this is simply a metamorphosis. Hey, people are more popular than others. I have to say that Ye Chen is a complete mess. Nonsense, any one of you made a world announcement as soon as the game started, and who keeps refreshing the world announcement? No, let me tell you, Ye Chen is my cousin, I want to mess up, hurry up and send me 100,000 gold, I can reveal some secrets to you, the time limit is only one hour. You bad guy, when did my brother have your cousin? Don't believe him, my brother Ye Chen doesn't have a cousin. My brother just told me, if you want to know the secret of the game, you can contact me. A question is worth a thousand dollars, the young man is not deceived. The world channel is very lively, and suddenly a group of people pretending to be Ye Chen's relatives and bluffing and deceiving under the guise of Ye Chen popped up. When everyone said something to you and me, those former forces chose to be silent, and no one spoke again. At this moment, unusual content appeared on the world channel. Ah, <laughs> human trash, your Erha uncle is here, come and kneel quickly. Ho 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 ho. Human rubbish, your grandpa pig, come and kneel quickly. Meow, human, well, human fools, your grandmother black cat is here, come and kneel quickly. Grass mud horse, dog days stupid pig, dog days black cat, do you dare to be the elders of your uncle Erha? When your uncle Erha goes offline, you will go to the moon laborer right away. Trash, just play with your stupid mistress. When you come, your grandpa pig will definitely let you know what is a chrysanthemum and blooming flowers. Yo, Erha, just your three inches, dare to trouble my old lady, come on, my old lady will let you know what is the first of the demon clan. The world channel instantly calmed down, no one shouted anymore and they all watched the alternative content on the world channel. It took a while before someone shouted again on the world channel. Nima? I'm not mistaken. Someone calls himself that? Return him to the human race? Monster race? That's right, what's wrong, what's going on? Aren't all three of them mentally ill? The cliff is a fool who ran out of the mental hospital, this Nima. The brain is disabled and there is no cure for it. Tisk Tusk, the demon clan who returned him, why don't you say that you are a stupid? On the world channel, many people began to ridicule the existence of these three suddenly appearing, claiming to be Yeazu. However, some people took this seriously, and frowned in contemplation one by one, and some even had a meeting to discuss the three existences. Ye Chen didn't open the world channel so naturally he didn't know this. But this is not important. What's important is that even if you don't open the world channel, Ye Chen knows that the monster race is about to appear. Whether in the game or in reality. In reality, because of the existence of the safe zone, the demon race can't do anything about the human race, but they also wander around the safe zone from time to time, waiting for opportunities. In the game, the Yellow Turban Rebellion will start in a short time, and the monster race will also be dispatched at that moment, sweeping the world. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Reincarnation Town, the Mayor's Mansion Ye Chen, who heard the world announcement, smiled slightly, and then looked at the drawing of the recruitment hall in his hand. Recruitment hall, after the construction is completed, it can be used once a month. Each time one person appears, it will automatically join the territory. 80% chance of appearance of general historical figures. The third-rate historical figures have a 60% chance of appearance. 30% of second-rate historical figures appear. 10% chance of first-class historical figures. 1% chance of super-class historical figures appearing. The chance of special characters appearing is 0.01%. After reading the introduction of the recruitment hall, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly opened. Unexpectedly, the recruitment hall turned out to be. It's so against the sky. 
it was indeed against the sky. After historical figures appeared, they automatically joined the town of reincarnation. With such a simple attribute, Ye Chen saved Ye Chen the trouble of recruiting. To know historical figures, and they are awesome historical figures, it is more difficult to recruit one by one. Now, as long as the recruitment hall is built in reincarnation town, it means that there will be a historical figure in reincarnation town every month. And he is a historical figure who directly joined Samsara town. Even the influential historical figures play a huge role in the newly upgraded Samsara town. In addition to construction, territories also need to be managed. In terms of management, Ye Chen is the lord, and currently only Zhao Hung, Zhao Meng and his son are under him. At this moment, the town of reincarnation had nearly 50,000 soldiers, and only Ye Chen and Zhao Meng and Zhao Hung were responsible for the management. There is no situation at this time. But when the town of Samsara is upgraded to a middle town or a big town, problems will gradually arise. When the town of Samsara is upgraded to the city of Samsara, the problem will erupt. So Ye Chen has a lot of desire for historical figures at this moment. More importantly, Ye Chen was destined to embark on the road of the emperor because of the gathering luck of the god-level village building order and the soaring characteristics of the country. And if you want this road to be smoother, there must be no less historical figures. Without loyal subordinates, Ye Chen's road to the emperor could not go on at all. Now, with the recruitment hall, there will be a historical figure in reincarnation town every month, which alleviates the problem that Ye Chen is about to face. As for the human beings who chose reality as his subordinates, Ye Chen, who was reborn, wouldn't do it at all. People in reality, especially those after the world has changed dramatically, have too much uncertainty. Betrayal and conspiracies abound. Ye Chen didn't want to lay down a world by himself, but was picked by others instead. Hey! Ye Chen exhaled long, and then handed Zhao Hung the recruiting hall. Add more manpower, and the recruitment hall must be built as soon as possible. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, Zhao Hung hurriedly bowed and said, Yes. Lord. His subordinates will immediately send someone to build the recruitment hall. Ye Chen nodded, and Zhao Hung hurriedly left the mayor's mansion with the recruitment hall. At this time, Ye Chen looked at the cornerstone of reincarnation town, the golden steel. In the next second, the attributes of Reincarnation Town appeared in front of Ye Chen's eyes. Reincarnation Town, Small Town Basic Attributes, Territory Stability plus 60, Territory Residence Satisfaction plus 60, Territory Resources plus 500%, Territory Agricultural Output plus 500%, Territory Fishery Output plus 500%, Territory Attractiveness to Refugees plus 300%, Territory Residence Qualification Plus 2 Feature 1, Holy Land Feature 2, Fortune Land Feature 3, Chi Luck Feature 4, Soaring Territory Resources Stone Wood Asterisk Star Iron Asterisk Star Food, Money, 2.92 Million Gold the attraction to historical figures has increased by 10%. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, and then nodded in satisfaction. An increase of 10% may seem small, but in fact, many times it will have an effect that cannot be ignored. Brother, congratulations! Zhao Yu's voice sounded at this time. But Zhao Yu walked out of the bedroom when he heard Zhao Hung leave. Ye Chen heard Zhao Yu's voice and couldn't help smiling then turned around, walked to Zhao Yu's side, gently hugged Zhao Yu in his arms, and asked. Reincarnation village has become a reincarnation town, go around. Yet. Zhao Yu's face flushed, and he responded softly. Ye Chen laughed, then took Zhao Yu's hand and walked out. The mayor's house at this moment has changed from the former hut into a two-in and two-out mansion. There is a wing room for everything in the front yard, in a large living room in the middle. In the backyard, there is a small two-story building with a side room on the east and west. 
There is a corridor between the front and rear courtyards, and above the corridor, there is a pavilion on the east and west. The overall building is antique and the only thing lacking is that it lacks vitality. Because there are no flowers and plants, and no servants. With Zhao Yu, he left the mayor's mansion and came to the street, Ye Chen couldn't help but stunned. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. On the streets of Reincarnation Town, there are lights and festoons, full of festive atmosphere. The townspeople, men and women, old and young, without exception, all wore new clothes with beaming faces. They talked and laughed, discussing what the parents are short-term, what the children are naughty, and laugh from time to time. Groups of three to five, four to five in one group, not to mention polite, but also very harmonious. This is. After Ye Chen thought about it in surprise, the townspeople spotted Ye Chen one by one, and holated them all at once. Congratulations, Lord Lord. Reincarnation Village has been upgraded to Reincarnation Town. Congratulations, Lord Lord. Reincarnation Village has been upgraded to Reincarnation Town. Congratulations, Lord Lord. Reincarnation Village has been upgraded to Reincarnation Town. The shouts rang out one after another, and it was only then that Ye Chen didn't realize what was going on. It was the townspeople who spontaneously celebrated the upgrading of Samsara Village to Samsara Town. In an instant, Ye Chen's heart warmed. There is only one prerequisite for such a situation, that is, the townsfolk regard the town of reincarnation as their root. Otherwise, there will never be spontaneous celebrations. Thinking of this, Ye Chen smiled slightly and said. Today is the day when the town of reincarnation was established. You are all the cornerstones of the town of reincarnation. Only with your presence can there be a town of reincarnation. Today, I declare that the whole town has a day of carnival. Free of charge. Lord Lord is mighty. Lord Lord is mighty. Lord Lord is mighty. The townspeople froze for a moment, and then shouted excitedly one by one. The townspeople were not excited because Ye Chen said that the cost was comprehensive, but because Ye Chen said the word cornerstone. A thousand words are nothing more than approval. Ye Chen recognized the contributions of the townspeople, and recognized everything the townspeople have given since the village was built. Although what Ye Chen said was exaggerated, it was because Ye Chen got many things. But there is one thing Ye Chen didn't exaggerate. Whether it is a village, a town, or a city, or even an empire. Cannot ignore the power of the people. The people are the cornerstone of the territory and even the empire. Only when there are enough people will all kinds of possibilities appear. The strength of an empire is related to its top combat power, but it is also related to the people. The soldiers come from the people, and the officials come from the people. Without the people, no matter how powerful an empire is, there will be no rootless duckweed. Ye Chen took Zhao Yu and had fun with the townsfolk for a while, and then ran to the lake of Reincarnation Valley to live the world of two. Looking at the clouded sky, blowing the breeze by the lake, smelling the fragrance of flowers in the air and the fragrance from Zhao Yu, Ye Chen stretched a long waist. Xiao Yu, you know, I never thought I could have everything today. Big Brother hit it all by himself, I believe that his future achievements will be even higher. Zhao Yu looked at Ye Chen who was resting her leg, and smiled sweetly. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, and then fell silent. There are some things Ye Chen can't say, even Zhao Yu, Ye Chen can't say. Because Ye Chen was born again, this was a big secret, and I couldn't say a word. Big Brother Zhao Yu was taken aback when Ye Chen didn't speak. He thought that Ye Chen didn't like listening, so he couldn't help but cried out worriedly. Stop calling Big Brother, just call me my name, our relationship, it shouldn't be called Big Brother. Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and then said with a smile. It was only a moment of emotion. Ye Chen still has a long way to go, so naturally he won't be lost. 
yet. Ye Chen. Zhao Yu was taken aback for a moment, and hesitated. It wasn't that she couldn't say it, but she couldn't adapt to the big changes before and after Ye Chen for a while. I just thought of some things, don't think too much, you are right, everything now is shot down by me, in the future, my achievements will be higher. And I will stand higher. Ye Chen said this, an incomparably overbearing confidence surged out instantly, as if he was about to pierce the day. Yet. I believe you, you can do it. Zhao Yu looked at the domineering Ye Chen, couldn't help but be stunned for a while, and then he nodded heavily. Ha ha ha. Ye Chen looked up to the sky and laughed wildly, with a domineering and cheerful smile. Ye Chen laughed for a while, got up, hugged Zhao Yu, and kissed him fiercely. After a long time, Ye Chen let go, then looked at Zhao Yu, who was flushed and red, and said seriously. No matter where I can reach in the future, you will always be my first woman. As soon as Ye Chen's domineering and straightforward words landed, Zhao Yu was taken aback for a moment, and then his face was instantly flushed with shame, turning his head to the side, not daring to look at Ye Chen, let alone answer. In the future, you will live with me. That's it. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, and then said domineeringly. After finishing speaking, he directly picked up Zhao Yu and walked towards the mayor's house. Only halfway through the road, Ye Chen put Zhao Yu down. Ye Chen could not care about the etiquette, but Ye Chen couldn't care less about Zhao Yu's feelings. When he arrived at the gate of reincarnation town, Ye Chen couldn't help but stop. I saw thousands of refugees appearing here, and Zhao Hengzheng led people to register the refugees at the gate of the city. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. At this moment, the refugees huffed around and looked at the burly man one by one. There was a big disagreement, and he was about to take away the momentum of this man. The burly man was even more embarrassed at this time. He touched the back of his head, looked at the refugees, and said in as gentle as possible. Don't get me wrong, I really don't have any bad intentions, just want to ask Lord Lord one thing. Ye Chen saw the refugees approaching and surrounded the burly man. He couldn't help but warmed his heart. With a thought, he retracted the gunk iller, then exhaled, looked at the burly man, and asked. What do you want to ask? Is it true or not what you said about dividing the fields into the army? The burly man looked at Ye Chen and asked bluntly. You husband. I'm so brave to use this tone. Zhao Heng's angry words suddenly sounded. Ye Chen raised his hand to stop Zhao Heng from continuing to speak, then looked at the long, earth-shaking man, nodded and said. What I said is true, and there is one more thing I forgot to say. In the land of reincarnation, the tax will always be 10%. The same is true in the harvest year. The disaster year will be reduced or exempted according to the situation. When Ye Chen said this, he saw the burly man stayed for a while, and then continued. So, can you tell me now, did you ask me what I want to do? To be a soldier? Don't tell me that you are a soldier, you are not. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the man's anger surged, and his aura rose steadily. Ye Chen's words irritated him severely. No matter how he listened, he looked down on him, thinking that he was not as good as rubbish. Because of the man's violent breath, the surrounding refugees stepped back involuntarily in fright. But right away, they came up again, and surrounded the burly man again without fear of death. Because they remembered what Ye Chen said. Taxes will always be 10%, and they will be reduced or exempted in disaster years, and there are rich rewards for serving as a soldier. The people of this age value the land more than fate. And Ye Chen's promise undoubtedly won their heartfelt heart. They don't want their lord to be hurt at all. That way, their lives don't know what will become. Therefore, even though they were afraid, they still surrounded them, gritted their teeth and gritted their teeth. Because of the burly man, his breath became more and more violent, 
it was like a beast from the wild, the refugees had to embolden themselves. Just as the burly man with bloodshot eyes was about to explode, Ye Chen suddenly smiled and asked. You have a good force. Why do you only want to be a soldier and not a general? Hey! Hearing this, the man's momentum dissipated instantly, and then he looked at Ye Chen blankly. The refugees were also taken aback, a question flashed in their minds. That is, this burly man in front of him is a fierce man at first glance, why would the Lord say that he is not a soldier? But now, the refugees all reacted. Ye Chen was ridiculing this ugly and unspeakable man, but wondering why the man didn't want to be a general. The refugees immediately relaxed, because the burly man had a dull face at the moment, and there was no violent aura on his body. Obviously, like them, he misunderstood Ye Chen. Ah what? You don't want to come to me to be a general. Ye Chen glared at the man with an angry look, and then asked. This, this, I, can I do it? The man touched the back of his head and asked a little at a loss. Do you think you are bad? You just despise yourself like that. Ye Chen narrowed his eyes and shouted in a deep voice. No. I didn't underestimate myself. I. I joined the army, but no one called me a general, so they called me a soldier. They still think I can, can eat. The burly man immediately said loudly, but his voice became quieter after speaking. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. This shouldn't be, the innate realm is not Chinese cabbage, there are. And many more. If it weren't for this, I wouldn't be able to meet this guy. Thinking of this, Ye Chen couldn't help but curled his mouth, and then said. If you are a leader, I will let you lead the war. If you have only force, then I will call you my guard. Now, tell me your choice. I'm a guard. The burly man said without hesitation. When Ye Chen heard the man's words, he was taken aback again, and he couldn't help but feel disappointed. What Ye Chen is in desperate need now is the generals who lead the war, not the personal guards. But disappointment is disappointed, Ye Chen will naturally not show it, even if he is a personal guard, he can bring it on the battlefield. Moreover, from the breath that the man had just exploded, Ye Chen was sure that this man was very strong. Then, tell me your name. Ye Chen nodded, and then spoke. Diane Wei the burly man replied loudly. Ye Chen nodded, and then he was taken aback, looked at the man in a hurry, and asked, What do you say your name is? Diane Wei. When Diane Wei heard this, his face suddenly changed, he hesitated and then spoke. Your name is Diane Wei? Chen Lai Huji, my own. Ye Chen hurriedly asked, with a look of eagerness. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, Diane Wei suddenly burst into a powerful breath. The gaze he looked at Ye Chen also changed like a stranger, and he became more and more vigilant. When Ye Chen saw this, he was taken aback, and then he remembered one thing, about Diane Wei's past. According to historical records, Diane Wei killed an official and then became a hero. Later, he followed Cao Cao and was loyal and loyal. His force ranked the top three in the Three Kingdoms period. The ranking of military commanders has always been controversial, but this is not important. What is important is that Ye Chen knows why Dian Wei suddenly became a different person. Thinking of this, Ye Chen immediately determined the identity of the man in front of him. It is the one recorded in history, Chen Lai Yu Dian Wei. God helps me too. After thinking about it, Ye Chen ignored Diane Wei's vigilant gaze, and said directly, There is one thing, I want to make it clear to you. Diane Wei looked at Ye Chen and nodded blankly, waiting for Ye Chen to follow along. If it hadn't been for Ye Chen to give Diane Wei some good feelings before, Diane Wei would have ran away long ago, and even violently murdered. The town of Samsara does not enter when you want to enter, and you don't want to quit when you want to quit. I don't care who you were before and what you have done. As long as you join the town of Samsara, then you are a person from Samsara town, so you live and die. When Ye Chen said this, he narrowed his eyes, 
and then said. I hate betrayal the most. Anyone who betrays, even at the end of the world, will die until he dies. Dian Wei was stunned when he heard this, and then looked at Ye Chen tightly. After a while, Dian Wei withdrew his vigilant gaze, and then knelt on one knee with a puff and shouted loudly. Chen Lu Dian Wei, see the Lord. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ding, the super-class historical military commander, Dian Wei, want to recognize you as the master, do you accept it? The prompt of the system instantly sounded in Ye Chen's mind. Nima, do you have to ask? Accept. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for winning the superb generals and Dian Wei's allegiance. With the end of the system prompt, the world announcement sounded instantly. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for being the first to win a super-class historical military commander, Dian Wei's allegiance, rewarding player Ye Chen reputation plus 5 million, gold 10 million tails. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for being the first to win a super-class historical military commander, Dian Wei's allegiance. Rewarding player Ye Chen reputation plus 5 million, gold 10 million tails. The moment the world announcement sounded, the world channel exploded. Ye Chen. It's Ye Chen again. Ah. What did I hear? Fuck. Fuck. That's Dian Wei. Dian Wei. Fuck. Dian Wei ranks second in the three kingdoms. Absolutely awesome. Fart. My big Zhao Yun is ranked second. Shit, Zhao Yun first. First. Nima, why, I didn't even see the Mao of a historical figure, but now someone has directly received the allegiance of a super-class historical general. It is Dian Wei who pays him back. Damn. You scumbags, Ye Chen's boss is awesome, how can you understand? I am Ye Chen's cousin nephew and if you want game secrets, you can find me quickly. I only sell the top 10, 100 per person Wanjin. Ye Chen. The exchange business is open, credit points can be exchanged for gold. 1 billion credit points. As long as you are willing to transfer Dian Wei. I will give you 1 billion credit points. 2 billion. Ye Chen, transfer Dian Wei to me. I'll give you 2 billion credits. 10 billion. Ye Chen, as long as you are willing to transfer Dian Wei, I will give you 10 billion credits. Ye Chen, I now order you to contribute Dian Wei. For the people, this is what you must do. Ye Chen, give me Dian Wei, I will give you the rank of Major General. The World Channel talks about everything, and many more, but they are the people who made Dian Wei's ideas. It's a pity that Ye Chen didn't open the world channel at all, and even if it did, he wouldn't pay attention to these idiots. At this moment, a word suddenly appeared on the world channel, and then the world channel became quiet. Who is Dian Wei? His meat is good or not, tell Er Ha uncle, and where is that shit like Ye Chen, whoever tells this uncle will be able to worry free in reality. Three seconds later, the world channel again appeared in foreign languages. Grandpa Pig can also guarantee that you have no worries in reality, as long as you tell me the news of that kid Ye Chen, Grandpa Pig needs the exact location. Grandma Cat is here, I am very interested in that Ye Chen, who can tell me about him, Grandma Cat, I can also guarantee his safety in the real world. Your mother. The dead pig of dog days, smelly cat. Wait. If you don't kill the two of you guys, Master Erha is raised by you too. Fool. Stupid dog. Grass. You two wait. The world channel became quiet again, and it took a while before the bustle was restored. Fuck. I have a feeling for Mao, these three neuroses are not neuroses. Blindly compare with what, these three are not crazy, Nima, don't forget, we live in a safe zone now. Yes. Although there are a lot of long thief-sized beasts outside, they can't get in at all, 
they are struck by lightning when they come in. Regarding what those three idiots are doing, at first glance, they are pretending to be forced. The brain damage is a disease, and it must be cured. People began to ridicule the three aliens, you said and I said, it's so lively. However, there are still some people who no longer participate in the speeches of World Channel. Among them, some began to face the three aliens and began to study them. Because those three alien species used to call themselves monsters, there are monsters in Eastern mythology. If it was a neurosis, some people thought so at first. But these three aliens once again shouted on the World Channel, which aroused many people's suspicion and some unbelievable speculations. Yeazu, maybe it really appeared. After all, changes in the real world cannot be explained by science. Has anyone thought that firearms will fail one day? No, even if it does, it's just the fantasy of a small group of people. But as a result, the gun really failed. Whoever thought that the world would become completely unrecognizable in just a few days? Whoever thought that reinforced concrete buildings would suddenly become rotten? Who would have thought that the animals that used to be irritable, huge, bloodthirsty, and stronger? As a result, all the impossible happened. Therefore, it is not impossible for the monster race to appear. And this view began to be accepted by some people, and began to try to detect the beasts outside the safe zone. Among those who no longer pay attention to the world channel, except for the group of people who are investigating the authenticity of the monster race, the rest are more unswervingly continuing to make Ye Chen's idea. They continue to send additional manpower to investigate in the real world and their respective safety zones, hoping to find Ye Chen the first one. Even in the game world, they didn't give up. Compared to before, they invested heavily in the game, buying news about Ye Chen, and inquiring about everything about Ye Chen. Before Ye Chen made one world announcement after another, many people wanted to find Ye Chen. And now Ye Chen actually accepted Dian Wei, which is even more jealous. They all wanted to find Ye Chen. Among them, the major forces were the most urgent and invested the most. Even many forces sent many people to Yuzhu and Bingzhou to find out the exact location of Samsara town. Ye Chen didn't know about this, even if he knew, Ye Chen didn't care. Because this was a matter of time, Ye Chen had expected it a long time ago. This kind of thing has not happened rarely in the previous life, even if there is no memory of the previous life, Ye Chen can guess it. As long as interest is involved, it will make people crazy, and the greater the interest, the more crazy it can be. Ye Chen has created countless world announcements, and now he has gained the allegiance of Dian Wei a super-class historical military commander. This is already obvious, Ye Chen is the benefit in everyone's eyes. Find Ye Chen, contact Ye Chen, buy the secret of the game, buy Dian Wei. Even controlling Ye Chen and robbing Ye Chen from everything is the inner thoughts of many people at this moment. However, these people have no idea what kind of existence Ye Chen's reincarnation town is like. I don't even know what the innate realm, king-level military commander, super-class historical military commander represents. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Reincarnation Town, the gate of the city. After listening to the world announcement, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows. But I didn't expect to receive a super-class historical military commander, and it even included 5 million prestige and 10 million tails of gold. Looking at Dian Wei who was still kneeling on one knee, Ye Chen chuckled a few times, and went straight to Dian Wei and lifted Dian Wei up. From now on, you will be my personal guard leader. Ye Chen looked at Dian Wei and said happily. Lord, do I have 5 mu of farmland? After Dian Wei got up, he came up with such a sentence, and Ye Chen was taken aback when he heard it. Is five acres too much? Then I can take four acres, and I can barely fill my stomach. Seeing that Ye Chen didn't answer, Dian Wei scratched his head and said, Asshole! I'm worth five mu of land for my guardian. 
Ye Chen's face suddenly turned black when he heard this, then he glared at Dian Wei and shouted. How much is that worth? I haven't done anything yet. Five acres would be great. Dian Wei said with some confusion. Ye Chen couldn't bear Dian Wei's words anymore, and laughed helplessly. Shaking his head, Ye Chen straightened his face, and then said in a deep voice. Five Mew? The townspeople of Reincarnation Town, one person counts as one person, and they will be allocated five Mew of land. You are the leader of Lao Tzu's personal guards, and you give you a monthly salary and ten thousand Mew of fertile land. Lao Tzu feels that you have lost you. Hey! Dian Wei was dazed, and then waves of warmth in his heart appeared. Although Ye Chen's words were rude, Dian Wei was not too shrewd, but he could hear the meaning of Ye Chen's words. He didn't expect Ye Chen to value him so much. The ancients emphasized righteousness and promise, Ye Chen said, Dian Wei thought it was true. Moreover, Dian Wei did not think that what Ye Chen said was false. So he was moved and his heart was warm. He has force, he knows it himself, but he has been in the army, but he has never been reused. He killed officials for the sake of his friends, and had to leave his hometown to make a living, but he was still unable to settle down. Today, he came to Reincarnation Town and met Ye Chen, the lord who ignored his past and regarded him very seriously. Dian Wei took a deep breath, exhaled a long, looked at Ye Chen very seriously, and then knelt heavily on one knee. Bang sounded immediately. Dian Wei swears to follow the Lord. If you break this oath, the heaven will die. Dian Wei raised his right hand, raised three fingers, and roared loudly. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen, Dian Wei is a diehard advancing. Dian Wei, Super First Class Historical General. Qualification, SSS Level. Loyalty, Die Loyal. Force, 99. Roots, 97. Spirit, 91. Fu Yuan, Hidden. Technique, Xian Tian Ju. Skills, 9 Yu Halberd. Equipment, None. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, then ecstatically lifted Dian Wei. The qualification was sealed and reached the SSS level, indicating that Dian Wei's qualifications are very strong. For his own subordinates, and die hard subordinates, the aptitude is naturally the better. No need to swear, I believe you too. Ye Chen looked at Dian Wei's ugly face, and said seriously. Dian Wei was about to speak, suddenly his face changed, and at this moment, a muffled thunder came. Guralu. The sound is very loud, and the source of the sound is Dian Wei. Master, I, I'm hungry. Dian Wei noticed that Ye Chen was taken aback, and hurriedly explained. Go. Let's go have a drink. Ye Chen laughed, patted Dian Wei on the shoulder, and then said. Master, just prepare some steamed buns and tou for me. I eat a little too much. Dian Wei was taken aback for a moment, but he didn't expect Ye Chen to be so approachable, and he couldn't help but feel warm, and then said. When Ye Chen heard this, he couldn't help but shook his head helplessly, and then said, Dian Wei, you really are your master, you are a miser. You don't even want to eat your own belly. No. Lord, I. I really ate too much. Dian Wei hurriedly shook his head and said. You eat a lot? Where can you go? Today you just ate ten thousand gold, and I won't frown. Ye Chen glared at Dian Wei, then looked at Zhao Yu after he finished speaking. Before Ye Chen spoke, Zhao Yu smiled. Business matters, I will go home first. Ye Chen nodded, then looked at Dian Wei, and said, I'm not keeping up, I'm going to see how much you can eat today. My lord, I really ate too much. Dian Wei scratched his head in embarrassment, and then followed Ye Chen towards Samsara town. After passing the city gate and coming to the tavern, Ye Chen waved his hand, here are all the good wine and food. Also, tell the kitchen to continue cooking and bring it up when finished. I didn't say stop, don't stop. 
The tavern owner naturally knew Ye Chen, and to speak of it, it was the first time Ye Chen came to eat here. Who would have thought that Ye Chen was so domineering as soon as he walked in, and the frightened tavern owner shivered abruptly. He thought something was wrong, and he had offended Ye Chen. Ye Chen was here to find fault. When the tavern keeper was out of his mind, Ye Chen realized that what he just said was somewhat ambiguous. And the tavern owner was so frightened that he stood there and dared not move, he couldn't help but coughed, and then said. Today, the town of reincarnation has added a new member of the peerless warlord, who has a huge appetite, so I will prepare quickly. When the tavern owner heard this, he was relieved, a smile appeared on his face, and then bowed and said, Lord Lord, the villain will prepare immediately. Ye Chen nodded, then looked at Diane Wei, and asked with some doubts. Diane Wei, why are all your exercises incomplete? Diane Wei's attribute panel clearly shows the incompleteness, but even the incompleteness is a holy skill. This is also what Ye Chen is curious about. If it is a complete technique, it is at least a level. It is even possible to surpass the level and become an innate technique. My lord, I don't know. This is what I learned in a cave when I went up the mountain to fight tigers. At that time, I passed out directly and would wake up. Diane Wei scratched his head and said. Good luck. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, then he couldn't help but smile, and then asked, What about your weapons? My family is poor and I can't afford weapons. I can still play around when I am in the army. If I leave the army, I will have no weapons. Diane Wei said with some depression. No weapons. Ye Chen stayed, but he never thought that Diane Wei had no weapons. According to historical records, he used iron halberds, and he was still a pair. Diane Wei nodded and said, Yes, Lord. You wait. Ye Chen remembered that when he had killed General Wu Huan before, he got a mace and couldn't help speaking. After speaking, Ye Chen thought, and the mace appeared in Ye Chen's hand instantly. Mace, it is made of profound iron. The crafting technique is too crude, and its grade is lowered by one level. Take it, use it first. If it doesn't go well, go to the forge to melt and rebuild the weapon you want. Ye Chen said as he handed the mace to Diane Wei. Thank you Lord. Diane Wei said with ecstasy as he looked at the mace with bright eyes. This time, Diane Wei stopped shoving, and took it without hesitation. Military commanders have an unconcealable enthusiasm for weapons. Diane Wei is a military commander, and he is a superb historical military commander. He is no exception. He could see the quality of the weapon, and Ye Chen allowed him to melt the mace and recast it. How could Diane Wei not be excited? The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. When Diane Wei was excited, the wine and food were brought up. Good dong. Diane Wei swallowed heavily as he looked at a table of delicious wines and dishes. Let's eat. Let go of eating. Ye Chen laughed, and then said. Master, get some more buns and you, or you won't be able to fill your stomach. Diane Wei nodded heavily, and then said. Bring some steamed buns and you here. Ye Chen ordered at the tavern owner who was standing next to him waiting to be dispatched. Yes. Lord Lord. Coming soon. The tavern keeper hurriedly bowed and ran away. Before long, a large bowl of steamed bread and tou were brought up by the shopkeeper. Diane Wei saw that, without saying anything, he picked it up and ate it. At first, Ye Chen hadn't seen anything, but soon, Ye Chen's eyes froze. I saw Diane Wei holding steamed buns and tou in his left hand and chopsticks in his right. Kaka, kaka a few times, a steamed bun and tou as big as a sandbag are gone and a plate of delicate dishes is gone. If you say, this has already brought Ye Chen a lot of surprise. Diane Wei, who began to let go and then ate wildly, frightened Ye Chen. One bite of big steamed bun and tou, one dish, pour it directly into your mouth, 
and then swallow it directly with a gudong. Ye Chen looked unbelievable, rubbed his eyes, and then looked at Dian Wei again. In the next second, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth twitched involuntarily. It's really swallowing. A big steamed bun, a tou, and a dish were swallowed by Dian Wei in just one bite. But after a while, a table of steamed buns, tou, and vegetables were all wiped out by Dian Wei. Ye Chen looked at Dian Wei's food, the frightened tavern keeper, and said, Go and prepare, as many as you can. Yes. Yes. Lord Lord. Hearing Ye Chen's words, the tavern owner suddenly returned to his senses and hurriedly bowed in response, and then ran to prepare the meal with a shocked look on his face. How? How much more can I eat? Ye Chen asked Dian Wei with a curious look. Another seven or eight tables is almost the same. Dian Wei smiled and touched the back of his head, and then said. Just when Ye Chen thought that Dian would eat this amount seven or eight times and he would be full, Dian Wei Yu continued to say. Half full is enough, so I will have the strength to protect the Lord. Damn it! Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this, and looked at Dian Wei with disbelief. This guy Dian Wei is simply a human-shaped monster, how big a stomach is this? Lord, is it too much? Or, let them all serve steamed buns and tou. Dian Wei asked in a low voice looking at Ye Chen's shocked expression. Not much. You can eat as much as you can. Since your lord, I said, I will definitely make you full, and I will eat every day. Ye Chen came back to his senses, shook his head, and then definitely said incomparably. Well, do I continue to eat? Dian Wei nodded and asked. Eat, you must eat. If you don't eat enough, how can you have the strength to protect your lord and me? and you must not be hungry in the future, have you heard? Ye Chen glared at Dian Wei before speaking. Well, I know, I will be full in the future. Dian Wei nodded and said in a naive voice. When Ye Chen heard this, he nodded in satisfaction. Soon, the tavern keeper brought the food up. Dian Wei, who completely let go, once again showed his domineering appetite. What Feng Wan Kenyun describes Dian Wei's eating appearance, that is an insult to Dian Wei. Dian Wei's eating appearance is just like his appearance, shocking the world. A table of vegetables, a large bowl of steamed bread and tou, three times five times two, but a few breaths, and then, no more. The appearance of Dian Wei eating wildly was soon discovered by the townspeople of Reincarnation Town, who stood curiously watching from a distance. This, this strong man, it's, it's a big stomach king. The king of big stomach can't compare to him. Look at how much he has eaten. This is the twelfth time. I think our lord, we have picked up the treasure. This strong man must be infinitely powerful. That is, don't look at who our lord is, his old man's vision is bad. Yes, that is, I think this strong man looks extraordinary and can swallow the sky. He will be on the battlefield in the future, waiting to cut through thorns and be invincible. That is, our samsara town, under the leadership of Lord Lord, will definitely get better and better, stronger and stronger, and we will become happier and happier. This strong man just eats too much, so our Lord can raise it. If this is my son, I will not be able to support him if he is exhausted. You can eat or serve, you know. That's what is called a capable person and stranger. Otherwise, how could you be favored by the Lord and be taken as the leader? Oh, speaking of the guards, the kid in my family doesn't know if the Lord wants it. How talented is your kid? It seems to be a D-class. Level D? Don't even think about it, Lord Lord's army must go in, at least A and level. The townspeople talked a lot, and soon turned the topic off the side but no one ridiculed Dian Wei. When Dian Wei was eating, the townspeople's comments also reached his ears. Good fellow, this guy tasted even more unscrupulous. It wasn't until Dian Wei finished the 18th table that he stopped. Ye Chen laughed, then put the wine glass he was holding to his mouth, raised his head, and drank it. Lord, 
I'm full. Diane Wei could not help but touch the back of his head a little embarrassedly when he heard Ye Chen's laugh, and said. Just eat enough, go, and take you to see the guards in the future. Ye Chen patted Diane Wei on the shoulder, and then said. Ye Chen said that the guard corps was naturally the reincarnation corps. The reincarnation legion has the characteristics of unlimited advancement, Ye Chen can command, but now with Diane Wei, Ye Chen intends to hand over the reincarnation legion to Diane Wei. Superclass historical generals, anyone, has hidden characteristics, which can make the army stronger and the army more domineering. Diane Wei is a superclass historical military commander, and Ye Chen would naturally not regard Diane Wei as his personal guard. That was just a name. In the end, Ye Chen still wanted to bring Diane Wei to the battlefield. Only the battlefield is the home of the generals. Generals, live for the battlefield, and die for the battlefield. All wealth and glory come from the battlefield. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Reincarnation Town, School Field When Ye Chen brought Dian Wei to the gate of the school, the Samsara Legion was conducting daily drills. When Ye Chen walked into the school grounds, the Samsara Legion quickly stopped one by one. There was a swish sound. The 4,000 reincarnation legions all knelt down on one knee and shouted loudly. Meet the Lord. Ye Chen nodded, and then stepped onto the platform. Diane Wei stood under the high platform, in front of the Samsara Legion. Today, I came here for two things. Ye Chen looked at the sweaty soldiers of the Samsara Legion, nodded in satisfaction, and then spoke. The audience was silent. No one spoke, quietly waiting for Ye Chen to follow. Ye Chen didn't take a stand, paused for a moment, raised a finger, and then said. The first thing is that the Samsara Legion will officially become my guards corps from today. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the soldiers of the Samsara Legion suddenly widened their eyes. Excitement, joy, appeared in the eyes of every soldier of the Samsara Legion. They like to fight with their lord Ye Chen. Because Ye Chen is their lord, and even the founder of the Samsara Legion, at the same time, Ye Chen is still their idol. Ye Chen's domineering, cold fighting style has long been deeply imprinted in the hearts of the soldiers of the Samsara Legion. Now they heard Ye Chen personally say that the Samsara Corps has officially become the Guard Corps from today, and they are naturally happy. Because of this, they can continue to follow their lord on the battlefield. To create brilliance, to create legend. And this is what every soldier in the Samsara Legion thinks in his heart. The soldiers of the Samsara Legion were very excited, but no one spoke, and only heavy breathing was heard throughout the school grounds. Ye Chen smiled slightly when he saw this, then raised his second finger and said. The second thing is that Chen Lai Yudianwei will be the commander of the Samsara Legion. The soldiers of the Reincarnation Legion were stunned when they heard this but they did not expect that a commander of the Reincarnation Legion came, or someone they had never seen, or even heard of. But soon, all the soldiers looked at Diane Wei in front of the army. Because Diane Wei came to the school with Ye Chen. Diane Wei. Ye Chen looked at Diane Wei and shouted. The end is here. Diane Wei knelt on one knee with a bang, and then responded loudly. As soon as Diane Wei's words landed, the soldiers of the Samsara Legion were all taken aback on the school field. Because Diane Wei's voice was so loud, it was almost like thunder. From today, the Samsara Legion is under your leadership. You can be confident that you can turn the Samsara Legion into an invincible army. Ye Chen's eyes condensed, and then he shouted. Diane Wei's right fist hit his chest, and a loud bang resounded across the school field in an instant. I will have confidence at the end. Diane Wei shouted without hesitation. Very good. The Samsara Legion will be handed over to you. Your task is to train me fiercely. But there is a need. Even though I have to find Deputy Mayor Zhao Hung, I have only one request. When Ye Chen said this, he paused, glanced at the soldiers of the Samsara Legion in the audience, and then said. 
as long as you don't die, you can toss. But there are those who retreat, expel the reincarnation legion. The final commander. Dianwei replied loudly. Ye Chen nodded, then walked off the platform and left the school grounds. In military training, apart from killing, there is also training. Killing can quickly increase the level of soldiers and enhance their apparent strength. But training can lay a solid foundation for soldiers, and qualitative changes will occur over time. Once the critical point is reached, soldiers will upgrade their qualifications and even break through the realm. But this is impossible to kill. For soldiers to be truly powerful, both are indispensable. Ye Chen can also train soldiers, but Ye Chen doesn't have so much time to train soldiers. Now with Dian Wei, Ye Chen can naturally become a big shopkeeper. Moreover, training the reincarnation army by Dian Wei can make the soldiers stronger quickly. This is not comparable to soldiers' self-training. When he came to the masonry street and looked at the townspeople coming and going in the distance, Ye Chen was in a good mood. Because there is a superb historical general to follow, and because of this vibrant town of reincarnation. Lord Lord, this is the big radish grown by my family, you can bring some back to eat. A greeting came suddenly with a little tenderness. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, then looked at the alley next to him. But it was a little boy who went home with a basket on his back, and his basket was filled with large watery radishes. Obviously, he had just returned from the ground and was about to go home when he saw Ye Chen. Give me one, one is enough for me, how about it? Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then said. Originally, Ye Chen wanted to refuse, but Ye Chen saw the look of expectation on the little boy's face, and gave up on his previous thoughts. Well, um, Lord Lord, this one is big, give you this. The little boy nodded with excitement. After speaking, he took out a big carrot from the basket and handed it to Ye Chen. Ye Chen took it, smiled and touched the little boy's head, and then said, You gave me a gift, so how about I also give you a gift? Really, really? The little boy was so excited when he heard this, then he stammered and asked. Of course it is true. My gift is that you can make a wish and I will help you realize it, how about it? Ye Chen laughed and asked. That, that. Lord Lord, can I learn to read? The little boy asked nervously. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this. But Ye Chen remembered something that he had overlooked. Nima. The private school is built, but there is no teaching yet. No, we must get some scholars and talents back as soon as possible. Scholars and scholars seem to be useless and can only enlighten children. But the key point is enlightenment. Refugees are a major source of territory population, and the other is the offspring of residents. Newborns in the territory, unlike adults, have basically fixed aptitudes, but can be changed. The way to change is in enlightenment. The more powerful people enlighten the newborn, the more powerful the newborn's qualifications will be. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's eyes flickered. Scholar scholars are too bad, no, go directly to those historical figures. Wo Yang. Ying Chuan. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Lord Lord, no. Can't it? The little boy asked very carefully at this time. He saw Ye Chen froze in place, thinking that his request was very embarrassing to Ye Chen, and he couldn't help but become nervous. After all, books, in this age, not everyone can read, and it depends on whether the teacher accepts it or not. Moreover, if you want to study, you must have at least a teacher, but now, in Samsara town, there is not a teacher. Ye Chen was interrupted by the little boy's words, and was still not angry. Historical civil servants were more difficult to engage with than historical military generals. Don't think they have much force, but they are all proud. There are no spineless historical civil servants, not few, and they are not what Ye Chen wants. Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, then smiled, 
rubbed the little boy's head, and said. Of course you can, but it will take some time. You can go to school when I invite the teacher. Great. Thank you Lord Lord. The little boy shouted excitedly. Go home quickly, by the way, thank you for the carrot. Ye Chen smiled slightly, then shook the carrot in his hand. Well, if Lord Lord likes to eat, just send someone here, and I will give Lord Lord the biggest and best carrot. The little boy nodded and said seriously. Send someone. When Ye Chen heard these two words, he couldn't help but stunned, and then he smiled. This little guy reminded me that the hut will become a big house, and it will become a mansion in the back. The more you go, the bigger the place, you have to find some servants. Thinking of this, Ye Chen nodded and said. Okay, when I want to eat, I will send someone to find you. Well, Lord Lord, I'm going home. The little boy said happily. Ye Chen nodded, and the little boy bowed to Ye Chen, and then walked home happily. Seeing the little boy's happy look, Ye Chen couldn't help but smiled, and then exhaled for a long time. Historical civil servants, want to accept them, the difficulty is really not ordinary. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked at his property panel. Ye Chen, first class Viscount. Title, Spear God, King Level General. Level, Level 95. Reputation, 6.35 million. Merit, 2.39 million. Force, 92. Roots, 88. Spirit, 100. Fu Yuan, hidden. Techniques, 9 turns Xian Gong, Shen Xiao Yu Lei Ju. Skills, basic spear technique. Equipment, killing spear, black cloud armor. Money, 20.62 million gold. Items, shaking mountain art, thunder spear, Yamingzu X36, Yamingzu X1. Tonkei Table, Huan Yang Dan X1, Jewelry 100 Boxes, Soul of Generals X1, Man Niu Ju X1. The first class Viscount of the Empire has an average title and is not very attractive to historical officials, and it is generally not very difficult. It's just that those first class, super class existences are not so easy. Thinking of this, Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment and then looked at the item column in the attribute panel again. Yamingzu, a treasure of heaven and earth, priceless. Yamingzu, a rare treasure, not many survived in the world. Seeing these two items, the corner of Ye Chen's mouth suddenly tilted, and then a gleam of light flashed in his eyes. Attracting historical civil servants is nothing more than official position, prestige, and influence. In terms of power, the town of reincarnation is the number one town in the world, and its reputation is spread far and wide. Although the town of reincarnation is still not as good as the aboriginals in this world, the town of reincarnation started with a god-level village building order and has a deep foundation. Ye Chen swept wildly and obtained a lot of resources when the market resources were the cheapest, so it was not difficult for Samsara town to rise. More importantly, once the reincarnation territory rises, it will surely shock the world. The reason is simple. Even the capital of the Han Empire is nothing more than a diamond. And Ye Chen's reincarnation territory is the only one, god level. In terms of prestige, Ye Chen's prestige has reached 6.35 million. Although it is not well known in the world, it has reached the level of famous Yu Hu. But now Ye Chen lacks the most official position. Without official positions, no matter how powerful the territory is, it is nothing more than honor and can't make it to the table. With official positions, the attraction to historical scholars will be greatly enhanced. Of course, the benefits of official positions are not just to increase the attraction to historical figures. It can also enable Ye Chen to lead troops out of the army, and it is justified. Although the Great Han Empire is rotten at the moment, the Han Empire is still there after all. If there is no corresponding official position, it will lead troops to expedition. Not only will there be a huge limit on the number, but it will also be immediately labeled as a rebellion. In this era, 
Ye Chen doesn't want such a reputation, which is extremely detrimental to future development. What's more, with Dong Zhou, who carried the banner of anti-thief, Ye Chen didn't worry at all, no one would harm the Han imperial family. With that fat man, it's hard for the Han Empire to think about it. Of course, he is not the main cause, but it is also the key to opening the Three Kingdoms era. Master! Master! Zhao Heng's voice suddenly came over. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard Zhao Heng's voice. Zhao Hung was supposed to be still at the gate of the city to register the refugees, but now he ran over, obviously there was something important. What's the matter? Ye Chen asked with some confusion. It didn't take long for the Wuhuan cavalry to be wiped out, and it was impossible to have Wuhuan cavalry. The bandits and robbers in the reincarnation forest were wiped out again, and the wild beasts were cleaned up leaving only a few small animals and gentle herbivores, which could not be dangerous. Master! The recruitment hall is built. Zhao Hung came to Ye Chen and said with a smile on his face. Hey! So fast! Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, and then asked. Originally, Ye Chen thought that the construction of the recruitment hall would be completed tomorrow, but he didn't expect that the construction would be completed within a few hours. Yes, my lord, I see that the lord attaches great importance to the recruitment hall, and he sent extra manpower, and instructed the craftsmen to speed up. The construction is now complete. Zhao Hung bowed and said. Zhao Hung is the deputy mayor and he is loyal to Ye Chen. He will do everything he can to accomplish anything that Ye Chen values. Go. Go and see. Ye Chen heard this, his eyes lit up and then he said. Master, please hear. Zhao Hung said with a happily face. After finishing speaking, he led Ye Chen the way. It didn't take long for Ye Chen to come to the entrance of the quaint recruiting hall. After taking a look at the recruitment hall, Ye Chen walked straight in. The lobby of the recruitment hall is very large. There are no tables and chairs in it, and there are no people here. It is very empty. However, Ye Chen didn't care about this, and looked directly at the center of the Hall of Recruitment Hall, where a half-person high stone monument was placed. The steel is now shrouded in a mysterious atmosphere, giving people a sense of non-humanity. Ye Chen went straight to the side of the steel, with the word recruitment, followed by Ye Chen's eyes. Ye Chen's eyebrows raised when he looked at Ye Chen's vigorous and powerful and constantly exuding the word recruitment with golden light. This is the key to the recruitment hall. Thinking of this, Ye Chen pressed his right hand to the steel, and the system prompt sounded in Ye Chen's mind. Ding, the recruiting stone tablet is full of energy, do you start recruiting? Start? Ye Chen made the choice without hesitation. Ding, recruitment begins. With the prompt sound of the system, the stone monument of recruiting talents instantly became golden light and the mysterious aura exploded fiercely. Ye Chen closed his eyes involuntarily. When the light dissipated, Ye Chen opened his eyes, and at this moment, there was a young man in the recruitment hall. He was wearing a cyan gown, his hair was tied together with straw ropes, holding a half jug of dirty wine in his hand, his face was blank. Where is this? Why do I feel so kind and want to live here? The young man suddenly said in surprise. Ye Chen didn't know the identity of the young man in front of him, but Ye Chen knew that the recruits must be historical figures. Looking at this man's dress, it was obvious that he was a historical civil servant, but he didn't know which level he was. Hey? Are you? The young man was taken aback when he saw Ye Chen, and then asked. This is reincarnation town. I am the mayor of Reincarnation Town, the first class Viscount of the Han Empire, Ye Chen. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then spoke. The young man was even more confused when he heard this. Obviously, he had never heard Ye Chen's name, but soon, he shook his head, then bowed and said. 
In Xiaoying Chuanguo Feng Xiao, I met Viscount Ye Chen. Ye Chen's Viscount title is much better than the mayor's false name. The young man naturally calls Ye Chen the Viscount. When Ye Chen heard the young man's name, he was taken aback for a moment, because of a familiar feeling, and then he was in a daze. Viscount Ye Chen, know you next. Guo Jia couldn't help but ask in confusion after seeing Ye Chen's expression. Ying Chuan Guo Jie? Guo Feng Xiao. Ye Chen asked hurriedly without answering. It's here, dare to ask Master Viscount, where can I hear the name? Guo Jia was even more strange, and asked curiously. Ahem, your name, but no one knows that no one knows. Ye Chen chuckled a few times before speaking. At the same time, Ye Chen ran past 10,000 grass and mud horses in an instant. Nima. It turns out that joining the recruitment hall means joining the reincarnation town is not acknowledging the Lord. However, fortunately, when you come to reincarnation town, don't even think about running, dare to run, and get a discount. At this moment, Guo Jia's eyes suddenly flashed with a weird and unpredictable light, and then his face changed but he immediately returned to normal, and then he bowed and worshipped without hesitation. Guo Jiabai sees the Lord. Hey! Ye Chen stayed, but he didn't expect that Guo Jia would recognize the master so simply, which was a bit outrageous. At this moment, the system prompt sounded. Ding! The super-class historical minister, Guo Jie, would you like to recognize you as the master, do you accept it? Although he didn't understand the reason, Ye Chen wouldn't hesitate on this. Accept. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for gaining the allegiance of the super-class historical minister, Guo Jie. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Hearing the prompt sound of the system, Ye Chen was still a little bit in a dream. Originally, Guo Jia should have joined Reincarnation Town. To be precise, he lived in Reincarnation Town, rather than recognizing the master Ye Chen. But the reality was that Ye Chen gave Ye Chen a big joke, and Guo Jia admitted the Lord without hesitation. Ye Chen had planned to think about how to ask Guo Jia to recognize the Lord. This time, no need for it. My Lord, why is he so silly? Guo Jia smiled at this moment, and then took a sip of the dirty wine in his hand. Indeed. Ye Chen nodded, and then spoke. Jia is afraid of being discounted by the Lord. Guo Jia swallowed the wine with a good ong, and then sighed in a long voice. When Ye Chen heard this, he was stunned, and then his face became stiff, and he smirked, Ha ha ha, what, go, drink. At this moment, the world announcement sounded instantly. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for being the first to win a super-class historical civil servant, Guo Jia's allegiance, and to reward the player Ye Chen's prestige plus 5 million and gold 10 million tails. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for being the first to win a super-class historical military commander, Guo Jia's allegiance, especially rewarding player Ye Chen reputation plus 5 million gold 10 million tails. The moment the world announcement sounded, the world channel, which had just been restored not long before, became noisy again. I've just turned the table up, can I make people play happily, shit. This Ye Chen is definitely cheating. That's right. Ye Chen cheated on the cliff, right? How long is this? I just received a Dian Wei, which put Guo Feng Xiao in his bag again. You're a dick, I'm not convinced. Damn, I don't believe Ye Chen has such good luck, he's, I want to complain. If nobody cares, I won't play this game. Stupid. Grandpa really doesn't believe it, you won't play this game. You are a great one. You will never come up. As long as you dare to hold on for a year, no, as long as you dare to hold on for a month, I live and eat shit. Damn, you are awesome, the brother who is arguing about whether to play, immediately go offline to show him, and come back in a month, 
we want to watch the live broadcast and eat shit. You are paralyzed, I just vent, you really think I'm as stupid as you? A stupid doesn't play. Done by, then you can compare it with you. Ha ha ha, there are so many popular people, Ye Chen's boss is awesome, you don't accept it. You have to accept if you don't accept it. Special, Guo Jiri, a super class historical minister, yes, and Diane Wei, fucking. Ye Chen is digging CAO CAO's corner. You said, if CAO CAO knew, would he be angry? Take the seven star treasure knife to chop Ye Chen. Nima, then you have to find Ye Chen, shit, don't talk about CAO CAO, if you know where Ye Chen is, then go too. Are you going to chop him? Chop a hair, do you think Diane Wei is a vegetarian? Guojia is a decoration? Lao Tzu went to worship the mountain. Don't tell me, even if you find Ye Chen, it is estimated that not many people dare to attack him. Don't forget, Ye Chen is a king-level military commander. That's special. That's the innate realm. Ye Chen in reality, isn't it? I know how awesome it is. Cut, I'm afraid of Mao, and the strength is not 100% synchronized. You are awesome, and the reality has to be discounted. I don't believe in the idea of those big forces not to fight Ye Chen. On the World Channel, the noisy and noisy players are basically individual players, and the large and small forces are surprisingly consistent, and no one speaks again. It's just that the seemingly peaceful world has an undercurrent. Some pointed to Ye Chen, and some pointed to major towns in the game world. It was very simple to point to Ye Chen. It was necessary to confirm the location of Ye Chen's territory. The targets of major cities and towns are military commanders and civil servants recorded in history. Ye Chen successively accepted two super-class historical figures, which severely stimulated all major forces. Ye Chen can do it, and they can do it. Therefore, they began to act, they want to control historical military commanders, historical civil servants in their hands. Unfortunately, in many cases, many things are taken for granted. However, many people do not realize this. Reincarnation Town, Recruitment Hall Guo Jia's eyes lit up when Ye Chen said he wanted to drink, and then he said, Master, Jia K is not happy without wine, but Jia only likes to drink fine wine. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, and couldn't help looking at the half jug of turbid wine in Guo Jia's hand. Lord, this is a fine wine, don't look at him outside, it tastes very unique. Guo Jia saw Ye Chen's eyes, drank the wine without changing his face, and then said with intoxication. If it weren't for the smell of wine mixed with water, I would really believe it. Ye Chen twitched the corner of his mouth involuntarily, and then said, Bong Xiao, the wine from Samsara town, after you drink it, I no longer think about the wine outside. Really so? Guo Jia was taken aback for a moment, and then asked with bright eyes. Do you not believe in filial piety? Ye Chen raised his eyebrows and asked. NH you really has to taste it. Guo Jia laughed excitedly when he heard this. However, that kind of fine wine is extraordinary, and it cannot be brewed temporarily. Even so, the fine wine brewed now is not comparable to the so-called fine wine outside. Ye Chen laughed and said. Guo Jia was taken aback for a moment, and asked with some doubts, I can't brew, isn't it not a human thing? Ye Chen smiled and nodded, and said, it's true. Master. Jia wants to taste this fine wine now. Guo Jia swallowed with a gudong when he heard this, and then hurriedly said. Go. Ye Chen laughed, and then took Guo Jia to the tavern. As soon as he entered the door, Ye Chen directly told the tavern owner, Go, bring the failed bruise. Yes. Lord Lord. The tavern owner hurriedly bowed, and then ran to bring over the wine produced by the failure of brewing Bei Wan Yang. Not much wine, only a pot. But before the lid was opened, the strong aroma of wine flew out of it, refreshing, and both Ye Chen and Guo Jia couldn't help taking a deep breath. Lord! 
This wine is really a failure. Guochia closed his eyes intoxicated, and then opened his eyes for a while, asking excitedly. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Indeed, this is still too short, given time, this wine will be better than it is now. Ye Chen nodded and said with a smile. Chi really looks forward to that day. After Guo Jia finished speaking, he picked up the jug and poured Ye Chen a glass, and then filled himself with it. Master, please. Guo Jia finished speaking, raised his neck and drank in one sip. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then drank it. Guo Jia, who had finished drinking, exhaled after a while, then looked at Ye Chen and asked. Why doesn't the Lord doubt Ji? Doubt? What do you suspect? Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, and then asked. Suspect Ji was to save his life, falsely promised, and then waited for the opportunity to leave reincarnation town and leave the Lord. Guo Ji looked at Ye Chen's eyes and asked seriously. Ye Chen couldn't help smiling when he heard this, and then said. If doubt is useful, then I am now the Lord of the world. After Ye Chen finished speaking, he poured himself a glass of wine, and then continued. I value you because I knew you a long time ago, so when I learned that you are Ying Chuan, Guo Jie, Guo Feng Xiao, I was ecstatic. At that moment, I once thought that if you don't follow me, I will discount your legs and even kill you. When Ye Chen said this, an extremely violent murderous aura appeared instantly. However, Guo Jia's expression remained the same. He even poured himself a glass of wine and slowly tasted it. Ye Chen's murderous aura appeared quickly and disappeared quickly. At the moment when the murderous aura disappeared, an aura that dominated the world instantly poured out. Feng Xiao, my path should not be blocked by anyone, even if it is a monster or a witch. I don't think anyone can stop me from moving forward. Ye Chen paused for a moment then looked at Guo Jie, and then said. You can choose again and stay. I need your loyalty. If you leave, I will let you leave without injury. With the sound of Gudong, Guo Jie drank the wine in one cup. Ye Chen didn't speak any more, the aura on his body was as steady as a rock. But Guo Jie didn't say a word, closing his eyes seemed to be intoxicated by the wine. As time passed, Guo Jie suddenly opened his eyes, and a smile appeared on his face. This wine is really delicious. Guo Jia finished with emotion, then got up, bowed solemnly and said. Ying Chuan Guo Jia Guo Feng Xiao, swear to follow the Lord. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen for passing the test, the super class historical minister, the ghost Guo Jia officially recognized the Lord. Ding, congratulations to player Ye Chen. Guo Jia's loyalty is plus 100, and he is a diehard loyal. Ye Chen was relieved when he heard this. Nima, sure enough, super class historical civil servants are not so easy to get. If this one is not good, people will run away. Fortunately, fortunately it didn't run away. Thinking of this, Ye Chen hurriedly looked at Guo Jia's property panel. Guo Jia, super class historical civil servants. Features, great wisdom is like a demon, and a plot is like a ghost. Qualification, SSS level. Loyalty, die loyal. Force, 30. Root bone, 90. Spirit, 100. Fu Yuan, hidden. Technique, ghost and god Ju. Skills, eyes of ghosts and gods, Wang Chi technique. Equipment, none. The Eyes of Ghosts Guo Jia's weird look before, just used the eyes of ghosts. In particular, this ghost eye is not just a mind-reading technique. Thinking of this, Ye Chen looked at Guo Jia with some pain. Guo Jia looked at Ye Chen's strange gaze, couldn't help but stunned, and then asked, Master? Is there anything wrong with Ji? Your eyes of ghosts and gods have the function of mind-reading. Ye Chen asked curiously. Is the Lord worried that Jia has a mind-reading skill to explore the Lord's secret? 
Guojia was taken aback for a moment, and then asked with a smile. Ye Chen's face stiffened. Although Ye Chen didn't want to admit it, what Guojia said was the truth. Nima, there is a minion who can read mind, that's much troublesome. Although this subordinate is 100% loyal, he is also troubled. At this moment, Guojia laughed, and then explained. Lord, the eyes of ghosts and gods do not have the ability to read minds, but they can detect danger in advance. When Guojia said this, he picked up the hip flask, Gudong, Gudong after drinking it all in one breath, then said with a grieving expression on his face. Jia didn't expect the Lord to break Jia's leg at the time, Lord, Jia, it was very hurt. When Ye Chen heard this, he couldn't help but sneered a few times, and then said, I will give you a pot of this fine wine every day. Three pots. Guo Jia hurriedly raised three fingers and said. Ye Chen's face suddenly stiffened when he heard this. But it was a reaction, Guo Jia deliberately sold miserably, the purpose turned out to be to drink more. Thinking of this, Ye Chen glared at Guo Jia and then said. Three pots are okay, but recently I can only drink one pot. If you want three pots, you can wait half of the development of Bei Wanyang. It won't hurt your body at that time, and it's good for your body. In historical records, Guo Jia died young, Ye Chen didn't want Guo Jia to make his body worse because of drinking. As for Guo Jia's condition, Ye Chen had nothing to do for a while. The only way to get the legendary pill or find the magical Dr. Hua Tuo can Guo Jia's disease really be cured. Of course, even if Guo Jia really died, Ye Chen wouldn't worry, because Ye Chen still had Yang Pill in his hands. Okay. Lord, the matter is settled. Guo Jia heard this, his eyes lit up, and he hurriedly said. No problem. Ye Chen nodded without crying or laughing. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Why did the Lord say this? Guo Jia was stunned when he heard this, and then asked. Ye Chen laughed, and then said. The Valley of Reincarnation is surrounded by mountains. On the highest peak, there is a wild boss the Blue-Eyed Tiger King, but the Blue-Eyed Tiger King has been killed by me, and the target of the Wuhuan Cavalry is it. From the words of the Wuhuan Cavalry, one thing can be confirmed. They mobilized the crowd to come here because their leader Yi Dun wanted to give Wuhuan Dan Yuki Ulahu a birthday, and the birthday gift was the Blue-Eyed Tiger King. After listening to Ye Chen's explanation, Guo Jia thought for a while, and then said. Master, this matter needs to be arranged in detail, otherwise, the Wuhuan cavalry will probably not come again. Even if they do, they will not ride into the Samsara forest. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, then reacted to Guo Jia's meaning, and then asked. Bong Xiao means that they will send someone to investigate. Guo Jia nodded and said. If the town of Samsara is detected by the Wuhuan people, then they will inevitably commit crimes because of revenge. However, at that time, they will no longer use war horses, and even burn the Samsara forest. Ye Chen couldn't help smiling when he heard this, and then said. I have considered this matter. Originally, I planned to come and kill as many spies, so that Wuhuan would think that the Blue-Eyed Tiger King was too cruel, and killed all the Wuhuan cavalry, and sent more of the cavalry are here. Guo Jia was taken aback for a moment, but he didn't expect Ye Chen to have planned a countermeasure long ago. After touching his beardless chin, Guo Jia suddenly bowed to Ye Chen and said. The Lord is very talented, and he should be the leader. Stop flattering. Ye Chen gave Guo Jia a dumbfounded look, and then continued. Bong Xiao should have a better way, come quickly. Guo Jia smiled and stood up and then asked, Master, have you ever heard a sentence, money is touching? Money is touching. Ye Chen couldn't help but asked in a puzzled way. Bong Xiao means to use money to lure Wuhuan people. Yes, nor is it. Guo Jia smiled slightly and said. Feng Xiao, I think, when you and I met, 
my idea was correct, and now I think it is correct. Ye Chen glared at Guo Jie, and then sighed. The superclass historical civil servants all love to pretend, Guo Jie is no exception, but the posture of pretending to be a bit high makes Ye Chen a little painful. Of course, Ye Chen was just joking with Guo Jie, and this was harmless. Guo Jie's face suddenly stiffened when he heard this, and then he said, The Lord still wants to discount Jia's legs. This is not what a good Lord should do. No, I can't even think about it. Hurry up. Ye Chen glared at Guo Jie, and said dumbfounded. Guo Jie smiled a few times, then straightened his expression, and then asked, Since the blue eyed tiger king has been killed by the Lord, is the tiger skin still there? The blue-eyed tiger king has been buried by me in the valley of reincarnation, because its descendants have become my spirit beasts. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, and then said. When Guo Jia heard this, his eyes suddenly brightened, and then he said, This matter is done. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, then his eyes lit up, and he asked. Feng Xiao is saying that he used the blue-eyed tiger king and a large amount of money to deceive Wuhuan spies and then the Wuhuan cavalry who was attracted to commit the crime. Exactly. Guo Jia nodded vigorously, and then continued. Master, in this way, you can avoid the fish slipping through the net when you behead the Wuhuan spy. When Guo Jia said this, he hurriedly explained, Jia didn't mean that the Lord's plan was not feasible. Ye Chen shook his head helplessly when he heard this, and then said. I'm not a self-contained person. I really missed what I thought before. The forest of reincarnation is too big, and it is really impossible to judge how many Wuhuan spies come in. If it fails to kill all of them and the fish that slips through the net appear, Wuhuan will definitely know the valley of reincarnation and the town of reincarnation. At that time, the forest of reincarnation will inevitably be burned, and the town of reincarnation is also in danger. When Guo Jia heard this, he couldn't help but heaved a sigh of relief, and then said, It's a great blessing to be able to follow the Lord. Ye Chen twitched the corner of his mouth involuntarily, and then said, Don't be flattering, and quickly talk about how to do it. Guo Jia nodded with a smile, and then said, In this case, the corpse of the blue-eyed tiger king needs to be excavated, placed in Taniguchi, and pretended to be asleep. Since the Lord's spirit beast is a descendant of the Blue-Eyed Tiger King, if it hides next to the Blue-Eyed Tiger King and makes a few tiger roars, the Wuhuan spy will definitely not dare to come forward to investigate. In this way, the death of the Blue-Eyed Tiger King would not be discovered. However, the Lord still needs to take out a large amount of gold and silver jewels, place them on the ground, preferably spread them all over, and get some corpses of the Wuhuan cavalry to make them more tragic so that it can be done. Okay. Let Feng Xiao take care of this. Ye Chen's eyes suddenly lit up when he heard this, and then he said. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. When Guo Jia heard this, he straightened up in an instant, then bowed respectfully and responded, Humble job, obey. Ye Chen nodded, and then asked, Feng Xiao, according to your expectation, how long will it take to send spies to come? Guo Jia stroked his beardless chin, thought for a moment, and then said, Master, this place is in the west of Yuzhu, Liaoning. The north is the active area of the Wuhuan clan, but the roads are rough and it will take at least one day for the Wuhuan spies to come over. It is estimated that in two more days, Ye Dun will send spies on the road, and wait for the spies to come to reincarnate the forest to explore the news before returning, and it will be another two days. In this calculation, it will take at least five days to wait for the cavalry to arrive. Five days, time is enough, you should prepare first, I will go to Luoyang first, and when I come back, I will proceed to deal with the Wuhuan cavalry. Ye Chen narrowed his eyes before speaking. Guo Jia nodded, then bowed, and said. The Lord needs to be careful when going to Luoyang, and work every step of the way. Although the strategy is good, but in many cases, 
it is often unsatisfactory. Although the blood energy surrounding the Lord has gone to seven or eight in the art of praising the Chi, it still surrounds the Lord a little. Chia couldn't judge where the danger came from. However, Chia can conclude that wherever the Lord goes, blood will flow into a river. Although the Lord is brave, he must not arbitrarily kill. This will affect the Lord's luck and bring immeasurable disasters to the Lord. At least with the foundation of the current Lord, it is still unable to contend with it, or even annihilated it. Ye Chen was stunned when he heard this, but he didn't expect Guo Jia to say this. But immediately, Ye Chen frowned. Wherever I go, blood flows into a river. Ye Chen repeated in a low voice. After a while, the monstrous murderous aura surged crazily. At this moment, Ye Chen determined where the danger Guo Jia said came from. Players. The danger Guo Jia said comes from the players. Guo Jia couldn't make accurate judgments only if he was the same player as Ye Chen. It is precisely because of them that Guo Jia said that wherever Ye Chen went, blood was flowing. Because players are unscrupulous in this world. Because this is the novice zone. Because death here is the only punishment for dropping the grade. The so-called punishment of death is irrelevant, no one is afraid. What Guo Jia said has clearly told Ye Chen that the players will play Ye Chen's idea, and it is a lot of players. Although Guo Jia couldn't figure it out, Ye Chen Neng. Similar worlds in previous lives often happen. When someone gets a good thing, someone immediately chases and intercepts and snatches it. Some people have gained the follow of historical figures, and there will also be a large number of forces appearing, threatening, and temptation, to historical figures over. Although historical figures cannot be robbed to succeed in robbing, but this cannot stop the footsteps of those forces at all. In this life, Ye Chen made the first world announcement when the game started, and the whole world remembered Ye Chen. Soon after, Ye Chen was the first to build a village the first advanced king-level general, the first to kill General Wu Huan, the first to upgrade to the town of reincarnation, the first to accept the super first-class historical general Dian Wei, the first a superb historical minister Guo Jie. Every one of them had a world announcement, and Ye Chen's name was well known in the world. In the early days of the game, many people didn't even know how to play the game, but Ye Chen created one after another near mythical legends. No one doesn't think that Ye Chen has mastered the secret of the game, no one is jealous of Ye Chen, and no one is jealous of Ye Chen. Especially in this abnormal world, playing a game can make the real body stronger. No one wants to find Ye Chen and ask for the secret. However, these are still a few, and most of them want to catch Ye Chen and control Ye Chen. And this is what Ye Chen has always disliked, but has already seen through the greed and greed that belongs to mankind, the desire and hope that belong to the deep heart of mankind. It seems that a lot of people have started to think of me, although I don't know who it is. However, this is not important. The important thing is, no matter who it is, no matter what his status, dare to come to me. Kill. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's murderous aura erupted from his body, and his boom boiled and then went straight into the sky. Wild, wild, domineering, mixed with the momentum of contempt of the world, followed by rising. Lord. Guo Jia noticed Ye Chen's violent murderous aura, and also noticed Ye Chen's determination. He couldn't help but be startled, and then shouted. Ye Chen retracted his thoughts, then looked at Guo Jia, and laughed wildly, if you cower just because of the possible danger then I don't deserve to be your lord. Having said this, Ye Chen's eyes condensed, and then he shouted, I'm going to see, how can those monsters stand me? Boom! The aura on Ye Chen's body burst instantly with Ye Chen's drink. An aura that made people dare not look directly at Ye Chen silently appeared on Ye Chen's body, and then it became stronger and stronger. That breath, domineering, wild and wild, but mixed with the air of kings. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Guo Jia was looking at Ye Chen. 
Originally, he wanted to persuade Ye Chen for a while, but he was taken aback for a while, and then stayed for a while. This, what's going on, why, why? Hey! Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and the breath on his body disappeared immediately. Feng Xiao, what's the matter? Ye Chen asked with some doubts when he saw Guo Jia's expression on his face. Guo Jia heard Ye Chen's question, then came back to his senses, and then said in surprise. The Lord is really extraordinary. At this moment, Jia can't see through the fortune of the Lord. Ye Chen couldn't help but smile when he heard this, it doesn't matter if you see through or not. The point is that you discovered the danger I might encounter in advance. My Lord, Jia is ashamed and can't help my Lord. Guo Jia sighed, then bowed, and said. Feng Xiao has done a good job. If there is no Feng Xiao, I'm afraid I'm still in the dark. Maybe I can only react when I meet it, but it was too late at that time, but now. Ye Chen said here. Squinting his eyes, a cold light flashed away. It was not Guo Jia's reminder that Ye Chen might actually ignore the dangers that might arise from the players during Luo Yang's trip. But now, Ye Chen was on guard. The Lord needs to be more careful. Guo Jia sighed, then bowed, and said. Ye Chen nodded, then smiled, and said, Go, go around, choose a place you like, so that the craftsmen can build a house for you. Lord, the place, Jia has been selected. Guo Jia heard this, his eyes lit up, and then he said. Hey? Where did you choose? Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, and then asked. Lord, Jia's house is built opposite the tavern, how about it? Guo Jia asked excitedly. When Ye Chen heard this, he gave Guo Jia a dumbfounded look, and then said. Bong Xia really knows how to choose a place. This is a busy city in the future. Is Feng Xiao sure to choose here? You like it, I can understand, but what about your wife? She might not like it here, right? It's okay. She dared to talk more, Jia Xiu gave her, let alone Jia has not married yet, let alone worry. Guo Jia said indifferently. After hearing Guo Jia's explanation, Ye Chen couldn't help but stunned, then laughed, and said, Feng Xiao said, I'm afraid the last half of the sentence is from the bottom of the heart. Ahem, what Jia said is true. Guo Jia laughed a few times when he heard this, and then said. Ye Chen glared at Guo Jia and then said. Here will be a busy city in the future. There are too many pedestrians coming and going and it is not suitable for living. Choose a separate place. As for your desire to drink, as I said before, you can drink three pots a day when Beiwa is halfway through its development. But... Bong Xiao, I'm in front of you, if you dare to drink more, I will really discount your legs. In fact, Ye Chen knew what Guo Jia was thinking when Guo Jia chose to build a house opposite the tavern. After drinking Bei Wanang every day, you can buy something if you can, and drink as much as you can. No way, who made Guo Jia a drunkard? When Guo Jia heard this, his face suddenly stiffened, and he looked at Ye Chen with a grimace. Bong Xiao, I am for your own good, your body, I think you should be more aware of yourself. Before I completely treat you, you are not allowed to drink more. Ye Chen sighed, then looked at Guo Jia, Sirius said incomparably. When Guo Jia heard this, he was taken aback, then returned to his normal expression and bowed deeply to Ye Chen. Lord, Chia's disease is heavenly jealousy. It is not a medicine or stone that can be cured, A and D. Ye Chen frowned, directly raised his hand to interrupt Guo Jia's words and shouted in a deep voice, if I say it can be cured, it can be cured. No one can take the life of my subordinates from me, even if it's heaven. No way. After Ye Chen finished speaking, with a move with his right hand, the Yang Pill returned instantly appeared. This is. Guo Jia was taken aback for a moment, then his eyes shrank sharply, and said in shock. Return the Yang Pill, this is the last resort. If you really can't find a way to treat you, I won't watch you die. Even if you die, I can bring you back. 
Ye Chen was very serious. Said. Kunan follows the Lord, there will be no regrets in this life. Guo Jia was shaking and moving involuntarily at this time, and then said loudly. Ye Chen smiled slightly, but at this moment, Guo Jia said. Master, Huan Yang Pil, the function is brought back to life, but even if Jia is resurrected by taking Huan Yang Pil after he dies, Tian Zhao will still follow Jie, so don't waste this medicine on Jie. What are you talking about? After you are resurrected, Tian Zhao will still follow you. Ye Chen's expression suddenly changed when he heard this, and then he asked in a deep voice. It's true. Tian Ji is not human, and even if Jie has the posture of Tian Zong, he can't think of any way to crack it. Guo Jie sighed and said lonely. Impossible. 50 Avenues, Tian Yan 49, Escape 1, Nothing Can Be Unsolvable. Ye Chen frowned, and then said in a deep voice. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Lord, Jia also knows this truth, but manpower can never go against the sky. Guo Jia was silent for a moment before speaking. Ye Chen frowned involuntarily when he heard Guo Jia's lifeless words. Guo Jia is Ye Chen's subordinate and a superb historical minister. More importantly, Guo Jia is deadly loyal to Ye Chen. Ye Chen naturally didn't want Guo Jia to really die. At this moment, Ye Chen suddenly thought of something, and his eyes suddenly lit up, then looked at Guo Jia and asked. Bong Xiao, if you ascend with me, Tian jealousy should disappear. Right. The Lord is talking about ascending to the upper realm? Leaving this world? Guo Jia was slightly taken aback, and then asked. Exactly. Ye Chen felt even more emboldened when he heard this. Ascension to the upper realm, leaving this world, Tian Ji naturally cannot affect Yu Jie, but the Lord, the road to ascension has long been cut off, not to mention, the Lord can ascend and he can't take Jia to ascend together. Guo Jia sighed. Then he spoke. Damn it. Sure enough, this time it's all right. Ye Chen's eyes flashed brightly, and then he leaned back and laughed wildly, ha ha ha. Lord. Guo Jia was taken aback for a moment, and then asked. Ye Chen took a deep breath, and after spitting it out for a long time, he looked at Guo Jia and said cheerfully. Feng Xiao, the road to ascendant is not cut off. It is also possible to take you to ascend. I will not only take you to ascend, but also all my subordinates and people to ascend together. When Guo Jia heard this, he couldn't help but stunned, and then said. Impossible. Lord, even if the road to ascension, Lord Lord knows how to continue, but, but he can't bring so many people to ascend together. Does Feng Xiao believe me? Ye Chen raised his eyebrows and asked. Lord, Jie. Guo Jie said this, suddenly remembering something, and the whole person was stunned, and then said in shock. God. God level. God level village building order. The only God level village building order in the world is in the hands of the Lord. Obviously, Guo Jie knows the God level village building order and also knows the characteristics of the God-level village building order. Gather luck and soar the country. Ye Chen nodded with a smile, and then said, Feng Xiao is right, Samsara town was built by the God-level village order. When Guo Jia heard this, Gudong swallowed, and then shouted with bright eyes. Congratulations to the Lord. Congratulations to the Lord. The Lord has obtained this fetish, and the great cause can be achieved. The Lord should be the master. Ha ha ha. Feng Xiao, you can't be lazy, share your worries for me a lot. Ye Chen laughed, and then said. Master, how dare Jia be lazy? Guo Jia said hurriedly. Drink less. Ye Chen glared at Guo Jia before speaking. Ahem, this. Jie, try to. Guo Jia said with a stiff face, and then said with a smile. Ye Chen shook his head helplessly, and then said. Let's go, go to Zhao Hung, 
the deputy mayor, and he will arrange for you to build a residence by hand. Lord, for a few small things, Jia can go by himself, and the Lord can handle other things. Guo Jia said with a smile. Okay, by the way, when you see Zhao Hung, remember to tell him to find some maids for me and arrange for some more cooks. Ye Chen nodded, and then said. I wonder if the Lord has any requirements for the maid's appearance. Guo Jia was taken aback for a moment, and then asked. Can't be ugly. Ye Chen said without hesitation. Master, this matter is on Jiri. Guo Jia heard this, his eyes lit up, and then he said. As soon as Ye Chen nodded, he realized that something was wrong. Guo Jia's eyes are not right. This is thinking, where am I looking for a concubine? Thinking of this, Ye Chen's face stiffened, and he hurriedly said, Don't mess around, ordinary women, your patriarch looks down on you. When Guo Jia heard this, he was taken aback. Your patriarch wants beautiful women, so he will only do it himself to chase and snatch, ahem. In short, the maid is only used for chores, so don't think about it. Ye Chen glared at Guo Jia before speaking. But, the Lord Jiaguan, the peach blossom luck is strong, and the Lord is talking about the maid at this moment, isn't it to choose a beautiful concubine? Guo Jia heard this, once again, couldn't help but ask in confusion. Of course not. Ye Chen sighed, and then spoke. He was taken aback after speaking. And many more. Peach blossoms are strong. Zhao Yu? Or Wo Yang? Thinking of this, Ye Chen's eyes suddenly brightened. Calculating the time, Diao Chan should appear in Luo Yang at this time. Damn it! Can't wait, leave for Luo Yang tomorrow. If Wang Yun's old husband took Diao Chan as a righteous daughter, it would be difficult to get Diao Chan again. Guo Jia was planning to speak, but found that Ye Chen was stunned and stayed aside and waited quietly. At this moment, Ye Chen returned to his senses, exhaled a long breath, then looked at Guo Jie, and said with great joy. Bong Xiao, thank you for reminding me, otherwise I will forget an extremely important thing. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Naturally, Guo Jie couldn't understand what Ye Chen was talking about. Even if Guo Jia was as wise as a demon and as a ghost, he could not probe Ye Chen's inner thoughts. Looking at Guo Jia with a bewildered look, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, and then said. You don't need to think too much about Feng Xiao, it's my personal matter. As for the maid, I just need to find some women who are ingenious and pleasing to the eye. When Guo Jia heard this, he nodded immediately, and then bowed in response, Yes. Lord. Jiri, now go to the deputy mayor. Well, let's go. Ye Chen smiled slightly and said. Guo Jia bowed to bid farewell again, and then left here to find Zhao Hung. Ye Chen exhaled a long breath, then turned to head towards the mayor's house. The huge mayor's mansion was empty at the moment, and with the setting sun, it was a bit deserted. However, there is no other way. The town of Samsara has just been upgraded. It hasn't been long before, and no furniture has been prepared. When he arrived at the back house, as soon as Ye Chen walked into the living room, he saw Zhao Yu sitting in a chair, resting his cheeks in a daze. At this moment, Zhao Yu also saw Ye Chen, her eyes lit up instantly, and then she stood up excitedly. But she opened her mouth and suddenly didn't know what to say. After holding back for a while, his face suddenly turned red, and then he asked fiercely. Have you eaten? It wasn't until Zhao Yu and Ye Chen were strangers or angry that they didn't know what to say. On the contrary, in addition to the excitement that Ye Chen came back, Zhao Yu was also deeply nervous. Can you not be nervous? Ye Chen said before that Zhao Yu will be Ye Chen's first woman, and she will have to live here in the future. If Zhao Yu is not shy and nervous, it would be weird. Seeing the excitement mixed with nervousness and a little bit of shame Zhao Yu, Ye Chen couldn't help but smile, then walked forward, 
held Zhao Yu in his arms, and said softly. Not yet, but what I want for dinner is. When Ye Chen said this, he bowed his head and kissed Zhao Yu lightly, and then said, You. Zhao Yu's whole body was instantly crisp, and then weakly leaned on Ye Chen. Ye Chen couldn't help but smiled, then picked Zhao Yu up and walked towards the bedroom. The next day, at dawn, Ye Chen glanced at Zhao Yu, who was blushing in his arms, couldn't help but smiled, and then whispered. Today, don't go to the hospital, just rest at home. At this moment, Zhao Yu's small face turned redder, and he quickly pulled the quilt over and covered his face, and then softly replied, Yet. Yeah. The corner of Ye Chen's mouth curled up, and then got up. At this moment, Zhao Yu hurriedly lifted the quilt away, and said, I'll dress my husband. Ye Chen was taken aback for a moment, then smiled, raised his hand and scratched Zhao Yu's little nose, and said. I don't pay much attention to it. Even if you serve me dressing, it is not today. Your task today is to take a good rest. This. Zhao Yu said hesitantly. There is nothing here or that, this is an order. Ye Chen glared at Zhao Yu, and then said domineeringly. Hmm. Zhao Yu was blank, and then responded sweetly. The maid should be here today. If you have any chores in the future, tell them to do it. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then said. Husband is leaving reincarnation town. Zhao Yugong nodded, suddenly remembering something, and hurriedly looked at Ye Chen and asked. When it was not that Zhao Yu wanted to interfere with Ye Chen, she would not interfere, nor could she interfere. This is not what she should do, and she will not do it. However, Zhao Yu had just become a wife, and immediately guarded the vacant room alone, and was unavoidably disappointed in her heart. Well, for some things, you have to leave for a few days and come back in a few days. Ye Chen glanced at Zhao Yu apologetically, and then said. Husband, my concubine is waiting for you to come back. After seeing Ye Chen's gaze, Zhao Yu couldn't help but warm up, then leaned in Ye Chen's arms and said softly. Get more rest, I will come back as soon as possible. Ye Chen gave Zhao Yu a kiss, then put the robe on her body, and after putting it on, he left the bedroom. Ye Chen still has a lot to do, so naturally he won't indulge in the gentle homeland. Of course, the exception is during breaks. When he came to the front yard, Ye Chen just opened the door, and then he was taken aback. I saw Dianwei, Guo Jie, and a thousand soldiers of the Reincarnation Legion who were heavily armed, standing outside the door. Hey! The uniform sound of kneeling on one knee sounded instantly. See the Lord! Dianwei and the soldiers of the Samsara Legion shouted in unison. Ye Chen smiled suddenly then looked at Guo Jia who was bowing and saluting, and asked, Are you all ready? Master Qi, you are ready, and the master can set off at any time. Guo Jia said with a smile on his face. Ye Chen nodded, then looked at Dian Wei and the soldiers of the 1000 Reincarnation Legion, and shouted, Leave. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The next second, the cavalry in the front row shouted in unison, Those who stand in the way, kill. Pass the Lord's order. Those who stand in the way, kill. 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 The thousand reincarnation legion shouted in unison, and the sound instantly reached the ears of the players in the distance. Fuck. I heard that right? Are these cavalry to kill us? Nima, so domineering, is there any mistake? They are the army of the Han Empire. They are officers and soldiers. Paralysis, don't they treat us as bandits? Impossible, we all said, there are bandits over there, why would they think so? Surely they didn't treat us as bandits. Didn't you listen to them, get in the way, kill. Mal Gobi, I still don't believe it today. I was angry with the bandits, and when I run here and meet the officers and soldiers, I am angry. If he dares to kill Laozi, 
I will go and sue him. That's right. It's a big deal to return this NPC to him. If it wasn't for Lao Tzu's low level, he would have to kill a few. Damn it, I don't believe it anymore, the NPC dare to kill the player indiscriminately. Yes, right, let's just stand here and see if they dare to kill. Rumble. The thunderous sound of horseshoes became louder and louder. Ye Chen, who was galloping, frowned involuntarily looking at the player who was still blocking his reluctance to leave, and then his eyes became cold. With a move with his right hand, the gunkiller appeared in his hand instantly, his feet clamped the horse's belly, and the horse made a nasal noise, accelerated instantly, and rushed forward. Upon seeing this, Diane Wei instantly pulled out two iron halberds from behind, and shouted angrily, Kill! Hey! The reincarnation legion lifted up some steel and spears obliquely, and the breath of killing suddenly emerged. Kill! 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 The shouts in unison sounded instantly, and the Samsara legion immediately began to charge. Boom rumble! The horse began to gallop and the dust on the ground that was originally billowing in smoke flew up in an instant. Fuck. They are starting to charge. They are really going to kill us. A player's eyes were stunned, and then he shouted in surprise. I'm afraid of being a chicken feather, I don't believe that they dare to kill us, don't forget, they are just NPCs. Besides, we are not criminals, so there is nothing to be afraid of. Yeah. I'm afraid of a ball. If you are killed by an NPC, go to the county magistrate for compensation. I heard that someone was jealous of the county magistrate's son in the brothel, and was killed by the county magistrate's son, and the county magistrate compensated him with a village building order. Fuck, is this true? I thought it was false. It's true, that idiot was posted because of this, and sold a full five million. Then you're still afraid of Mao, just stand here. If they really dare to kill, that's even better, and look for the county magistrate to make compensation later. Yes, just stand here, right, this time I'm going to make a fortune. After the players heard the exact news, all their eyes were red, and the people who were hesitant before stood firmly in place. And this is exactly what Ye Chen saw num player behavior in his previous life. For the benefit, they dare to do anything, because in the novice zone, the punishment for death is just a drop in rank. Ye Chen couldn't help but sneered as he looked at the more and more players in front of him with glare. Ye Chen naturally knew what the players thought. The so-called compensation is not something everyone can get. Any of the fast-moving cavalry regiments had military orders on their bodies, and they would never stop because someone was in the way. Players who dare to stand in the way, 100% will be killed, and they will be imprisoned after being resurrected. What's more, Ye Chen is not yet an NPC, and the wishful thinking of these players is destined to fail. Boom rumble. The horses are galloping, and the reincarnation legion is charging, accelerating, accelerating, and moving forward. As soon as the time for a cup of tea was over, before Ye Chen came to the group of players, he pierced the sharp gun with his right hand without hesitation. Puff came. A player who was blocking Ye Chen's horse was stabbed in an instant, and then was thrown into the air by Ye Chen and smashed into the players in the distance. Boom. A player was slammed into flight by a swift horse. Boom. Another person was hit by a war horse. And Ye Chen's killing spear also opened the assassination mode at this moment. One shot after another, it stabbed one player after another in a simple and rude manner. Diane Wei next to Ye Chen, the two iron halberds hoop into the wind, and one player after another is smashed into the air. Behind him, the Samsara Legion followed Ye Chen, but any player who appeared in front of the Samsara Legion shot steel and spear mercilessly, without stopping. Players who wanted to get benefits and blocked Ye Chen's road were stabbed to death knocked into flight, and then trampled to death by war horses. Boom rumble. The horse was still galloping, and the charging posture remained unchanged. However, within a few breaths, the Samsara Legion had cut thousands of players abruptly into two parts, 
leaving a corpse on the ground. Boom rumble. The horse galloped again. Just when the remaining players thought that the Samsara Legion would return and continue to rush, the Samsara Legion did not return again, but rushed towards Yangle County. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. This is a wilderness. There was no road, but a road paved with blood and corpses appeared. On both sides of the road are players who were shocked by the charge of the Samsara Legion. They had never seen the cavalry charge, and this time, not only did they see it, they also made a hard top. But only this time, they discovered that the cavalry charge was really terrifying. Looking at the mutilated corpse on the ground, the players swallowed in a dumbfounded manner. After a brief shock, the players on both sides of the road came back to their senses, and then their expressions changed one by one, cursing in the direction where the Samsara Legion had left. Fuck. Come back, Nima, don't leave. Quickly come back. Oh. I'm a thief. Grass. Come back and kill Laozi. Are you paralyzed, aren't you officers and soldiers? Come back, my day. It's him, Lao Tzu's compensation, just flew like this. Yes, it would be nice if I had a war horse too. Don't make comparisons, war horses may not be bought if they are rich, they are strategic materials. Just when these ghost born players were downcast, the dead players rushed out from the resurrection point in excitement one by one. That's right, it feels really uncomfortable to be killed by a cavalry, but this time I must let the county magistrate compensate me. Ha ha ha, find the county magistrate, get compensation, and we will be rich. This is necessary. Who makes those NPCs so stupid, they dare to kill us, this is a free benefit to us. That is, those cavalrymen are elite cavalrymen. They must have a lot of backing. They were killed. The county magistrate must compensate us. Hurry up, go to the county office, go to the county magistrate. These resurrected players rushed towards the county government one by one. At the gate of the county government office, as soon as the players arrived here, the two government officials on duty drew knives together, aimed at the players, and then shouted angrily. Bold. You dare to run into the county office. These players seem to have become accustomed to the mode of doing things by the county government officials, and they are not afraid at all, let alone panic. At this moment, one person walked out, bowed and said. Brother Lee, we are here to seek compensation from the magistrate. There are elite cavalrymen who know that we are good people and kill us. What? The servant called Li Ji was shocked when he heard this, and then shouted. When all the players saw this, they all showed excitement. From the surprised expression of the surnamed Li, it is not difficult to see that the things they have to make up for are almost the same. Brother Li, after the elite cavalry knew that we were the people of Yangle County, they deliberately killed us, Brother Li, you have to be the master for us. The player who spoke before turned his mouth up and explained. The two government officials glanced at each other, then turned and shouted at the county government, Come on, come on. There is work to be done. As soon as the words of the two government officials landed, the players were all stunned. They thought that the bureaucrats were bold enough to catch the cavalry regiment. If they did, they would have to make any compensation. As for whether the servants are looking for death, they are just lazy about it, they are just NPCs. Just when they were about to speak, a group of government officials rushed out, and as soon as one of them stopped, he asked excitedly. Where? Who do you catch? These are these people. They dare to block the way of the cavalry regiment. I'm afraid they are made by Fan Bang. They are all arrested. The magistrate must be rewarded. As soon as the words of Lee's surname fell to the ground, these resurrected players were dumbfounded. Nima, the script is wrong. Unfortunately, no matter how dumbfounded they were, it was useless. The officials rushed up and arrested them one by one. No matter what they shouted, 
it was useless. Yangal County, outside the city gate. The fast-moving reincarnation army began to slow down, and when it was 500 meters away from the city gate, it stopped. Ye Chen looked at the city gate that had just been closed, lifted his right hand, and swayed towards the city gate. At this time, a soldier of the Samsara Legion left the team directly, and then went straight to the gate of the city. Stop! Who are you waiting for? Why are you attacking Yangle County? A roar with a little trembling sound suddenly came from the city wall. At this moment, more than a dozen bows were exposed from the wall, and the arrows pointed at the soldiers of the Samsara Legion who came under the wall. The soldiers of the Samsara Legion glanced at the bows and arrows, not afraid at all, took a deep breath, and then shouted. First Class Viscount of the Han Empire, the mayor of Reincarnation Town, Lord Ye Chen, must borrow the way to Luoyang to offer treasures to Your Majesty. As soon as the words of the soldiers of the Samsara Legion landed, the bows and arrows that had been exposed on the city wall were quickly recovered one by one. At this moment, a man dressed as a centurion stood up from the wall and looked at the soldiers of the Samsara Legion under the wall. He originally wanted to speak, his eyes shrank sharply, and then he subconsciously looked at his cloth armor. After a while, the corners of his mouth twitched involuntarily. There is no harm if there is no comparison. He is a centurion, but the equipment is only a piece of cloth armor. Look at the soldiers of the Samsara Legion under the city wall. Not only riding a war horse, but also wearing a silver level bright light armor, holding a silver level steel and spear. The damage after this comparison was really too great. After a while, the centurion asked. Since you are Viscount Ye Chen, why do you bring so many soldiers and horses? Bastard! Master Ye Chen is a first class Viscount of the Empire, so why not bring a thousand soldiers? The soldiers of the Samsara Legion were furious, and then shouted. Yes, can I wait for General Gong Soon Zan to come back before borrowing? The centurion was silent for a moment, and then asked. Delay your majesty in getting the treasure, such a serious crime, you. Can you bear it? The soldier of the Samsara Legion narrowed his eyes, and then shouted in a deep voice. The centurion gritted his teeth, and after a while, he turned and shouted, Open the gate quickly, Viscount Ye Chen wants to borrow De Yang Le to offer treasures to your majesty. As soon as the centurion's words fell, the city gate creaked and slowly opened. Enter the city. Ye Chen waved his right hand before shouting. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. The Samsara Legion, one man, and three riders, slowly followed Ye Chen and headed towards the gate of the city. When Ye Chen brought the Samsara army into the county seat of Yangle County, many players had already noticed Ye Chen. However, when the city gate was closed, no one was allowed to approach the city wall, so no player heard what the centurion said on the city wall. Is this a new NPC? Isn't it here to replace Gong Soon Zan? Nima, don't, if Gong Soon Zan isn't here, how can I subdue him? You hurry up, it's broad daylight now, don't keep talking in sleep. Grass, don't you believe it? I can definitely take Gong Soon Zan into his hands. Believe you to have a ghost, right? You don't have a good history, don't you? Gong Soon Zan was a prince in history. Do you think he will recognize you as the master? Fuck. I know this guy said for Mao that he wants to subdue Gong Soon Zan. It's a silly thing. If you take Gong Soon Zan, use who won't be his. Grass. The tone is not small, Zhao Yun who wants to grab Lao Tzu, don't go out of the city, out of the city, Lao Tzu will kill you. Yes, kill this idiot, kill him to level zero. The sounds of discussion and cursing from the players reached Ye Chen's ears one after another. Ye Chen, who had been expressionless, frowned suddenly. Gong Soon Zan. Counting the time, Gong Soon Zan's rise has been just a few years. Time is still in a hurry, Yu's who can only belong to me. 
Thinking of this, Ye Chen narrowed his eyes and then returned to normal. Ye Chen didn't think about Zhao Yun, because he didn't have to think about it at all. Zhao Yun is Ye Chen's eldest brother-in-law, and this is a foregone conclusion. After Zhao Yun finished his studies, the first time he went down the mountain, he must find his sister, Zhao Yu, who had left Changshan Zhending. And this result is only one, Zhao Yun will definitely come to Reincarnation Town. When Zhao Yun arrived in Reincarnation Town, Ye Chen would not let Zhao Yun leave. What's more, Ye Chen also knew about Zhao Yun's strategy. And what Ye Chen did soon after was not only beneficial to the town of Reincarnation, but also greatly helped to conquer Zhao Yun. Therefore, Ye Chen doesn't have to worry about Zhao Yun's belonging. The center of Yangle County When Ye Chen came here with the Samsara Legion, a huge formation appeared in Ye Chen's line of sight. This is the teleportation array, through it, you can go to any city with a teleportation array. It's just that if you teleport to Luoyang, you can't directly enter Luoyang, you can only teleport to the outskirts of Luoyang. Because Luoyang is an imperial city, people can be sent to it at will. The Emperor of Han will not be able to sleep well every day. The cost of each transmission of the teleportation array ranges from 1 gold to 100 gold. If it is a war horse, the price triples. Ye Chen looked at the teleportation array in front of him, waved his right hand, and then shouted, Teleport, Luoyang. Here. The Samsara Legion responded in unison, and then mounted the teleportation array one by one. The light of the teleportation array lit up one after another. The Reincarnation Legion began to teleport. The players in the county seat of Yangle County stood in the distance one by one, staring dumbfounded. Nima, NPC is NPC, how much does it cost to transfer? I just heard what the young general said, it seems to be Luoyang. Fuck. The transfer fee is directly 100 gold, 3 horses per person, 1000 gold. This is so special that there are a thousand people, right? There must be a thousand people, that is to say, just this one transmission is one million gold. Eat carrots and worry about it, don't you know they are NPCs? They don't have to pay for it at all. Damn. Forget about this. Oh, it would be great if I had so much money. When I go offline, I can order a feast from that sort of brainstorm and have a nice meal. If I have so much money, go and dry that little girl for three days and three nights, he doesn't have any money. While the players were discussing one by one, the Reincarnation Legion had finished teleporting, and Ye Chen brought Dianwei to the teleportation formation at this time. The light flashed, then disappeared. Fifty miles south of Luoyang, the teleportation array. After Ye Chen came out of the teleportation formation, he couldn't help but was taken aback, and then his brow wrinkled. I saw the Samsara Legion, facing a 500 cavalry. There were only 500 people on the other side, and their equipment and horses were no better than the Samsara Legion, but each one held their heads upright and chested, without fear at all. At this time, a centurion of the Samsara Legion hurriedly came to Ye Chen's side, bowed and said, Lord! These people claim to be General He Jin's generals, and are coming to receive the war horse. A and D. Ye Chen narrowed his eyes when he heard this, and then asked in a deep voice, What else? We also need our armor and weapons, and said that if we don't give it, we won't be able to return to Yuz Hu, and the Lord will be sent to prison. The centurion gritted his teeth, and then said. At this moment, a loud shout came over. Have you thought about it? Hey? That kid, what Ye Chen are you? Hurry up and call you these trash generals to hand over the armor and weapons. This general is fortunate to say something good or bad for you in front of the general, and plan for you. A full-time official. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. When Ye Chen heard this, his eyes suddenly narrowed, and his attention flashed past. Dianwei beside Ye Chen was full of anger, 
and his murderous aura continued to rise. However, Diane Wei did not move, nor did he speak. If there are players who are familiar with history and see Diane Wei's state at the moment, they can immediately react, and things are not right. The Lord humiliated his ministers to death, this sentence is not casual. Diane Wei had always been loyal to righteousness and he was deadly loyal to Ye Chen, but at this moment Diane Wei did not speak, not only did not speak, but did not even move. Obviously, what order did Diane Wei get, not to act without authorization? It's a pity, except for Ye Chen who is a player, everyone else here is a native of this world. No one of He Jin's generals knew Diane Wei, let alone Diane Wei's toughness. Otherwise, they will definitely be suspicious. The soldiers of the Reincarnation Legion, all of their faces were pale, and the murderous aura on their bodies continued to appear. But they didn't move because they were worried that if they acted, they would bring disaster to Ye Chen. They were suppressing and angry. Yelling, did you see that this group of buns want to kill us? Disdainful words came from He Jin's family. Ha ha ha, a bunch of rubbish, don't see where it is. Who will see us, so you have to greet you obediently, and you dare to do it with them. Tisk tusk, what's the matter with Zi Ye Chen, oh yes, it's still a first class Viscount, such a high title. Ha ha ha. Crazy ridicule, one after another came from He Jin's home. Ye Chen looked at the centurion next to him and asked, Are you afraid of bringing disasters to me? Afraid that I will be framed by He Jin and then go to jail? Yes, Lord. Said the centurion with a depressed expression, clenching his fist. Then you know, what is the crime of Piff insulting the nobles? Ye Chen nodded, and then asked. It ranges from a rod torture, to a thousand miles in exile, or even to be executed. The centurion was taken aback for a moment, and then said. Then do you know, where are you soldiers? Whose soldiers are you? What are you? Ye Chen looked at the soldiers of the Samsara Legion and shouted. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the centurion stood up straight and responded loudly. We are the soldiers of Samsara Town. We are the soldiers of the Lord. We are the Samsara Legion. Hey! The soldiers of the Samsara Legion stood up straight and squeezed the steel and guns in their hands, shouting in unison. We are the soldiers of Samsara Town. We are the soldiers of the Lord. We are the Samsara Legion. Very good. Remember your identities, remember your glory. You are waiting to kill countless thieves, how can you tolerate small insults? Ye Chen nodded, and then shouted. Kill. 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 The Reincarnation Legion raised their hands to light steel and spears, and shouted with anger. In the distance, he Jin's generals were startled one by one. They had felt murderous before, but they were not afraid. Because they are the generals of General He Jin, as long as they are generals, no one will not agree with General He Jin. Moreover, they did not believe that the Samsara Legion dared to attack them at the feet of the Emperor. Therefore, they are confident. But at this moment, the murderous intent of the Samsara Legion broke out again, too strong so thick that they felt a suffocation. At this moment, Ye Chen opened his eyes and made a move with his right hand. The gunslinger appeared instantly, and then he shouted. We are offering treasures to your majesty, but there are crumbs claiming to be General He Jin's family general. If we want to the treasures, this is no different from rebellion. Today, we must eliminate the rebellion for your majesty, and quell your majesty's demons. When Ye Chen said this, the great killer pointed at He Jin's family generals, and then shouted, Kill the thief! Kill! 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 The Samsara Legion shouted in unison, mounted their horses together, raised, lighted steel, and spears, and aimed them at He Jin's generals. Diane Wei pulled out the iron halberd with his right hand, and his feet fiercely clamped the horse's belly. Hey LV LV! the war horse hissed. For your majesty, kill the thief. Diane Wei shouted, waving the iron halberd in his hand, and rushed to the generals of He Jin first. 
kill, kill, kill. The soldiers of the Samsara Legion shouted in unison, and then desperately mobilized the horses, and followed Diane Wei to start a desperate charge. They were suppressed and endured before, and each of them was very uncomfortable. At this moment, they broke out and instantly became violent. They want to kill these lord who dared to insult them, insult the dregs of their reincarnation legion. Use these dregs of blood to wash away the shame for their lord and the reincarnation legion. The strong and then violent murderous aura broke out in an instant. Before Heijin's family generals recovered from the strong murderous aura of the Samsara Legion, the Samsara Legion began to charge. You, you, we are the generals of General Heijin. You dare to kill us. A horrified scream suddenly sounded. Stop. Stop. This is a misunderstanding. We are not anti-thief. One person explained in horror. If you don't stop, the general will punish you and cut you all down. Stop. We don't need the horses, and your armor and weapons. We, we are here to greet you, just to make a joke with you, stop. The generals of Heijin are really panicked at this moment. They didn't expect that Ye Chen really dared to order them to be killed, and the Samsara Legion really dared to attack them. The cold, ruthless, and fierce and violent murderousness of the Samsara Legion did not cheat at all. At this moment, the generals of Heijin felt the threat of death. They all want to stop the Samsara Legion, they don't want to die, they still want to live, and they want to continue to live in all directions. However, no matter what the generals of Heijin said, Diane Wei did not stop, and the reincarnation army behind him also did not stop. Run. These are really going to kill us. One screamed. Run, go back and report to the general that the rebellious Ye Chen has rebelled. One person shouted in horror. Until then, there were still people thinking of threatening Ye Chen, threatening the Samsara Legion. He wanted to make Ye Chen withdraw his order, and wanted the Samsara Legion to stop the charge. The reason is simple, this man is very smart, he is also a cavalry, and he knows the horror after the cavalry charge. He didn't expect that the Reincarnation Legion would take such a short time from standing still to launching a charge. Now I can only hope that Ye Chen will be scrupulous, the Samsara Legion will be scrupulous, and then stop the charge. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. As long as the Samsara Legion stops the charge, he can run away and return to Luoyang. At that time, you can find Ye Chen's trouble, and calculate the new and old accounts together. He Jin would not let Ye Chen go, he was very sure about this. There used to be some generals who exploded their hair, but He Jin finally took care of them, and finally died, demoted officials. As long as he is given a chance and a chance to live, he firmly believes that Ye Chen will be severely punished. Boom rumble. Horseshoes stomped on the ground and charged quickly, without any intention of stopping. The generals of He Jin hurriedly turned their horses around and waved their whip frantically, wanting to leave here immediately and avoid the Samsara Legion. However, at this time, the Samsara Legion has arrived. Diane Wei took the lead and the iron halberd in his hand ruthlessly slammed into He Jin's family general, smashing a person's head with one halberd. The blood and brain plasma flew out instantly, splashing everywhere. The war horse continued to rush forward, one after another He Jin's generals, the moment Diane Wei passed the horse, waved the iron halberd, and fell to pieces. Kill. 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 The Samsara Legion officially contacted He Jin's generals, shot steel and spears mercilessly, and then stopped and continued forward. But while breathing, more than 200 people were mercilessly beheaded by the Samsara Legion on the spot. Boom rumble. The horses were still running, their iron hoofs stomping on the ground, and the sound shook the sky. Cut He Jin's family generals into a reincarnation legion. Under the leadership of Dian Wei, they turned the horse's head unabated and changed direction, and then rushed to He Jin's family generals again. No. Don't kill me. 
I didn't mean it. Master Ye Chen, small eyes and no beads, please spare me. One person suddenly looked at Ye Chen and shouted in horror. Master Viscount, the villain doesn't know Taishan, please forgive the villain, the villain swears to the heavens that he will never tell what happened today. My lord, the villain is willing to surrender and follow the adult, please forgive the villain. The generals of Hejin collapsed in an instant. Where did they think that this group of cavalry equipped with silver level equipment is so fierce that it takes less than three seconds to initiate a charge? They never thought that the soldiers of the Samsara Legion would kill people without any mercy. They charged half of them with just one charge. Seeing that the second charge is about to come, they can't run and can't run away, and they can't beat and beat, how could they not be afraid? Ye Shen Li didn't care about He Jin's generals. In Ye Chen's eyes, they were all dead. Seeing these collapsed generals of He Jin, Ye Chen couldn't help but curl up his mouth. Sure enough, Bong Xiao was right. As long as someone was sent to spread the news of offering treasures in Luoyang first, He Jin's attention would inevitably be drawn. Then through the market, he spread the news that there were war horses in the donated things, and He Jin would inevitably start snatching. After all, they were 2,000 Wuhuan war horses, and they weren't on the list of offering treasures, so they couldn't help but not be moved. This time, I was guilty of dealing with He Jin. One third of the plan is completed, and the following is not too difficult. Boom rumble. The Samsara Legion rushed to He Jin's generals again, and this time, they directly beheaded He Jin's generals, leaving none of them. Seeing this, Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, then looked at Dian Wei and said, Clean the battlefield, leave the corpse, and take the rest of the useful ones away, then travel ten miles west and set up camp. Yes. Lord. Dian Wei bowed. Ye Chen nodded and was about to leave, when suddenly remembering something, he immediately said to Dian Wei. Remember, no matter who it is, dare to approach or attack you and kill you without mercy. Afterwards, they will shirk their actions, and the culprits must in the treasures dedicated to your majesty. Finally, I will obey. Dian Wei's eyes lit up when he heard this, and then he responded loudly. As a military commander, what Ye Chen likes the most is what Ye Chen said. You come to me. I will kill you, no matter who you are. Ye Chen smiled slightly, pinched the horse's belly with his feet, and the horse made a long hiss, and then sprinted towards Luo Yang. Ye Chen told Dian Wei, but there was no way, Dian Wei didn't play any tricks. If a player discovers Dian Wei and the Reincarnation Legion, he will definitely try to confirm the identity of Dian Wei and the Reincarnation Legion. This is not the key. The key is that there are patrol cavalry near Luoyang, and these cavalry are equally pretentious. Moreover, after He Jin learned that his family was about to be killed, he was very likely to trouble Ye Chen. So Ye Chen had to tell him in advance. In this way, Dian Wei could let go of anything he encountered. As for the reason, it is very simple, to prevent the thief from snatching the treasure dedicated to your majesty. To say a thousand words and ten thousand, this reason is a panacea. The Han Empire hasn't fallen yet. Although the Emperor will not live for a few years, he is still alive after all. No need to say anything, just for the Emperor, no matter how much He Jin planted and framed it, it was useless. Of course, this can't be regarded as a death-free gold medal, and Ye Chen has to go to Luoyang to do other things. After it was done, he Jin wouldn't be afraid of it, and Ye Chen didn't need to get into a show. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Luo Yang, at the gate of the city. After Ye Chen came here, he dismounted and walked into the city. There are a lot of players here, one by one wearing nondescript equipment, coming in and out in groups of three to five. Most of them are players who go out to get the bandit suppression mission and go out to kill the bandit. There are also some bad guys who collect various items from players at low prices and then sell them at high prices. After the initial shock and confusion, 
now quite a few players have begun to understand the game world. Before the meteor fell, the game was just people's pastime, various types and various ways of playing. After the meteor fell, the game became the only. Here, the money earned can be used in reality. Here, the more awesome, the more awesome in reality. In a world of change, there are crises everywhere, and people urgently want to improve their strength. Therefore, more and more people are starting to level up frantically, playing money frantically, playing equipment frantically, and improving their strength frantically. However, there is a fight where there are people. In order to level up, in order to explode the items, fights are everywhere. However, in the city in the game, the players are very honest. If you don't be honest, you will be taken to jail if you commit a crime, and you will be beheaded if you kill. On the street, there are a lot of pedestrians, there are players, and there are indigenous people. The appearance of Ye Chen did not attract the attention of the natives, but many players noticed Ye Chen. Because there are NPCs for temporary tasks in the game, and Ye Chen's dress and clothes look like NPCs in every way. The players got excited one by one, and all ran to the NPC, trying to talk to each other and get the task. Unfortunately, the players suddenly discovered that this NPC was actually indifferent and unbelievable. No matter what they say, the NPC just ignores them. Yuela in. After Ye Chen walked here, he was about to enter and stayed first. At this moment, Ye Chen suddenly thought of something, and then turned to look at the group of players who hadn't given up, and said. Tomorrow at noon, I will hold an auction here. The items to be auctioned will be king level exercises, mysterious level weapons, and the purchase of elixir. The price starts at 10,000 gold. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, the players all stayed together, and then they suddenly boiled. Fuck. What did I hear? King level exercises? Profound level weapons. I said this NPC doesn't speak. It turns out that he won't care about us until he arrives at the inn. Nima, this NPC is awesome, the best selling in the shop is the bronze level equipment, you can't see it in silver, he actually has a mysterious weapon. Xian level is a hairy, I haven't heard it, Wang level exercises, it. That's Wang level exercises. I heard people say that without this, you can't even exceed 90 by force even at level 100. Damn. The most advanced technique that has been exploded right now is a peculiar product, and no king level technique has ever appeared. While the players were discussing fiercely, Ye Chen entered the Yuela Inn, asked for a TNZ account, and went to rest. Because at night, Ye Chen still has things to do. At this moment, a group of people came on the street, all wearing armor, and arrogantly drove the players away from the hotel entrance. That NPC you mentioned lives in this inn? He wants to auction king level exercises and mysterious level weapons. A man wearing brocade robe walked out and looked to the side respectfully waiting for the player, asked. Yes, Xiao Wang, it's here, that NPC lives in Tianzijian no one. The player said flatly. Very good. The man in the brocade nodded in satisfaction, and then threw a purple gold coin to the player. Thanks Wang Xiao reward. The player caught the purple gold coin with a surprised look, and thanked him again and again. Zijin coins are more advanced money than gold, and they were made after Pangu opened currency exchange. One purple gold coin 10,000 gold. At this moment, Wang Xiao looked at a man with a fierce face behind him. Without a word, the man walked towards the surrounding players who refused to leave. Coming in front of the players, the fierce man spit out disdainfully, and then shouted. Listen to Lao Zi if I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Listen, I don't want to die. Whether it's reality or a game. He just shut his mouth to Lao Zi, and no one should spread the news here. Listen. Are you there? The players around who refused to leave, heard this, their expressions suddenly changed, many people gritted their teeth, turned and left here. Then more and more players left here. 
However, at this moment, a message appeared on the World Channel. Wo Yang, Yuela In, a mysterious NPC appeared, and the King Level exercises and mysterious level weapons will be auctioned at noon tomorrow. Don't ask who I am, I am Living Li Feng. The World Channel, which was originally quiet, exploded in an instant. Fuck. There is actually an NPC auctioning King Level techniques? Is it also auctioning mysterious level weapons? Nima, I want it too, damn, who can lend me some money, and after I buy it, I will take you to level up and play equipment and explode the techniques. Please sponsor, I am a sword from the west, Ubufin, level 85, who can lend me money to buy a king level exercise, I will sell him his life for three years. Fool, king level exercises, you thought it was Chinese cabbage, now he has come up with such a book. So many people want it, will it be given to you? In fact, the key is that this king level technique can make the force value break through 90, reach 91 points, and enter the innate realm. This is related to the actual strength. Who will give this away? Grass. I want it too, but unfortunately, I don't have money. Mother, our people can only watch. Those big forces are probably already taking action. When the world channel was twittering, Wo Yang's teleportation array lit up again and again. One player after another appeared here, and then went straight to Wo Yang. Wo Yang, Yuela In. Xiao Wang looked at the surrounding players with a green face, and at this moment, the ferocious man before, roared with a grim expression. Mal Gobi, you have the courage to eat the bear heart and the leopard. Right? You don't believe me, do you? Wait, and I will go offline for a while, I will come to the door one by one, find you, and kill you idiots, no one else. Want to live? A young man suddenly stood up at this moment, and then shouted angrily. You are paralyzed, you come to Lao Tzu to see if you can find it, stupid, it's not because there are too many people. Pretend you are paralyzed by the big tail wolf, the reality is not in the same city, Lao Tzu is really not ashamed, tell you the news just now, it's your dad, how to drop it, come and bite. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Dog stuff, you wait for Lao Tzu, the reality is not in a city, you are awesome. Tell you, Lao Tzu told you not to mix in the game, you are the same in reality. The fierce looking man heard this, his face suddenly tingching was very strong, and then he shouted. Cut, you and he eats too much shit, Wo Yang Lao Zi can't hang on, there are other places, the world is so big, where can't hang on, stupid. After the young man spit, he venomously cocked up. Root middle finger. Lao Tzu. The fierce-looking man was suddenly angry, and as soon as he opened his mouth, he was interrupted by that Wang Xiao. Enough, let's go. After Wang Xiao finished speaking, he left Yuela in with a group of subordinates. The surrounding players breathed a sigh of relief one by one, and then left in twos and threes. But when they left, one by one looked at the young man involuntarily, and then shook his head helplessly. Fuck. What's your expression? The young man was dazed, and then asked. I advise you, if you run far away as soon as possible, the world is very big, but he has a teleportation array. A player was a little unbearable, then stopped and said. I, I. The young man's face became stiff, and he spoke for a long time, unable to say a word. Yuela in, second floor, Tianzijia number one. Ye Chen sat by the window and watched the scene that had just happened on the street. There was no wave in his heart. The episode on the street is just a microcosm of this world, with oppression and resistance. But in the end, those who can survive and those who are good at it are often powerful people. A strong individual is difficult to appear in the novice zone. Those who can go down and those who can mix well will always be the lord type players. Individuals can only fight monsters. Mix some equipment and exercises with the plot. 
wanting to be awesome, or pretending to be forceful, like the young man before, often ends up being beaten as a stupid. Ye Chen didn't care about the future of the youth, nor would he be touched by the youth's announcement of the auction news on the World Channel. If he doesn't post, someone will pass it out, but it's just a little later. Acting like that Wang Xiao will be hated by many people, and if he can stumble him, he will not fail. If you don't post it now, you can also post it through other channels. Therefore, the news of the auction cannot be stopped. After looking at the sky, Ye Chen closed the window easily, and then began to practice nine ranks profound art. Strength can be improved not only by killing monsters and upgrading, but also by cultivation, and also by swallowing elixir. And this is also the reason why Ye Chen bought the elixir by the way when he chose to auction. There are really not many elixir in the novice zone, but there are still some. Although the strength of the players is generally not strong at the moment, the number of players is quite high. When there are more people, there may be people who hit the big luck and get good things. This kind of existence, Ye Chen had appeared in his previous life. And Ye Chen aimed at these people, everything else, except for some treasures, was to Ye Chen. The exercises, Nine Turns Profound Art, and Shen Xiao Yulei are all the top chaos level exercises. Weapon, Killing Spear, is the innate treasure. What Ye Chen lacks now is all kinds of treasures and elixir. Of course, as soon as the Yellow Turban Rebellion broke out, Ye Chen had the opportunity to quickly improve his strength. There is no experience in killing bandits or the like now. Ye Chen was practicing here in the inn, but Luoyang City became lively. In the entire Three Kingdoms novice zone, all rich players, without exception, went to Luoyang. The goal was the two pieces of Ye Chen wanted to auction, the Shaking Mountain Art, and Thunder Spear. No one knows the secret hidden in the true item at this moment. But at most, one day, in reality, someone will draw a long sword casually because of a fight. That long sword is the true weapon. The level is very low, but it also exposes the secret of the word true. In this life, when the game first started, Ye Chen originally planned to be a bad man. However, as the forces developed, Ye Chen lost that thought. With this effort, it is better to attack the city and plunder the land, and it is real. The stronger the power, the more you earn from fighting, and the more you can earn from being a downfall. Moreover, even if Ye Chen was such a bad master, it was impossible to receive such advanced true items. Even if there is, Ye Chen typed it out by himself. Therefore, there is no need to be a bad man, and to poke out the secret directly, which is more suitable for Ye Chen. As time passed, Ye Chen opened his eyes when the bright moon hung across the sky. It's time. Ye Chen exhaled for a long time, and then changed into a brocade robe. After getting dressed, he came to the north window, opened the window, took a look, and then jumped down. This is a residential alley, not facing the street, and it is night again, so no one shows up here. Ye Chen landed silently, left silently, and then walked towards a mansion in his memory. An hour later, Ye Chen walked out of Zhang Mansion with a curled mouth, and then returned to Yuela Inn. Zhang Mansion The great Zhang Rang was lying on the recliner, holding a yemings of the size of a baby's fist, his expression obsessed. On the table next to him, there was a plate. On the plate, there were thirty-five night pearls of the same size. The bedroom, which should have been dim, turned out to be as bright as day. Foster father, Ye Chen's kid gave him such a rare treasure, could it be something other than a plot? A young man walked in at this moment, looking at the Ye Mingzu in Zhang Rang's hand, and said with a skeptical look. A plot? It's just a noble honor. If there is any plot, it's just for the official position. Zhang Rang said sharply. But, I heard from my subordinates, this Ye Chen, in the daytime today, killed He Jin's five hundred cavalry soldiers, the foster father will bear this for him. The young man frowned and asked. Stupid. Zhang Rang screamed, then stood up and looked at the young man, then said. 
How can you kill the 500 cavalry man? How can the miscellaneous family not protect it? Besides, do you think that if there is no miscellaneous family, then Ye Chen can be framed by He Jin? Don't forget the news that he came to Luoyang to offer treasures to your majesty everyone who has spread it is known. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. When the young man heard this, his face suddenly changed, and he hurriedly said. But, foster father, Ye Chen is a well-known white-eyed wolf, a villain, a scum who does all bad things, and never does bad things, if he bites the righteous father back then. Snapped. Zhang Rang slapped the young man fiercely, and then screamed. From today on the Zajia, there is no righteous son like you. You will get out of Luoyang within one hour. Otherwise, I will blame the Zajia for not being affectionate. Foster father. The young man was stunned for a moment, then cried out in shock. Come here. Zhang Rang shouted angrily. Foster father, I will leave Luoyang now and leave immediately. The young man was taken aback, and hurriedly said, leaving Zhang Rang's residence in a hurry. Looking at the back of the young man, Zhang Rang said coldly. Fool! If it wasn't for your respect for the miscellaneous family for three days, the miscellaneous family would definitely make your head fall. Even in front of the miscellaneous family, he said that he would do all bad things, and that evil things must be done, I really don't know how to write dead words. On the street. After the young man came out of Zhang Rang's mansion, his face suddenly changed to a green man. It's not like him, dead eunuch, Lao Tzu gave you so much money, and even said that if you turn your face, you will turn your face. After speaking, the young man looked back at Zhang Rang's mansion, his face even more ugly. Grass. Originally wanted to get Wang level martial arts from this dead eunuch, he actually failed because of a word. The young man said this, his face suddenly showed a hideous expression. Ye Chen. It's all Ye Chen. Isn't he? It's not him, Lao Tzu won't be kicked out, the king level technique will definitely be able to get it. After he finished speaking viciously, a fierce and fierce light flashed in his eyes. Since I didn't become you, don't think about it. Now so many people are looking for you. If you don't sell you at a good price, I'm so sorry. The young man made a decision in an instant, and then uttered a sentence on the world channel. I have the exact location of Ye Chen at the moment, what I want to know, one price, one million tails of gold, no two. As soon as this sentence appeared, the world channel instantly exploded. Fuck. Where is Ye Chen? Hurry up. Yes, come on, where is the boss of Ye Chen, I am determined to follow him. Nima, how do I feel that this idiot is a liar? Recently, a lot of people posing as Ye Chen's relatives have bluffed and deceived many people. The cliff is a liar, Nima, so many forces can't find Ye Chen he knows a woolen thread. That's right, everyone, don't be fooled by him. The money you finally made is in the pocket of this idiot. It's too late to cry. The world channel is very lively, but basically they ask young men to tell the exact location of Ye Chen, or that the young man is a liar, and no one really believes him. On Luoyang Street. The young man looked at the world channel with a green face. After a while, it turned out to be all scolding him, or telling him to tell Ye Chen's address, but no one believed him, not even anyone who had added him as a friend. Malgobi's people don't even believe in Lao Tzu. The young man jumped straight, and after a while, he posted another sentence on the world channel. Lao Tzu is Xia Rishan, the magic capital. Lao Tzu not only knows where Ye Chen is, but also sees his appearance. If I believe in Lao Tzu, I will spend money to buy news, a price of 10 million tails of gold. As soon as the young man's words appeared on the world channel, the world channel instantly cleared the screen, but after three seconds, another group of people began to scold the young men. A fool, the appraisal is complete. I'm more than one, 
I'm determined to end. Stupid than one, it's determined to be over. As Zha Rishan watched the swearing on the World Channel's continuous screen scrolling, his whole body was trembling with anger. At this moment, the reminder of friend application sounded one after another. Zha Rishan was taken aback for a moment, then the corners of his mouth curled up, and he accepted one by one. Just when Zha Rishan was waiting for those who had added his friends, talked to him, and then one person gave him ten million tails of gold to buy Ye Chen news, prompts followed. Ding, your friend Luo is overbearing, because he hates you, he broke up with you. Ding, your friend, Blood Rose, has broken up with you because he hates you. Ding, your friend. Zha Rishan was stunned and stunned by the prompt sound after sound. This Nima, shouldn't it, didn't they add my friends to buy news about Ye Chen? When Zha Rishan said this, he suddenly remembered something, and then his face became stiff. My day, your uncle, I used to add Lao Tzu's friends to see where Lao Tzu is now. After Zha Rishan finished speaking, he ran to the world channel and started cursing. You shameless bastards, add me as a friend just to see where I am. Give me ten million tails of gold quickly. It's him, or I will find a Zhang to take care of you. As soon as Zha Rishan's words appeared on the world channel, the world instantly became quiet, and then more and more people added Zha Rishan's friends. Zha Rishan, who was angry, was immediately blown up by a series of system prompts. Spend money again and scolded on the world channel. Trash, do you still want to get something for nothing? Do you want to add Lao Z friends? Tell you, none of you want to know the location of Ye Chen. As soon as Zha Rishan's words landed, a message appeared on the world channel instantly. Fuck. It turns out that Ye Chen is in Luoyang. Zha Rishan was taken aback for a moment, and then discovered that the person who sent the message turned out to be a friend he had added when he first entered the game. My day, your uncle. Zha Rishan was instantly vomiting blood for three liters. At this moment, the sound of rapid, hurried footsteps suddenly sounded. I saw a group of eunuchs wearing gold-grade equipment rushing out of Zhang Rang's mansion. Zha Rishan wanted to continue to abuse and vent on the world channel, but at this moment, he remembered one thing. Zhang Rang told him to leave Luoyang within an hour. Thinking of this, Zha Rishan's whole person was not good, and he turned around and ran towards Luoyang's teleportation formation, ignoring the ink stain. There was a swish. An arrow hit Zha Rishan in an instant, and then passed through his heart. At this moment, a world announcement sounded instantly. Ding! The player Zha Rishan conspired to cause chaos, he is unforgivable, and is now beheaded by Zhang Chenqi. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. As soon as the world announcement appeared, the world channel instantly cleared the screen. Three seconds later, the world channel became lively again. Fuck. I seem to have heard him say before, asking Zhang Rang to clean up those who were added by his friends who didn't give money. Nima, I'm so ridiculous, I just thought he was so awesome and strong, the great Zhang Rang, it turned out that this was a pretense. This time I was as a stupid, ha ha ha, and Nima asked Zhang Rang, this time, I was to death by Zhang Rang. Deserve it, tell him to pretend, but then again, how did Ye Chen? A fierce man ran to Luoyang. Who knows what is so special, if it's not for Lao Tzu's money, I will send it to Luoyang immediately to see the respect of the great Ye Chen. Ah? What are you talking about? I just went online, Ye Chen is in Luoyang. Ye Chen is in Luoyang. It's unclear where it is. Ha ha ha, I will go to Luoyang now to meet this fierce man. Grass it can be regarded as telling Lao Tzu to know where Ye Chen is, right? This time Lao Tzu is going to ask him face to face why he is hiding the secret of the game and not telling him. Fool, if you know the secret, would you say it? Are you Ye Chen's lackey? If you go to Nima, Lao Tzu is just talking about things. 
you or he thinks you are all in the world. When the content of the world channel arrived at the back, it was directly transferred to Ye Chen, and it was very noisy. Ye Chen didn't open the world channel, so he didn't know what happened on the world channel. However, the system announcement called Ye Chen back to Yuela in to be stunned for a while. Zhao Rishan? Ye Chen thought and thought, but never remembered the number one person in his previous life. How could he be killed by Zhang Rang and convicted of conspiracy to commit disorder? Ye Chen thought and thought, but couldn't figure out a clue, didn't even think about it, and continued to practice nine rank profound art. What Ye Chen didn't know was that Zhao Rishan was actually a tragic character, with so much bad luck. Zhao Rishan in his previous life ran out of wealth and failed to obtain a king level exercise from Zhang Rang, and was eventually annihilated by the latecomers in the dust of history. In this life, because of jealousy of Ye Chen's various world announcements, Zhao Rishan has tricked Ye Chen. However, he didn't know that this world had an invisible and intangible attribute. Luck. Ye Chen was born again, and his luck was prosperous. The only god level village building order in the world was also obtained and used by Ye Chen to build samsara. The reincarnation realm autonomously gathers heaven and earth luck, and this luck belongs to Ye Chen. Therefore, the tragedy of Zhao Rishan, because of his selfishness, because of his greed and greed, was advanced at least a year. Ye Chen naturally didn't know this but it didn't matter if he knew it or not. It was not worthy of Ye Chen's brains to exist like a trash. The next day, before dawn, Ye Chen quietly left the inn and came outside the imperial city to wait quietly. The imperial palace of the Han Empire was held in the early dynasty as always. The Han Emperor Lu Hong, wearing an imperial robe, sat on a chair with a look of godless expression. He was playing too crazy last night and he called five concubines to sleep in a row. At this moment, he was able to come up to court to show off his brilliance and martial arts. Otherwise, Lu Hong would not come to court at all. Lu Hong hit Hatch and waved at Zhang Rang boredly. Zhang Rang nodded with a flattering face, then stepped forward, raised his chest and raised his head, looking at Man Shao Wen Yu, and screamed. If you have a foundation, you can retreat without a foundation. Chen, you have this play. General He Jin stood up angrily, bowed and said. Speak. Lu Hong glanced at He Jin, couldn't help but stunned, and then said. He Jin bowed, then shouted fervently. Your Majesty. Ye Chen, the mayor of Reincarnation Town, killed 5,000 cavalry soldiers outside Luoyang City yesterday. This son committed chaos and has no country and law. The minister, please decree your majesty to capture this evil thief and transcribe him. To Zhen Chao Gang. When Lu Hong heard this, he was taken aback, and then furious, for such a troubled courtier and thief, why report it to me and kill directly? When Lu Hong said this, he was taken aback, then looked at Zhang Rang suspiciously, and said. Ye Chen? Why do I seem to have heard this name from? Your Majesty, Ye Chen is the first class Viscount of the Han Empire who killed more than 100,000 bandits and killed 15,000 Wuhuan cavalry. It has been rumored in Luoyang these days to offer treasures to Your Majesty. Zhang Rangji said flatly. Hey? Is it him? I remembered that he wanted to offer me treasures and came to Luoyang, but why did he kill 5,000 great cavalrymen? Lu Hong heard this, his eyes suddenly lit up, and then he asked with confusion. Tao. He came to Luoyang to offer treasures and killed 5,000 great Han cavalry soldiers. Such an obvious thing was wrong, even if Lu Hong was faint, it would still feel incredible. Your Majesty, there is something the slave and maidservant didn't know if it should be said. Zhang Rang bowed, then spoke. After that, Zhang Rang took a careful look at He Jin, and then showed an exaggerated look of fear. Speak. With me, who would dare to deceive you? Lu Hong was furious when Zhang Rang was so scared, and then he shouted. He Jin, who was above the chaotic hall, his face instantly turned pale, he looked at Zhang Rang viciously, 
as if he was about to swallow Zhang Rang alive. Zhang Rang glanced at He Jin faintly, then bowed to Lu Hong respectfully, and said. Your Majesty, the slave and maid had heard that, Viscount Ye Chen, who had worked so hard to the treasure to Luo Yang, but someone sent a general to the treasure. And Viscount Ye Chen was loyal to His Majesty, even in the face of crises, he might be killed at any time, but he rose up to resist and eventually killed those family generals and protected His Majesty's treasures. As soon as Zhang Rang's words fell, Lu Hong was furious, and slapped him on the chair. Snapped. He Jin. Tell me why you are robbing my treasure. Lu Hong shouted at He Jin with an iron face. Your. Your Majesty. The minister did not send anyone to grab Your Majesty's treasure. He Jin was taken aback, and hurriedly bowed and said. Although he wanted to grab the treasure, he didn't dare to send someone to grab the horse, but how could he say that? Saying it is equivalent to hitting yourself in the face. Ye Chen came to Luoyang to offer treasures, you sent someone to grab the horse, beheaded the generals sent there, and you went to court to make false accusations? The dignified general is still shameless. At this moment, He Jin was more uncomfortable than eating dead flies, but he couldn't continue to argue. Before, he had said that Ye Chen had killed 5,000 cavalry. There was an exaggeration, but now it's all right. Once Zhang Rang said, no matter how He Jin explained it, it was useless. Asshole thing, if it weren't for I Fei's face, I would definitely put you to death. Lu Hong roared angrily. A cold sweat appeared on He Jin's face for an instant, and he hurriedly bent and explained. Your Majesty, the Wiccan is guilty. The Wiccan has only reacted until now. The Wiccan has been blinded by his subordinates. The Wiccan did not know Ye Chen before, let alone know that Ye Chen came to offer treasures. I don't know if his subordinates go out to fight Ye Chen's idea, but Your Majesty, the Wee Minister understands now that they must go out for the horses that Ye Chen brought. After all, they are all heartfelt people, for Your Majesty, for the big man, they think get Ye Chen's war horse so that you can go to battle to kill the enemy and serve your majesty. My majesty, please think twice. A military commander stepped out and said with a bow. My majesty, please think twice, the general did not know, and the five thousand cavalrymen also went for the horses, the purpose is for the big man, for your majesty, not for snatching in the treasures dedicated to your majesty. Wang Yun stepped out at this time and bowed. Said. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literary update. Enough. Lu Hong said furiously. After a long time, Lu Hong Kei said with a sullen expression, General He Jin, the imperial court is not strict, the fine is three years, and the Zijin coin is ten thousand. He Jin's face suddenly stiffened when he heard this. A purple gold coin is 10,000 gold, and this is 100 million gold. Although He Jin took it out, this amount is too much. Don't tell me that you don't, dare you say a word, I will send someone to copy your home. Lu Hong said coldly at this time. Waikan, Waikan will find a way to get together. He Jin was taken aback and hurriedly bowed in response. When Lu Hong heard this, he snorted and shouted. For three days, I only give you three days. If you can't see it, you just wait for your home to be ransacked. Why can follow the order? He Jin hurriedly bowed in response. Father, Ye Chen's kid has arrived in Luoyang. Why didn't you come to see me? Lu Hong didn't even look at He Jin, but directly looked at Zhang Rang and asked eagerly. Your Majesty Qi, Viscount Ye Chen has no official position. If you want to see your majesty, you can only wait for your majesty to call. Zhang Rang said with a smile, bowing. At this moment, Zhang Rang was in a great mood. Especially when he saw He Jin's shock and anger but he didn't dare to speak, Zhang Rang was so happy that he didn't want it. Therefore, to say good things to Ye Chen is also just right. Official position? By the way, 
Ye Chen's son was a bandit of more than 100,000, and he also killed 15,000 Wuhuan cavalry. He was called the pillar of the country. Why didn't anyone report it? Lu Hong was taken aback for a moment, and then he asked. Your Majesty, maybe the generals on the Yuzhu side don't want Viscount Ye Chen to appear, and don't want to be compared to him. If this is the case, the slaves and maids don't know if this is the case. Please forgive your majesty. Zhang Rang said with regret. Zhang Rang naturally refused to say the actual situation. Because any official wants to be promoted, he has to pass his hand. Are you highly meritorious? Want to be an official if you don't give enough benefits? Go dreaming. Bold. Who cares about the reincarnation town? Lu Hong shouted angrily. His Majesty Qi, the servant girl checked it last night, and it seems to be Gong Sun Zan. Zhang Rang said at this time without seriousness. Gong Sun Zan? Which one is Gong Sun Zan? No matter who he is, pass the decree. Gong Sun Zan's bad morals, jealous of talents, and demoted him to common people. Lu Hong said without thinking about it. Your Majesty. No. Liu Zhi suddenly stood up and shouted loudly. Why? Lu Hong asked angrily. Your Majesty, General Gong Sun Zan is a military commander and does not have the power to manage reincarnation town. What's more, at this moment, the Wuhuan rebellion is upright, and Gong Sun Zan leads the troops to fight the rebellion. If he is hurriedly demoted, the frontier will be unstable. Liu Zhi bowed body, and then spoke. Your Majesty, Viscount Ye Chen is very brave. Fifteen thousand cavalrymen said they would be wiped out. The servants heard that Viscount Ye Chen beheaded fifteen thousand Wuhuan cavalry, but he hadn't wounded one soldier yet. I'm asking anyone. This can be done. Zhang Rang glanced at Liu Zhi, and then said. With the help of terrain, it can be done. Although the minister could not confirm the situation at the time, the minister affirmed that Viscount Ye Chen must have taken advantage of the terrain. Otherwise, Duan could not not hurt his soldiers. Liu Zhi was unwilling. Explained weakly. Shut up all to me. Let me ask you, father, is Ye Chen really brave enough, and can he smooth the rebellion for me? Lu Hong shouted angrily, then looked at Zhang Rang and asked. This. Zhang Ran was also embarrassed for a while, saying yes, if Ye Chen failed to do it, then he would be ashamed. Say no, what I said before is equivalent to hitting myself in the face. After a sharp change in his mind, Zhang Rang gritted his teeth and said with certainty, the servant girl feels that this son can do better than Gong Sun Zan. For an instant, many people in Manchu dynasty civil and military showed contempt. Nima, I've told you everything, why don't you just say whether it can be done or not? Zhang Rang naturally saw Manchu Wen Mu's gaze, but his expression remained the same. Lu Hong nodded in satisfaction at this time, and then said, Call Ye Chen to me, and I want to see the treasures he brought to me. Yes, Your Majesty. Zhang Rang bowed, then looked at the door of Chao Tang, and shouted in a shrill voice, Visit Ye Chen. Xian Huan Town, enter the hall. The on duty at the door bowed, and then hurriedly ran out of the palace. The gate of the imperial city. There was a creak. Ye Chen exhaled at this moment, then looked at the gate of the city. And hurried out, and when he saw Ye Chen, he asked, Are you the Viscount Ye Chen of Samsara Town? Ye Chen nodded and said, Exactly. Although this was the second time I heard the speaking, Ye Chen still felt a little awkward. Follow me into the palace, your majesty summoned. After the finished speaking, he hurriedly took Ye Chen to the palace. The palace hall. After Ye Chen came here with the eunuch, he walked into the hall alone. When Ye Chen came to the main hall, all the cultural relics of the Manchu dynasty came over. There were hatred, expressionless, and curious, and then there was nothing. Seeing this, Ye Chen couldn't help but heaved a sigh of relief. The strategy was successful, 
don't worry about stigma. Thinking of this, Ye Chen bowed and said, Ye Chen, see your majesty, long live my emperor, long live, long live. What a pillar! Lu Hong couldn't help being taken aback when he saw Ye Chen's young appearance, and then said, Viscount Ye Chen, where's your majesty's treasure, present it quickly. Zhang Rang looked at Ye Chen at this time and said, Here. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then spoke. After speaking, with a move with his right hand, a sandalwood box instantly appeared in Ye Chen's hand. Quick! Present it! Lu Hong saw the sandalwood box in Ye Chen's hand, his eyes lit up, and then he shouted. Zhang Rang smiled flatteringly, and then hurriedly walked down the steps, came to Ye Chen, and took the sandalwood box from Ye Chen's hand. In order to prevent any danger, Zhang Rang opened the inspection first. At this moment, the originally dim hall was instantly bright as daylight, and an extremely comfortable feeling instantly rose from everyone's hearts. Zhang Rang smiled slightly when he saw the huge yamings of the size of an adult male fist in the box, but he quickly returned to normal. Taking a look at Ye Chen, Zhang Rang carried the sandalwood box on the steps blankly, and then handed the sandalwood box to Lu Hong. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. At this moment, the civil and military officials of the Manchu dynasty looked at the box in Lu Hong's hand one by one. More than 80% were curious, and the rest were shocked, even if the bad-tempered and always upright ministers were no exception. Because the moment Zhang Rang opened the box, not only did it illuminate the hall instantly, but everyone felt very comfortable. Lu Hong took the sandalwood box and opened it directly. The next second, Lu Hong was stunned. The Manchu civil and military also stunned. Ye Mingzu is not that no one has seen it. Although it is rare, it is not a great treasure. The Ye Mingzu in the sandalwood box showed the tip of the iceberg tightly, showing its extraordinariness. The ordinary Ye Mingzu, in broad daylight, can't see anything at all, and can only wait for the night. But this night pearl is not only big, it can still shine in broad daylight and it also shines on some dim halls as bright as daylight. However, its light is not dazzling at all. Not only that, in the hall, at the moment when the sandalwood box was opened, the feeling of comfort that disappeared because the box was closed reappeared. Good. 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 Lu Hong stared at the huge Ye Mingzu in the sandalwood box with bright eyes, and said three good words. At this moment, Lu Hong was extremely excited, because he had never seen such a treasure. This is not important. What is important is that such a treasure is not only large, but also luminous during the day, and it also gives Lu Hong a sense of comfort. As the emperor, Lu Hong had never eaten the delicacies of mountains and seas, nor had he eaten any tonics, but even so, he still had a feeling of being hollowed out. At this moment, Lu Hong actually felt that his energy was slowly recovering. Ha ha ha, such a treasure of the world, as my possession. Lu Hong picked up the huge Ye Mingzu at this time, and then shouted excitedly. Your Majesty, why do the slaves feel that this thing can prolong life? Zhang Rang glanced at Ye Chen at this time, and then said to Lu Hong with a shocked expression on his face. It's true, I also feel this way. Lu Hong nodded excitedly. When Lu Hong said this, he immediately looked at Ye Chen. Lu Hong who was not very kind to Ye Chen at first, at this moment, how do you see Ye Chen's pleasing to the eye, just opened his mouth and wanted to make Ye Chen an official, but in an instant, Lu Hong Hong felt distressed. Because of this one, he didn't have any money to earn, but Ye Chen gave him such a good treasure, and he had to seal it. After thinking for a moment, Lu Hong said. Ye Chen, you offer me such treasures of heaven and earth. You have contributed to me. In addition, you have suppressed more than 100,000 bandits and annihilated 15,000 Wuhuan cavalry. You said, I should give you any official position you want. Your Majesty, everything in this world belongs to Your Majesty, 
Ye Chen dare not take credit, but Your Majesty is the master. Ye Chen bowed and said. Okay. Everything in the world belongs to me. Ye Chen, what you say has won my heart, and I will designate you as General Jinwei today. Lu Hong was taken aback for a moment, and then laughed. Ye Chen's eyes suddenly lit up when he heard this. Originally, Ye Chen thought that at most he would seal a general or something like that, but he didn't expect that he would give a General Jinwei when he came up. Although General Jinwei is a miscellaneous general, he is also a fourth-rank officer at any rate, but he is not comparable to the fifth-rank official rank of generals. Just when Ye Chen was about to give thanks, a loud shout suddenly came. Your Majesty! Ye Chen frowned, and he looked out from the corner of his eyes, but He Jin stood up with an ugly face and opened his mouth to prevent Lu Hong from granting a reward. Why not? Lu Hong Sheng was happy, and suddenly someone appeared to add to the block naturally in a bad mood. Your Majesty, although Ye Chen is honorable, he has no experience as an official. In addition to his young age, he hastily named General Jinwei. The generals in the army are afraid of dissatisfaction. He Jin said sincerely. Your Majesty, the Lieutenant General, go to battle to kill the enemy, and you can be promoted only if you have military merits. We are a little bit confused. When the lieutenant general needs experience as an officer. Liu Zhi frowned and glanced at He Jin. Then he stood up and said with a bow. General Lu's words are quite true, and the servants are also very strange. When will the generals in the army have experience as officials, shouldn't they be able to lead soldiers to fight? Zhang Rang's eyes flashed, and then he looked confused. He looked at Lu Hong and said. When He Jin heard this, his face changed again and again, and his body trembled and trembled violently from anger. He Jin. Get out of me. Go home and face the wall for half a month. In addition, you are limited to pay 50,000 purple gold coins in one day. Otherwise, you will wait for me to copy your home and destroy your clan. Lu Hong Tang stood up all of a sudden, and then shouted angrily. Your Majesty. Calm your anger. The general said about being an officer, not a civil officer, but a military officer. Wang Yun stood up at this moment and shouted loudly. Your Majesty. What the Wiccan said is the military attaché, Your Majesty. The Wiccan really has no other meaning. He Jin hurriedly bowed and shouted when he heard this. Okay, you said it was a military attaché. Then I will ask you, Ye Chen led the army in battle killed more than 100,000 bandits, and annihilated 15,000 Wuhuan cavalry, and the soldiers will be unscathed. How can he explain this? Does he have experience? Can't be a general. Lu Hong shouted with an iron face. Yes. Your Majesty, Ye Chen can be a general. The minister is worried that Ye Chen is too young and will easily give birth to arrogance, Your Majesty. He Jin said hurriedly. Enough. Get out of me. Tonight, if you can't take out 100,000 purple gold coins, you can commit suicide for me. Lu Hong became even more angry when he heard this, and shouted without hesitation. Your. Your Majesty. He Jin's face was stiff, and he shouted in horror. Don't talk more, I don't want to hear another word from you. Dare you say one more sentence, the fine will increase tenfold. Lu Hong shouted angrily. He Jin heard this, and his whole person instantly became ten years old. Nima, that's one hundred thousand purple gold coins. When converted, it is one billion gold. Ask him to take it out at night, and he can take it out. However, he dared not speak any more, bowed, and then staggered out of the hall. Ye Chen looked at He Jin who was leaving and narrowed his eyes. How to advance this time, this time is offended, but, it doesn't matter, he won't be able to jump for long, and it won't interfere with me. Thinking of this, Ye Chen glanced at the grey-haired Wang Yun again, a cold light flashed in his eyes, and then returned to normal. Lu Hong glanced at He Jin in disgust, then shouted. Procedure 
The Viscount of the Han Empire, Ye Chen, has made great military service and made great contributions to Shiji. He is specially named the third rank General Ping Bei. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, who has made great achievements, and is now promoted to the Ping Bei General of the Han Empire. The official worships the third rank. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, who has made great achievements, and is now promoted to the Ping Bei General of the Han Empire. The official worships the third rank. Ding, congratulations to the player Ye Chen, who has made great achievements, and is now promoted to the Ping Bei General of the Han Empire. The official worships the third rank. The world announcement was silent for a night and sounded again. This time the world announcement was different. Like a drop of water dripping into a pan, the world channel instantly exploded. Fuck. Boss Ye Chen is awesome. Boss Ye Chen is mighty and domineering. Boss Ye Chen is unbeatable. Ha ha ha, know that my cousin is amazing, tell you, my cousin Ye Chen, there are even more awesome ones that haven't been shown. What's the matter, scumbags, hurry up and bow down to my cousin, my cousin Ye Chen, that's a top-notch guy, you can't accept it. A bunch of idiots, Ye Chen has a relationship with you? That's my brother. Does he belong to him? Later, I will ask my brother to take me to Wang Yun's house to see Diao Chan. Why, you scumbags, can you stop being so silly, Ye Chen has a relationship with you. Funny guys, I'll go home and sleep, damn. I don't even know what is going on. I haven't seen General Ping Bei. This is a genuine third grade military officer, damn. I really don't know what to say. Is anyone getting an official position now? No? That's why Mao Yuchen has become the third rank Ping Bei general. Nima, what military merits, what military merits did Ye Chen achieve? Isn't he unfair? Is it fair to play games? That's right, don't you want to make people play happily, especially, the third grade is positive, and it is the third grade at once. Yes, I have to give an explanation. Don't explain to Lao Tzu, I won't play this game. Yes. You must give us an explanation, if you don't give an explanation, we won't play anymore. Don't play plus one. Don't play plus one zero zero eight six. I seem to see a stupid. Don't play. Do you think someone cares? Don't forget what the world has become, and don't forget, everything in reality is provided by the brain. Don't you play? Do you want to laugh Lao Tzu to death so that you can inherit the property? What these idiots are doing, and if you don't want to play, you just want Ji now to explain, and then ask for some compensation. Unfortunately, the brain damage is a disease and there is no cure. It would be good if Ji now cares about this. Unfortunately, Ji now doesn't care about this. But then again, Ye Chen came to Luoyang for this third grade Ping Bei general, right? I just want to know how Ye Chen got this third grade Ping Bei general. I really want to know, CAO, when you become an official, you can be infinitely violent. If you lead a soldier out, you are not afraid of being labeled an anti thief. Unlimited fart, you just want to be an official and just violent soldiers? Mentally handicapped, that is also limited. Ye Chen. I'm Triple X, now officially inform you, come to Luoyang Yuela in to find me, if you don't come, you will be at your own risk. Ye Chen, the Tyrant League sincerely invites you to join, and the position of the leader is vacant. As long as you are willing to come, what you want, yes, the game warehouse knows whether, as long as you are willing to come, the game warehouse of the Tyrant League is you that's it. Blood Romance invites Brother Ye Chen to join us. We have all kinds of flowers, models, stars, and everything in this school. As long as Brother Ye Chen is willing to come, you will be our boss. The Iron Blooded Heroes group sincerely invites Brother Ye Chen to join, as long as you are willing to come, you can talk about anything. 
the world channel is unpopular, some pretending to be Ye Chen's relatives, some envy and hate, some who try their best to win over regardless of loss, and more, but they threaten Ye Chen overtly and secretly. Because Ye Chen's body is still in the real world, it is inevitable to be discovered in the real world. And this is exactly how some forces directly threatened Ye Chen's confidence. However, these forces did not know that Ye Chen was not built by Zhi Nao Pangu at all, and only had a three-month time limit as a safe city. Yang, the Imperial Palace After Ye Chen heard the system prompt, his eyes suddenly opened. Damn it! Positive third product. Where did Ye Chen think that Lu Hung Feng's official was not General Jinwei or General Jinwei as mentioned before? It's a third rank positive, General Ping Bei. For the third rank, there is an upper limit of leading troops, the number is 300,000. But for Ye Chen, it was enough. Moreover, with this official position, Ye Chen was in Yu's Hu and he didn't have to worry about Gong Sun Zan, who had not yet risen. Originally, Ye Chen planned to give Gong Sun Zan a hand, but now it is fine. Even if Gong Sun Zan succeeds in countering the rebellion according to history, the official worship of Zhonglang will not affect Ye Chen in the slightest. Because that is the fourth rank Zhonglang general, even the fourth rank miscellaneous general cannot match. Let alone compare with Ye Chen, the third grade Ping Bei general. General Ping Bei, don't thank you. Zhang Rang looked at Ye Chen with bright eyes, and shouted with a smile on his face. Chen, General Ping Bei, Ye Chen, Your Majesty Xie gave a reward, long live my emperor, long live, long live. Ye Chen returned to his senses and hurriedly bowed to Lu Hong extremely excited. General Ping Bei, Yuz Hu, I will leave it to you, you must remember, you must punish me for rebellion. I give you the power to act cheaply. Lu Hong laughed, and then said. Lu Hong was very satisfied with Ye Chen's excitement. Originally, Lu Hong intended to give Ye Chen a fourth grade miscellaneous general. However, after being caught by he, Lu Hong was also angry, and he was extremely satisfied with the treasures that Ye Chen sent, so he directly gave Ye Chen General Ping Bei of Chen Zheng third product. Ye Chen's eyes lit up when he heard this. Acting cheaply, this is not a big reward, but for Ye Chen, the gold content of this thing is 10%. With this, Ye Chen could send troops at will, without discussing with anyone, as long as he fought the banner of rebellion. Thinking of this, Ye Chen hurriedly bowed and said, Why can abides by the decree? Okay. I'll give you three months, be sure to catch the Yuzhu who rebels all at once. Lu Hong nodded in satisfaction, and then said, as soon as Lu Hong's words fell, the civil and military forces of the Manchu dynasty were taken aback, and then there was something unusual in the eyes of Ye Chen. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen naturally noticed the strange look in Manchu Wen Yu's eyes, and they didn't need to guess what they wanted Ye Chen to guess. It is impossible to put down the rebellion in three months. Of course, this is the idea of the Manchu civil and military. But for Ye Chen, quelling the rebellion is very simple. Ye Chen is not a native of this world, but a player, a reborn player. At this moment, there are nearly 50,000 soldiers, among which there is the only special army that can advance infinitely, the Reincarnation Army. To war horses, there are war horses. To military commanders, there is a super-class historical military commander Diane Wei. To be a military advisor, there is a superb historical minister, Guo Jiri. More importantly, in the town of Samsara, there is also a 15,000 giant crossbow, siege the city and plunder the land, this thing is more powerful than the catapult. Even without this, Ye Chen would still have a way to conquer the city and land and smooth out the rebellion. Three months, enough time. This is also a restriction to obtain General Ping Bei. If Ye Chen fails to complete it, the official position will be taken back, and he may be punished or even sent to prison for guilt. Ye Chen knew this, but Ye Chen was not afraid. 
according to the purpose. Ye Chen nodded solemnly, then bowed in response. Okay. As expected, I didn't misunderstand you. Lu Hong couldn't help laughing when he saw Ye Chen didn't say anything about the conditions. Your Majesty, the Wiccan still has to put down the rebellion. Time is running out, so the Wiccan retires. Ye Chen bowed again, and then spoke. Go, General Ping Bei, remember, in three months, I want to hear the news. Lu Hong nodded, and then spoke. Zhang Rang, standing next to Lu Hong, had a tangled look at this moment. He originally thought he could win over a member of the generals, but now it seems that this time he is likely to lift a rock and hit him in the foot. Three months, unless the gods come, how can the rebellion be smoothed out in such a short period of time? Ye Chen naturally saw Zhang Rang's entangled expression, but Ye Chen didn't say anything. For Zhang Rang, the eunuch, especially above the court, he couldn't even make eye contact. Otherwise, everything that Ye Chen did before will be wasted if someone sees it. Thinking of this, Ye Chen bowed to Lu Hong, and then said, Why can retire? After Ye Chen finished speaking, he walked out of the hall. At this moment of Manchu civil and martial arts, one by one shook their heads helplessly. At this moment, even those historical generals, such as El Yuji, were not optimistic about Ye Chen. Putting down the rebellion in Yuzhu in three months is hard to beat. Wo Yang, Yuela In. The streets are crowded with people, leaders of various small forces, and countless players who are curious to watch the excitement. After all, an auction is about to be held here, and the auction is a king-level technique, as well as mysterious-level weapons. At this moment, the power holders of the major forces sat in the hall one by one, quietly waiting for the NPC of Tianzijia No. 1 to come out for auction. It's just that the conversation on this topic is surprisingly consistent. The content is impressively Ye Chen. I don't know where Ye Chen is now. No one has seen him. Even if he comes face to face, he may not be able to recognize him. Don't take Ye Chen's idea, Ye Chen, our Yan Huang base wants it. Cut, are you still playing the breeze with your previous identity? Tell you, don't even think about it, in this world, whoever has the big fist can speak. Just when the leaders of these forces spoke a word to me, a cry of exclamation sounded. It's that NPC. Why did he come back from outside? As soon as these words fell, everyone looked at Ye Chen, and then one by one stepped aside to let Ye Chen pass. Ye Chen ignored all his eyes, walked straight to the counter of Yuela In, threw a gold coin to Xiao er, and borrowed the counter. Before the auction, I want to ask, do you have any elixir to sell? Ye Chen glanced at the player leaders in the lobby, and then asked outside the door. Elixir? I have one when I arrive, how much do you receive? Let's talk about it first, don't sell it if you don't, this is what I finally piled up with human lives. One person looked at Ye Chen and asked. Start with 100,000 gold, depending on your elixir, and then calculate the price. Ye Chen's eyes lit up, and then he said. Okay, look, how much is this elixir worth? 200,000 gold. Ye Chen glanced at it, and then said. Okay. I sold it to you. After the man said, he squeezed away from the crowd, went to the store, and handed the elixir. Ye Chen took it casually, and then took Hu's twenty purple gold coins and put them on the table. The man's eyes lit up, and then he took twenty purple gold coins into his hand. He is the leader of a small force, and this elixir was also obtained by accident. He can earn 200,000 gold in vain, so he is naturally happy. Ye Chen was lazy about how he got the elixir. After people discovered the benefits of the elixir, the price would soar. This is the elixir that Ye Chen offered for 200,000 gold, and soon it will rise to 20 million gold. Fuck. A panacea is worth 200,000? This Nima is rich. I regret it so much. I saw a herbal medicine on a cliff before. It must be a panacea. 
I have one, what's the value? One person squeezed the crowd, came to Ye Chen, took out a potion and gave it to Ye Chen. After Ye Chen took it, he took a look and said, 500,000 gold. After Ye Chen finished speaking, he took out 50 purple gold coins and put them on the counter. I... I have this too. One person said with bright eyes, then rushed to the store, then took out the elixir and handed it to Ye Chen. One million gold. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, and then spoke. After speaking, he took out a hundred purple gold coins and put them on the counter. I have it. I have this too. The onlookers were immediately stimulated one by one, and one by one they sold the elixir in their hands to Ye Chen. Ye Chen didn't refuse to come, until after spending twenty million gold, no one said anything, Ye Chen stopped the purchase. The harvest is not much, only thirty-two plants, but the value hidden in this far exceeds one billion gold. Moreover, these thirty-two elixir are enough to help Ye Chen break through the king rank and advance to the royal rank. And this is exactly the purpose of Ye Chen's acquisition of the elixir, to quickly increase his force. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. This gentleman, I want to ask you a question next, I don't know if it's okay. When Ye Chen was about to auction the two pieces of rubbish, it suddenly sounded. Ye Chen frowned, then looked at the speaker. A middle-aged man, wearing a brocade robe, with an upturned crown, at first glance thought he was an aboriginal of this world. But the aura that exudes from him is completely different from the natives of this world. This is a person who wants to pretend to be an aboriginal so as to integrate into the aboriginal of this world. His idea is very good, but unfortunately, it is doomed to paint a tiger and become an anti-dog. The natives of this world, for the player, it is a clear sight. It's useless to pretend to look like it. Moreover, even players who are considered owners by the natives of this world cannot get any preferential treatment. What to do, what to do, I want to get a task, or to listen to the news, the final result, there is only one, in vain. Of course, no matter how much he looks like, he doesn't look like Ye Chen's outfit. Otherwise, Ye Chen wouldn't be regarded as an NPC by them until now. Of course, if Ye Chen hadn't advanced innate, he would be seen by others. Because what Ye Chen showed up like that was a position. No one in this world has any money left. However, after advanced innate, Ye Chen's hair grew longer. Thinking of this, Ye Chen asked blankly, What do you want to ask? I want to know, Mr., why did you buy the elixir? Can you tell? If your husband is willing to tell me, I must thank you. The middle-aged man learned from the ancients, arching his hands, and then said. As soon as the middle-aged man's words landed, all the players looked at Ye Chen, looking forward to it. They all wanted to know why Ye Chen, an NPC, wanted to buy the elixir. As for those who sold Ye Chen's spiritual medicine, they suddenly felt deceived, but no one spoke, they were all waiting for Ye Chen's answer. Cook and eat. Ye Chen glanced at the middle-aged man, then said lightly. Ye Chen naturally lied. How could Ye Chen tell others what the elixir was used for? But there may be a panacea on the market. Of course, these elixir are all hanged up by the player. Sir, are you entertaining? The middle-aged man frowned, and then asked. Ye Chen didn't answer the middle-aged man, didn't even look at it, and said directly, now the auction will begin. The leaders of the various forces in the lobby of the Uela Inn heard this, and their spirits came instantaneously. Although they are curious about what the elixir is for, they also want to know the secret of the elixir. But the items auctioned this time are more important to them. Especially that king-level exercise technique, many rich and rich, many generals, commanders and the like, all want it. Because of the king-level exercises, you can break through the acquired, advance to the innate, and become a king-level general. And the strength in the game can be transformed into reality, and this alone stimulates everyone. 
therefore, they value the king level exercises more. As for weapons, they are not that important, at least they are not so attractive compared to the Wang level exercises. Ye Chen glanced at the leaders of the various forces in the hall, and then said, Before the auction, I need to tell you one thing. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, all the power leaders, as well as the players watching the excitement on the street, were stunned. They didn't know what Ye Chen was going to tell them, and they said so solemnly. At the moment when everyone was watching, Ye Chen said, the weapons and techniques of this auction all have the word true. Do you know the meaning of the word true? The leaders of the major forces in the hall were stunned when they heard this. Naturally, they don't know what the true word equipment represents. Therefore, they were all at a loss, but soon they showed painful expressions one by one. At this time, the players on the street shouted one by one. They can't offend the NPC no matter what, because they don't have the money to participate in the auction, and they are here to watch. Damn! This NPC is too torturous, just say no, and sell it. What's the use of the word true? Wouldn't it be an extra word? Who knows so much, but I feel that this true word equipment will not be that simple. Seeing that Guanzi was almost sold, Ye Chen said. True equipment is a special item. Not only can it be used in this world, it can also be used in your world, such as weapons. If you have a true weapon in your world, if you want to use it, just wave your hand. Come. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, whether it was in the lobby of Yuela Inn or the street outside, it instantly became quiet. Players, look at me and I look at you, all stunned and shocked. It's weird not to be shocked. No one has discovered this secret yet. Sir. You mean, the items you want to auction are all items with the word true? A player leader hurriedly asked at this moment. Ye Chen nodded, and then said, you already know the secret of the true equipment, so let's start the auction of the first item. When Ye Chen said this, with a move with his right hand, the thunder spear instantly appeared in Ye Chen's hand. Thunder spear, sharpness 80, 30% speed increase, 30% strength. With skills, thunder strike. When Ye Chen said this, he glanced at the player leaders in the lobby, and then said, Thunder strike it can be excited instantly. After being excited, it summons a thunder and lightning out of thin air to attack the enemy. Starting price, 10 purple gold coins. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the scene was quiet. After a few breaths, the player leaders began to breathe more severely one by one, and their gazes at the thunder gun began to become eager. 100 purple gold coins. I want it. I want your sister. 200 purple gold coins. 300 purple gold coins. 350 purple gold coins. The leaders of the various player forces began to bid wildly for thunder guns. The reason is very simple. The thunder spear is a weapon with the word true, and it's a mysterious rank. More importantly, the attributes of thunder gun is too powerful. Increase the user's speed by 30%, power by 30%, and additional skills, Thunder Strike. If this is with Thunder Spear, the actual strength increase is not a little bit. For the leaders of these player forces, the stronger they are, the more they can protect their own safety and protect their own interests. Therefore, the leaders of various player forces began to fiercely bid for Thunder Gun. No one wants to be strong, no one wants to be awesome. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, Please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. 2000 purple gold coins. A roar came, and the lobby of Uela Inn was silent for an instant. After the shouter finished shouting, he couldn't help but curl up when he saw that no one in the hall was talking anymore. 2000 Zijin coins are converted into 20 million gold, and the credit points are 20 million. If you have money, you have to consider whether it is worth spending 20 million. Obviously, this man who had worked for 2,000 Zijin coins thought that his offer shocked others, otherwise he would not smile. 
and this is also his usual trick when he participated in auctions. And it's time-tested, because of his identity, but also because of his ambition and courage. At this moment, a voice of disdain came. Three thousand purple gold coins. Grass. Who are you? Do you know who I am? The young man shouting for two thousand purple gold coins suddenly furious. Oh, isn't this Huang Xiao, how good is the director? He replied ridiculously, from the young man who offered three thousand purple gold coins. L. Yu San, it turns out it's you. Do you or the others want to fight with me? Huang Xiao shouted with an angry expression on his face. Why not? Fool, do you think it was before? Even if your father has ten thousand men, how can you drop, you are awesome, you bring people to me, dare you to come, I call your father, you don't if you dare to come, just call my father, how about? L. Yu San Yi asked with disdain. You. You. Huang Xiao was choked instantly. The world has changed dramatically, the land has become a primeval forest, and there are ferocious beasts everywhere and some are beyond people's cognition. Not only are they huge, they are also extremely ferocious, and some even grow scales comparable to steel. There is no shortage of dead people in every safe zone, who want to see the outside world, and even want to hunt. However, these people who went out were ruthlessly torn to pieces, and then there was no scum left. After that, the former soldiers, the police also began to try to explore and explore the outside world, because of research, because of orders. There are any reasons, but the results are consistent. They also left the safe zone to perform various tasks. However, the result remains the same. Soon, people discovered this frightening fact for everyone. Human cold weapons, such as crossbow arrows, simple iron guns, or sharp alloy knives, have no effect at all against the beasts outside. In most cases, the skin can only be broken, and the meat can't get in at all. What's more terrifying is that there are some special existences that can't even break the skin. Because of this, people are more and more frightened and afraid of the world outside the safe zone. And this is also the root cause of Huang Xiao's choking. He is very powerful, no matter how many people he has, he can only play tricks in the safe area where he is located, and dare not leave the safe area at all. The leaders of the various forces in the hall looked at Huang Xiao weirdly one by one, the look in those eyes seemed to be looking at an idiot. Huang Xiao was immediately irritated, and he had never been seen so much. However, at this time, the bidding began to become fierce again. 3,100 purple gold coins 3,200 purple gold coins. 5,000 purple gold coins. 10,000 purple gold coins. A person shouted in a deep voice. 20,000 purple gold coins. You guys are selling my face, if you have something in the future, Feng will do your best to help. The middle-aged man who asked about Ye Shenling's medicinal use before said calmly. He had been silent for a long time before never bidding, but now he came up with a high price. Because of his intuition, the weapons that can be recruited in this reality are not simple. He even suspected that with this weapon, it could easily cause harm to the beasts outside. And this is why he offered a very high price when he came up. The outside world is really terrifying. There is nothing that can cause harm to the beasts, and no one knows it. The leader of the player forces in the lobby of Uela in, look at me, I look at you, and then all shut up and stopped bidding. In their opinion, a mysterious weapon, the price of which has reached 20,000 purple gold coins, has already come to an end, and there is no need to fight. Even if the fight came over, it would cost more money, and also offended the middle-aged man surnamed Feng. The gain was not worth the loss. Players watching the excitement on the street, after hearing the offer of 20,000 Zijin coins, they all were taken aback, and then they were in an uproar. Fuck. 20,000 purple gold coins, this is 200 million credit points a piece of equipment, even Xian rank is not worth so much, right? 
Yeah, this is too exaggerated, and it's not that you will become Superman if you hold it. The rich are the rich, right? How come I don't have any money? Listening to the discussion outside, Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, then looked at the leaders of the major forces in the hall, and said lightly. Seeing that everyone still has some doubts about the true equipment, then I will tell you a secret that I haven't told you before. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell to the ground, the leaders of the players' forces were taken aback, and then looked at Ye Chen strangely. Nima, who is wondering, no one is wondering at all, you said it yourself. This is the heart of the player leaders, of course, no one will say it, nor dare to say it. Because the king level exercises have not yet been auctioned, and because they really want to know another secret of the true word equipment. At this moment, Ye Chen picked up the thunder spear, flicked his fingers, and a crisp sound of dang immediately sounded. Sharpness, I talked about it before, do you know what this sharpness means? Ye Chen's question raised the curiosity of the leaders of various player forces, and even the onlookers on the street calmed down. Ye Chen glanced at the players, and then continued. If you have sharpness, you can break the defense. Whether it is a beast or a beast, if the sharpness exceeds 50, you can break the defense of the beast. I mean those in your world. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, all the players gasped. Because the information contained in Ye Chen's words is too great. Quiet, very quiet, whether it is Yuela in or the street, it is terribly quiet. No one spoke at this moment. It took a long time before there was a leader of the player power who asked respectfully. Sir, dare you to ask whether the monster beast you mentioned refers to the monster race? Ye Chen nodded, and said faintly, exactly. There is nothing to conceal, at most, the whole world will confirm the existence of the monster race in another half a month. And now, some people have confirmed the existence of Yeazu. However, because of selfishness, because of interests, he did not disclose this to the public. Hiss. The sound of air conditioning pours up and down instantly. This news is shocking. Isn't it shocking, Nima, the legendary monster race actually appeared, especially in the real world. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Fuck. I suddenly remembered one thing, those three brain deads, who claim to be a god dog too, what kind of grandpa pig, grandma cat, aren't they the demon clan, right? Nima, it's really possible that they can all speak in the world, what kind of existence is that? It should be a monster. Fuck. I scolded them severely that day. Isn't it said that after the founding of the People's Republic of China, Animals are not allowed to become spirits? Because Mao now has so many fairies. Players on the street, you and me, the content is without exception, it is all about the monster race. Yuela In. The leaders of the various player forces, look at me, I look at you, they all see the inevitable look in each other's eyes. Humph. A uniform cold snort came from their mouths. Next second. 30,000 purple gold coins. 50,000 purple gold coins. 51,000 purple gold coins. 52,000 purple gold coins. 100,000 purple gold coins. The middle-aged man named Feng suddenly stood up and shouted angrily. He, who has always pretended to be restrained, can't help it anymore at this moment. He hated these people who snatched weapons from him, of course. He hated Ye Chen even more. Nima, it's a good secret. It's okay if you keep it hidden, but you have to tell it. Now it's okay. Come and grab it with him. He hated it in his heart, but he really didn't dare to say it, nor dared to stare at Ye Chen. He could only vent his anger on the leaders of the players. Fuck. One billion credits. Nima, at this price, it sounds really exciting. Yes, I could only watch it on TV before, but now I see it with my own eyes. The onlookers on the street were discussing, 
but the leaders in the ULA in frowned. They are calculating gains and losses, should they continue to fight. When the tea time passed, these leaders all shut up and stopped bidding. When Ye Chen saw this, the corner of his mouth curled up, and then he said. Thunder Spear, 100,000 purple gold coins for the first time. The leaders of the major players continued to be silent, and the middle-aged man surnamed Feng began to breathe harder. The Thunder Spear, the only Xian level weapon with the word true, the second time with 100,000 purple gold coins. Several player power leaders began to struggle, and the middle-aged man surnamed Feng clenched his fists. Thunder Spear Ye Chen just said here, a player power leader stood up and shouted. 100,000 100 purple gold coins. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, and then looked at the middle-aged man named Feng. 200,000 purple gold coins. The middle-aged man surnamed Feng roared with an iron face. Okay, Lao Feng, you are awesome, let it go to you. The leader of the player power who shouted before said slyly. You. You. You bastard. I can't spare you. The middle-aged man surnamed Feng roared with anger. Old Feng, why can't you forgive me? Take that thunder gun, come to me and find me. Don't tease, do you have the guts? I, I. At the moment the man surnamed Feng, his body began to tremble. Obviously, he is not light when he is angry. Ye Chen curled his lips, then said. Thunder Spear, 200,000 purple gold coins for the first time. No one spoke. Thunder Spear, 200,000 purple gold coins for the second time. Still no one spoke. Thunder Spear. 200,000 purple gold coins for the third time. When Ye Chen said this, he immediately looked at the middle-aged man surnamed Feng. The middle-aged man surnamed Feng took a deep breath, and after a long spit out, he came to the counter, waved his hand, and two large boxes appeared on the counter. Ye Chen took a look, grabbed his right hand, and the two boxes disappeared instantly. Taking a look at the 200,000 purple gold coins added in his package, Ye Chen nodded, and then handed the thunder gun to the middle-aged man surnamed Feng. After the middle-aged man surnamed Feng took it over, he directly chose to bind, and after taking the thunder gun back into his body, the man surnamed Feng looked at Ye Chen and said hoarsely. Sir, please wait a moment, these are counted as apologizes. After he finished speaking, he took out 10,000 purple gold coins, put them on the counter, and then chose to go offline. Ye Chen put away the 10,000 purple gold coins, then closed his eyes and said nothing. Sir, hurry up and auction the king level exercises, right? At this moment, a player leader said respectfully. Yes, sir, hurry up and auction, we still have things to do. Don't worry. The price will satisfy you. Come on, sir, as long as you shoot now, we alone will give you 1,000 purple gold coins. How about? In Ula In, the leaders of the major player forces opened their mouths one by one to persuade Ye Chen to continue the auction. Unfortunately, Ye Chen Li ignored it. What a joke! How could Ye Chen start the auction without waiting for the man surnamed Feng? With him, the auction of Wang level exercises will be more intense. This guy has been stimulated by the leaders of other player forces, especially the person who deliberately raised the price just now. After a person loses his composure, he will often get angry and even make stupid decisions. And this, for Ye Chen, the more the better. The more, the more Ye Chen earns. The first true mysterious weapon sold in the previous life was nothing more than 10,000 purple gold coins. Ye Chen's current selling price is 200,000 purple gold coins. Only Ye Chen himself knew about the huge profits, so Ye Chen was very happy at the moment. Of course, this is also related to the secrets of the true equipment that the players just learned. But this was also what Ye Chen did deliberately, so Ye Chen made a big profit. Of course, rich people rarely lose their minds, but Ye Chen believes in one thing more firmly. That is, 
after a middle-aged man surnamed Feng goes off the assembly line to test the thundering gun, he will change more than anyone wants the king level exercise, the shaking mountain art. Because the king level exercises, the shaking mountain Jew, also carry the word true. After learning the shaking mountain Jew, in reality, you can also practice. To put it simply, shaking mountain Jew is a practice that can be used in reality. This is much more practical than just using fists or weapons. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. A little bit of time passed, and the leaders of the various player forces gave up the move to continue to persuade Ye Chen. Because they found that Ye Chen, an NPC, was shrewd like a ghost and was not easy to fool. Nima, the price has been raised to 10,000 purple gold coins per person, and Ye Chen, the damn NPC, still doesn't start auctioning the king level exercises. Three minutes later, a middle aged man surnamed Feng suddenly appeared in Yuela Inn. When he went online again, he changed the anger and surprise on his face. Obviously, he tried the thunder gun, and the effect was surprisingly good, beyond his expectations. Sir, be careful, it's disrespectful. The middle-aged man surnamed Feng said here, and again took out 10,000 purple gold coins, and put them on the counter without hesitation. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows and took away the 10,000 purple gold coins. Then he looked at the leader of the various players in the lobby of the Yuela Inn, and said faintly. Now the last item will be auctioned. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, a group of player power leaders gathered their spirits together. This king level technique was their most valued item. This is related to breaking through the barrier of realm, advanced innate, no one does not value it. At this moment, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, and the shaking mountain Jew appeared in his hand immediately. I said earlier about the characteristics of items with the word Zheng, and this shaking mountain Jew is also an item with the word Zheng. As soon as Ye Chen's words landed, an exclamation was instantly evoked. Fuck, what does this NPC mean, does it bring the word true to reality and then use it? It must be the case, Nima. He didn't say before, that true items can be brought to reality, and the exercises are used to practice, and they can definitely be used in reality. Damn. It doesn't mean that after learning this king level exercise, it will become even more awesome in reality. It must be so. Nima, I also want a king level exercise with the word true dot. Why, why doesn't I have any money? The players on the street looked at the shaking mountain art in Ye Chen's hands with red eyes, with a look of eagerness. If it weren't for the city, they would have started to it. In Yuela Inn, the leaders of the various player forces in the lobby, at this moment, without exception, all looked at Ye Chen's shaking mountain art with bright eyes. Sir, I want to confirm one thing next, is this true word technique really usable in our world? A player power leader tried to stabilize his excited emotions, then looked at Ye Chen and asked. Tao. As soon as his words fell, everyone was quiet. At this moment, they wanted to hear the exact answer from the NPC, Ye Chen. Before, they were all speculations, although subconsciously thought that the facts were like that. But now, everyone wants to hear accurate answers. Ye Chen smiled slightly then nodded, and said, yes, the true technique can also be used in your world. Wow. The players boiled instantly. Fuck. Fuck. So, no matter the level of the skill, you can use it in reality with the word true. Why didn't I type the true technique for something special? Ye Chen listened to the fierce discussion of the players, his mouth curled up, then looked at the leaders of the player forces in the lobby, and said. Shaking the mountain Jew, after using it, you can condense the innate true chi and advance to the innate realm. Features, enhance physical strength, divided into nine layers, each layer enhances the strength by 10%. Ye Chen stopped for a moment when he said this, and then continued. Now start bidding, starting at 100,000 purple gold coins. 
The price that Ye Chen said was actually the price of the first true king level exercise in the previous life. Ye Chen was not worried about not being sold. In order to maximize the price of the item, Ye Chen told the secret of the true item a few days in advance. In this way, it gave these player power leaders a good excitement. Wang level exercises are related to advanced innate. Not to mention, the true word technique can still be used in the real world. Adding the two together, it's weird if they don't buy it. 200,000 purple gold coins. One person shouted without hesitation. 300,000 purple gold coins. 310,000 purple gold coins. 320,000 purple gold coins. The leaders of various player forces competed to bid, one by one called crazy. At this moment, the man named Feng Zongni who had been waiting for a long time said without hesitation. One million purple gold coins. As soon as his words fell, the faces of the other player power leaders changed in unison. The surnamed Feng, are you or him afraid of being ugly to die? The person who used the man surnamed Feng before said with a gloomy expression. If you have money, just bid. If you don't have money, don't pretend to be here. Understand. The man surnamed Feng gave the man a cold look, and then said. You or him, wait for Lao Tzu. In reality, Lao Tzu can't help it. In the game, don't think about it. Wait for Lao Tzu to go back and order your soldiers and horses. You must take down your territory and level your broken village. The man roared with a grim look. I'll wait for you. The man surnamed Feng said coldly. Ye Chen took a faint glance at the top two men, what would happen to them, even if they died together, even if they died in reality, Ye Chen didn't care. Boom boom Ye Chen knocked on the counter, then looked at the leader of the player power in the lobby, and asked, are there any bidders? As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the hall instantly became quiet. Quiet, very quiet. The leaders of the player forces present clenched their fists, and no one spoke. Obviously, the price of one million purple gold coins offered by the man surnamed Feng seriously exceeded their budget. But they really want to shake the mountain tactics. All of a sudden, all fell into a dilemma. Yes, pay more money. Don't do it, the shaking mountain art that you can get at a glance, just flew to other people's pockets. Ye Chen waited for a moment, raised his eyebrows, and then said. Shaking Mountain Jew, the first time for one million purple gold coins. No one answered. Shaking the Mountain Jew, the second time with one million purple gold coins. Still no one answered, but the player power leaders present became increasingly ugly. Shaking Mountain Jew, the third time with one million purple gold coins. Ye Chen said here, looking at the man surnamed Feng. Sir, I'll pay the money right away. The man surnamed Feng was happy when he arrived, and went straight to the counter after speaking, and took out the purple gold coins box by box. The corner of Ye Chen's mouth curled up, and then he began to collect boxes of purple gold coins. After receiving the ten boxes of purple gold coins, Ye Chen glanced at the one million purple gold coins added in the package and nodded in satisfaction. At this moment, Ye Chen felt very happy. A temporary decision to auction off garbage has now brought Ye Chen a huge amount of wealth. Ye Chen's net worth instantly surpassed 10 billion credit points reaching 12.2 billion. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it. The most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. With this money, you can buy those precious materials. It is not difficult to build the Tongjack Terrace. Thinking of this, Ye Chen felt more comfortable, and then handed the Shaking Mountain Jew to the man surnamed Feng. After the man surnamed Feng took over, he chose to study without hesitation. A beam of light rose instantly, and then flew towards the head of the man surnamed Feng. A few seconds later, the man surnamed Feng opened his eyes violently, then leaned back and laughed wildly, ha ha ha, as expected, there is a clear method of cultivation. As soon as his words fell, 
the eyes of all the players watching the excitement on the street became redder. Nima, it's true, there is a clear cultivation method, and it can definitely be used in reality. Damn. It's better to learn so fast for Mao, so it's better to learn slowly, so that I have a chance to blow him up. Nima, you don't look at his identity, you dare to explode him, you are not afraid of being chased to level zero. I'm afraid of Mao, if I get a Wang level martial arts and be chased down to level zero, he will be awesome. Fool, I haven't seen anyone learn it. The players on the street were jealous, but unfortunately, there was no way to be jealous. The man named Feng used the shaking mountain art on the spot. Yuela in, in the lobby. Call. Call. A series of exhalations sounded, and the leaders of the major player forces returned to normal at this time. The matter is a foregone conclusion, and it is useless to think about it again. No one thought that a man surnamed Feng would be willing to spend such a large price on Wang level exercises and mysterious level weapons. The auction was over, Ye Chen would naturally not stay here, and went straight to the second floor. Sir, please stay. A shout came over at this moment. Ye Chen stopped and turned to look, but it was a young man. I have always had a question, please clarify. The young man saw that Ye Chen had stopped, and said immediately. One question, Ten Elixir. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows before speaking. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the young man's face suddenly changed. Ye Chen curled his mouth in disdain and then went upstairs again. I want to ask a question too. A middle-aged man with a majestic face suddenly said. After speaking, he took out ten elixir and gestured to Ye Chen. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, then unceremoniously walked to the middle-aged man and took away the ten elixir. In our world, it is impossible for people in this world to know the specific situation, but the husband knows, if I guess correctly, the husband is the player. The middle-aged man stared at Ye Chen's eyes tightly before passing a moment. Yes, then I asked. As soon as the middle-aged man's words fell, the leaders of the surrounding player forces, some people quietly waited for the answer. Others were taken aback for a while, and then suddenly realized. Although the NPC in this world knows that the player is from another world, they don't know the specific situation of the player's world. When I thought of this, the leaders of the player forces who had just reacted, without exception, changed their faces. Nima, with Lao Tzu, this is being tricked by someone as a monkey. Ye Chen gave the middle-aged man a playful look, and then said, I am Ye Chen. Ye Chen didn't intend to keep hiding anything. The reason is very simple, although Ye Chen pretends to resemble the natives of this world. But Ye Chen was not at all, so there were a lot of flaws. As long as someone was a little more careful, he could discover what was wrong with Ye Chen. It was already obvious that the middle-aged man asked Ye Chen so, he had already confirmed that Ye Chen was the player. I didn't ask before because there is still an auction. Now that the auction is over, it is impossible for him not to ask. When he asked if Ye Chen was a player, he actually suspected that Ye Chen was the legendary great god. Only the one in the legend can get the king level exercises and mysterious level weapons that no one else currently has. Only the great god knows many secrets that others don't know. Ye Chen naturally saw what the middle-aged man was thinking. As for continuing to hide? This is completely unnecessary. It's no big deal to admit it generously. Ye Chen continued to pretend to be crazy and behave stupidly, but it was obvious that Ye Chen had no confidence. What? Are you really Ye Chen? The middle-aged man was taken aback for a moment, and then asked in surprise. Although he had guessed Ye Chen's identity, he still couldn't confirm it. Originally, he thought Ye Chen would deny it, and then he prepared a set of rhetoric specifically, ready to continue to follow Ye Chen's words. But whoever came to think, Nima, Ye Chen didn't mean to hide it at all, and admitted it generously. This is a bit beyond his expectations. Well, you heard that right, I am Ye Chen. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, and then said. 
As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, the onlookers who had not left on the street were in an uproar. I wipe. I said how could there be an NPC that actively auctions equipment, I was wondering before, Nima, it turns out that the NPC is the great god Ye Chen. Damn. I came to Luoyang for a day just to see the great god Ye Chen. I didn't expect that I was kept in the dark all the time. The great is the great god, look, when the boss of Ye Chen makes a move, he will casually use the king level technique, the mysterious level weapons, and they are all items with the word true. Boss Ye Chen. Will you take a little brother? I am willing to be your little brother. Boss Ye Chen. I am your fan, sign me. Also, I can do anything. Just as a group of onlookers yelled in excitement, a discordant voice came over. Damn, Ye Chen, you are finally willing to come out. Now, while everyone is here, you can explain to us why we are hiding the secret of the game and not telling the secret. As soon as this person's words fell, the players who were still discussing intensely, quieted down one by one. Ye Chen turned his head to look, and the moment he saw the person who was calling, Ye Chen narrowed his eyes, and then asked, Are you a fool? The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. What are you scolding me? The fierce-looking man's face changed suddenly, and then he asked in a deep voice. Obviously, do you want me to say it again? Ye Chen shook his head helplessly, and then said, you or him have a kind. You'd better not come out in Luoyang, otherwise, I will let you know that people who pretend to be forced in the sky will be beaten as stupid. The fierce-looking man looked at him with a grim look. Ye Chen glanced, then shouted. When Ye Chen heard this, his eyes narrowed, and a strong murderous intent appeared instantly. At this moment, a beating came. You guys are pretending to be forced here, hurry up and get out of me. I saw a young man walking out with a domineering look, and he stomped at the fierce-looking man and kicked it fiercely. The fierce-looking man fell into a dog eating instantly. It's... He lay on the ground, but instantly got up, roared angrily, and his pupils shrank sharply when he was halfway through the conversation. Lu. Xiao Lu, it's, it's you. The fierce-looking man was shocked when he saw the young man's appearance, and then he stammered. Lu Xiao scolded the fierce-looking man with a disdainful face. Get out. Don't look at who this is. You and he are guilty of eating Xiang Xin Baozai, dare to trouble Ye Chen? Give you ten minutes, get out of Wo Yang, don't tell me to see you again, if you do, go to death, you know which world I'm talking about. I, I'll go. The fierce-looking man said here turned around and got into the crowd, and then left here. Ye Chen, it's better to meet after a long time. Let me introduce you. I'm Lu. Xiao Lu looked at Ye Chen at this time and said eagerly. It's just that Ye Chen interrupted him before he finished speaking. It's over. Ye Chen glanced at Lu Xiao and asked faintly. As soon as Ye Chen's words fell, Lu Xiao's face suddenly stiffened, and then he smiled and asked. Ye Chen, why can't I understand what you are saying? I've seen a sentence, do you want to know what it is? Ye Chen smiled playfully, and then asked. What is it? Lu Xiao tried to put on a smiling face, and then asked. Never argue with a pure idiot, because he will bring your IQ to the same level as him, and then use his years of experience as a idiot to defeat you. Ye Chen finished calmly, not looking at this Lu Xiao turned around and walked towards the second floor of the inn. Lu Xiao looked at Ye Chen's back, his face was red and blue, which was ugly. Fuck. I didn't react until now, Nima, that idiot just jumped out to act. Sure, didn't you hear what Ye Chen said? Don't argue with a pure idiot. People Ye Chen said bluntly. He still doesn't admit it after the performance. Ha ha ha, laughed to death. It turns out that this kid wanted to be close to the Ye Chen. No way, he wanted to make the Ye Chen moved, even grateful, 
and then asked the Ye Chen to follow him. Nima, this routine is really slippery. This method is very insidious, but the great Ye Chen is too awesome, he can tell at a glance, and then someone becomes a fool. Nima, I have to say, I was cheated just now, that idiot acted too real. The crowd's onlookers, what you said is a lively event. Ye Chen. Wait for you or him. Lu Xiao listened to the introductory voices of the players around him, his expression increasingly ugly, and then shouted at Ye Chen with a grim look. Ye Chen stopped, raised his right hand without looking back, then made a fist, and then raised a middle finger. Puff, ha ha ha. Nima, I'm so laughing. The crowd's onlookers burst into laughter one by one. Grass. Lu Xiao couldn't stay any longer and he cursed fiercely, then turned and left. Yuela in. Ye Chen, since you are here, now, I will tell you one thing. A leader of the player power said at this moment. Notice. Ye Chen curled his lips in disdain, and continued to go upstairs. Ye Chen. The leader of the ignored player power suddenly changed his face, and then shouted angrily. However, Ye Shen Li ignored him and continued to go upstairs. Ye Chen. You are so brave. Stop for me. Angrily came again. However, Ye Chen still didn't stop, going upstairs step by step. However, halfway through, he gave the leader of the player's power a gorgeous without looking back. It's him. The leader of the player's power had a stiff face, and then shouted angrily. Comrade Ye Chen, please wait a minute. A sigh suddenly sounded. Ye Chen raised his eyebrows, but still didn't stop. Comrade Ye Chen. You must remember that you are an Oriental and a member of this country. Don't forget yourself for your own benefit. What this says is impassioned, and that is awe-inspiring justice. Ye Chen sighed when he heard this. Just when everyone thought Ye Chen would stop and then come back to discuss the secrets of the game world, or join a certain force. Ye Chen slowly raised his right hand. That magical right hand, slowly make a fist, and then slowly pop out a middle finger. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Ye Chen's gorgeous middle finger, raised up again and again, instantly detonated the onlookers on the street. Fuck. Boss Ye Chen is awesome. Didn't you see? Those two who talked are often on the news. I forgot what they called, but it doesn't matter. What's important is that Boss Ye Chen, is it too special? That's handsome. Wipe, I finally understand one thing now, this world has really changed so much. Nonsense. It's full of virgin forest outside, and playing games can also enhance the strength of reality. Isn't that called change? What he said is that in the current world, everything speaks with a fist. I don't understand. Isn't the boss Ye Chen in the safe city where these people are? Why look at boss Ye Chen without scruples? I don't understand this. Don't forget, Ye Chen is in the innate realm. Do you know what the innate realm is? Although I don't know, but I know, that must be awesome. Awesome can't stop the crowds. Yuela in. Ye Chen went up to the second floor, went straight back to Tianzijia number one, and then closed the door. As for the leader of the player power downstairs, Ye Chen took care of it lazily. How could Ye Chen not know what they were thinking? No one force would purely befriend Ye Chen. All they think about is to win over, use, suppress, and control. No matter how good the words are, and no matter how high-sounding they are, they can't escape two words, interest. For these, Ye Chen had seen too much in his previous life. Therefore, Ye Chen would not pay attention to these people. As far as Ye Chen is concerned, no matter what method they use, as long as it hinders Ye Chen, it is the enemy. To deal with the enemy, Ye Chen would only choose a solution, killing them into scum. In the lobby on the first floor, the leaders of a group of player forces looked very ugly. 
none of them expected Ye Chen to be so awkward. Even more unexpectedly, Ye Chen wouldn't be shocked by anyone. Well, when I go offline, I will look for this in a safe city. Just find him for Lao Tzu, and Lao Tzu will remove his skin. A player power leader spit out viciously, and then said viciously. His appearance has been written down. In this world, no matter who logs in, his appearance will not change. When he goes offline, I will also look for him. As long as I find him, I will have a good talk with him. You are busy, I have something to do, leave. After a player power leader finished speaking, he hurriedly left the inn. I also withdrew first, and I will get together again when I have a chance. Another person left. Soon, the leader of one player after another left the inn. They had to go offline to investigate the safe city they were in. In their opinion, Ye Chen couldn't survive outside the safe zone alone. Because the outside is too dangerous and dangerous. Now, they remembered Ye Chen's appearance, and they wanted to find Ye Chen, it was simple. Unfortunately, they still don't understand. Since Ye Chen dared to be so tough, he naturally had the confidence to be tough. The onlookers on the street naturally saw everything in the inn, and also heard the conversations of the leader of the player forces. One by one, you look at me and I look at you, and shook their heads helplessly. Hey, the awesome characters who have created countless world announcements are about to be rectified just because of pretense. It's still good to be reorganized, I'm afraid I won't be able to save my life. To be honest, I really admire Ye Chen, who is hard to beat the leaders of those forces, it's a pity. After all, the reality is still flesh and blood. A good dog can't stand a pack of wolves, not to mention that Ye Chen is just a person, and he has to face various forces. There is no fun at all. The players side and side because Ye Chen is still a person in the real world. Even in the innate realm, it is impossible to be strong enough to ignore the number of people. At least, the players on the street, 99% of the people, believed that Ye Chen could not escape this disaster. Yuela In, Tianzijia Number 1 Ye Chen listened to the comments from the players on the street, and the corners of his mouth couldn't help but curl up. What others think is the freedom of others, Ye Chen will not interfere, and there is no need for it. Even if Ye Chen was really in a safe city, he wouldn't shock anyone. Even if everyone in a safe city came to Ye Chen for trouble, Ye Chen was also concerned. No one can prevent the innate treasure of the killing spear. Nine turn profound art, chaos level technique, cultivates to great success, proves the Dao with strength, and is unparalleled in the flesh. At this moment, Ye Chen was naked, taking knives and arrows to others, and would not suffer any harm. This is the overbearing aspect of the Nine Ranks Xian Gong, the flesh is unparalleled. This is still just beginning to practice, the farther behind, Ye Chen's physical body is more powerful. The leaders of those player forces have never seen or heard of them in previous lives. It should be an existence that will be eliminated soon. However, these people can't find me in reality, they should find me trouble in the game. The crisis Guojia said is about to come. Thinking of this, Ye Chen's eyes flashed with cold light. At this moment, the world announcement suddenly sounded. Ding, congratulations to player Shen Wanzhen for becoming a king-level military commander for the second time, with a special bonus of plus two innate attributes. The strongest player who likes the arrival of the wilderness, please collect it, the most powerful player who likes the arrival of the wilderness has the fastest literature update. Fuck. Another king level general. What's the matter? I remember that I bought the king level exercises. Isn't the surname Feng? He seems to use his real name as well. Who knows what is so special, I rely on it. Without the king level exercises, you can't advance to the innate realm. He became a king level military commander. Doesn't that mean he has the king level exercises? It shouldn't be, Nima, didn't Ye Chen only have the king level exercises? Could it be that Shen Wanzhen is another awesome figure? 
It's absolutely. I rely on. It turns out that there are so many awesome people. Just as players continued to discuss on the World Channel, the World Announcement sounded again. Ding, congratulations to the player, Zymen, the third official who has become a king-level military commander. He is rewarded with a plus one innate attribute. Fuck. Another one, what's the matter? Two more come out at once. How do I know, Nima, today is not April Fool's Day. However, the player's shock has not passed, and the world announcement has begun to sound again, and it is a series of sounds. Ding, congratulations to Qin Yan, the fourth player of becoming a king-level general. Ding, congratulations to player Li Mubai for becoming the fifth general of the king rank. Ding, congratulations to player Luo Bassian being the tenth king-level general. Ding, congratulations to the player God Dog Erha, the first one to advance to the monster beast, special bonus innate attribute plus three. When the last world announcement appeared, the entire world channel was instantly cleared. Three seconds later, the silent world channel exploded again. Fuck, what Ye Chen said is true, this world, as well as our world, there are monsters in this world. Nima, it's no wonder that these Urha speak so differently, I thought he was a fool. I'm sorry, isn't this amazing Urhu a husky, right now? The cliff is. What's so special, it's a monster beast, will it be very strong? While people were discussing it, very discordant content emerged on the world channel. Ah. Uh. <laughs> ho ho ho. King Erha, Wei Zhen Huanyu. Hiss. <laughs> Ha ha ha, tremble, tremble, scumbags, if you want to survive, just send your human beauties to you Master Erha and I will send you over. By the way, what about Ye Chen, come here quickly, Master Erha wants teach you, what is awesome. The world channel was silent for a short time, and it was fried again. Fuck. This world is so perfect for furry animals. That's right, I'm upset by seeing these two. Ye Chen, boss, have you seen it? Come out quickly and kill this idiot. Yeah, boss Ye Chen, you are a human being, how can you make monsters so rampant and kill Erha this fool? We have to castrate him. He must be castrated. The Malgobi guys still want to rob women. I really don't know how to write death words. Yuela in. After hearing a series of world announcements, Ye Chen was slightly taken aback, then the corners of his mouth curled up. Those who also got the game warehouse and had the chance to watch Pangu Kaishan finally began to appear. Ye Chen didn't feel pressure because a group of people advanced to innate and became king-level generals. Not even the slightest threat was felt because of the god dog Erha advanced monster beast. For Ye Chen, it is inevitable for these people, or beasts, to make these world announcements at this moment. Although Ye Chen has changed some history because of his rebirth, there is still some history that has not been changed by Ye Chen. For example, these people who watched Pangu Kaishan also got the practice technique. Although, it's not as good as the chaos level cultivation technique that Ye Chen got when he watched Pangu Kaishan completely. But it is also much more advanced than the king level and imperial level cultivation techniques in the novice area. There are no obstacles to the cultivation techniques needed to improve their realm. As long as the level is reached, even if they don't take the elixir, they can still advance to the innate through cultivation. And now, they have caught up with Ye Chen's realm at the moment. However, it is still difficult for them to surpass Ye Chen. At this moment, only Ye Chen knew the secret of the elixir. Moreover, the overbearing power of the Nine Turns Profound Art was not comparable to the cultivation techniques they had comprehended. What's more, Ye Chen also has the reincarnation territory built by the God Level Village Building Order, the only one, and it's against the sky. Therefore, Ye Chen didn't have any waves in his heart. 
it's time for them to advance to the innate realm. Thinking of this, Ye Chen made a move with his right hand, and an elixir appeared in Ye Chen's hands out of thin air. After taking a look, Ye Chen put the elixir in his mouth directly, chewed it up, and swallowed it.